I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B. Silkworks shows. Hi, I'm Emma. I work with Cricut to help you get the best out of your machines. Cricut is a range of tools, machines and accessories that allow you to work with hundreds of materials. You can customise and personalise your paper craft projects, your home decor, clothing. You can work with iron on vinyl, paper, card, wood, fabrics. The possibilities are endless. On the shows, I hope I can inspire you with ideas to help you become your creative best with Cricut. So make sure you don't miss the Cricut shows. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hello, I'm Carol. And I'm Hayley. And together we are The Dreamies. Dreamies have been around for 11 years now. We started with CD-ROMs, we've developed into stamps, paper pads, dies. We've now got the Dinky Inkies range as well. We design everything in-house and we manufacture in the UK. We produce tutorials to inspire you to get the most from our products. On the Dreamy Shows, we hope to further inspire you with all the techniques and tips that we can offer, hopefully getting you to use all of your inks, your flower making techniques, and really build on all the skills you probably already have. Good morning and welcome to a brand new day here at the craft store. We've got a corker ahead of us. We've got some fabulous shows coming up. We're kicking things off with a little bit of stampendous, but I'm not on my own. Fabulous Karen is with me. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Bright and gorgeous. I love that red on you. Really suits you. It does. Uh, yeah, it's the bright yeah, colour. I needed good. something this morning, definitely. Oh, Good morning, everybody. <laughs> now, I have to say, we've got a fabulous show. I do urge you to jump ahead because we've been busy for some of the stamps that we're going to be sharing with you already i don't want you to miss out on anything and i certainly don't want you to miss out on this because this is a happy hour deal what a way to start the weekend here at the craft store happy hour deal means that for this hour and this hour only you can get this incredible stamp it's a huge stamp and you're paying just nine pounds and 99 pence for this one six by six and you can see that it's a fabulous one for your mixed media Karen, this is a brilliant stamp for it's that price. It's beautiful. It's a uh, it's stampendous one, as we know. It's been going 35 years. It's deep, deep uh, mounted rubber, and it's got everything. You can use it onto a onto a block. You can use it without a block. Absolutely stunning. A go-to for when you want a quick definitely. background, definitely. So if you want yours, you've got the details on the screen already, but be quick. Happy hour deals don't necessarily last for the full hour. Uh, but limited stock with regards to the quantity that we have with these ones, which means that you need to get in nice and early to take advantage of it. 702707 is the item number for you to get hold of this. And you're pretty much saving a third on that price because you'd normally be paying £14.99, pence, but then you have got a £5 saving bringing it down to less than a tenner, 9.99. Get that one in your basket. But before you go checking your basket out, feast your eyes on these beautiful stamps that we're going to be sharing with you as well. This gorgeous mandala. This is beautiful. Now, as you can see, it's not a clear stamp. And this is something that we regularly see from stamp enders that they love to do. But it's all pre-mounted, ready to go. So you don't necessarily need an acrylic block. But they're just brilliant to work with these, Karen, aren't they? They certainly are, yeah. Deep, deep grey rubber mounted. Um, I would say that uh, really good 
good for stamping, definitely. Mm -hmm. you, they, they stamp beautifully. You've got the cushion in there. It's, um, I can't Oops. say that we don't make mistakes not doing them, but uh, you, you get really, really good results. And they're also really, really detailed. But a beautiful stamp for cutting Gorgeous. it. Snippability, cutting Definitely. out, building up, things like decoupage, um, perfect. Now, yeah. with regards to these, when you actually get your stamps, I'm just desperately trying to get hold of the corner. It doesn't want to come off on this particular one because they come in two pieces. So when you get yours home, and this is pretty much the case with all of the grey ribbon ones that you get from stamp vendors, you'll find that you have two pieces. So you'll have your stamp that is on kind of like a, a, a bit of cling. You can see that clear cling there, and obviously you've got your packaging. Don't try and remove it from this. It's meant to be attached to that, which means that you can literally just put that on your acrylic block straight away if you imagine that's an acrylic block it will cling on there perfectly which means the moment that it arrives it is ready to go and it is a brilliant stamp to work with have a look at that isn't that a brilliant stamp now if you wanted to actually decoupage this up there's so many different choices with regard to actually getting those levels that you could snip yeah. around yeah the nice easy snippables as well you know it's not uh, they're not they're not too difficult mm -hmm. you know you know uh what do we call it fussy cutting yeah lovely to fussy cut Useful. but you can fussy cut as detailed as you want with as many levels as you want um, <laughs> it's the disappearing stamp show. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and build it up but don't don't forget, do you remember years and years ago, uh, Jane Nestorenko, you, oh, she was loved, amazing. she was amazing yeah. with them, but don't put, put them on to acetate and glitter from behind, Definitely. she used to build them up with glitters, you can really go to town and, and have useful. some fun playing with the mandala. That's it, yes, now if you fancy getting hold of yours, again, what an amazing price, just 9 99 do pop that one into your basket, 214245. That is one that was busy before we started as well, so I've got a feeling that, that is one that you're going to need to get nice and early. Likewise with this next one. Now, if you are learning about adding colour, adding a kind of the depth of character to a stamp, then you can't go far wrong with this one. It's a beautiful, large um, stamp, as you can see. The Hellebore, I think that's how you pronounce this particular one. Um, and again, that grey rubber. Nice open areas on this one, Karen. Beautiful, definitely. So the great for your... Um alcohol markers but also watercolouring can uh, snippability cut Definitely. into it uh, build it up even shape it Definitely. Um, and again this one here it shows you how you kind of got that depth with regards to that one there as well love that idea with regards to that one and multi stamping masking another fabulous way for you to actually get some wonderful results quickly and easily yes definitely definitely yeah and a nice big big stamp yeah so you could you, you don't need to stamp it so many times to bring it bring it up but it's a beautiful flower bring your shading in yourself you've got a couple of lines there to follow but the rest is up to you yeah, now it's um, a little over 9.5 square, slightly um, wider than it, taller than it is wide, so only a little bit in it, but that's a nice one, especially if you're doing things like fundraisers, because you can make a substantial size card for minimal effort, can't definitely, you? Definitely, yeah. definitely. All you need to do is a mask, and, and I, we, we sat in the hotel room last night and we are cutting them out, so and they're easy, easy to cut out, but don't forget with all, all the stamp enders and, and the stamps and that, if you've got your electronic cutting machine, stamp them all out. Out, cut them out there get the colour in and build exactly. them up yeah that's exactly what i do um so there you go if you fancy getting hold of that one again a brilliant value for money less than a ten at 9.99 what amazing prices we're bringing to you so if you fancy getting hold of that one 488 is the item number for you now the next one now i have to admit i've not come across this flower before because i was looking at it thinking oh it looks very much a bit like like a peony or, or um there's another flower that and that, the name escapes me but this one we think is called ranunculus I think that's how you pronounce it. I do apologise to any gardeners out there if I have um, uh, said that wrong. So if, you knew, if it is the wrong way, then do send in your emails and, and kind of tell me, break it down how I'm supposed to say it. But again, another big stamp. Yeah, put both of them together. Good idea. You both, both of them together. You could even do wall mountains and, and, and walls. Even big enough to stamp on your wall and colour onto That's your own really uh, decor. It's a nice one to actually um, stamp onto fabrics as well, I think. Look oh, at that. definitely. Yeah. That's heat embossed with the embossing powders. But absolutely stunning. And then when you're colouring with heat embossing, you don't. You never go out of the lines exactly. or anything. Exactly. You've got some fabulous pick beautiful. and mix with the embossing powders, incidentally, at the bottom of your screen. Love that idea there. Let's rotate it around the right because it looks even prettier and um, that is beautiful sparkling that one as well yeah gorgeous aren't they absolutely gorgeous 
Lovely. So again, a brilliant value stamp. So 771319, if you fancy getting hold of that particular one, your ranunculus. Uh, I think you're spot that. on with Sounds that. that I'd it? say run Do you say it confidently? It sounds like you know what you're talking about. That's it. Yeah, I live by it that was phrase. easier to spell than say. It is. <laughs> it is indeed. Now, we're looking at some longer stamps, though. I love these. Now, if you want a quick and easy way to create an instant card, then you can't go far wrong with these. I cannot get over the price of these. Eleven ninety nine. The DL sizes and, and they fit on a proper English DL size, yes. yeah. It's a card and a stamp in a in a stamp, isn't it? it when is. you're doing your fundraising and everything else. If you do them all in if you do them on, on white with a black, you can just pull one flower out, put a greeting at the side of it, and you've you've brought that to the highlight. Or you can go to town and colour it in. Look how deeply Beautiful. etched that is. It's absolutely stunning. Gorgeous. I'm going to drop this card in front there just to show you how those outlines, even if you're just stamping it onto a background that you've created, that is a fabulous card. Brilliant for fundraising, Beautiful. definitely brilliant for, uh, and also big enough to start doing uh, your own decor as well. You yeah. think if you stamped, um, uh, if you did a bit of masking, you could do a frame. You could do a 12 by 12 frame and then oh, put something in, into yeah. it for, for the wall or nice down, idea. down in for your scrapbooking. But I love the DL ones. The, 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 one. yeah. the, I'm not going to say they're simple, but they are simple. <laughs> if you, they're, 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 they're easy to do if you, if, you like in, if you like to do something really quick. And of course definitely. it looks beautiful whether it's portrait or landscape, but do be aware that already 10% of the stock has gone of that. So approaching 10% of the stock has gone of that particular one. So 071427 if you fancy getting hold of that one. Now you may have spied just on the edge of the screen this one. You have been shopping ahead. I am not surprised because this one is absolutely beautiful beautiful now over 10% of the stock of this one has gone already you can see there an incredible amount of detail you wait till you see the results that you get from this one but I love this it's so many different beautiful feathers absolutely gorgeous yeah we've got lots of die cut feathers out there haven't yeah. we but you but you put that on to use it with embossing powder use it with on, on black with the um, mica powders there's yes. so many different ways that you can do it just color a background and sand it stamp it on it's, it's deep enough to be able to take a lovely impression. Again, the quality is the uh, the deep edged rubber and it fits the DL size. Exactly. Now, um, I was meant to tell you that approaching 20% of the stock has gone, but actually approaching a quarter of the stock has gone now. Look at the detail that you've got. If you want in a confidence builder or you wanting to create your cards quickly, then this is definitely one to go for. And you think about all those other stamps and dies that you've got in your collection that kind of resonate with that feather theme. So whether it's a case that you've got things like dream catcher stamps or dies, or indeed you may have a peacock die. So of course, even though it's not a peacock feather, it resonates with that bird scenario. So again, very, very popular this one. Quarter of the stock having gone already we're literally 10 minutes into the hour. We're actually going to get um, Karen to change her demos around because this one um, is at risk of going. So she's got a demonstration for this one. It was originally going to be her third demonstration, but I think we're going to have to kind of reschedule those and put them into a different order. If you want yours, please be quick. It is literally flying out, if you excuse the pun with regards to feathers there. But 313516, a beautiful stamp. You will not regret getting that one into your stash for certain. And another one that you've been liking, before the hour is the next one that I'm going to share with you. Now we're moving on to clear stamps here and this is something again that Stampenders do so well but this one we love our B theme stamps don't we? Very much in the, the, the kind of the, the media at the moment about being kind to the bees, how useful they are, or what useful they are, essential aren't they in our day-to-day -day lives and the way that everything evolves. Now this is a brilliant one. You can see your honeycomb detail with this one, beautiful detail, lovely little phrase there as well. I do think that's quite cute as be like the bumblebee never give up you can fly definitely definitely can fly have a look at that again a quick and easy card taking inspiration from obviously yellow and black on these i think it's something that again it's something that even if you're not the most confident of card makers you'll be able to create something with this one and be very proud of it as well and of course the lovely little bees there if you want to you can actually decoupage those and give the little wings three dimensions 14 pounds and 99 pence phenomenal value for money again 890 836 if you fancy that one so the feathers
going backwards now approaching a third of the stock has gone of that one it is early at the weekend and we do appreciate your um, being here but sometimes it's worth making the effort to join in uh, with these shows when you get gorgeous stamps like that one and you're able to get hold of this some of these some people will be waking up a little bit later maybe watching this show on rewind and they may not have the opportunity to get hold of this stamp so strike while the iron is hot as they say 313516 if you're wanting to get hold of yours 11.99 now very quickly i'm just going to share another a couple of stamp sets with you and then we're going to head over to see Karen so this one beautiful if you've gone for that mandala stamp that we saw earlier on so this one again a clear stamp and um, it's called floral circles but again it's got that kind of mandala feel to it nice collection of stamps this one Karen nice great for background building and you've also got it in half so you don't not having to stamp off the page but put two together you've got a full circle you've got some little ones made some little flowers out That's of so it cute. yeah yeah and in the background you can see that that they, we've got the uh, happy hour in the background yes. Ooh, with yes, some other course. stamps on top made your own background from it but uh, absolutely gorgeous flower making and building up and don't forget that like all mandalas and flowers you can build up great for backgrounds this one great that, that's focal. that's one. absolute focal just popping on i've got a uh, be uh, beautiful really detailed gorgeous and i think that this one would work well again alongside those feathers as well because it's kind of got that almost a moroccan and um eastern the feel to it hasn't it so uh, yeah if you wanted Definitely. to get hold of that one 14.99 don't forget our happy hour deal we gave a little nod to it there if you have just joined us for this hour we have got a happy hour deal um where you can get hold of this stamp for a phenomenal price um and uh, this is just uh, 9.99 and it can create fabulous backdrops just like the one that you can see on that wonderful card feature in the stamps that we've just been chatting about so if you want to get hold of yours 9.99 will get it on its way to you 702707 but that price is only good for this hour it's a happy idea that's how they work now another one that i must show with you um, share with you well, actually it might be two because the next one's a nice one as well so this particular one is your agapanthus and um, agapanthus sorry say so say it quickly sound confident there you go so <laughs> six four seven seven five seven again a beautiful stamp absolutely gorgeous so you've got you've got your black detail to for for all uh, you know you you're silhouetted but you've got a really big flower and then you've got one that you can color in whatever color you want but at, so Isn't much uh, so much you can do you can build it build a scene up by going small and large nice background with it on the girls have gone out. The girls have, have really loved this one. They've, you can see that they've enjoyed this one. You can see that they've really enjoyed this one. And again, it's nice because you've got the larger stamp there. I mean, the larger stamp, perfect if you're doing it portrait. Of course, you can do it landscape as well with that one. And again, multi-layer these using a variety of different ways. Loads of finished samples with this. Oh, actually, I'm going to swap that around. I'll show you that one in a little while. Have a look at that. Isn't that a beautiful oh. result with it? All done with that one stamp set. So if you fancy getting hold of yours, just £14.99 will get it on its way to you. 647757. Very, very quickly, just mentioning another background stamp for you. You found this one as well. And this is a really useful one. This is one that we did see featuring with that gorgeous bandala at the top of the uh, hour as well. Good size, again, six by six. Perfect if you're wanting to kind of multi-stamp it four times for your scrapbook pages. I love dictionary text. Yes. I just think it's a brilliant way it of is. adding we, we, to we, a card. We, we were brought up with dictionaries yeah. and you loved it and, and it used to be a go-to. I don't care what anybody said, you always had and it always came in little squares and that is just and synonymous just to it. it. Exactly. Isn't it? Absolutely, definitely. You can chop into this one, you can use it in the background there if you're wanting to use it in its entirety. Um, of course, we're talking about the mandala. We saw it featuring on earlier on, so it was used as a backdrop with that gorgeous flower mandala that we saw earlier but then you can cherry pick little areas if you want so if you're making something that's love themed why not snip out the um, kind of definition of love there again here you can see multi-stamping and creating all those different little um, elements that you get but as a background it's one of those backgrounds that say something and it says something you can actually read that is the thing as well because sometimes you can't necessarily read what these um, phrases are but on this one you've got the clarity that you can even use it with your embossing pen 
sliders and get a wonderful result. $14.99, a very popular one. Lots of you taking advantage of that one, which pleases me a lot. 800786, you will not be disappointed with that one. In fact, when you're checking out your um, kind of what you're going to go for, the website is often the best place to go because that's where you'll find all of the items that have been referencing and showing you. But sometimes you might want to have a closer detail. I mean, we didn't get as far as the house mouse stamps. They are adorable. We're revisiting some firm favourites of yours there as well with regards to the texture stamps there. And of course, don't forget your detailed embossing powder. It is key. It's all well and good having fabulous stamps, but if you haven't got detailed embossing powder, you may well lose some of that definition. Also, it gives you the opportunity to check out some of our seven-day savers and other deals that we've got. And don't forget, if you are looking at our seven-day savers, then they are going to go up in price tomorrow morning at eight o'clock. So again, you need to get hold of those as quick as you can. So I promise you some demonstrations. Well, I think we better go over to Karen with the feathers before we do anything else. We're going to do a little background. So I've got some brushes. Everybody knows that they're uh, exploding like an exploding ink so mm -hmm. the, the little bit of crystals and just pop i'm going to pop some red onto here just all over and you don't need much of the brush shells at don't. all i mean they are brilliant yeah magical, they're, aren't they? they're magical they make a nice paint as well if you just pop a little bit in and make paints so all your flowers that you that you've got you can color in with with these and make them deeper mm -hmm. and everything else and then there's two ways you can start with your brush there with your water there but that'll spread it out so if you want to uh, i would start from above oh look at that color you can't beat a color burst can you and you never know what you're gonna get Look and then that. that's got to dry. You either dry it naturally or sometimes you can heat set it. That's absolutely gorgeous, yeah, cool. isn't it? Colours, I, I love red, orange and yellow. Yeah. It's so bright, so beautiful. I'm going to pop that on the back because we don't need to... I don't want to... We're not going to spend 20 minutes waiting for it to dry. <laughs> Fair enough then. <laughs> I don't think I can talk for 20 minutes. Oh, not this morning. You. I bet we could have a real right chat later. Oh, we uh, certainly way could. Over 20 minutes. And here's one that I did earlier exactly in the same colours but you, you never know what you're going to get. Here's your stamp. Oh, no. hey, a stamp platform. We can use a stamp platform. I use a stamp platform, yeah. I've got the one that I bought from here. It's the stamp perfect, so it takes the DL exactly. And because it's a thick rubber, I'm going to take out the, uh, like the foam, the foam, foam it, yeah. into it, definitely. I'm going to, that pops in just exactly right. Well, this one's a little bit big for it, so it's not going to go in. Is it going to go in? Would it go horizontally? I don't know, because you've got that open edge. Uh, yes, might work that, that would be it, yeah. Well, if you ever get to it that you can't, that you that it doesn't fit in, mm -hmm. turn it upside down, stamp it. Oh, good tip. And do it Perfect. like that. You could use a, a brayer or anything yeah. else. It's too early for me to think about turn, oh, turning blessed. things around in angles. <laughs> I'm glad you're awake. Oh, bless On you. the back, you've got your... You've got your, your Part, and this is just automatically sticky. Wonderful. Um, just to warn you with regards to this particular feather stamp, if you like, in the lo um, look of it, rapidly approaching half of the stock has gone. So, yes, please be quick with this particular one. Oh, we've had a lovely email in from Sam. Now, um, I don't know whether it's the Sam that I'm thinking of, um, as in John Sam. But there's lots of Sams out there, so whoever you are, Sam, um, good morning. Good to have your company. Um, morning, Karen and Hayley. Just have to write in to say what fab stamps and a great a great prices on this morning's show, definitely. I've loved using these. Oh, no, this won't. Well, I don't know. It might be the Sam. Um, it's it's, it's, it's design DT it team. It's, it's, yes. It is the one I'm thinking of, the one and only. Yes. Um, looking forward to Karen's demos. Have a great show. So, yeah, we are as well. Um, and uh, Karen's on a little bit later on as well. So if you have just joined us and you want even more of Karen, then she can be back at 11 o'clock as well. I um, am. Busy, busy, busy for this feather stamp. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm not going to stick this down, but I do know that it's going to go in there. Hang on, what I will do is... Have I got some tape? No, we know where it's going to go. Okay. You would normally put your... Um, I've cut it down to size. Normally you wouldn't, and then you put put your, and your magnets on it. Because you're adding moisture, you can get a little bit of buckling in your car. Yes, yes. So, you, you so it, I'm going to pop it in there and make sure that if I do, if it does move and I don't stamp enough, I'm going to go around it. Okay. it it's completely blocked in. I'm just going to go over it, even though it's been water, add water and everything else onto it. I am going to do a bit of anti static and then embossing. 
embossing one. And I'm guessing because you've got um, obviously the, the stamp and the paper cut to size, the magnets would get in the way. So they would, him, yes, they the would. It's such a big stamp. So what I would do is probably make a big piece, okay. make a nice big piece and then stamp it and then cut down cut afterwards. Down. Good tip, like that idea. Um, incidentally, our happy ideal as well. You like the look of that one. Lots have been popping that one into your basket as well. Jen just joined us. This is your happy hour deal, but rapidly approaching a third of the stock has gone. So up until eight o'clock um, this morning, you are going to be able to pay just nine ninety nine to get hold of this one. Um, so if you do want to get hold of it, the details are on your screen there. Seven zero two seven zero seven. You're saving a whopping great fiver, which means it's actually saving a third of the price, aren't you? If you normally pay nearer than fifteen pounds, so nine ninety nine. If you want in this one, the details are on your screen. But be quick it's a happy hour deal and it might be that we've kind of run out of stock because it's so popular or it might be that the clock that beats us and it goes up in price either way i'd get hold of it now there you go details on the screen so all i'm doing now is uh, is just making sure that i get that nice impression i've done it with embossing powder uh, with the uh, embossing ink okay. but you could still do this with a versifine Vers 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 which would stay wet enough and you'd be able to see where There's you've clear, stamped this one's it. a clearing so we're not okay. going to see it. i wanted to give you a wow factor oh, so i, I did it with the clearing wow the yeah gets us going in the morning and we've got it? yep we've got the stampendous black now yeah, these look how fine these, these so are tell me about these embossing powders why do you like these ones so much these have been i re i remember years ago and you know we've we've crafted for absolute years and these were one of the first ones that i ever remember coming yes, out yeah. and i'm sure I, i'm sure it was a leader i won't state it Definitely, but, like but you say, I mean, look how fine. They've been in the, in the business for a long time, and again, yeah, I'm, I'm the same. I've got some of these still in my stash from way back. Nine nine ten. You're actually going to get two tubs of these, and there's choices with regards to them. So it might be that you use a lot of black, so you could go for a couple of those. It might be that you use a lot of the clear. You could go for a couple of those, or you can mix them up to whatever combination you like. Now, I do suggest you keep a note of that item number because it is something that you'll find in our brand section that you can revisit at any time. You don't have to wait for lovely Karen to be here and to have a stampendous show you can jump on there and place your order for them whenever you want so 999 will get you any two but as i say keep a note because you will want to collect all of them especially when you see how much detail that you're getting with this one and also what i do find with stampendous is how quickly that they turn they always say warm you, your heat gun up doesn't that look amazing on screen it looks gorgeous. <laughs> so hopefully you'll be able to see and I mean, for journaling, you know, oh. journals. This is going to look amazing. Look at the yeah backgrounds on journals. Yeah. You know, when you're doing big ones and you don't have to be forever oh, stamping all over. Side. But I, I don't know whether you can see how quickly that is it turning. turning yeah. But look how fine the powder is. You sometimes get powders and they they, they, they just don't give you that detail that uh, a stampendous fine powder does. And I love the speckles in between the feathers as well. Yeah. It kind of connects the whole design it together. It connects everything up. I'm just going to have to tip it up a little bit so that I can That's see. Okay. But you never get tired of that uh, that embossing, do you? Oh, definitely not. And I was thinking about all the other stamps that I've got. Um, and dyes in the collection as well. So um, we saw a fabulous thing sample with the peacock fly on it. But anything we've got green catcher themes, um, even kind of cool things. If you've got like an ink pot and a cool, you could use it with this one. Definitely. You? you can, don't forget, these can be cut out once you've stamped them all. Yes. Yeah, you just got, to, they're easy to cut, fussy cut round. Just making sure that I've got it all. Sorry, Kirsty, I'm going to have to lift it up. No, you're all right, don't worry. Don't turn that off. That'll do just nicely. And we've got a little bit of uh, a little bit of thing on the cardstock. This is a, a jelly bean 240 super small, but just go like that. It's, don't forget, he's had all that water at it. Yeah, exactly yeah, what I've bit. done. Oh, and then it comes that. comes oh. back down. But gorgeous. absolutely gorgeous. We've got a mat to pop it on, and this is how simple. Now you could go oh around with goodness, a line, a line round the outside. I did get my glue out. Never matter how much I I, I organise, I still it's can never find still anything. Very early, to be honest. 
Oh, it nearly killed me this morning. <laughs> oh, bless you. Oh, well, I'm glad that you're here. Oh, you yeah. When you come and join yeah. Us. Um, Cheryl from my design team's come with me. I brought my entourage. And uh, you can see it footmarking me back where she kicked me out of bed this morning. <laughs> but if I may, I'd just like to say thank you to the design team. Course, They've done a fantastic job. These are so new into country. Um, some of them, we only got them on Wednesday. Really? They they've received them Wednesday samples? and they've done all these finished samples wow. and got them back Friday. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Oh, yeah, I but, resonate that. Thank you so much um, because it, our job is made so much easier when oh, we've got lovely samples. Oh, definitely. And then we brought in the awkward archer words, you know, the ones that I've uh, yes. helped with the designing of. That. You did? Yeah, these ones. Um, I haven't had the opportunity to share these ones with you, but they're always popular, and we have got them back um, because they are popular. They're your mixed media texture um, stamps. So with these ones, you're paying just fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence, and you're getting a lot of stamps. Seven two one nine one three, and it's brilliant because you've got um, all sorts of different fabulous phrases in there. Now these are individual stamps as well. So with regards to these ones, you can either leave them on the carrier sheet that they come in and use them in their entirety as one big stamp, and then chop into them but you've got two different options on the same item number so this particular one is your grunge words so you've got two under that heading that we've got on your screen there so this is one that Karen's working with um, and I love the fact that Karen has actually just left it on the carry sheet and used it as a big stamp. A big stamp yes yeah Very yeah clever idea. I, the way the way that I put this uh, stamp set together is I wrote a load of sayings out you know, like, hope you, hoping you have a great, a, a, a happy birthday, have a wonderful birthday. Wrote them out and then just mixed the words up and they picked so many up. But it's one that we're going to be building on as well. Like that. So we're nice going to. Well. Some, and it's a, it's a, a, a typewriter front so that. Uh, and it's all going to match, so there'll be lots more coming through like with, with these. But I actually love these words. And they're individual mm. stamps, so if you did want to actually make up a phrase and put them onto a little block, then you can do as well. Uh, because you can see there, you're getting um, 53 stamps on no. this. Oh my goodness! Take your word for it. I haven't got time to count them. Um, but if you're wanting these, the details there: 14 pounds and 99 pence. Again, a brilliant value for money. There are two stamp set options with regards to this one. So this particular one is your grunge word. But I'm intrigued as to know what the other one looks like. Well, here you go. There you can see. Very nice ones to go with. So if you're wanting this particular one, this one is called Grunge Textures. And again, a set of nine stamps there. Brilliant value for money. Um, and again, very useful clear stamps there as well. So 921913 if you're fancying either of those two. And there we go. I'll just move that out of the way. We've put the two words on, gone round it in white. And that's that's that one in that colour. And yet, I did put some sequins oh, on the original okay. one, but I can't find my sequins this morning. I hope they're not under bed in hotel room. They'll wonder what's been going on. They will, won't they? <laughs> but look at that, the same stamp, Beautiful. two different colours. One for a man, one for a woman. Don't forget, once you've stamped it out onto the backgrounds, cut them out, use them as separate as separate feathers definitely Put, they'll go with anything feathers Absolutely you can't you also but when, when a feather comes down it's somebody visit, somebody's it? visiting of, you yeah lots of people uh, were already i believe you. that definitely. yeah Karen, thank you so thank much. you it's a popular stamp that particular one so if you're wanting that stamp you're gonna have to be quick this is one that i would love to have in my stash whether we'll have any stock left at the end of the hour i don't know but if we do you'll be able to get hold of that right the way through until 11 well 11 o'clock we've got another show with karen again when we get into that show how long it will last i don't know and of course karen's just shown us a wonderful way of working with it but a couple of other alternatives again lovely using it as a backdrop with you wonderful peacock die as you can see there but i love this one where it's literally the star of that particular project is the, the um, stamp the detail that you've got amazing but you have to be quick 1199 313 516 if you're wanting to get hold of that one as well now your bumblebee is the next one that we've got with you and this one is another one that you're loving um so again this one we love things with bumblebees on be happy be kind be careful be whatever you're wanting to add that phrase then of course the the phrase of the bee works really really well and i love this because you've got a fabulous kind of happy style bee with that one if a bee could be smiling this is kind of what you've got and it's lovely because you've got your large stamp as you can see there with the little aperture in there where you could pop any phrase or sentiment it comes with obviously two that you can kind of uh, chop and change in um, in and out whichever way you're wanting to work 
with it. You've also got the other stamp B, which I think, looking at it, is the same size as the one that's featuring the larger stamp. So straight away, if you're wanting to do like a decoupage, you haven't got to print out or stamp out two of the larger stamps. You can use the smaller. I love the little swirly flight path as well, where you can see kind of all the little swirls. Can you imagine he's been doing all these little twists and turns as he's been flying? And then you've got some additional little stamps, including things like exclamation marks, if you're wanting to really get that phrase um, home. So there you go. Um, you can see be happy there as well. And of course, the other little phrase, which I thought was lovely, is be like the bumblebee, never give up, you can fly. Adorable. Lovely, lovely little stamps. Brilliant as well for journaling. So yeah, if you want to give yourself a little bit of inspiration, um, maybe you get up and go as got up and gone, as they say. Well, here you go. This might be one of those get you going again and again using all those fabulous bumblebees alongside that wonderful um, honeycomb. $14.99. Phenomenal value for money. 890-836 if you're wanting to get hold of this particular one. Beautiful. They're all beautiful stamps, to be honest. I mean, it's tricky to decide which ones you're going for. But if you are finding that your order is building up, then don't forget you can spread the cost. If your order comes to £60 or more, you can spread the cost over two payments with FlexiBuy. So what have we got next? Oh, look at this one. This is a nice one. Love this. You've got your clear stamps with these, um, but you've got quite a collection of stamps within here. Love the fact that you've got um, kind of five stamps incorporating half stamps as well, which, of course, if you want to double up you can kind of do um, either side of your project so it almost looks like it's wrapping around but a gorgeous stamp set fabulous if you're wanting to build up a nice background and they kind of give me that feeling of henna or um, a Moroccan or an Eastern feel to them very exotic very um, kind of uh, of the moment should I say and then of course we've got um, a card here which as Karen pointed out is utilizing the backdrop from a happy hour um, incidentally that happy hour we've only got to the top of the um, hour to take advantage of it I'll show you um, that one in just a few moments but if you're wanting your stamp with your floral circles then you can can see there that the details are on your screen 803772 and I've got your happy ideal stamp here as well and this is where that background is created it's kind of like a grungy effect if you want to give it that kind of deeper darker look then you can do but of course by using your colors it kind of gives a nice easy backdrop Stamps like this are brilliant if you're not a confident stamper, aren't they, Karen? Definitely, and sp especially with the patterns into it. You see, there's all those different patterns. Even if you don't actually stamp that right, you're not going to know. Nobody Nobody's going to know. Yeah. And it's it's an ideal opportunity if you've never stamped with a large one before That's to learn point. how to stamp with it because you're still going to have good results even if you've missed bits. You certainly are. And you can use it in its entirety, six by six, if you do want to use it as a backdrop. But, of course, you can chop into this, die cut it afterwards if you want into that 9.99 i think that is worth popping into your basket as well and um, 702707 if you fancy getting hold of that one but as i say it's a happy hour deal so you need to be quick another one well worth popping into your basket and i've got even more finished samples to share with this one your agapanthus absolutely beautiful you've got a set of four stamps with these and again i mean those long legged flowers absolutely gorgeous and they remind me of a i know it's an agapanthus but it looks like a dandelion and i love they a dandelion similar, a slightly different look to yeah. them but so, yeah very the different. ingenuity of having all those seeds that will just fly with the yes. wind and spread and it's absolutely it's beautiful, beautiful. Um, and again, a gorgeous design. I mean, the simplicity is key sometimes with the card. Sometimes you just want to get the sentiment across, don't you? You don't necessarily want to kind of uh, clutter it up with lots of other bits and pieces. But to be honest, in its simplicity, it's beautiful. But using it as a backdrop, I love this idea of multi-stamping, kind of pattern building with it as well. Loads of different techniques you're going to be able to utilise with this. I love that one. It's almost like a watercolour look to that particular one. And this one's a really clever one that you've got here, giving it a very much a light and airy feel to it, a very kind of thought-provoking look to it. And then again, that happy hour deal told you it is a good one to have in your stash because again it's been used there and of course the fabulous phrases that um, we saw Karen working with 14.99 again 14.99 well spent because I think this is one that will be a firm favorite within your stash that you'll be using over and over again 647 at 757 if you fancy getting hold of that particular one now your text stamps 
said to you just how I love this one. We've got all sorts of different wonderful phrases on this one as well. In fact, I don't know whether we can get in um, close, but we can see all the different phrases that you've got in here. So whether you're creating cards that are love themed, that are birthday themed, that are inspirational themed, you can see you've got all sorts of fabulous text elements here. So this is a really good one as a kind of a multi-step. It's almost like a selection box of uh, different phrases with this one. Celebrate there, happy, love, as you can see with these absolutely a beautiful stamp to use in its entirety or it might be a case that you're wanting to chop into it as well things like wish and hope featuring there as well so some nice inspirational quotes as well there um, so but yeah definitely want to go for 14.99 and very very quickly shall I show you a couple of finished samples sorry I'm just stood here looking at them thinking oh it might be nice to share those wouldn't it <laughs> so it's having a bit of a, a guilty pleasure moment there um, that's showing that obviously using your embossing powders it's really hard to get that amount of detail with an embossing powder well, these stamp Pendus embossing powders are fantastic for words. They're so fine, but yeah, definitely. Yeah, I've, I've, I've even done a musical script with the embossing Have powders. You? Absolutely Ooh. beautiful. Look, my go to, I always go back to it, and the beautiful stamp. Look how it's been cut up there. I think how many idea. how many sentiments can you put into into that? That's it. Um, and this is a lovely one. This one that the fabulous um, Sam has created. This one as well. And I love that. Just the simplicity of the explanation of one simple word. And sometimes it's interesting. I mean, we know what love means. We know the word love. But it's nice reading it sometimes. I love well. a dictionary. Yeah. Yeah. yeah definitely it. love a dictionary. Uh, Fourteen ninety nine. If you fancy getting hold of that one, but rapidly approaching forty percent of the stock has gone. Eight zero zero. 786 if you fancy getting hold of that one. I had a couple of emails come in, thank you. I will tell you about those in a few moments. Maybe we're having a little bit of a demonstration with Cal. But have a look at this bundle. This is absolutely incredible value for money. You're looking at less than £20, just £19.99 for pretty much a starter set when it comes to stamping. Instantly looking at this artwork, I'm thinking of young stampers, maybe teenage stampers, or if you like that whimsical look, you can't go far wrong with this one. What a bumper bundle. And look at the price. He's dropped I the know. price. And I wonder if I'm, I wonder if uh, Stuart's feeling okay. He won't be awake yet. He'll I know. Work, he won't no, no, on. no, he won't be um, awake. But, but what a fabulous set, 12 stamps. Now, we're saying 12 stamps, they're kind of stamp sets, because when you look at these, you can see you've got multiple stamps within there. We haven't added them up, but you can see that many of these, you're getting at least three or four in there, so you can multiply that. You've easily got in the region of 50 stamps. I'd say way more than that, but I'm going to be quite conservative with my figures. It's written there. on the back, I think. Is it on the back? Some, oh, it is. Somebody's, oh, look at that. Wasn't far off, was I? You wasn't very good. Yeah. I've shocked myself on that particular one. Now, obviously, they've been stamped out here to show. Um, they're good size stamps, which makes them perfect if you want to do, like, little notelets and things like that. So cute. I love that with a little flamingo on there. But equally so, you can kind of build them up into make kind of our regular size cards. Definitely. Yeah, love definitely. That. Definite scene builders. You can do masking. <laughs> there, it, it, it's uh, Fran's whimsical... Uh, <laughs> A eclectic way that she's that she does she's designed all these this. designed the stamps but even just what on a on a big card you got the one the mon flamingo there but do it with the background stamp That's amazing have you noticed what's in the backdrop here as well one of those dictionary stamps so again filling in there so i love that i'm nuts and bolts about you <laughs> brilliant absolutely fabulous and there of course you crack me up so you can see perfect nice crisp simple um stamps they're going to give you plenty of opportunity for you to add your color so when we're looking at price per stamp it works out at how much 38 pence per stamp now, of course, within this, you've got your ink and you've got your acrylic block as well. So those are kind of bonuses on top of that, which means that all you really need is a little bit of colour to add to these. Now, I know we have lots of shows when we talk about different pens and collections of pens, but when you're getting started, simple pencils that you may already have in a pencil case at home, borrow the kids. If you're just getting started, maybe you're more of a fabric crafter, then these would be perfect for you to just get started. And if you have got the right ink, then you could actually stamp these onto your fabrics as well. So imagine the fun you could have with those um at 087 537 a brilliant price for a fabulous gift as well for a novice crafter you've got your block in there which is plenty big enough for all the different phrases it's a little bit clear so you can it's tricky to see it there but it is there it is there honestly and then you've got your ink pad there alongside it with all those gorgeous 52 stamps there 
to uh, kind of inspire your creativity. 087537 if you fancy getting hold of these. Now, house mouse. Two words that we love because we know when we hear those words, we've got cute characters in all sorts of different scenarios. Now, this one is a case of, I think he's had one too many berries, if you don't mind me saying. He's snoozing away there in that little basket, as you can see. But the amount of detail that you get within these, these are beautiful. Um, 350344 will get this one to you, £10.99. Now, I know one of the emails that we've had in from, I think it's Carolyn, she loves House Mouse. Um, I've got to lift the email down there, so I can't read it to you, but I'll tell you about it in a moment. So, beautiful stamps, as you can see there. Really, really cute little characters. Um, and you can see that you've got all three there. I love that. It's like the little baby sneaking um, in there, isn't it? Um, oh, it was closer than I thought. Sorry. I've got so many emails coming in. They're kind of scattered all over the place. So, yes, Carolyn. Now, this one. Oh, dear. Good morning, ladies from a wet Scotland. Um, Stampenda stamps are such great quality and they always stamp perfectly. I loved working with them, these, especially my favourite, the house mats. Also, some of these finished samples might be from Carolyn then. Yeah, yeah, Carolyn has a name onto them. That, that one's there's from Cheryl. Isn't but yeah, they've loved uh, they, it. We all love a house mouse, but it's beautiful. Oh, don't we just? Thank you, Carolyn. Don't we just, indeed? Um, and I think it's the artwork, and it's almost like a story within a picture, isn't it, the, that they bring the, us? Uh, house mouse have been going years, yeah, definitely. But you used to be able, you, you, they used to be wood mounted, and they're now onto just the foam, the foam mounting. Yeah, but it makes it uh, an affordable yeah, way, yeah, it's it's a real. Um, Stuart is the distributor for Stampendous in the nice. UK, so. Any house mouse goes through Stuart, but gorgeous. Perfect. You can the, the faces, the expression, the the the, the scenes, so and good. and what you can you can you can make them say what you want you them can, to you can definitely. Um, so berry basket, that's the stamp that we've been looking at with that particular set, just ten ninety nine, very affordable, all pre mounted again. Um, the information I was giving you with regards to the cling on there as well, bear that in mind with these stamps because that's the way that they come to you. So three five zero three four four for that particular one. Now the next one, oh, this is so good. They're all cute, to be honest, as well. Oh, look at those cheeks. Now, this one is missing treats. I can't imagine where they've gone. <laughs> is he licking his lips? I think he might be. <laughs> now, with regards to this one, um, 10 99 brilliant value, um, and some wonderful finished samples. This is where Carolyn's got involved, and you can see that she's had fun with these. I just love the, the expression. That, that's like, yeah. oh, no, I've been caught with my hand in the cookie jar again. Um, like, I hope he doesn't see it. Like, you know, remember when we were kids and we used to go scrumping? Oh, and you used to stick I apples everywhere. I can neither, um, yes, admit or deny that. So I'm going to say it with that one. But this has just kind of rung um, a little memory in my brain. I had a box of chocolates once that I popped into the fridge and I came back and there was one left in there. Um, and I said, well, who's had all the, the, all the chocolates? And nobody would admit, admit to it because there was one left. So technically they hadn't all gone. Up there for thinking, down there for dancing. So there you go. You can see, and I love this one, keeping that purity of the design. But I adding love, a little I bit love of it in grey, definitely making the background uh, real and just highlighting where the where the uh, the, the, the berries are. Beautiful. But that poor little mouse that's looking into that Aww. thing that hasn't got one. It's like when you you kind of think to say, oh, I'm just gonna have that last biscuit, and then you realise you've already eaten it. Or somebody else has. Oh, it's like you, yeah. your heart sinks, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, ten ninety nine, a brilliant stamp. If you fancy getting hold of that one, a good size stamp as well, so you're going to be able to make some considerable size cards. Three six four seven one nine ten ninety nine. Now, a couple more, and we're going to head back to Karen. So we've had a lovely chat. Sorry, I forgot that we're actually here doing work, but there you go. Um, this particular one, you've got choices with these. So we did see the text obviously being utilised within the last demonstration. Um, loads of words featuring in there. I think. It did we say it was 53 in total with those, yeah? So, um, 721913 will give you two, well, several options, actually, with these. These are two of the options that you've got. So, you've got your text there if you wanted to go for your grunge words, 53 of those. Or you've got your grunge textures, nine stamps, again, 1499. Both of which work beautifully together. So, if you can stretch to both of them, then please do. I'll just drop that one in between there. There's loads of finished samples, but I am conscious of the time. We do want to get back to the demonstration. There's just a couple of little examples of how they work together. 
together those stamps. 14 99 whichever of those two you choose to go for, you're going to find that you'll use them a lot. Um, 721913 if you fancy them. Again, anything that you want to take advantage of will be on the website. And that's the perfect opportunity for you to use your pick and mixes. Because, of course, we've got our embossing powders in a whole variety of different colour options there. So whether it's your metallics you're looking for, you've got your gold and silver there, and your gorgeous copper as well. Or whether it's those bread and butter items, your clear, your white, your black, they're ones that we use over and over again. And very affordable when you're getting two pots of them for just £9.99. If you're wanting those at any time, keep a note of that item number, 789528, because you can order them whenever you want. So that is the key thing, keep a note of that item number. And obviously Karen's been using them throughout. So we're going to head back over to see Karen. We've got about 10 minutes or so left. Oh, lovely, plenty of time. So I'm going to use smoke size. It's the, uh, the, Ooh, the happy hour. hour. Yeah, nice. and I'm going to uh, do a little bit with this one. I've got some water. I've got the Kitsch Flamingo Victorian Velvet and pickle, Pickled Raspberry. And all I'm going to do is just mix them up a little bit. And it's not a great, it's not uh, an exact background that I need at all. It's just one that's going to do some nice little bit of colouring. Now, this particular stamp is our happy hour deal. So, um, if you wanted to get hold of it, you've only got a little, oh, well, about 15 minutes or so to take advantage of it at that price. 9 99 but rapidly approaching, sorry, what was that, Kirsty? Oh, my goodness, rapidly approaching 70% of the stock. I think everybody's woken up. Um, 702, 707, if you wanted to get hold of that. It's a good size stamp, as you can see. So, we put some different colours, some different pinks on it. The beauty with the uh, oxide is uh, when they've got colour palettes, they'll all go together, and I don't have to think very much about it. So, we're going to get a twofer out of this one. Oh, okay. And we're going to start off, and we're just going to stamp it down. I'm not even using the block or anything else because it's it's uh, deeply etched rubber and it's it's got that foam backing onto it. And there you go. Oh, look at that. In an so instance. that's one to start with, but I've still got some ink on there. So okay. let's do another one that we're going to start off. We're not going to use this, but uh, we'll just do a bit of spraying. It's, it's for um, uh, it's for Ron. It's isn't for Ron. It? It's, it's for Ron. Ron. It's for later on. It's for Ron. It, it, uh, when you do it, when you're sample making and that, it means that you can uh, you can just pick one out and you've got a nice little background um, now that's incidentally, one ooh, look at that. um, and it's proven get... to be a very popular item this particular one now rapidly approaching three quarters of the stock has gone don't forget with this one it is going to go up in price when we get to eight o'clock so that five pound saving which is a third of the price pretty much is going to disappear so take advantage of where you can always in a real surge with this one lots of you getting into your baskets don't forget check your basket out to ensure that you do get hold of it it's a good size stamp as you can see um, and it is one that's been utilized many times by the design team to give you a fabulous backdrop so if you're wanting yours 702707 but some um, 80% of the stock has gone there so that has really jumped in the next uh, few last few moments so technically we hope that we've got enough right the way through to the end of the hour but I'll keep you updated but look at that I've got three and they'll dry beautifully that's Lovely. three three bases for, for three different uh, backgrounds here's one that i've done earlier but Lovely. before we do that i'm going to do a little bit of smooshing i've got some uh jelly bean 240 uh super smooth okay and i'm going to put some of these inks onto it and you're going to think what on earth is she doing <laughs> what on earth why is she doing this and all we're going to do first of all is that's still there am i all right here yeah yeah you're yeah good. i'm going to take this uh, this is the Elabor. Oh, is that nice. right? I, well, that's how I've been saying it. Nobody's complained. So I, it was, I wasn't that. very good with my flowers. I was just, uh, I was just checking. I got right flower. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me. Um, it's nice big stamp. This one, just nine ninety nine if you want it. Yeah. Yes, I've gone a bit pre to pre mush in there, but they're all right for the time being. But can you still see, Kirsty? Am I okay to do it there, or do you want me to move the map? Is it all right? Can you see? Sorry about yes. that. No, no, that's all right. A little bit preemptive with that. I'm going to stamp that down. I'm just going to hold it for a couple of seconds. Okay. Oh, look at oh that. that is a gorgeous Absolutely design. Absolutely gorgeous. 
Why are you stamping that out? Can I just ask? Because we had a question come through from Christine um, earlier on. You, when you are, uh, I don't know, I think she must have emailed it through just after the last demonstration because she's asking about the words that you were stamping out. Yes. She wanted to know um, what ink you used to stamp the words out because you'd obviously done it beforehand. Right. So, so that was with uh, the Wow Embossing Powder. Right. And the white, uh, white, wow. Clear, clearing, clearing, and then the wire embossing there powder. You go. So, but, if you're yeah. wanting the, the wow, then uh, yeah, obviously you can search on that um, advanced section, you'll be able to get that. So it's a clear embossing powder, and then obviously, sorry, clear ink, should I say, and then you can go over the top with whatever color embossing powder that you like. So, don't forget our pick and mix you've got your white, you've got your black, silver, gold, copper, they are all there. And if you want that kind of resist look, you've got the clear as well. So, good choice there. Good question, Christine. Thank you for that. I'm just drying that under here so it's not too loud. It warming your feet up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want it too loud near me, Mike. What oh, I will do at 11, I'll, uh, I'll emboss, I'll do some heat embossing, I'll do a quick demo on the words and heat emboss oh, some on uh, 11 so that you can Fabulous. see how they, how they work out. Wonderful. So I've got two flowers here. Oh. Lovely. Oh, just very, very quickly, um, I need to, get, and you'll understand why I need to say, sorry to jump in again, but uh, technically sold out. So if you've got it in your baskets, good news, you've kind of reserved it, but bad news is that you haven't checked your basket out, so technically you could lose that. So if it's in your basket and you want to keep it, then make sure you're checking your basket straight away because as soon as it falls out, which can be about 10 minutes or so, then you can find that somebody's waiting. And if they get their order in that moment that you kind of lost your concentration, then you'll miss out on it. So make sure you're checking those baskets out with those. Sorry so I've just got my super smooth and I've... Uh, and I want to colour these. Okay. I've done this ink here, and this is how quickly I colour them. I've done some inks onto there, put some water on it. So this is if you're not confident with oh, your pencils. Oh, if you don't want to colour yeah. or, oh, or anything else, smush it in. Nice and then technique. just let them dry and you can see the different colours that are coming through. I'll pop that to one side. Brilliant. I'm not going to do any, um, I've got a couple more uh, stamps to pop onto here. I've dried okay. this. Excuse the dirty tea towel. <laughs> I won't be doing my pots with it, honestly. <laughs> and there was ones that I'd, and I've, I've cut some out already, but you can see the difference in all oh, the different colours that, that it comes up with. It gives it a mottled look, doesn't it? gives it, yeah. it a mottled look, definitely. That will dry down, but different colours that you're doing. So this one was just done with Victorian velvet, but we'll put some textures on. And we're going to use the awkward stamps to put a little bit oh, of extra right, te yes. extra textures on and just a little bit of, of more, more colour. Very nice, like this, and using the same colours that you and use using backdrop, the yeah. same colours. And I'm not worried about what I'm going to pop on here. We'll use a little bit of this Harlequin again, the the awkward archery one. Oh, I saw that in the centre of those flowers that you did earlier. Yeah, yeah. Nice. yeah. yeah. So we popped a little bit more on, and then what I think we'll do is we will bring some uh, Charming Pink versus Fine Claire in, because I just want the splats to, to be a little bit more predominant. There. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a, a good a pink. A good splat and a good pink, definitely. And then... What we should have done is had a piece of black card, which we have. Oh, we have. That. We've got one here. That'll do just Ooh, nicely. Nice. I'm going to pop that onto here, and then we'll build the flower up. And just some more to do words. A very quick time check. We've got a couple of minutes. A couple left. of minutes. Not a problem. I've now got one. Now you're back with us again at eleven. I Looking am. Looking forward to that hour. So lots yeah. more hints and tips and demonstrations. Skips. Obviously with things that haven't sold out. We've had a happy hour during this hour that sold out. We might. I don't know. We may have a happy hour in the next hour at 11 o'clock. So again, when the happy hours sell out, um, it makes you think, well, I'll get in nice and early next time if you've missed out this time. So uh, yeah, do join us at the top of 11 o'clock to see what the happy hour is for that particular hour. One thing I didn't organise is a piece of black, but we're improvising here. Okay. And then we've got one flat. I've Not got one it. already done. I'm going to bot that onto there and then the others have been cut out as you can see they're drying in different colors now 
nice, yeah. So if you don't want to colour it, and, and think if you've eaten embossed that, mm -hmm. how it'll all sti yeah. uh, stipple into each one. And then we've got some. Now we might not get all those layers in place because we're down to the last minute, Karen. Oh, wait. Where's the time gone, eh? And here's <gasps> one. There you go. She's, she's ahead of the game. So uh, that one will go. Ooh. It will when she when she sees which way it goes, there you and go. then the one that I've only done the centres with, I'll go there. Lovely. But I've done that with the um, circle one, nice. circle oh, background. The circle flowers, yeah. yeah. Beautiful. And do you want me to turn it round? Mm. Yeah, go on. There, there you yeah, go. Yeah. Look at that. That looks amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's a really pretty card. I love that one. Karen, thank you so much. Thank That's you. Good, yeah. It's been good to yes. see all those wonderful demonstrations. I'm going to wait now. Yeah, this is a wait now. She's raring to go. Should we do it all again? Yeah. Um, well, we can't because we've got the one day special coming up in a few moments, but we will see Karen at 11, so make sure you do rejoin us then. So anything in your basket, now is the time to check your baskets out because we're going to get busy in the next hour. It's one day special time. See you in a moment. We'll see you in three minutes, technically, because we've got eight o'clock coming up, and that means a fresh look at our one-day special. Then we've got our um, jewellery box selection coming up at, um, at nine, and then Sasha go. <laughs> Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. The stamps are all hand-drawn by me. They're made in the UK, most important to us at Picture This, and we have so much more to bring you. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head, so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue. eight o'clock so you know what's happening in the next hour we are having a fresh look at our current one day special oh my goodness what an amazing deal and so much of it you've got stamps you've got dyes you've got inspiration within this bundle and of course we are talking about elizabeth craft designs now we've got the fabulous esther joining us this morning good morning esther how are you this morning Good morning, Hayley. How are you? I'm very well and very excited because we did a show together, which seems like ages ago, but it probably wasn't all that yes. long ago. But we had loads of fun. No, I enjoyed it's, it. it. It's not that long ago, I think. 
time flies though, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Now, this is a brilliant deal because what you've got in here is a whole selection of dyes that are going to work alongside things you may well have already invested in, but also future things that you may well see come from Elizabeth Craft Designs. So within here, we've got all sorts of dyes. We've got some fabulous stamps as well. And you can see here lots and lots of content within your one day special. Now, of course, the one day special is launched at six o'clock in the evening and it runs for a period of 24 hours if stock permits us to do so. So this is a key thing you need to get involved as you can because as early as you can because you've got 111 stamps sorry dies in this set 78 stamps so much content in here and an amazing deal now you're saving at least 56 pounds now i say at least because if you're a freedom member you are saving 75 pounds in total which pretty much equates to the stamps that you've got there and this wonderful die set at the bottom here but let me show you these in close detail esther as we're looking at these dies i mean these these are phenomenally useful and I love the fact that you're getting so much in here. Yes, it's a great pack and it's um, you can make all kinds of cards with it and it has some um, sayings on it and then you can also uh, use them in your um, in your planner of course. Definitely. That's another one. <laughs> and I love this because you kind of got your bases to create your pages. And we'll talk about yes. um, the wonderful covers that we've got as well within the show. But yeah. then you've got things like your tabs that work with the stamps that we've got to give you kind of a, the, the organization maybe of your planner. Yeah. Yeah. And that's a, that's a really cool one too. You can make a, a day by day a planner or a memory planner if you want and i will show that to you later how to do that i love it now with regards to the one day special when it's gone it has gone so you need to get involved nice and early these are practical dies dies that you'll be able to use to get yourselves organized to organize your day maybe or maybe to organize um your thoughts um maybe just to have fun it might be something that you're just using for yourself or it might be that you're using elements from in there to actually use as decoration on other projects as well i would imagine that this is going to be a useful one as well esther with all these fabulous little phrases yes they are great you can also use them on cards or whatever other products you're working on they're really cool to use um, and they're a nice size and i like that you've got open areas as well so you could actually stamp these yeah. up as you go yeah Pers you, you can met them you can use them as a background really good point personalization yeah. as well we love to do that yes. don't we yeah, that's what you also can do with this alphabet. It's a, it's a stitched alphabet and it's the same font I used uh, on one of the earlier uh, releases for the, the smaller uh, planner. I love it. But it, this one has the complete alphabet and also the numbers. That's true. So even if you're just wanting to put a special number on a birthday, then you can do that yes. with these as well. Love it. Yes, now, that's correct. The stamps, obviously, um, no, we work, I'm going to hold these up with the packaging, actually, so as you can see them um, a little closer detail. Yeah. We saw the die earlier on, which was giving us the tabs. Now, these sit beautifully within those dies. Yeah. I, sorry, Hayley. Yeah, I have to correct you. Those uh, stamps d don't fit the dice. Oh, do they not? Oh, I'm sorry. No, <laughs> because I thought they, they, they were easy to cut, so you have to cut them by hand. Oh, the, the, I see, yeah. yes. It yeah. makes sense. Gives us a, the opportunity to get something extra within the one day special, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> now, these yeah. are nice as well. Nice little phrases. Yeah, and the little girls, which seems Beautiful. to be very popular. <laughs> They're gorgeous, really pretty yeah. artwork with these as well. Um, and yeah. lots of opportunities. I'll, I will show you them later on too. Wonderful. Now, I just wanted to show everybody all the stamps and the dies that they're getting because they're getting a considerable amount within this bundle, but we will come to you in a few moments to look at some finished samples. So everybody at home, that's what you're getting within your one day special told you you're getting a lot 111 dies you're also getting 78 stamps with these as well and it works out at just 95 pence per element this is phenomenal value for money now obviously it was explained that everybody's saving at least 56 pounds with regards to this one so even though if you're not a freedom member you are saving a lot with regards to this one now freedom members you are getting that additional saving meaning that you're actually saving 75 pounds and 99 pence which pretty much equates to all of the stamps coming to you along with that die down at the front there 
for the equivalent of that price. It's like you're not paying for those and you're just paying for the rest of the bundle, but they're getting sent anyway. But you also have the opportunity to spread the cost over three payments, which makes it a very affordable way for you to get hold of these. So if you're not a Freedom member, you're going to be paying £6.62 plus your post and packing today. All of this will be sent on its way to you. And then in a month's time, you'll make your second and then the, third, the month after that, your third payment with regards to this one. If you're a Freedom member, then naturally the price has come down. So it means that each one of those payments is going to be um, lower. So you're looking at three payments that are £9.96. Uh, and the good news is if you're not a Freedom member already, you can become a Freedom member instantly and take advantage of the deal on your screen there. So it's one of those ones that are paying just £7.97 today day you'll actually save on your post and packing instantly so you won't have to pay that and you'll get that 75 pounds and 99 pence saving with regards to these it's what we call a why not deal with regards to them so if you're wanting to take advantage the details are there on the screen but esther with regards to this one i mean you must have had loads of fun working with this one yes it's great to work with a new release is always great to work with but uh this one is kind of special, I think, because it has so many new elements and so many possibilities to uh, work with it. And also you can make a real planner now or um, use it as a memory planner uh, because we have the day by day stamp. Well, this is the thing. Now, Esther, I believe, do you need to change your camera in order to share yes, the finished yes, samples? Fair enough. Yes. I'll let you do I that. I can do that now. Perfect. Yeah, you okay. do that now while I tell everybody about these. Because, of course, we've been talking about those different pages, but you've got two different options with regards to your covers that you can get hold of. These are brand new ones. Now, this one is your desert st um, sand. You may well have come across them previously. Obviously, you've got your elastic and you kind of got your, your protector there. That's going to stop the elastic digging into the edges of your planner, as you can see there. Then when you open it up, obviously, you've got your ring binder here. You've also got the little buttons here that will allow you to kind of close and open up these elements here so you don't have to get your fingers involved with regards to those and then you've got your pockets at the side here somewhere maybe if you're wanting to pop a pen as well but all of the holes here correspond with the dies that you've got within the one day special so that means straight away the moment your one day special arrives if you've gone for one of these planner covers then you can start utilizing it and turning it into something practical that you'll potentially be using on a day to, um, by day basis so if you're liking the look of this particular one which I think is an amazing stuff it's kind of a neutral tone so perfect it perhaps if you're making it for somebody else 23 pounds and 99 pence 326 177 for that one but then we've got this gorgeous one this gorgeous kind of tan tone with this one again it's made in a similar sort of way with your wrap around we're calling this one ochre and you can see that again you've got slightly different um, color on the inside to complement that outer cover but again you've got the holes you've got your ring binder content in there and again plenty of pockets as you can see there as well now with regards to this one again a different item number same price of 23.99 but 881185 is the item number if you're wanting to get hold of this now one thing i've just noticed on the screen extended delivery with regard to this one this is something that i don't think i've mentioned to you but we regularly see this with elizabeth craft designs it's not too long to wait for these and definitely worth the wait but we're looking at sorry what's the date on this one again the 2nd of September, which is kind of, yeah, a week on Wednesday, something like that, isn't it? Not too long at all. Um, but, of course, if you're adding those covers in alongside your one-day special, you can spread the cost of those over three payments as well if you're wanting to. Now, something else, I'm going to bring in these because these are amazing. I've not seen this particular one before. These are always popular, and it's brilliant because you've got in here, you've got 32 sheets in 120 GSM and 32 sheets in two. 250 GSM so you can kind of see the difference within the book there so you've got your pages which are going to be brilliant if you want to do them out your papers but then you've got something more sturdy maybe for your dividers with that um, um, obviously the, the weightier 250 that you've got and again sized perfectly to work with those dies brilliant value for money and again if you're wanting to get hold of these you can spread the cost so 21.99 it's going to work out about an extra seven pounds and 33 pence there or thereabouts if you're adding it in alongside your one day special but two-thirds of the stock of this one has gone so if you're wanting it is that right two-thirds of the stock already my goodness 
Wow, it's only 10 past eight. Um, so, yeah, if you wanted to get hold of your 748237 with regards to those. But I've promised you finished samples. And Esther has got some amazing. Now, these are utilising the one-day special and, of course, the covers that we've been chatting about as well. Esther, I'm going to hand over to you. Talk us through your beautiful finished samples there. Okay, Hayley. <laughs> I hope you are fine and my, uh, my screen is okay. It looks Let me perfect. Check. Looks yes, perfect. it looks perfect. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I will leave it this way. Um, actually, I was thinking about uh, showing you my journal, my planner, to show you how I work. And then I will go through the stamps first. Is that okay with you? Yes, we're, we're over to you. It's your show now. <laughs> oh, okay, thank you. Okay, I have to see maybe a little bit more to the left. That's okay. Right. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, this is my personal planner, and I'm going to show you, give you a quick uh, flip through uh, to show you how I work. Uh, what I like to do is work uh, in weeks. So, for example, this is my week 18 from this year, and then I used um, in, in, in week 18 is in the month of May. It was in the month of May. And then I choose to use the colors, uh, well, a little bit pink and light green. So here you can see the way I'm working. I always use a big bold stamp for the week numbers. So that's week 18, week 19. I'll just uh, browse through it very quickly. So to give you an impression how it looks like. That's fabulous. Um, week, week 19, 20. And you see, it keeps coming back. The, the, the pale pink and pale green colors. And this is my week 21, which has a picture of me in 1972. Oh, adorable. And this year, yeah. My mom sent it to me. So I think, okay, this might be cool to use in a planner. Oh. But I also use uh, uh, other things I want to keep. So, for example, this is the invitation we got for vaccination. So I put it into with the, inv the invite inside our granddaughter. And then oh. I move over to the... Sorry? I was just chuckling. She, she looks very cool. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yes, she is cool. <laughs> um, then I'm moving over to week, uh, no, sorry, the month of June. And then I decided to use red and blue. So, um, and here I'm starting to use the new dyes because they just came out uh, wow. for us to make samples with. So here you see one of the dyes from the new release. Nice. And it has a, a, cute, yeah, a cute frame, which you can put pictures in, for example. But if you like to do other things like artwork or uh, uh, coloring stamps, you can use the frame too, of course. Um, these are the new um, stamps, the bold numbers, which I stamped in dark blue and then uh, cut it out with a little edge around it. I will do that later on too. These frames are also from one of the new sets. And uh, as you can see, I um, changed uh, the, the little parts which fall out and I use them in another frame. Ah, clever. So I hope it makes sense. It does, <laughs> Because sometimes yes. English is a little bit hard for me to explain. I think it's, it's similar to um, paper piecing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it looks like, yeah. <laughs> so here I also use the new uh, dice from the, 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 the alphabet, the stitched letters. Lovely. Over here. Yeah, here is another week 24, the big bold stamps. Uh, here I use the, the planner, the, 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 the big stamp, the large stamp. That's a so useful you can write. stamp. Yeah, and I like to use it uh, as a memory planner. So I write down what happened that week. Ah. So I'm not using it uh, to plan my days in advance, but I'm using it as a memory planner. Ah. So, yeah, uh, here's one of the texts from the, from the reminiscence book. And I tucked something behind like this. So that's my week, uh, my month of June. And I didn't finish it yet, but now I'm moving over to July. Oh, pink. Because I want to work in um, a little bit pink and yellow colors. So here you can see um, some elements I already prepared. So that's what I always do. I, I put in some pieces and paper, which I think look nice together. And then I will see what happens in that month. So here you can see I put in some pink and yellow. 
and that's it. So I'm going to start working the, in, in this one a little bit later. Lovely. And my, th yeah, my thought was to, sh to browse through the stems now. Yeah, Is that okay please. with you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Obviously, I will put this we, one aside. When we look at the stamps, yeah. you don't instantly necessarily know where you would use them and why you need them. So yeah, please yeah. talk us through them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, there are four new small sets, which also come in the one day special. And there's this large one. And I will start with the smaller ones. Uh, it has this cute uh, little girl. And what I would suggest, what I always do is uh, stamp a few of those girls in advance, like I did. And I've got those little cute boxes too. And I thought that Els mentioned them yesterday. She will bring them to the craft store also. Oh. So, uh, you have to wait for those. <laughs> They're called pizza boxes. But what I did, I was stamping the girls and then cut them out already. So you can see we have four girls now. Um, and there are two in this new release. The other ones are a little bit older from a previous uh, release. Not sure if you remember. I will put them down here. These uh. are the two new ones over here. And these are the two from the earlier release. Oh, they remind so, me. I like to work like this. They remind me of illustrations from books that I used to read when I was a little girl. Yeah, yeah, and I, I'm I'm drawing them myself, so oh, that's really wow. nice. Yeah, but it, I'm not very quick and and good in drawing, so it takes me a lot of time. But you can also make a nice group, you see, like this, <laughs> and put them on a card or something. Adorable. They're cute, aren't they? Yeah, so it's it's nice to stamp them, and then when you are working in your planner, in your journal, uh, you can grab them, and you don't have to think about it, you know, they're ready yeah. to go. Good advice. So, yeah, so that's what I did with the girls. Uh, I did the same thing with those labels, which you have to cut out yourself. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's no matching dye. And the same thing here, I, I stamped them, and then I cut them out. So I'm going to use those later too. And they're really uh, nice to tuck behind pictures uh, or if you are making uh, some journaling, just to give it an extra um, yeah, highlight. Yes, yeah. Is that, is that a good word, highlight? Yeah. That is the right word, yes. Okay. And then there are those big, bold numbers, which I really, really like myself. <laughs> and I also stamped these and cut some out already, as you can see. Here I stamped them in red. For example, here are some black ones, and I just stamped them on a decorative, decorated paper or maybe some old ledger paper or whatever paper you like, and then trim around to cut them. Fabulous. So you can use them. Uh, oh, and they're also cool. Wait, wait, wait. Here I made a combination with the girls and a masking technique uh, with the stamp. So you can also use this for a birthday or maybe a wedding celebration or whatever. Yes. And as you can see, I took all the numbers with different girls. Ah. I hope you can see. See, so here's yeah. number one, number two, oh. number three. And here, because she's a little bit bigger, her feet pop out of the tag, Clever. which I really like. <laughs> yeah. Uh, number five. And I just uh, mixed and matched the girls and the numbers. Oh, that's adorable. Number six. <laughs> oh, sorry. So the big bold numbers are really uh, great also for uh, layering and um, masking techniques. Love it. So number number eight, she is sitting a little bit uh, on the on the bot bottom part of the eight, so her her feet pop out of the tank too. <laughs> And number nine, 10, 11. Oh, I think I made this for the months, you know, if you're oh. working um, for the whole year. Yes, clever. But that's also really fun um, to do with the stamps. If you're into stamping, of course, and journaling. Yes, Okay, very much. I will put these aside. So this was the bold numbers and you can cut them out and have some prepared already. Wonderful. So when you need them, you can just easily uh, take them from your box. Then we also have a lot of words, of course, not lots of uh, sentiments. Uh, these ones like write and stationary, and uh, there's one more here, yeah. Story and memorable, you can use as a background, or they're also fun to stamp on top of something else. So they're really nice. It's like um, um, the, 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 from a, uh, how do you call it? A dictionary. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, yes, that's... I had to think of the words. That's okay. That's um, exactly it. Yeah, story and memorable. I think lovely. 
Yeah. And then those labels, I grouped them in two different sets, you see. Oh, and yes. with the, yeah, for those, I also stamped them a few in advance. So you can take them and, yeah, you can jot something down or stamp a, a little quote in here or write your own um, stories in little words. So it's really fun to have them all prepared and uh, ready to go. And that's what uh, Els also mentioned yesterday. Uh, if you have no inspiration on a certain day or you don't know where to start, just start with making those little tiny elements. Yes. So you have them prepared and then you, you, you can go from there. Yes. It gets you start started with. again. Yeah. Yeah. And these are the, the stamps, uh, the large stamp over here. And I stamped them quite some times already. So I have them also ready to go for the next week and I can put them in my journal. And here you see those tiny circles. These are the stamps for the reinforcers. Ah. Uh, we had the reinfor yeah, we had the reinforcer sets uh, earlier on the shows. Uh -huh. And um, you can use them on uh, different ones, but the main uh, important one is the normal circle one. Uh, I will show it to you. Let me see if I've got it here. Yes, it's this one. Yes, of course. Yeah, so you will st you can stamp them on those, on the paper, of course. So you first have to die cut them and then you can stamp on it. And I think you're able to use them on those two, for example. But that's something you need to try out if you want. I love and then it. Some, yeah, and then some quotes and, and sayings again, which you can stamp in here too, if you want. And I love so that. These You've are got things stamp. like, yes, this happened, and uh, a day in the life, and simple pleasures. So there's so much content within those stamps. Absolutely loads. Yeah. Um, uh, now, you've got 78 stamps in here, um, Esther. So there's a lot of stamps with regards to those. And 11, um, sorry, 111 dies as well. So there's a lot in there. Um, you've got yeah, everything it's a, that it's, you need, It's a really. very big, uh, a big one-day special, a large, yeah. It is. Now, um, I'm going to let you get ready for your demonstration, if that's okay. Yes, okay. And, I'll, and I'll join you in just a few moments, because I'm just going to reiterate to all the lovely viewers that have just joined us that we're talking about our current one-day special. It's in Elizabeth Craft Design's Planner Essentials, and it's a complete collection. You've got everything that you could possibly need in here. You've got your alphabets for your personalization. So you can use that to spell out the days of the week, the months of the year, use them in names and personalization for cards and projects. Then you've got your pages, your dividers. They are all taken care of with the different dies that you've got in here. You've got little pockets, little windows that you can create. Wonderful opportunities for you to put photos in. And then you've got some absolutely amazing phrases. Things that we use in our day-to-day -day, like OMG, hey, OK, you, LOL, all those things that we regularly use. Then you've got things like your paper clips that you could be using with these as well. So much content. You really are starting from scratch and creating something amazing. But the beauty is you're getting it all in one go. So this in collection that we've got, we've got a brilliant deal. Now on the screen, we've got your um, price there if you're a Freedom member. Now as a Freedom member, you're actually saving £75.99, which pretty much equates to all of those fabulous stamps that Esther's just shown us around and the die that you've got down at the front there. That is a lot that you're getting included within the price that you're not technically paying for because obviously everything else is brilliant value for money as well now they were available for us individuals but obviously popularity wise they flew out the moment that we shared them with you but you've got so many different dies some of these dies as well this particular one that we've got at the top here is double-sided so there is so much content in here that it is included with things like butterflies you'll utilize that in so many different ways the banner there you'll be using that with your card making but then you've got all the additional bits and pieces that you're going to be using in addition to all those other dies that you're getting dies that are going to give you the opportunity to plan your day to get ready for the year to um, kind of look back at memories I love the idea of using that stamp and actually keeping it almost like a diary documenting things that have happened so as you can look back and reminisce but all of this is included within your one day special you've got three flexi buys on this one as well so that makes it a very affordable way 
if you're to get hold of it. Spreading the cost, so if you're a Freedom member, you're paying just £59.96 for this to be sent on its way to you on the 2nd of September. And then the second and third month payments will go out subsequently after that. But it is one of those deals that you have to take advantage of while you have the opportunity. It's a one-day special, which means that that deal will disappear at 6 o'clock this evening. Or potentially the stock could disappear before then, which means we have to draw it to a close. That's why you need to get involved as soon as you can, because when it's gone, it's gone. 714-314 is the all-important item number. And as I say, if you're a Freedom member, take advantage of that discount. But if you're not a Freedom member, even if this is the only item that you buy as a Freedom member, then make sure you're adding in your Freedom membership because you're only paying £7.97, but you're increasing the saving that you're creating with this particular one. Now, don't forget, you need something to keep all those pages organised and you can't go far wrong with the covers that we've got here. Now, these are brand new colour options with these so we've seen lots of different styles of these so maybe you are ready to actually create more planners and you're wanting to go down different themes quite often you will choose the cover to the kind of style that you like working with so maybe that you want something that's quite neutral because you've got lots of different content in lots of different styles well with this one you can see you've got that almost like a, a faux suede look with this one on the inside They've all got that um, opportunity for you to store a pen. Um, you've got your little pockets there for you to put tickets and all sorts in there. And then, of course, you've got your ring binder, which is going to coincide with the dies that you've got within the set as well. Your elastic wrap around and your little kind of safety guard there to mean that you're not doing any damage with regards to the cover there, a key as well. And, of course, it allows for you to expand and add as many pages as you like. $23.99 if you're wanting that one, 326177. The other option that we've got for you is this beautiful, beautiful ochre colour that you've got. Now again, the inside complements that gorgeous outside and you've almost got a faux leather look with this particular one. Again, your elastic wrap around there, keeping everything safe and secure. And again, a very complimentary inside to this one. It's almost like a deep peach, beautiful. 881185 if you're wanting to take advantage of that. 23.99, again, incredibly affordable. And then of course, as Esther's been showing us through her planner, all those gorgeous different papers that she's been working with um, coming from um, a whole range of different uh, papers called Remi um, Reminiscence and within this particular one you've got um, a book two that I'm sharing with you here whole range of these but these are brilliant because you've got two styles of paper and card in here some of them are 120 GSM so again perfect maybe if you're wanting to use these for mats and layers you don't want to add too much bulk you can see they're double-sided there but then you've got exactly the same with regards to these going right the way through to your cardstock which is at the back and that's 200 150 GSM. Perfectly sized to work with your um, planners, your journals, and of course the dies and the stamps that we've been looking at within the one day special. Now, a third of the stock has gone of this. They are all, sorry, 70. I, I thought we'd done a, a bigger update earlier on, so I've completely thrown them. So, 70% of the stock, we've got 30% left maybe. <laughs> so 21.99 if you're wanting to get hold of these. 748237. And I can see Esther is ready. She's got so many elements that she's going to be working with. So Esther, I think we're going to come over to you next if that's okay. Yes, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Wonderful. Did You've got a lot to craft with there. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I was thinking of showing you now how you can make... Uh, some nice cards with this set. It's a double set, so um, you, there are many possibilities to use those. It has some uh, separate butterflies and the frames with the text, and I'm going to show you them a little bit more detailed. And then I'm going to combine them with the, the matching um, alphabet with the stitch line. And by the way, if you buy uh, our sets on most of the packaging, uh, it's not on this one because this is a double set. You can see uh, a sample I made on the back side. So you also have always have some inspiration on the back side of your packaging. And there's a fabulous, Just a, little face, detail. a fabulous Facebook group as well where lots of ideas yeah, are shared. Yeah. yeah, the Facebook group is called ECD and that means uh, Elizabeth Crafty Signs. So it's ECD Planners and Journaling, the Facebook group. So you, you are very welcome there if you haven't joined us yet over there. And uh, you can see lots of inspiration, many people posting their projects over there. So that's really fun. It's yeah. a really fun group too. It is a lovely group. I'm a member of the group yeah. and I love seeing what people yeah. create. Oh, are you a member too? Oh, that's great, Hayley. <laughs> 
So uh, I'm going to show you some samples I already made with those frames, and you can see they're really versatile to use. Um, these are some of the text frames, so you can see them a little bit better like this, uh, instead of oh. being backwards on your die. <laughs> so it says, remember this day, good things. This one is saying everyday life stories, and there's one with uh, celebrate. So these are the uh, ready-to-go frames, which you can die cut and then you can stick them on something else. But these are the same size cards, and I made, uh, for example, a little, little collage on this one. So that's something completely different with all bits and pieces uh, and vintage ephemera. Here I used one with um, a picture of our granddaughter, and she made breakfast for my husband on his birthday. So. Oh. Yeah, and here it says celebrate. I'm not sure if you're able to see it. You can, it looks fabulous. Yeah. And it's a okay. lovely photo frame. Yeah, so cute. She made it all herself. So, Aww. And this one is with one of the butterflies and with the frame, which also comes in the set. And one of the stems, which from the dictionary uh, words. Nice, yes. So that's also nice as a gift tag or uh, another collage, because I like to make those tiny collages with stamps and vintage uh, ephemera uh, and a little bird cut out. Another one. And this is one of the girls again with uh, one of the wings of the butterfly. Clever. And this is a, a, a bolt, of, uh, sorry, an empty card. So you can do some journaling over oh, here. And then course. this one says everyday life stories. That's fabulous. So these are just some samples. Uh, of the cards, and I'm going to assemble one now. Uh, oh, there's another one here. I trimmed off the, um, the little circle, which comes here. Okay. I trimmed it off because it was going uh, yeah, over her face over here. So uh -huh. I was thinking, okay, I can make it a, a landscape card. And here it says, good things. Aww. So that's my son with his little girl. Beautiful. And I'm going to yeah, use this in my journal too. Okay. And then I made uh, one, a combination of the new uh, letters, the new alphabet, and um, one of the frames. So I hope it's noticeable that, that you can amazing. see. That looks amazing. Yeah, it's layered. That looks can very effective. It? Yeah, so you've got kind yeah. of a red on top of black, is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. So I'm going to make this one in a different color combination now. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, that yeah. sounds good to me. Okay. Uh, I thought I had something prepared for this, <laughs> and now I don't know where it is. Hold on. Oh, it always where happens. Is... That's live TV for you. Yeah. <laughs> I put everything in those little bags, and now it's not there. Let me think. What was I thinking? Oh, yeah. No. Well, tell this you one what, I can Esther, do later. Esther, I just need to do a very quick stock update anyway. So okay. in, we'll come back to you in just a few moments. I'll only be a yes, few moments, no don't worry. Um, okay, yeah, thank you. It's been a very popular one-day special. Lots of you taking the opportunity this morning to take advantage. Now, obviously, it's a considered purchase. Some of you will have watched the launch last night and had a little look at it, maybe be thinking about it overnight, which I think is what a lot of you have been doing. But don't forget, when you look in at this bundle, you have got everything that you need. All you need to consider is kind of your, your binding options, which of course you can do with the planners that we've got. But of course the dies themselves, you could actually use those if you wanted to um, as a version of a cover. Obviously they'd be the same size as your pages, so sometimes it is best to have something that's a little bit larger, which is why those planners, and to be honest, at $23.99, I would pop one of those in because it kind of gives the finishing touch, gives it that professional look, and of course it's going to safeguard the contents within your planner, which let's face it, could house a a lot of memories for you. Now, with regards to your one day special approaching, half the stock has gone. So, if it's something you're considering, then you need to think about it quickly. Now, obviously, because of the quantity of these, when we've gone, they've gone, they've gone. That's it. You only have the opportunity to get hold of these as a bundle because the individuals sold out very, very quickly. But within here, you have got everything that you need. You've got your stamps, you've got your dies, you've got your content, you've got that added interest with regards to it. I love those photo frames. I didn't realise that that's the way that you could work with those until Esther shared them with us. Such a clever concept and gives you a lovely open area still for your photograph to go in there. So if you're wanting your one day special, please take advantage of those three flexi buys and certainly as a freedom member and if you're not a freedom member become a freedom member as you're checking your basket out. Esther have you found all your bits and pieces now? <laughs> yes I did I did 
I'm organizing a little bit more. Uh, I prepared something already, and I uh, because otherwise it would take too much time in a demo like this. Okay. So I'm just putting this aside. I think you can see it. So I'm going to make this tag for you, and it has the word celebrate. So what I did with most of the letters already, I, uh, I die cut them twice in two different colors. So here I used a little bit of, what's it called? Um, yeah, pinky, orange, uh, orange. Pink it's, it's, it's color that, yeah, it's black. kind of a, um, yeah. an interesting red, a, 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 not orangey red, like a tomato yeah. red. Coral, 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 coral. Coral, yes, indeed. Yeah, that's what it is, yeah. So, and now I'm using um, a, a sandy beach color and black. So I'm going to glue those two together uh, to give it a little bit more of, um, how do you call it, a shade yes. around the, the, the top letter. So and it's nice. I will do if. Because it will make it pop from the background with that little bit of black yes. accent there. Yes. yes, otherwise it's it's a little bit dull, like yes. this, you see. And when you uh, glue two together, it's so much better. And it makes it look three-dimensional. Yes, that's what it is. So um, I have to do three. And what I was also thinking, you know, the size of those cards, it's uh, in inches. I don't know it by head in centimeters. It's three by four inch. Okay. And that's the same size as you can use or people use in Project Life uh, albums. Do you know Project Life? I've not come what across those, no. Oh, no. It's um, uh, also another way of memory keeping, and they are using um, plastic. Um, oh, how do you call those? Uh, but I, I will show you one. Okay. Because I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm doing that for my granddaughter too. It's, it's like oh, this. Oh, yes. And then, Yes. Yes, and then you've got those plastic sheets. These are a little like your, the, the pockets that you used to get with 12 by yes, 12 albums. Yes, the pockets, albums. yes, that's what it's called. Yeah. And here I used one of those too. You see, good things and then a baby picture. So they it. fit uh, those pockets too. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah, that's good to know. <laughs> and this is my last one. And I am gluing this one down here. Let me see. Uh, if you do this, you have to make sure you are uh, gluing them down uh, in the same direction with all letters. Oh, so, yes. So, for example, I, I use the black on the, on the right, and yes. then I'm moving the, the sandy color a little bit up. So it will all be this, this, that the shadow is on the same side. Yes. And the colors that, that you've chosen, yes. they work perfectly yeah. with the, the planner covers that we've got with that gorgeous yeah. kind of yeah. sand yeah, and perfect. that ochre. Yeah. yeah? yeah. The, the ochre uh, one is proving to be very popular as well. So we've got the details yeah. for the ochre planner um, at the bottom of the screen. So yeah. yeah. And the ochre one, yeah, it's it, the, the inside. I love the inside, the combination, the ochre one, and then it's a little bit uh, soft pink on the inside. Yes. So that's a really, I think it's a little bit uh, hip at the moment, this, this color combination. And it's nice whether it's for, for ladies or, or, or gentlemen, it, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like a, a non-gender specific color really, isn't it? Yeah, that's what we were thinking. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, something else I did with this one because it's a little bit layered and this one comes on top. I wanted to have an, another layer of a frame inside as an extra, um, to give it a little bit more dimension. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. It does, so yes. I'm gluing, yeah, I'm gluing an extra, oh my. Now I want to be too quick. This is not working. Okay. And I'm gluing another frame down just to give it a little bit more uh, depth before I am going to apply uh, the letters. Okay. And this immediately gives me, um, um, how do you say, uh, I know where to place the letters now. So yes. I, I was starting at the bottom here, celebrate like this. So then you know for sure that it, it works, you know? I love it. <laughs> so, so Now the papers that you're using, are those from the reminiscence um, pad? Yes, it's all from, the, only the, the, the plain one, uh, the solid cardstock is just solid cardstock, you know? It's, but the other ones are all from the reminiscence uh, paper book. Nice. They're fabulous papers yes. and card. So it has to be something like this. Okay? Love it. So I'm going to, I'm going to glue those down too. So oh, it might take it? some time, but I will try to do it 
as quickly as possible. And I love that kind of formation that you've taken a longer word there, but spread it so as it, it, it fills the, the frame. Very, very yeah. effective. Now, I'm just, just while you're sticking those in place, Esther, I'm just going to do a little bit of yeah. a recap with our views because we've got some yes. other okay. papers that I've not even had a chance to share with you as well. So, of course, Esther's been working with a one-day special, which we've got on the screen at the moment. And these are obviously all the dyes that she's been working with, including the alphabet. And that's the key thing. You're going to get an alphabet in here. And it's a full alphabet. You've also got your numbers in there as well. And they are considerable sizes, as you can see. So they're quite statement size letters and numbers that are perfect, not only for when you're actually putting phrases and people's names in place, but maybe you want to use them for dates. I love the idea of the week numbers with those as well. So those are included within your one-day special. You can't get hold of those anywhere else. Um, we've only got them in the one-day special at the moment. They sold out individually. So again, they're part of your one-day special. Another reason for you to get hold of it. Then, of course, you've got all your addi um, additional dyes in here. You've got a total of 111 dyes in this set, as well as your 78 stamps. It is phenomenal value for money. It works out to be such an effective way to get everything that you need for your planner. And the thing is that you need to get hold of these alongside quality paper and card. Now, obviously, Esther's been working with that reminiscence pad, which I'll very quickly bring in to share with you. But we have got additional papers that we can share with you as well on the show, um, which are 12 by 12. So this is a reminiscence book that um, has got your two different sizes of, um, sorry, weights of paper in there. Your 120 GSM, which you will find at the front of your book, and then at the back there you have got your 250 GSM as well. So 748237 being that item number, as you can see on the screen there. And they're all double-sided, so absolutely beautiful. Pinks, yellows, corals in there, they are all featuring, and they all work so well with those covers we've been looking at as well. Now, something else that um, is always a popular item when we see Elizabeth's crafts here is um, your double-sided adhesive sheets as well. So we've got a couple of different ways for you to get hold of your adhesive. First of all, we've got the tape rolls. So if you're wanting your tape rolls, then here you're going to get four of these. You've got two different widths with regards to these, two of your eighth, um, sorry, two of your three mil and two of your six mil rolls with regards to those. Just nine pounds and 99 pence, 270072. We've also got your double-sided sheets available as well, which are perfect if you're doing things like die cutting your alphabet letters, because of course, of course it instantly makes them self adhesive. And these are perfect if you've got anything that's intricate that you don't want to apply a wet glue to. Time and time again, we see these being used and referenced not just by um, the Elizabeth Crafts Design um, kind of the demonstrators, but also other demonstrators that we have come and join us here at the craft store. 405041 if you're wanting those, 18 pounds and 85 pence. You're getting 15 of those sheets there, so brilliant value. Now, very quickly, we've got four different options with regards to your 12 by 12 papers. So I just wanted to show these as an option of another way for you to get hold of your papers. Now, they're all double-sided. The first one that we've got here is your rainbow happiness. Now, they're options under the same item number, so you can go for multiples. And within these, you will find that you've got two sheets of each one. But on the flip side, you will find that you've got a different repeat. So you've actually got 13 papers in total, including the back of the front cover sheet. And you've got loads of fabulous papers featuring within here that, of course, lend themselves to so well to your planners and journals. Some gorgeous colours featuring there, as you can see. So that one is your rainbow happiness. Next one that I've got very quickly to share with you is this particular one, which has got, again, gorgeous botanicals featuring in here. Your deeper kind of um, um, weathered look, which is why it's called Rusty Weather. Um, and you can see there, obviously, that rust detail coming through there. And again, mandalas, botanicals in there, as you can see as well. Really nice range of kind of deeper tones with those ones. Next one that we've got for you is this one. And this has got very much a kind of nautical um, water feel. Perfect. Maybe if you're wanting to do things alongside holiday photos and things like that. So again, you've got some really nice designs. But some of these will cross over. So you'll see mandalas and different stars across all four of those. So again, that one, if you're wanting to get hold of that one, you can do. Absolutely beautiful. And then the last one that we've got for you is this particular one here, which again, you've got things like your wood detail with this one in here. And there's very much a wood kind of themed this particular one. So this one's called Warm Wood. I think I've got some of these upside down, so apologies for those. But they're all on the website, so it's definitely a good way for you to shop. And definitely, per I mean, this is a perfect one to work with those planners. Make some fabulous pages. So 511662. There are options. You've got four different options, but because they're on the same item number, what you
you could do is go for multiples and it's only 9.99 for 13 of those fabulous um, finishing results do make sure you're using the back side of your front cover as well because that is your 13th sheet that you've got within there as well so don't forget to use those as well so 511662 if you're wanting to get hold of those now esther how have you got on with your letters are they all in place now yes they're all in place now <laughs> shall i go on yeah please carry on yeah. Okay, so you can see I, I glued them all on the cards, and now I want to place this frame on top of it. Um, I cut this one from uh, a patent paper. As you can see, it has some little letters uh, here and there, but um, I want this to be black, the middle part. That's what I was thinking in advance. So I'm going to make this black with a marker, and you just take a black, or you can do it any color you like, of course. And you this just start making... Yeah, so you can make combinations of any color you like. You can also do a, a white frame, completely white, like this, and then make it black. That, but that's up to you, of course. But yeah. I like it a little bit more with a little yes. bit of the design uh, from the paper. So I'm doing this very quickly now, trying to do it very quickly. That's okay. <laughs> and sometimes when you're doing it with this technique, it's easier than cutting a second one and trying to kind of stick one on top of the other. Yeah, 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 yeah. Only this is not a, a really good marker, I notice now. Oh, I'm trying okay. to find another one. Maybe this one goes a little bit quicker. I was chatting no, um, to our viewers and telling them about the double-sided sheets. They're very good when you've got yes. fine detail, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, they are perfect to use. I didn't use them for the for these uh, frames now because sometimes um, attaching a frame to uh, because you want to have it exactly on the other frame. Yes. It's and tricky. when it sticks, it sticks. You know, the double sided adhesive. There's no second chances. Uh, no, no. So uh, just to make sure uh, with things like this, I prefer to use uh, a little bit of glue. Okay. But it's just uh, because you can't move it anymore, because it sticks so well, you know? <laughs> Sometimes you need a bit of a wiggle room. Yes, yes. <laughs> so this is almost finished now. It's not the best yet, but... <laughs> That's okay, don't worry. Um, we've probably got about 15 minutes or so left within this ah. hour anyway. So. Oh, okay. no, actually it's 10 minutes. I'm sorry, I can't tell the time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, it's still early, yeah, on a Saturday morning. <laughs> it so. is very early. Now, we've got you joining us a little bit later on as well. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I think in an hour or two, I will be that's back. That's it, yeah, because um, I, yeah. I think we might have a bit of a time difference at the moment. But in UK time, you can yeah. be back at 12 o'clock. Um, yeah, then, then it's 1 o'clock over here, yeah. Oh, so there's an hour difference at the moment. And then we've yeah, got there's L's always an hour later. difference between us. Ah. Yeah. Okay. I have to finish this off a little bit more, well, because I can't do it later when it's on the on the paper, you know. That's true. Because otherwise, I will get the black ink on my uh, on my celebrate text. That's true. Oh, I can do. Oh, I know what to do. I will glue it down like this, and then I will uh, slide a little bit of paper underneath, so I can finish it later, you know. Oh, that's a good tip. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, I'll, because otherwise it will take too long for you to watch, and because we only have 10 minutes. I so, know, so. where does the time yeah. go? Yeah. They always say it's, um, time flies when you're having fun, right? They do indeed, and it's certainly yeah. flown in this hour. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to try and... So, I'm not gluing down the, the letters now in the, uh, the, 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 the middle part, because I need to... Um, yeah, I want to make them more perfectly black. No, you know? that's fine. That's so a I nice wish, tip uh, as will... well, because if you wanted to yeah. slot a photograph in and maybe change the photograph, yeah. you could do that, yeah. Oh, that's also, yeah, yeah, that's also possible. So it's here now, and yes, you see, you can slide in something else yeah. underneath. Be, be careful, yeah. and then um, adjust it. Now I can do a little bit of distress ink. Uh, let me see. I'm not sure if I've got the right color on my uh, oh, sponge, but we'll live, see what happens. Let's live life on the edge, eh? Yeah, <laughs> just a little bit. Okay, like this. Lovely. And then, of course, I already uh, prepared one of the reinforcers with one of those little stamps. Those Can you stamps see are so pretty. 
Yeah, and they, they are different ones with uh, words and little words, and but this is uh, like a small bingo card number. Yes. Which I really like. And then you just put that one here, and then a little bit of twine to finish it off. And now I need my scissors. <laughs> So, and then you've got a really nice gift card, or you can uh, use it in your journal with some pictures or other elements. Like That's this. perfect. Okay, so you can see we've got two now. Nice. Don't they look different because of the, the strength yeah. of the coral, so bright. Yeah. Yeah, and that's because a change of color is always good, you know? Yes. Just try and, and, and because that's always nice if you make uh, some of the frames, just start cutting them. Yes. And then you can mix and match, you know? Definitely. Uh, I, I cut those from all leftover pieces of cardstock. And then I will see what I'm going to combine together. So, for example, uh, if you like a darker background with a lighter frame, it looks completely different when using it with a dark frame yes oh. <laughs> okay well now i look like houdini or something do you see this <laughs> oh that's magical how on earth did you do that oh, okay i've got it <laughs> but, but do you see how different it looks if you take a dark frame or a light frame i love that and esther yeah. do or, you do you have your planner close to hand to show us how yes. some of these elements have sat within your planner? Because I know you've had yes. loads of fun with these. Obviously, we've just seen these being our one day special, but you've had an opportunity yeah. to work with these. So you can put them in. No, I didn't have that much time to oh. prepare those things. <laughs> oh, you've done well. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I showed you the other samples. Um, where did I put those? Let me see. The ones I'm, oh, here, they are here. <clears throat> I will show them one more time. So Aww. here's another one, in which is saying good things. And I'm going to save them <clears throat> because they are pictures, everyday life stories again. Beautiful. You can combine the stamps with one of the wings from the butterflies. And then this is with a little collage. Also, yeah, nice to give as a gift card something yeah, uh, i love yeah. that idea yeah and of course you could be making this, a card to match yeah yeah that's for sure yeah and here with the frame which is also in the set the banner frame do you call it a banner frame that's yeah, it, I think yeah so. banner. and that's again yeah. perfect for like a happy birthday sentiment or something yeah yeah, yeah. you can stamp any text you want over yeah. here and this is the one which is celebrate and this is another um Collage. I can Beautiful. do we have some time because I can do another quick one. But well, we've, I'm not got, sure. we've only got about five minutes left um, and I know that we, we will need you to turn your camera around so as we can say goodbye to you. So do you want yeah. to save that maybe for the next demonstration uh, the next hour? Yeah, okay, I can do that or I'm also going to work on this one in the next hour. Ooh, maybe that's fun to show already. Then, yes. Yeah, this is from uh, the Arrow set. I'm not sure if I've got it here. One moment. <laughs> Where is it? It's been hidden somewhere. Yeah, it's this one. Oh, yeah. And I'm of going course. to show you. Yeah, I'm going to show you the next hour uh, how you can make something like this and how you can incorporate those uh, pages in your journal too. Lovely. Well, we'll certainly look yeah. forward to that. So you'd like to get your camera set up so as you can say goodbye yeah. to okay. you. And I'm just going to, for the last opportunity this hour, tell our viewers about the one day special. It's a huge bundle. Now, we've seen lots of you getting involved with this hour. And that's what I love, because the more and more that we're seeing, the more content, the more uses of these, the more ways that you're going to be using, not only within your planners, but within things like your scrapbook albums, you're going to be using for your cards as well. You're going to be using them for practical application so if you are into getting yourself organized creating diaries or maybe looking back at some past memories and documenting them taking those photos off our, our phones that we all do we all snap up and take photos but we very rarely print them off print them off get them into your planners get them into your journals now with your dies when you get them you will have loads of inspiration with regards to these because the packaging that you've got will give you inspiration on the back so instantly you will see some ideas some of these are things that Esther 
Vanessa has created herself, sharing her ideas with you that you can then actually work with as well. But your inspiration doesn't stop there. Don't forget, do check, check out ECD planners and journals on, on social media, and you'll be able to get lots more of ideas, loads of inspiration from other like-minded crafters, making sure that you get the most out of your one-day special. I think I'm going to run out of hand space with this because you've got 111 dies in these. You've got 78 stamps and they work alongside each um, each other. Now it works at just 95 pence per element. You are getting so much in here and you are getting the ability to spread the cost as well. Those are just the dies. You've got 78 stamps as well and as a free demand but that saving equates to those stamps and that die down at the front there coming to you within the bundle and you're just paying for the rest of them. They're not available individually the dies anymore. They have sold out so the only way that you can get hold of these is within this bundle and it is an amazing deal. Two prices, everybody's saving at least £56 but as a freedom member you are saving £75.99 and, and of course somebody that was very key with the development of this one day special is the lovely Esther as well. Esther, thank you so much for your inspiration and thank you for being involved within this one day special. Yeah, thank you too again, Hayley. It was really nice working with you again. Oh, and, and uh, you too. And I must admit, uh, I love your top shelf with all those binders. That looks amazing. Oh, yes, you can see them. <laughs> You've been a busy lady. They're cool, aren't they? And they're all filled up. Oh, I love it. I love it. Now, I'm going to see more from you a little bit later on, yeah. um, 12 o'clock UK yeah. time. So I hope our viewers will be joining you. I'm sure they will be because they will have enjoyed this hour as well. So for the yeah. time... I hope so too. For the time being, I'm going to say goodbye to you and thank you again. It's been a pleasure working with you. Okay. Goodbye, Hayley. See you later on today. And really? I'm going to be back with this book. Okay? I can't wait. That looks amazing. Um, thanks, okay. Esther. Thank bye you. Bye-bye. Um, the details, obviously, on your screen there with regards to your one-day special. But don't just stop there. Jump onto the website and have a look at everything else because there's loads and loads. Obviously, you've got your content of your one-day special. That is the starting point. Don't forget to add in your cover. You're going to need your cover to keep everything pristine, to keep everything looking beautiful. And do not forget get about those papers they have been incredibly popular and the beauty is they're a really good size for you to work with with your dies for your pages for your dividers and you've got your two different weights of paper in there as well which means it's incredibly practical when you are working with those dies that you've got within your one day special you've got your 120 gsm at the front and you've got your 250 gsm at the back there so again whether it's a page or whether it's a divider you're wanting to create you've got everything that you need in there absolutely beautiful 748237 nearly dropped it then now make sure you do rejoin the lovely esther at 12 o'clock a little later on today i know i certainly will be so anything in your basket now is the time for you to check your basket out and anything that you want to add in alongside your one day special you can spread over those three payments as well i'll see you a little later Bye. Now, coming up to 9 o'clock, which is our regular jewellery box slot on a Saturday, and I'm looking forward to this one, Beck Beck Makes. Then I'm here with a fabulous Ajil plate with Sashiko, and then we've got some Pendas back again. <laughs> Hi, I'm Charmaine from Dolly Dimples and I've been crafting since I was a little girl and I have a massive passion for anything crafty related. Dolly Dimples is a fictional character in Dolly Dimples Town. There's uh, whimsical characters, fantasy characters, mythical characters. There's so much going on, so much happening in Dolly Town and it's a fun place to be in. We have decoupage, backing papers, we have templates for 3D objects, stencils in the mix, we have dies and lots of other things are coming to you soon. Make sure you tune in for the Dolly Dimple shows and have some fun. Did you know you can watch the craft store 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player on Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Craft Store channel, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how you do it. 
Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Craft Store app. Simply press your home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the Channel Store. At the top of the Channel Store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter the Craft Store into the search bar and this will take you to the Craft Store app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Scroll down to the Craft Store app and press the star button on your remote. You can use the arrow buttons to move the Craft Store to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it! You can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your favourite TV whenever you feel crafty. I hope you are very well. If you are just joining us here at the craft store, well, we have got a delightful hour ahead of us. Of course, we are talking about nine o'clock here on a Saturday. It's, ta it's talking about jewelry and how to make your own creations to wear, and you know, kind of, of course, you kind of wear it and it's a gift as well. We have got back back makes uh, again here today with Rebecca. How how are you, Rebecca? I'm good, thank you. Are you excited for this morning? I'm very excited. It's the first time that we work together, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Uh, but can you tell us a little bit about you and how you started creating these amazing uh, pieces that allows us to create our personalized uh, resins? So I make illustrated jewellery, but it's more like features woodland animals, dinosaurs, just fun things like that. And I use a lot of resin to finish the top of my designs off. And then I started moving into like resin crafts and using like the silicone moulds because you can make so many different things and everyone can do their own unique twist on using the same mould. They can create something completely different. So. Yeah, but that's a great idea of having creating your own basically feature pieces for your jewelry or mm -hmm. hair clips and things like that, right? Yeah, and it's so quick and easy. So um, we'll be able to make some finished pieces in this hour. So we kind of start making it with and basically wear it at the end of the hour. Yes, definitely. Well, after five minutes. <laughs> oh, that's fabulous because usually with resin, certain types of resins, they take 24 hours to yes. cure, which is fine. You know, there is there is obviously a place for that, but I like the idea of having uh, also ready to make. Now we have got some new products. Uh, now the first one is we already 20% of the stock has gone, and we are talking about the oval um, the silicone mold kit. Now this is reusable, right? So we yep. can use it as many times as we want. I also love the quality of the um, the silicone it feels very good quality yes that one is one I've cast myself and it's a thicker rubber mold so if you've bought previously the the other silicone molds from me this one's a different sort because I wanted to give you the opportunity to try something you can achieve different effects with the the softer silicone so we'll show you that later. And I love the way that this size is perfect for a um, hair clip, yep. but also brooches, because I love yep. that. You can also attach necklace backs and turn it into oh. a big pendant as well. That would be lovely. So the size that comes out is this one, right? So it's, that would be amazing as a necklace yeah. piece, because I'm kind of thinking this kind of, it could go either way, like you could put drill two holes either mm -hmm. side. Yeah. Or just one in the in there at the top, <laughs> and also earrings because one of the things is this uh, resin feels very lightweight yes, as well. Yes, yes, you can make some lovely big earrings without them hurting your ears. Yeah, because I'm thinking. Well, I don't know if it's it, we will be able to see it, but but that could work uh, actually. I think that will work. <laughs> but maybe. Maybe I don't know. Anyway, but I love I love this, and of course you have used different. Um, well, we will ask about what kind sort of inclusions you can incorporate. Yeah, uh, right. Of course, we have got pigments on the website, so I would imagine the micas in there as well, and glitters and things like that we can add. Mm -hmm. uh, right, uh, nine ninety nine is the. Ooh. 
that was, that was the flow. Uh, well, it's flying out. Uh, a quarter of the stock has already gone. 861-934 is your item number. And of course, you are getting two of the hair clips, bags, and two of the brooch for just $9.99. Then we have got the rectangle. Again, we are talking about that quality that you have poured the silicon molds mm -hmm. yourself. Uh, and also, I love the, the, um, the thickness of it because if we put it at the profile there, we can see it. And it's again a nice, it's not too thick, not too thin. Yes. That is gorgeous. And of course, then you also are getting uh, the hair clip bags and then you are getting the brooches, two of each. Um, I really love this because that looks very much like an artist piece as well that you can yeah. put. Is, is it, would it be possible to put in, um, so for instance, I'm thinking of wedding bouquet and then you dry a flower yes. or something like that. <laughs> yeah. So you can incorporate petals in there. And um, we've actually got on the website a flower press that I brought in one show. Ah. And then as long as you completely dry the flowers, so there's no moisture, you can put all your flowers in there and they look beautiful, cast in resin. Oh, I love that. <laughs> uh, 696 814 is your item number. 10% already gone. Uh, very popular as well for the Rick tangle mold and 9.99 is your price then we are moving on to the Pekka mix uh, so we have got you can choose any two of the smaller size molds in here but I think for making your own jewelry these ones definitely you need these ones in your life I love the fact that you have got different shapes in there to go for uh, you have got the uh, the diamond uh, the heart the star and, and the hexagon. So we'll have a look at the diamond, which oh, I adore this one with the Sakura blossom in there. So that's just a sticker, a waterproof sticker I've popped inside it to give oh. it a different effect. That, so we can mm. use our st waterproof yeah. stickers or any sticker? Uh, you can use any sticker as long as you like cure it with something to make it dry. Uh, sorry, waterproof. So like if you put a bit of PVA on it, let it completely set and then you could submerge it in the resin, that no problem. That is absolutely gorgeous. And then of course we have the heart in here. Uh, this is uh, the most popular. Oh, I'm surprised, but was good to have hearts and look and I love the, the I love that one because mm -hmm. we have a red and half white or transparent look at that is beautiful and of course it comes with the um, both the pain backing and the hair clip uh, then uh, we move on to the star which is that one uh, let me grab it somewhere oh, look at that and if we have got earring um, backings, could we use them as well? Yes, you can add, add these onto anything. You can use them in scrapbooks, you can use them jewellery, Christmas tree decorations. There's so many options. And also, what sort of, because of course we have got your own resin in the show, but what other materials would work in here? Um, trial and error. So I just use it, glitters I've got at home. Um, you can, as long as things are dry when they're going yeah. in, it, you shouldn't have any problems any. with it curing and Perfect. holding it. And then, of course, we have got uh, the hexagon in here as well. And you can see the, oh, look at that, with the little seashells in it as well. Love that. Uh, the, imagine making your own earrings, your own hair clip, or uh, so much, many, so many possibilities. Remember, this is a pick and mix brand new today. You're choosing any two, so you could choose the heart and diamond, or the diamond and the hexagon, whichever option you want to. Or you could do the diamonds and the stars if you wanted to. Uh, 750065 is your item number, 999 is your price. Brand new today and you will find it on the website thecraftstore.com. Now of course there you will see all the brand new ones but also back specs, um, backpack mix, uh, of course the resins and of course you will find some of her top favorites there. Look at those five star reviews in there, you know that they have been very popular in the past and also you have got the liquid pearlescent pigments in there, you can choose any two again with five star reviews and then you have got the bead molds the pick and mix you're choosing any two of them absolutely gorgeous have a look of course on the website we have also uh, a brand new one uh, of the pick and mix uh, oh and the beads we have got a brand new option of the beads uh, which is 
the small round one if you want to. We will we will see them in shortly after the first demonstration. But if you go for the big molds, uh, if you wanted a brand new one, you can go for the round uh, small one. Uh, right, um, uh, Beg, uh, Becca, Rebecca. <laughs> that was kind of Beg, Beg, Beg. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah, Rebecca. Yeah, I asked that question before. Rebecca, it is. <laughs> so what are you going to show us? So I'm going to do another little sea scene um, with sand and some shells. And what Perfect. I'm going to do is I'm going to submerge half submerged shell at the end Ooh. so you can see how you can just you can have things sticking out the resin as well yeah. so all I'm going to use this time I've got a bit of sticker paper old right. sticker paper yeah. just to mix my resin on so that um, I, d I don't waste it and it, <laughs> it works perfectly I'm going to use a pigment um, this one's the pearlescent light blue but you could use any of the blues and I'm only going to use one pigment in this and then I'm going to use the oval mold some shells and some sand so to start with, I'm just going to mix a little bit of the... Oh, I see. So you mix it onto the sticker paper. Yeah, onto the sticker paper, because then you can either cure it and throw it away and reuse your sticker paper, or you can put, put it all in the bin. So I'm just mixing that in. I've probably put a little bit too much resin on that, because you only need a tiny amount, but... Okay. Uh, okay, so, and then I'm just going to fill along this bottom line to give the bottom, you know, like the sand and the ocean look. So, gently pushing it, it moves like honey. Now, usually with, with molds, we work from, like, basically the bottom is actually going to be the front. Is it the other way around? Um, this either way on this, you can choose when you've finished it which okay. side you prefer, because right. you can put a clear layer over the top to give it a, a lovely shiny finish. Right. So, whichever way turns out the best can be the end. Now, so, I was just going to say, um, I like... I am not wearing gloves, but if you have sensitive skin, wear gloves. Treat yeah. it like super glue. You it's know the yeah. same, the same should caution you use. Should we always test it first with gloves? See them do. You know, like yeah, be safe. Just yeah, be safe. Because I had a lady message me, and um, it does say um, not to breathe the vapors or anything like that. But you, it is a safe craft. Just do it with your windows open if you, you're worried. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cure this under the torch for Which a couple a of UV minutes. Light? This is a UV light and it will take two to four minutes to fully cure. But as I'm going to be building this up and it's going to be under the light again and again, yeah. um, I'm just going to quickly go over it until, just tap it until it's solid enough that it's not going to move. And then I can move on to the next layer. By the way, we have got the starter kit, details on the left-hand side of the screen. The torch comes in with the resin as well. So we do have also the resin on its own, should you have already purchased the starter kit. But if you don't, £14 and £49 for the starter kit that contains the resin that is cured with the torch. And of course, uh, two spatulas to, or wooden sticks to mix it up. 710659 is your item number for the starter kit. Or, uh, you know, if you just need the UV resin, bottom of the screen 10.99 for the bottle on its own uh, the starter kit already uh, is 20 percent of the uh, stock has gone so grab yours and check out your baskets back to you Rebecca. okay so i've just shook this pigment bottle up and what i'm going to do now is just squeeze the tiniest amount onto here and then mix this in to the resin mm -hmm. and this is the pearlescent one so it has this beautiful shiny finish and then i'm going to add a little bit more resin to that and what I'm going to do for the sky is, once I've done the C layer, I'm going to then mix just a bit more yeah. resin in to get, make it like a clearer, lighter blue. Right. So, so this will just be the little C layer. Just gently teasing it along. And if it goes a little bit over, you can just pull it back with a stick and generally it's savable. It doesn't move quick enough that you you, you feel like you haven't got any control over it. And you can mix these pigments together as well if you, um, if you wanted to get a different shade. So you can create your own shades, you can yeah. blend. Could, can you do like an ombre effect? As yeah, well? definitely. It just, I, I just keep adding a little bit more um, of the resin in to get a lighter and lighter colour. So this will be just a little C layer. And again, I'm just setting that in place so that I can 
pop the sky colour in. Yeah. That quick and it's that's tacky. Quick. To that's quick. That's already set. That's not fully set. That's still oh. tacky. But All because right. I'm going to put the torch over it again right. in a minute, I don't need it to be completely set because yeah. it's going to get the right amount of time. Mm -hmm. And um, you can, if you if you find that you're curing it and it doesn't feel like it's set and it's still tacky to the touch after a while. Yeah. Um, it's usually that you t you need to put new batteries in your torch. Oh, I see. So uh, the batteries are not included in the torch, no. by the way. Uh, so, of course, uh, does it require triple A's? Yeah, triple A's, three triple A's. But if you feel like it isn't curing, it's usually like the light will still be yeah. on. It'll still look like it's yeah. on. But it's but not as strong enough. It's not. The batteries have, have gone a little bit weak. And that that's the problem I've had every time when it's it's been yeah. an issue. So I'm just going to spread this sky layer out. I'm just trying to make it a noticeably fainter than the... Uh, for instance, our, uh, by the way, our producer is uh, this, uh, wearing uh, very proudly uh, her uh, mm -hmm. earrings of the resin that, um, that you, I think you made in the previous time here. Uh, uh, we have them on the show today as well. It's the Moon's one, I think, that she's wearing. And she had, like, they were a little bit taggy, so she left them on the windowsill. Yeah. Is that a dub tip? Yeah, so... When working, you want to work with your back to the sun if you're mm -hmm. doing it in the daytime because the resin will start to go a little bit clumpy. Oh, uh, yes. So uh, not conservatory kind no, of resin no. work in there. Definitely not. Um, but then it works in your favour when you want to then, set at the end, set it, it or just leave it out mm -hmm. so you don't have to waste your batteries. You can just leave it in the sun and it will eventually cure mm -hmm. under the UV light. But also if you have a nail lamp at home, oh. You can just use, that's what I do, I've got like four nail lamps stacked on top of each other. That's a good top tip as well, because of course that, that some people may have one of them, um, and that would work really well. In which case you can just go for the silicone on its own, either the resin on its own. But of course, I think having the, 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 um, the torch is really good, because then you can do... Um, I suppose if you want to do more pointy directional, yes, then that, yes. of course, the torch gives you that ability. The torch is handy. And, I mean, once it's, like, set enough like this, you can prop it up and carry on with something else and leave the torch just yeah. shining at it. So if I just show you what I've done there. So I've, we've created a little beach scene. It looks like a seascape, doesn't little it? seascape. And then just to make it a little bit different, you can... I'm just going to squeeze a tiny bit of pure resin onto there yeah. just move that around a little and then if you can just get a shell and you can oh. submerge it in and I know proportionally that one looks a bit big but I'm saving the little shells for something later yeah. and then again I'm going to just pop a little bit more resin around the edge because what you would do is just finish it with a completely yeah. clear layer just to fill up the mold so you got that lovely even effect on it and what the resin the clear resin will do is magnify what you've done behind so it looks lovely when it's finished and just pushing that up to the shell and then that will hold the shell in place just got to be careful when going around the really? bottom moved it a fraction a little bit more See, the, this resin's best suited to smaller crafts because right, yeah. obviously with the, the curing it, but it's, what you can achieve with it is just incredible. And you still get the durability, don't you, of oh, the resin? Oh, definitely. It's set so hard. Like, we, on one of the shows, we knocked things off the table and it didn't even touch it. Oh, I see. <laughs> I love the, the fact that you have got this, this mold as well, because what other materials? I mean, obviously, you're using the resin, but could we use uh, pepper clay, for instance, on the molds? Or could yeah. we use um, something like... Uh, you know, there is there's so many different kind of types of clay that they are for molds. Yeah, again, as long as... So, do you mean using the clay in the molds? Yes. Yes, as long as... Because uh, these molds in particular I've brought on are quite flexible. And um, the reason that's a good thing is because, like one of those hair clips, I've curved it slightly when I've yes. been setting it, so that oh. when it sits in your hair, it sits forward a little bit. And that, I just gently prop the mold up um, onto something so that when I was curing it, it cured in a curve. I see it, so there you can see it there perfectly. So 
curves in there, and then you can see it. That's so lovely. I, I think this is also for a pendant, you know, in a necklace. That would be so. The fact that it has got some curve in there. Yes. It's, just, it's like kind of a movement in it. You can also, if you put it over something even more so curved, you could use it to create a like a bracelet front. Oh. So you so can make if a chunky you put bracelet. Something like, like yeah. this. So you can then how you would hold it though? Um, because you could literally be holding it with one hand and curing ah. it with the other. Of course. Or you could even do it against your wrong yeah. wrist if somebody kind of help you helps you. But then also if you put that on a flat surface surface, sorry, that it's stays it stays ah, perfectly in place yeah. so that it um no, not when you're curving it, yeah. like when you put it down, it sits they're weighted enough that they hold themselves down so yes. it's not like it's, it's it, it hasn't got the strength in it. Let's give that a little touch. Right, and what, what I then do is I flip it over right. and I will just cure the back. Oh. So if anything's got missed, that's why we use these... Transparent yeah, molds. Just to make sure... Transparent. Sometimes you'll pop it out and it'll still be a little bit tacky, but again, you just run the torch over it. And I think that'll be enough. Let's have a look. So now I'm just going to pop, so if you see that, we've made a little beach scene. And then we're just going to easily pop that out of the mould. And it is done. And if we have a look at the back of it, with these particular <gasps> oh, silicone moulds, yeah. they have such a shiny finish. Yeah. Like, so if you were to wear it that way, you've still got something pretty. But, yeah. And that's that one. That's so lovely. I mean, imagine a day on the beach and then you can't get a little tiny pebble or something, not pebble, but, you know, kind of a seashell and, and just have a memories forever as well. This could be also very nice if, you know, those destination weddings that people do, oh, you know, yeah. so everybody kind of grabs a, you know, a, a little shell or something like yeah. that. And then they have got all matching or similar, all but all different, favors. you know, the wedding <laughs> favors. Because this is something as well that you could um, take with you as well. Uh, now, Rebecca, we will let you get ready for the next yeah. demonstration and give a quick recap of what Rebecca has bought uh, today. Now, starting, of course, the oval mold which Rebecca was using. And as Rebecca was saying, there are very a lot of different qualities about uh, these molds. Now, they have been hand-poured by Rebecca herself and one of the things I love about it can you see how shiny it is in the inside now that means that you don't have to do anything extra to get that clear uh, brilliant finish on the back as well as on the front the other thing I love about it is the depth of it it's the thick enough that you will can get a thick depth but not too thick that you will have a chunky element in there as well and the fact that it has been that kind of silicon that is absolutely transparent means that of course the UV light will go through it and travel and set the back of it as well so now you have got in here of course, the uh, oval kit, which you have when it comes with two of the, of course, the clips in there, the hair clips and two of the back brooches for just $9.99. We are over half the stock, and of course, it's a brand new today. Think about making, uh, you know, earrings. Think about making pendants. Think about making brooches. There's so many possibilities. I really like the idea of pendants, uh, uh, earrings. I think it's just going to be super cool. And of course, you can color your resin with any pigment uh, from Back Back Makes. And I'm going to ask as well, kind of sand and things like that, keepsakes as well. Eight six zero one nine three four is your item number. Three quarters now of the stock has gone off the oval brand new today so if you want yours uh, 861-934 only 9.99 it's a fabulous price and also think about it you can do embellishments and then put them onto your mixed media projects your uh, scrapbook there is something as well, like there is a lot of uh, memorabilia that is not asset and lignum free. If you want to preserve it as it is, encase it into resin. And these sizes are perfect depth for that, including, of course, the rectangle. Oh, oval is approaching limited stock. If you want the oval, please make sure to check out your baskets. Uh, we have got another brand new one, which is the rectangle. Now, the rectangle has all the qualities, of course, of the previous mold being transparent means that you can set it from the back as well, so kind of give it that pure shine with the UV resin. But also what I love about it is the fact that it's super shiny, so you will have a pure, beautifully shiny and smooth back as well as the front. It comes as well with the two hair clips. 
and the uh, of course the two brooch bags but don't think just uh, for them you can of course drill through them and make maybe a pendant or you could even attach it on the back with a loop um, a hook and loop no hook and loop just a loop you know a metal uh, loop uh, 696814 is your item number 999 is your price so if you want yours do check out your baskets we have got an Oh, 40% of the rectangle has gone. Remember the oval, so it's a technical sell out. Now, we have got it in an extended, it will be dispatched from the 25th of uh, August, which is only a four days. And considering that today is Saturday and tomorrow is Sunday, it's not long to wait at all, is it? Uh, right, do check out your baskets. It's, by the way, it's one day before the celebrations of the craft store uh, sixth anniversary, which is on Wednesday. So. Uh, we are so excited. Uh, anyway, do check out your baskets if you want the oval. Remember, sold out and now back on extended just a few good days. Now, we have also the uh, gorgeous pick and mix uh, that you can see there. This is the pin badge hair pin reusable silicone mold. Now, it comes with the hair um, pins as well as the, uh, of course, the oh, pin badge. Pain badge is there, the first two words. Um, sometimes words, you know, it's just like I cannot read them. Uh, but of course, that means that you have a straight away to have to be able to complete two projects per, ch per choice. So you, of course, you have picking two, so you will have four projects in total. However, you can reuse it time and time and again, the small. So you could make them into earrings uh, or beads if you wanted to as well. Now, the heart, we are approaching, a, where is this, There's a heart, a third of the stock. So that is the most popular option, I believe. Uh, but of course, you're choosing any two. So you could go for hearts, you could go for diamonds, you could go for hexagons, you could go for, of course, the stars. It's up to you, whichever one you like. 999 is your price, 750065 is your item number. We have got some returning favorites. Uh, now, this is uh, the brooch in here, you can see there. Uh, this is really different. Rebecca, I need to bring you into this because you have got uh, liquid inside them. Yes, so um, it's basically like a snow globe brooch we've made there. Oh. And um, you use that mold and you fill it all in with resin and then you put a layer of plastic on the front of it, leaving yes. a tiny little hole to inject some water inside it when you've sealed it all up and I'll, i can show you how to do that in a little while if we've got time yeah and um then you can make like you put whatever you like inside it again as long as it um can be in the water without problem then it, you can keep it in there and shake it about that's so cool <laughs> i mean you could have in here you know your favorite um well i don't know like maybe you could if you go again i'm just thinking um destination holiday well you know somewhere or even if if you go to the seaside and you want some sea water. you wait until you see the uh oh. the one i've got to make in a minute oh a okay. well, that's theme. exciting <laughs> uh, also i kind of thinking of course this is the side that you do it the one that is more um you know hollow in the, yeah. the tug but could you use the bag for something else? You Don't could, have. but the um, the surface of that is slightly mottled, so oh, you'd I see. finish with that, that yeah. effect. And as long as that didn't bother you, you could always dome it as well. Yeah, because then you can have the two like halves of Best a friend necklaces. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Uh, there you have it. If you want uh, yours, uh, that's, it comes in with, this is for the water, isn't that's it? That's pop the water yeah. inside it. So, of course, that comes in, of course, there. And then you have got the backings as well, and the plastic uh, backing as well. So you have got those ones included in the kit for just 999 uh, 694 748 is your item number a returning clear favorite really fun i think that little girls will love that one and uh, then we are going for oh sorry 10 percent of the stock has already gone off the returning favorite um now I love the affordability of these prices because remember, silicone molds, you can use them time and time again and experiment, should you wish to, with different materials as well. That is talking about the quality of these molds. Now, if you want to create your own beads, these ones, of course, uh, give you the ability to do so. We have got a pick and mix, so you're choosing any two 
for just 9.99. I love as well, uh, Rebecca, that you can actually, um, you know, create your own beads, but also you have got six of them, so you don't have to wait between, like, do a bead at a time. With the bead molds, though, you have to be so gentle when releasing them because the thing that makes them good is that they curve around at the top, but it's also the thing that makes them a little tricky to pop out. Oh, so see. as long as you're gentle, you can get your beads out of there and they'll form perfectly. Yeah, absolutely. And this is the brand new one. Uh, look at the bead. I mean, a quarter of the stock of the mini round uh, circle, uh, uh, you can see there, the one that I'm holding uh, has already gone. I love that the fact that you can just have the perfect, let me hold it the right way. I don't know if, if with can the, I do um, With the, the square bead, you've got a lot more control if you wanted to make right. your beads a little bit more exciting because the top of it's open so you can build it up in layers and like put a, <gasps> A clear layer, a glitter layer. That's so cool. Whereas with the the ovals, you, you, it's more of a lucky dip. You yeah. pop it in there and hope it <laughs> turns yeah, out cool. Oh, I love this as well. And I love the, how perfectly square. So you have got the large square one, and then we have got the smaller square uh, beads in there. So whichever option you want to, you're choosing any two, and you can do six of the same shape at a time. Nine ninety nine is your price. Five 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 four nine eight is your item number. Then we have got another pick and mix uh, here. Uh, now, of course, that one is about the making your beautiful necklace pendants. But there is also, I was thinking, this could be a, um, can we use this as a, well, I can't ask, um, do, um, if, if, for instance, in a dark color or a yes, pet yes. color. So we can put maybe the. Um, All I say is color. if you're going to use it in a dog color, get like a jump ring, you know, the little metal yes. circles, and put it over the necklace thing. So when you set it, you're reinforcing oh, the, yeah. the hole, because then um, obviously dogs are not as yeah. gentle with their jewelry. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, <laughs> but you know. Uh, now, of course, you can see like key, key chains as well, like you can see here as well. I love the key, that's just such a cool one. But of course, we have got the heart, and it's a pick and mix as well, and the Oh, the heart is not available. Uh, the heart has sold out. I'm so sorry. Uh, you know, this is why you need to check out your baskets. Look at the, the teardrop as well. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. In there. Love that. And then, of course, we have the circle there as well. Twelve forty nine is your price. You're choosing any three. So you could go for the Eiffel Tower. You could go for the Lucky Travel. Uh, oh, is it tra Travel? Four Leaf Clover. Ah, uh, Clover, Clover. Oh. Ah, uh, travel. In Spanish, it's travel. <laughs> you know, I was like, my brain. Because uh, you really know I'm a Spanish. Uh, I don't mention it enough. Uh, and then, of course, we, uh, which one is vulnerable? The teardrop is vulnerable. I'm not surprised. That's beautiful. Once they're gone, they're gone. So make sure to check out your baskets. We have got, of course, the square, the circle, the oval, the flower, and the rectangle there for you. Uh, 12 pounds and 90, 49 pounds is your price. 088614 is your item number. Then we have got the EPIC, a mix of the earrings. This is what uh, our Katie, my produ producer in my ear, uh, is wearing today because here you can make. Um, well, two pick and mix earrings. So you're choosing whichever shapes uh, you want, uh, but it will have, look at that, it has got the, the earring backings. Oh my goodness. Look, but so you have got different colorways per kit. So there we have the cat's um, silhouette which of course is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, one of my favorites has to be. Uh, then we have, this one is, but this one is even more favorite. It has like, um, the gem, yeah, it has like kind of that faceted, faceted yeah. kind of element, which is really, yeah, it's really cool. It really looks like, is it agate or onyx that looks a little bit like yeah. this? Yeah, that black I know in there. what you mean. So beautiful in there. Uh, then you have also the square option, I believe. Uh, there's one of the options there. Absolutely cool. And this also would be really lovely to, um, just to have these inclusions then into the bigger molds? Yes, you can submerge them in and include them as shapes inside them. Gorgeous. And then we have, now this one I'm going to take the backing off so you can see, can you see there the moon? There. And um, our Katie loves her moons. And then we have got the star as well. There we have it. Moons and stars. 
if that's your choice, you can, of course. And then you can make a pair that is art as well. You can have the moon yeah. and the star <laughs> in the one. Uh, now, of course, if you want uh, to go for this bundle, it's a pick and mix. You choose any two of those choices for nine ninety nine. Three nine four five nine nine is your item number. You will find them on the website, thecraftstore.com, alongside lots more, including the pigments there. You can it's a pick and mix, so you're choosing any two of them. And of course, there is colors like gold, bright red, black bronze gold rose pink dark green brownish red uh, you have also evergreen apple green brown bronze green so all these options you select whichever two are your favorites um, and then of course you add them to your basket and you can see the five star reviews from somebody who loves backpack makes uh, products there you can see them there uh, then of course check out your baskets because we already had had one sell out it is back on extended delivery uh, this will be dispatched from the 25th which is of course the oval now the starter kit 40% of the stock has gone and remember the starter kit comes in with the resin, the UV resin. It comes in with the UV torch as well and the two wooden sticks. Now the batteries, triple A's, you will have to put them yourself. However, uh, it is that light that you have got to cure that resin. 14 pounds and then 49 pence is your price. If you are one of uh, Rebecca's many fans and you already have got the torch and you just want the resin, we have got that one as well for for you uh, for 10.99 is your price Four to six, eight eight six for just the resin. Approaching a third of the stock has gone as well. So make sure to check out your baskets now, Rebecca. I believe you have got more demos for us. Yes, I'm going to do a little hair clip. Okay. Um, right. So I've put a tiny bit of resin on here to start with, and I'm going to mix. This one's the pearlescent pink. I'm going to use this time. So you just need to make sure you shake it up a lot before you use it and when you get your bottle you just either need to snip the end off or pop right. a pin in the end because it's just to stop it leaking in travel and i'm just going to put the tiniest amount this stuff lasts so long <laughs> even though it's a small bottle and then i'm going to mix that in and i'm going to do a gradient through from pink to blue flakes into like a iridescent glitter on this one okay so Again, I'm just going to push it to the edge yeah. of the mold at the bottom. I, I think it's just, this is just, this is just so easy as well. Is it like a good first, um, you know, like a first step into resin because it's so easy to, you I, know, cure it and things like that? I'd say so because with the, like the two part resin is incredible for doing big projects, you know, like your coasters and all things like that. But with these smaller things, this resin gives you the opportunity to create things that you can almost freeze in time instantly. So um, you've got so much more control. So for a first craft, I think it's a, a good start. So I'm just pushing that along now. And then I'm going to, I'm not going to cure that this time because I, I want to achieve that sort of merging effect. Okay. So I'm going to gently, this is just, I don't know what you actually call this. It's like, you know, the little flakes of like iridescent. Oh, flakes I would call them. Flakes, <laughs> yeah. Flakes, yeah. Just some little flakes that I've got in my craft stash. And I'm just going to mix that with the resin again. Yeah. Use. And then so what other um, inclusions we can uh, put into the UV resin? Um, so you can put, like if you've got like old jewellery, yeah. you know, like beads and stuff, you, oh, can, um, cool. you can use them to like either make pictures or just submerge them to make them pretty. Sorry, I'm struggling to pick that one up. <laughs> I have to do it this way. I'm just going to gently tease this into there and then I'll move it around. Okay, so now can you see the well, clear? Well, we have had pushing. a suggestion from the director. Yeah. Uh, so you know when somebody has a baby and then the first flock of hair that you yes, cut? Yes, yes. Um, that could be a nice way to preserve it, wouldn't definitely. it? Definitely. With that, again, you just have to make sure the hair is completely dry. And as you're submerging it, you want to um, push out any air bubbles that are caught yeah, underneath. Yeah, of course. Okay, so that layer and those two layers have now sort of blended together. And I'm going to do my third one of iridescent glitter, which I, is my favourite thing to put into the resin because it just catches all the light and magnifies. 
So uh, also, I, I, you know, when um, when my little wasabi, um, well, you know, passed away, uh, somebody offered to because that's what something that they do as well to put the ashes yes. of your loved uh, pet into resin as well. And they're you? already completely dry, yeah. so you shouldn't have a problem. So. If you just gently mix it the way yeah. I am doing with the glitter, you can do the same and you can cast it into, you know, like pendant, base, yes. pendant bases and um, ring bases. You can cast them into there and they will hold and they will, they will look lovely when, when they're finished. Yeah. Okay, so there we have the three different layers I've just popped in to make this. And I'm going to cure it now no. just to get the initial the initial layers set together so they're yeah. all touching each other and once that is see that's instantly tacky to the touch and then I'm going to fill up the rest of the mold with some resin just to give it that magnified clear finish yeah. there we go yeah I'm pushing it to the edges. Yeah. Now, if you if this wasn't in the mold, if you'd popped it out and you felt like the finish, the surface was uneven, you can just pop the some resin on the top of it and push right. it gently to the edges. So I love that you have got like maneuver maneuverability. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, you can definitely maneuver it, and um, you, you know what I mean. I, you know, <laughs> I don't know why I go for Control. Read words. Words. <laughs> You know, even the small ones I cannot pronounce this morning. So. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Yeah, so yeah, I love that you can move things around. Mm. And yet you have got that quick setting power of the UV uh, resin. Yeah. And then that. I'm just going to keep the torch on this mm. for a little bit longer. Whilst we're doing that, I'll just show you. This was one that I've made. Where are we going? There we go. Mm. Um, this was made using the four-leaf clover. Look at that. And it I've, looks like a, like a red uh, like rose. Like a poppy or a yeah, rose. A ro yeah, yeah. Uh, poppy, right. More, more, yeah. um, just, and that's just two four-leaf clovers layered over the yeah. top of each other. So if you, you, you can always use the moulds together and yeah. um, to create different things. That would be lovely if you want to raise some money for charity. Can we yes. use the moulds for charity? Of course. Oh, of fabulous. Course. And for, uh, can we sell for profit? Yes, definitely. So I, finished projects. Can you imagine that? Because also the fact that, you, you know, the other thing I was thinking, my, my little niece is nine years old. She's very an, an entrepreneurial mm -hmm. and she loves to, like, whenever she likes to sell stuff. Yeah. And she, well, she asked my mother and her grandma and my, and my sister, her mother, you know, like old pieces of jewelry and she sells it off. Yeah. But she could make that, couldn't she, yes. with adult supervision? Uh, yeah, definitely. I always say, like, kids love it. My daughter loves it. It's it's more you just want to be there to ensure because the yeah. resin, you want to think of it like it is a strong super glue. Yeah. Um, and as long as you're there guiding it, yeah. then kids can have such a great time with it. Yeah. Right. I mean, you could make, like, for instance, I would be doing the mixing up and then I would pouring it and she can maybe set it as yeah, well. Yeah, set you it. Know. Or and she tell me, yeah, exactly. It would be such a fun, fun Okay, time. so that, can you see that gradient? I'll turn it that way. Up. Look at that. It looks like a iridescent, almost like northern lights almost. Yeah. So I'm just going to pop that out now and it is finished. And then you can see on the other side, it's lovely and shiny on that side too. Yeah. And with this then, if you wanted to attach a hair clip, yeah. I'll use a silver one because that's what you get in your kits. So you would literally just place it on the back there and get some resin. Things are all in the way. So I would just submerge the... Yes. Submerge it in there so there's a bit underneath oh, holding it in place yeah, and then you need to just make sure that the resin is overlapping the metal onto nice. the onto the plastic and then that's what will hold it in place like that's so yeah. so um so this is a much easier way isn't it that to put it in while it's setting the full piece that kind of gives you a little bit more control over it. Yeah, so um, with the back, obviously, if you want it raised up, just prop it up on something and then you can just cure it into place like that. Oh, Perfect. Perfect.
look at so that. quick. <laughs> wow, look at that. It's absolutely gorgeous. 750065 is, of course, the pin badge and hair pin reusable silicone mold. Now, there is a, a pick and mix, so you're choosing any two, but the hard option uh, approaching half the stock has already gone. If you wanted to go for the hard, make sure to check out your baskets. Now, the star option also very po uh, very popular. 40% uh, of the stock has gone. Look at that. Little stars, and you can use them as many times as you want. Then we have, of course, the diamond shape, which I adore it because it has got that kind of that shape that is. And then we have got the hexagon as well. But let me show you first the diamond in here. And then we have the uh, hexagon there as well. Let's put it there. You can see there. I love them. Uh, 9.99 is your price. Uh, do you remember, you are uh, choosing any two, so you could go for. Actually, um, if you wanted to have to the sort of the same shape, so you can do the same shape like for earrings yeah. in one go, that could work. I mean, that, that yeah, that's, if you it's put a two of the same. It's uh, right. If you want, 9.99 is your price for any two. Right. Okay. So work to you. Yeah. So I've just been curing that, and then it's attached on the back there, and then you've got a perfectly formed hair grip. Yeah. That's beautiful. <laughs> and then obviously it's just the same. But with these um, these rubbery molds, again, if you wanted to do it for a ring or something, you can just gently curve it as you're setting it. And um, it just gives you so much flexibility. That is fabulous. That is, mm -hmm. thank you so much. Uh, we'll let you reset for another yeah. demo. And of course, I'm going to give a reminder of the starter kit. Uh, now, we are over half the stock. And of course, the starter kit includes 25 ml of the resin, the UV resin. Uh, it includes also the UV light torch. Now, it doesn't have batteries, but you put just uh, three AAA batteries. And then you have got the two wooden stakes. All that for £14.49. 710659 is your item number. Sorry, I'm holding this all wrong, can I mean? But you can see that. Right, to check out your baskets for this or anything else that we have got on the show because we are very busy. We have had already a sell out, uh, but it's our back on extender, so you still can get on those beautiful molds from Rebecca. Uh, right, what are we looking at next, Rebecca? Um, I'm going to show you how to use the heart mold and oh, some perfect. of the different things perfect. you can achieve with that one. So you get the mold, and then you would fill it up. I've done this already so that we don't have to waste time with the boring bits. So we fill it all up and then you'd fill it completely across the back. And then what you'd be left with would effectively be like a trinket dish. But if you just filled the heart up, you could make like hoop earrings oh, or, you know, yeah. like, or yeah. your own necklace base. And if you then wanted to fill that without putting the front on, you could just put some masking tape on the back right. and then carry on with your design yeah. inside it. So... With this one, I filled it all the way up, and then, sorry, I'm going to do this one instead. So what I've done here is I've done a glitter layer inside it, filled it all oh, up. That's I've cool. done a wow. beach scene again, yeah. but using the yellow at the bottom and the blue gradient, as we saw earlier. Now I'm just going to pop this out of here to do the next bit, which is the trickier bit. So but just it's fairly easy, isn't it? Oh, this, yeah. It, it's easy, but it's the trickiest bit of this one. <laughs> cause it, wow. There we go. So that's, wow. if you wanted to just have it as a trinket dish yeah. for like rings or something, there's your, right. your finish. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, with the plastic you get, you right. just need to trace around your heart and cut a heart out that's slightly smaller than the outside oh, rim. I see. Yep. Then we're going to fill this with whatever contents we want inside it yeah. so i'm going to put some little shells in oh, and some sand perfect. so oh, we have had a question from christine yeah asking if you can embed textiles in it yes it ah. looks I've got something to show you in a second that's so pretty So, for cool. instance, a lace for, um, uh, you know, grandma's wedding dress, for instance. Yep. Or something for, you know, something you can preserve it, it so forever. nice. Um, it gives the, uh, the uh, like, with the colours on the fabric, it will make it look darker, you know, like, as if it was wet. Yeah. So, as long as you're happy with it to change its colour slightly, um, then... It, it will work perfectly in, in the resin. So I'm just pouring some sand that I got from the beach the other day when I went to the beach. Oh, yeah. Into here. This is quite gritty sand, so it's weighted. So when you, um, goes to, when you shake it, it'll go to the bottom. So right now that doesn't look very pretty, but it will do. So I'm just going to put the plastic over it. Yeah. And then I'm going to 
just need to get that central. Sorry, this is a fiddly bit. I promise this is the trickiest bit though, is getting the heart in place. <laughs> okay, then I'm just going to put a completely clear layer over the top and push it to the edges to make sure it's overlapping that, that seal, that seam. There we go. So we are, are uh, is it 20% of the uh, heart, uh, 40, sorry, um, of the mold with a beautiful heart. Uh, right, so if you want yours, you know what to do. Very busy for this one as well. So you're kind of creating a thin layer to cover, right? Yes, we so that. the plastic's acting as the barrier to stop the resin going in, and then you're effectively just doing the top layer now. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going all the way to the edge, and then I will cure that. And there, in this mold, there's a tiny little groove, which is oh, left. Yes, I can see it. And that is that is just here. Yeah. And once yeah, the plastic's on it, it makes like the little tunnel where your water will go. Ah. So we just need to pop a little bit more resin on there to even it out. Sorry, I just is that, it's so, it I, I, I'm so satisfying as well. There is something mm. about the resin, the viscosity of the resin that is really satisfying going like how it's, you know, fluidity mm. and I love that. So while I'm just curing that, I'll show you another thing you can do. Can we see that? Uh, get to there we go. So with that heart, yeah. I've got some thread, just normal embroidery thread, ah, and I've written. That's so cool. I've submerged that in resin, right. and then written the word love. And then what you can do is then attach it to the back of your heart, and you can make those um, chunky word earrings. Yeah. Oh, so that would be so cool. Yeah. I mean, if you can see. Or you have a pendant or something like that, or a keychain as yeah, well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you can you can write anything with it, obviously. But it just gives a cool um, cool yeah. effect. So there's a letter letter bit. That's, like, that's a really good uh, good idea. Yeah, that could be for our Benjamin <laughs> or other Benjamin. So there we go. That may be out there. This. So just, this is still a little bit tacky. I just want to make sure. Sorry, this is the the not so interesting bit. But as you can see, it's getting clearer and clearer. And you can see all our um, our contents in there. So we'll just get the water. So in that kit, you get the little water bottle. And what you want to use is, if you want it to glide slowly, you want to put um, baby oil in here. And if you want it to not um, fade over time, okay, you want yeah. to put um, dis uh, distilled water in it so that it doesn't have anything in there. And then you. You just fill this up, but you need to leave an air bubble in there so that it um, it has the the room to move. So I'll just do that. So now it's partially full. Can you see that? There we go. All the water's in there. Yeah, okay, bad. And I'm just going to pop a little tiny bit of resin on here to now. To seal it. Yeah. So then. Will not the um, you know the water kind of damage the resin at all? No, no, because it's just it basically becomes a solid plastic. Okay, once of course it is. Yeah. It's more that if you if it depends what contents you've put in there. So on the previous show, I put paper flowers in, right, but yeah. I cured them in resin yeah. beforehand to basically make them plastic, and then they will stay in there. So this won't take long now. But you can put anything in there if you want to put photos in the back of them or um, like other, I put pearls in them before, like little yeah. pearl jewellery. And chunky glitters, obviously, my favourite for everything. Let's see if that's right, that's set enough that I can show you now. Look at that. Look at that. So I think my shells were a little bit <gasps> too big to fit in there. No, but I like that there is some kind of movement, <laughs> you know. Stability and then kind of everything floats around. That's so cute. I love that. <laughs> That's so cute. Uh, and it's only nine ninety nine actually. The bundle with the the. I, I don't understand how it can be so affordable because then you can then make to sell. I mean, you can make 
you could create a little business in which you kind of preserve memories for other people like yeah. you know you do offer that and that would be so cute as well so many nice ones yeah and it also for instance i remember that my uh, my grandma had this beautiful yeah. necklace it's, it's fashion jewelry it's nothing but it was very sentimental value but we have got like three or four beads left so you can preserve them there. yes and put them into a pendant that you'd yeah. actually wear every day exactly or even also i was thinking can you incorporate uh, you know those led lights yes so we can have the the switch outside and yes. then put it as long inside. as the electricals are not in, in the like touching yeah. the um well not necessarily in that but in the resin in the jewelry in oh, general yeah, yeah. um as long as you're curing it and it's not getting into the oh, electrics yeah. then it's absolutely fine and they I look just, so i was good. thinking uh so could you put the led lights around the in the resin it themselves yes yes so you could have the outside with the, all the, the the lights and then kind of coming out yes i've made a christmas tree brooch before with the <gasps> christmas tree lights on so That's you so just cool. have to be careful as you're setting it yeah. you have to go a lot slower and build it up but you I can do that. it i <laughs> uh, absolutely love that mm -hmm. and now if you want yours well you can have them their details are on the screen six nine four seven four eight is your item number 999 is your price now we have got the solid pigments on the website the craft store dot com and you can see them there and it's a pick and mix of uh, choose of any two of them uh, you can see them there uh, absolutely gorgeous you have got the light purple the darker purple 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 <sighs> talk yeah I'm on. I think I'm all right it's only the first hour of the day long day ahead apple green and there are dark green and navy gray and brown so you grab choose choose your uh, whichever uh, you are your two favorites and check out those baskets because once they are gone they're gone so do not miss out on those ones and remember that we had had a sellout of course it is back on extended uh, the uh, dispatch it will be the 25th of August uh, just for four days which is of, I know it's Wednesday isn't it yeah, it is the Wednesday. It is the Wednesday. So, uh, 999 is your prize. 861-934 is your item number for the uh, oval. Uh, very busy for that one here as well, as is the rectangle, which is a brand new today as well. So do check out your basket because you are getting that hand poured uh, mold by uh, Rebecca herself that has got the shiny effect in there. So you have got two uh, sides to choose from. And it comes, of course, with a hair pin and, of course, the uh, two uh, brooch bags. 60% of the rectangle option has already gone. 9.99 is your price. 696.814 is your item number. Then we have the hair pin. I need one of them. Actually, I'm not going to steal it. Don't worry, uh, Rebecca. <laughs> Uh, but they are absolutely gorgeous because you can make so many with them. They are reusable. They have got that quality, that shine. And of course, 9.99 is for the price of two of them. You're choosing whichever two. If you have, if you are thinking, I want to make my own jewelry, like maybe earrings and things like that, you can go for bo both the same one, so that way you can do two at the same time, identical. However, obviously, you might want to go for the diamond and the heart to have some different uh, shapes in there. And of course, you have got the star, uh, and then you have got the hexagon as well. Nine ninety nine is the price for two of them, so you choose whichever one is your favorite. But also very, very popular for the starter kit. And here we have uh, the two thirds of the stock has gone. We have got the, of course, the resin, the UV resin, twenty five mil of it, and then you are getting the UV light torch. Uh, doesn't come with batteries, but it's just triple A's batteries, and of course the wooden stakes. Seven one zero six five nine is your item number do check out your baskets it's a fabulous kids and very affordable and lots of fun rebecca it's been a pleasure Th thank you so much it's for bringing okay. them uh do you know when you are next oh i do it's next month <laughs> i think it's the 19th well the 19th of september yes i believe well so. we look forward to that <laughs> so about a month or two but uh, please make sure that you check out your baskets because um it was going to be a month before rebecca comes back and if you want to enjoy making your own jewelry this is perfect to start to create to preserve those memories and of course to enjoy them as well uh, and you can make it to sell as well which i love that mm -hmm. rebecca it's been a pleasure thank you so oh look you have finished the love one look at that let's Ooh. have a look oh look at that Oh, that's cool. And that's I, just with normal embroidery thread in the so resin. Cool. That's so beautiful. <laughs> uh, do make sure that you check out your baskets. It's incredible, uh, kids. But uh, stay tuned because the next show is about Japan.
I'm, we are so excited about this. Uh, Sashika uh, with Festival of Japan. Jill is ready, and so is Haley wearing the most beautiful uh, Haori. I think this is the short part. Yes, and of course, then tremendous Stampenders. Hello, I'm Haley. I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Haley. I'll be covering lots of areas of soft crafts like quilting, dressmaking, sewing, knitting, even printing your own fabrics. In the foothills of Alnul, a lawless event unfolds. The craft store's sixth birthday, an exciting time beholds. Phil Martin and Indigo Blue, Heartfelt Creations, Zuri, and Crafts 2. With six pounds of credit, there'll be plenty to buy. With great one-day specials, the aces are high. With discounts and deals, with prices to amaze, join us for a hoedown for a wild seven days. From fabric to paper to glitter and pencils, pens and stamps, inks and stencils. Join us in August, a craft extravaganza. Happy sixth birthday, the Craft Store's Bonanza. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. My crafting journey's taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products as well as some of their other amazing brands such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut and the Craft Artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. Konnichiwa and welcome. We have got the most incredible hour. You may well have sensed a buzz from our lovely Paula. You must tune in later. But this hour, we have got the most incredible kits to share with you and the most beautiful display of different things, all relating to the beautiful country of Japan. You can see myself, I'm wearing one of the fabulous jackets that has been bought. I can't even pronounce the name of this style of jacket. So I need an expert, really, don't I, to help me through this hour. Thankfully, we've got an expert on hand, our lovely Good Jill. morning, Konnichiwa. how are you? Konnichiwa, genki desu. Oh, uh, that's Hi. it. Uh, that's just happened. nod. Just the one, yeah. It's easier to nod in Japanese. Just nod. <laughs> yeah. Now, I have to say, around you, we have got the most incredible pieces of work. Beautiful. Can I just say, I've just seen myself and I'm not wearing black and it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's very strange. Oh, bless you. Sorry, carry on. Uh, yeah, we've, um, we gave some uh, kimono to a design school and some of the gorgeous girls there for their final projects produced wedding kimono. So we've got two of the most fabulous wedding kimono. Uh, one of them's about a size four. <gasps> They're tiny. So I, I don't think I could fit that around my yeah. leg. So I've left each leg for me. Um, we, had a, we had a struggle to actually get them on the mannequins. They were that small. Beautiful. Well, they're lovely, aren't they? Gorgeous. Yeah. Gorgeous. The colours so, are amazing. Uh, this is what a lot of the, the Japanese brides are wearing now. So they're using their traditional outfit for the for the main wedding. Yes. And then they're having one of the traditional outfits made into a ball dress. Lovely. So they've got a Western feel to it as well. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And I just wish you could get as close as we've been able to, to see that gorgeous embroidery. And of course, the story behind everything that's in there, which we're going to be learning yeah, during I'll this Yeah, I'll tell hour. you anything you need. 
Oh, I love it. I love it. And I, I, I've just grown attached to this. Can I just step out a set just to show you this? Because this is absolutely amazing. Now, make sure you do tune in later as well, because Paula is going to be wearing the most incredible outfit. But I absolutely adore this. I'm just going to turn around as well, because Jill's told me that on the back of this, this is hand painting. Yes, all hand painted absolutely yeah. incredible. The important thing if you wear these jackets is when, when we're British what we tend to do is we pull it up to the neck but with a Japanese jacket you have it pulled back so it's flat at the hem so it's taken just off the back of your neck and it hangs beautifully then. Absolutely gorgeous. So am I wearing this correctly? Is absolutely okay? perfectly. So these are Howry. Howry are never fastened at the front closed. Okay. And there's so, a little cord there. So you've got two little cords that tie at the front. So they, they're, they're to show off the kimono when you're, when you're outside. It's an outside jacket. If only I had a kimono to wear, eh? Well, but never mind, I don't. But Paula might have a I little think bit Paula might on. fight you to it. I think she will. Yeah. <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm locked in a broom cupboard later, you know who's put me there. <laughs> now, let me take you through some of the items. Now, thankfully, you are jumping ahead already. I mean, we've been having loads of fun already. But I am conscious of the fact that we are here for a reason. Oh, yeah. And the reason being is we've got some <laughs> amazing things to share with you. Now, many of these items are just while stocks last. And that's what we've kind of got with the first section that I'm going to be sharing with you. Kicking things off with the Lucky Rabbit panel. Now, this, we've got a couple of different options with regards to these. Now, what you are going to get, either indigo or black being your fabric that these designs are printed on. And your, your designs are going to vary. They're going to be square designs when we get these, They're slightly oblong. Oh, okay. Um, but I've squared mine off because um, I like squares. Wonderful. Now, this one isn't actually cut, but you will find that your pieces are cut into squares. And then it's what do you do with those squares? Well, you'll be introducing your own fabrics, I am sure, and creating the most incredible pictures. Well, you can embroider on some of the design if you're wanting to. Absolutely love these. So it's a sashiko kit as well. So you're getting your needle and your threads and everything. So you that's sashiko directly on to the fabric. Beautiful colour threads. Traditional style threads? Yeah, the... Um, it's an Olympus sashiko. Sashiko is an eight-stranded thread, okay. so each one of those single strands has eight individual strands inside, um, and it's a twisted thread. So okay. it um, kind of unravel it to stitch with it. No, no, you actually keep Just it as, it is. as oh, eight okay, strands. Right. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, needless to say, you've got a needle, so the moment this arrives, you can get started with it. You've got a pencil, needle threader, you've even got something to protect your little fingers as you go along. So this is the indigo version, but the black version is where, um, pre proven to be very, very popular as well. So 10% of the stock is one of the black. Again, designs will vary, but your fabric has got a black backdrop with it, with, of course, that beautiful design, all relating to the lucky rabbits that you've got there. And again, you're going to get similar style thread, your pencil, your or a needle, everything to get started. Now we've got a couple of different patterns featuring within these ones. So the indigo, do we get the table runner pattern? Yeah, well what I wanted to do was, was give people a bit of inspiration on what they okay. can do with them. Um, so in one of the kits you're going to get a pattern. The, the pattern isn't relating to the fabric, so you're not... Oh, okay. So it, it's a general pattern that you can use for anything. So that one enough. of them is to make a table runner with a Japanese uh, sashiko design on. Um, and the other one is the Kinchaku bag, which is a really lovely bag. And you can see it's made from squares. So if you've got the squares, I mean, I've got the indigo one here, and obviously you're getting that with your, your black fabric, but you're making these to yeah, make the sides. Yeah, you put those together. You can make them bigger oh, as well. Okay. So if you want a bigger bag, add a bigger border on it. Got you. My mother-in-law, Christine, helped me out with that because, as usual, I was behind with everything. <laughs> oh, bless. Um, and she'd be very impressed with me there because I did everything and not everything. Oh, she there you for go. Saying that. <laughs> everything, Christine. Um, and she came up yesterday and the day before and she did all my sewing for me. Beautiful. So she's a star. I love it. She absolutely is. So thank you. Thank you for your help, Christine. Now, these are flying out. You've got your indigo, obviously, with the very deep blue there. You've also got your black. And the significance of the rabbit? Um, as with many things in Japan, rabbit is a, a lucky symbol for longevity. Um, there's lots of different tales about rabbits. Do you want me to tell you one of them? Oh, go on then, very bit, quickly then. Oh, I'll tell you later then, because it's a bit longer. I'll tell you when I'm demonstrating some Fabulous, because it's a bit longer. Good to me. Um, the reason I say that we need to be quick is because 10% of that particular stock has gone. Oh, well, that's the indigo, 10% of the stock has gone. The black, rapidly approaching 20% of the stock. So you have to be quick. It's just while stocks last with regards to these. When they've gone, they have gone. So you have to be quick. Please take advantage of these while you have that opportunity. 336-874. If you can't decide between the two, then you can go for both of them. But contents will vary 
necessary with regards to the design that you're getting on there. So they might not necessarily be exactly as I've shown you, but they are going to be rabbit themed. So they'll have that lucky essence running through them. Now, another way of getting hold of your sashiko um, elements is this way. And this time we're looking at a beautifully woven fabric. Now this is woven because you can't, two different colour threads running through this one. Yeah, it's got one. a black and a red through this one. It's a really lovely colour. It's a very deep red. So that probably burgundy, I would probably call that one. But it's got a black slub through it, so it's very pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, again, with these, we're going to get panels. Um, will it be a case that the contents may vary with regards to the With everything designs? I've got at the minute, because I haven't been able to get to Japan, a lot of my contents vary. Yes, because it's, kind of it's just literally what I've got left till I get back over there. Making space for new stuff. Love it. Now have a look at this. This might give you some inspiration as how you can work with some of those panels. Obviously some of the motifs may be smaller, but you can add additional stitching to them if you want to. Incorporate your own fabrics to further extend the usability of these, but absolutely beautiful. We'll learn all about Sasha Co from Jill in a little while, but it's one of the simplest ways of stitching. Very achievable and kind of instant gratification because you're working mm. with those thicker threads, you will see the design come together incredibly quickly. In, now, in those packs there, Haley, you're always going to get two patterns and two designs okay so you know at the end of the table runner you've got an actual yes design so yeah. you're going to get two designs and two patterns oh so you perfect. can mix and match them love that idea to. yeah and then even individually you're going to be able to find a use for them whether it's going on a bag or a garment absolutely beautiful and nice panels that you can work your stitches on to get some absolutely incredible effects now with this one you've even got your threads included so again the moment it arrives you're ready to go and rapidly approaching 20 percent of the stock has gone needless to say you've got your instructions in there as well and of course jill is always on hand via social media i um, am and all the different kind of avenues to help you out should you need that never by the telephone though don't do telephone oh no i must admit i'm a bit like that no. don't mind doing videos and things like that <laughs> but yeah um, it's often the best way though isn't it it's because you can see what's going on now look at this bundle you're getting loads in there just 22 pounds and 49 pence what a phenomenal price bundle for really good size pieces there very traditional stitch with beautiful traditional designs in there you can have loads of fun with those 184 519 if you fancy getting hold of those now if you fancy getting creative perhaps with fabrics that you've got already or maybe fabrics that we've got coming up then this is the way to get involved you've got your design sheets now within here you've got six designs now these are mini versions don't worry you won't be <laughs> expect to stitch this small um, you have got real size patterns which I'll share with you in a moment but that kind of gives you a little insight into the designs absolutely beautifully traditional designs as well love these lots of content there so you can use them in their entirety or you can take certain elements lots of threads again there so the moment it arrives you can get started and these are as i said they're real size patterns but i suppose with these deal we can take elements from them or resize them yeah resize them shrink them down and build them up you can because you've got fan shapes on that one take out the elements that are in the fan and put your own elements in there so Beautiful. that you know you can put mount fuji in there Ooh. <laughs> not, not the best way upside down. Fabric. Well, we should all know about Mount Fuji now. We've watched the Olympics. We should all know a bit That's more about true, Japan, yes. don't we? Yeah, we're all get, becoming educated now. This particular design, I think it goes over two pages, does it, with regards um, to I this think one? it up. Um, mm, I'm not too sure. Not that one, one doesn't know. No, no okay, that's okay. it. That's a square one, that one. Oh, I see. That'll be why then. Ben's there very bouncy today. <laughs> He's been Ben's having sugar. Bouncy. He's yeah. a human version of Tigger. Um, now, if you're wanting to get a hold of yours, obviously you've got all those gorgeous designs that you're going to work with. You've got, obviously, your inspiration sheet with this one as well. So you have got um, kind of indications of how your projects will work. And again, large projects, little motifs that you can use as infillers, but a very popular bundle. Over 10% of the stock has gone. I'm not surprised that an amazing deal and it's only while stocks last so again do be quick we've got another show with you later on Jill, i've got, totally two, I've got two shows got today two yeah shows? i've got um two resin shows oh so but the lady this morning was doing uv resin i do epoxy resin oh, so we, enough, we, two we, different types yeah we, but we, we won't be it. seeing these later on then this is no it this is it hour. for these this is everything okay yeah. wonderful see i said it go. again everything everything oh get me it's getting into the swing of it. Um, <laughs> if you're wanting these, then 751-171 is that all-important item number. Do not miss out on any of these. It's while stocks last. 
managing to take advantage of Jill while she gets herself ready for brand new things that she's going to be bringing to us in the future. Now, the version that we just looked at, you'll see very similar to the next bundle. This is kind of the upgrade. This is the deluxe version of what I've just shown you. So you will get exactly everything that we've spoken of, but you will get more. So you're going to get the same patterns, the same patterns that you can resize if you want to, but they are printed just as you need them. You're also getting additional threads, some beautiful variegated threads in here as well. You've got... Um, well, also, you've got little snips, you've got your interfacing, you've got your fabric. And do we get this little bag as well? You do. Again, that is a random bag in a random colour. I uh, love They're random. made in Japan. Um, and if, you, if you're going on holiday or you're going on a train or you're travelling, you can get enough sachet coat in there for a week. Oh, OK. So it's a nice little way to, to take Keep your kit away together. with you. Yeah. I love it. It's proving to be a popular one. Flexi by means you can spread that cost over two payments, but rapidly approaching 20% of the stock has gone. You're getting loads in this one. Um, and you can see at the bottom of your screen, if you're just wanting to go for those designs with the basic threads, then you can do it $17.99. But I think it's worth upgrading to this because you've got your additional fabrics in there. You've also got your printed layout as well. So if you do want something to perhaps to help you to save you tracing out that design yourself, then these are already, already pre-printed, ready for you to work with. And again, designs will vary with regard to those elements in your threads as well. So if you want yours, 581. 864 is the item number. Now, I'm moving on swiftly. The reason being is you've jumped ahead, and I'm glad because we've got so much to share with you. It's taken a while to show you everything. Now, 60% of the stock of this bundle has gone. Once it's gone, it has gone. Now, you see on the screen there, we're talking about half metre. Now, that's in total. That's kind of like your square inchage. Is that a word in Chidge? But you know I'll what I mean. It. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not a linear um, half meter. So it's not going to come as a complete piece. But you will get lots of different elements in lots of different um, styles of designs and different colour fabrics as well. Um, yeah, they're all in an indigo blue. Some of them look black on screen, but it's actually the darkest indigo. Oh, I see. Okay. It's like the darkest Peru. Ooh, okay. Um, they, the patterns on these wash away, so which is which is one of the beauties of it. So once you've done your stitching. The pattern will wash away so if you miss a bit it doesn't matter so is that the same on the previous the deluxe set that we yeah, looked at uh, yeah oh, that okay. washes away. it doesn't on the rabbit panel on right. the first panel but on these ones it does and we've just done various things out of a scrap uh set you know a, a set of designs just to show what you can what I've you can make in a tangle here it's me because I folded oh, them up, sorry. Oh, this is so pretty. Rapidly approaching limited stock with regard to these. Now, you're not going to get patterns for garments or bags or anything like that in there. But, of course, using them alongside patterns that I'm sure you will already have in your stash, you are going to get some absolutely incredible results. It is technically sold out, but can you just indulge me just for one moment? Because is this Christine again? It's Christine, this. yes, my lovely mother-in-law. We in must law. give Christine a mention for this because this is absolutely exquisite. And apparently she wants that back, which I think is oh, mean. Oh, <laughs> I don't know, might have to fight her for it. This is the sort of thing that you can do with sachet coat. So bear in mind, any one of these kits that you're going for, you are learning sachet coat. You're creating beautiful stitches that can then be applied to anything you like. Isn't that amazing? Christine, you are a magician. It's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. So first sell out of the hour. I've got a feeling it's not going to be the only one, to be fair, which is why you need to jump ahead. Now, I've had my eye on these next items. So everything else that we're looking at with regards to these, we've got immediate dispatch for these now. Um, 15 pieces with this bundle here, and these are exquisite. I fell in love with these just looking at a picture of them. Well, we used to sell by the metre, but it, people were finding, they were asking me for quarter of a metre, and they didn't need quarter of a metre even. Nice. So if you're doing a plique, bag making, whatever, then if you've got this set of samples, then, you know, you can... You can do more things with them. You certainly can. I mean, I've been yeah. talking about stitching these together, almost make like a patchwork garment. I absolutely adore Japanese fabrics, I really do. But over 10% of the stock of this one has gone. Now, of course, if you want to go for multiples, you can. The details on the screen will get you 15 variable pieces. They won't necessarily be exactly as we're sharing here. You may get some of these. You may get different ones that we've not even had a chance to show you. But what you do know is you're getting the quality. And that is the thing. Japan is well known for its quality of fabric. I, th I think one of the, the most famous things Japan is famous for is its fabrics. And, yeah. and all of these fabrics, they, these are traditional patterns. So you'll see these going forwards into mugs and plates and yes, yeah. bags and floor coverings and curtains. So the patterns are very, very traditional. And I think they have a lovely mix of colours where Beautiful. we would be scared to mix all of those colours together. Yeah. They have the knack of putting them all together. 
Now, I was meant to give you a little bit of an update a few moments ago, but because Jill was talking, I didn't like to interrupt Sorry. her. Uh, no, no, that's not a problem <laughs> at all. But all it means is that we are incredibly busy. Quarter of the stock has gone. So appro approaching a quarter of the stock, that's going to be more than a quarter in a few moments. And you notice traditional elements, the crane, the... Um, are they crocus or irises, these? Uh, they're sure. iris. Iris. Most, um, most things in Japan are lucky symbols or, or longevity. Um, I love that. Yeah, so you'll, on Very the kimono, I'm going to show you in a bit, you'll see, you'll see those. <laughs> I can't keep up with the updates. All I <laughs> so, need to do is say we are very busy for these. So if you're wanting yours, over a quarter of the stock has gone there. So if you're wanting yours, uh, oh, over 40. Oh, that was a bit of a jump, wasn't it? My goodness, I didn't expect it to be a jump at that. That's more of a hike than a jump. Um, 279-503, £15.99. pence. These, I think the rate that they are going, incredibly vulnerable. If you want those, please do not wait till the end of the hour. Please don't even wait till I get to the end of the counter. Jump onto the website, find the other things because we've got some bargains out there and um, make sure you're checking your baskets out. Now, this is kind of a, a bit of an upgrade again. Upgrade probably isn't the right phrase with this one. Now, obviously, we had the Japanese fabrics there with all those gorgeous foiling. This is kind of an additional pack that you might want to go for, which includes some of those gorgeous fabrics. You might be adding this in alongside because this one, you've got different styles of fabrics in these as well. So you will see some of those wonderful fabrics that we saw a few moments ago, traditional style. Love this because you've kind of got fabrics that have got that Sashiko influence featuring on here. But again, this one is going to add in additional interest because you got different styles of fabrics in there so you might find yourself with some weightier fabrics in there again nice size pieces probably looking at in the region of five inch squares with these but they're not all guaranteed to be the exact same size as this but they are going to be in a similar sort of vein purples pinks beautiful woven fabrics in here as well you are going to have some absolutely beautiful wonderful times and beautiful projects that you're creating if you do like, obviously, some of those elements, things like your little rabbits, your lucky rabbits, maybe. We, we have got those featuring in here as well. And then, of course, you've got your little cats as well. Um, now, just ahead, if anybody does get small, I mean, they're all about four by four, but if people okay. do get smaller bits in anything, it's because I don't want to throw them away. So they're not being charged. Oh, they're just being sort bits. of stuck in the bag. Oh, there's no point me throwing things away. Yeah, so if there is any small bits... That's why, they, so don't worry that it's small. If you, count, if you right. count it up, you've still got the right number. I love it. Now, um, I need to rewind, apparently. I wanted to ask about the cat. Can I ask about the little cat? The smiling yeah, the cat, cat is with a little my, arm. My necky neko. So my necky neko is a beckoning cat. Okay. Um, and I've got a very quick, I can tell you a very quick story about that yeah, one. Yeah, please do. The, um, uh, one of, well, there's lots of different tales. One of the tales is the shogun, the, uh, the head of, you know, Japanese empire, was driving through a small village okay. and he had his entourage with him, sort of 400 different, you know, people on his entourage. Wow. And he saw this little cat sitting in a doorway and it was waving its paw at him. Oh. So he thought, oh, that's sweet, because even though he was powerful, he still liked cats. Good man. So he got off his horse, went to look at the cat and the whole of the entourage was wiped out. <gasps> I mean, this is just a tale, you know, it's yes. a Japanese tale. So from then on, beckoning cats were considered lucky. Ah. And these cats are... Because um, he survived. Because he survived. Yeah, and yeah, so these them. cats are, are also Japanese bobtails, so they have no tails, just little oh, rabbit okay. bobs at the back. Yeah. And I've got three of those. Have you? Yeah, there's oh. about, I think there's about 25 in the country and I've got three of them. Oh, wow. Very intelligent. They bring toys and they do high five. And oh, adorable. Very I cute. See, I, I did tell you at the top of the hour we'd learn lots within this hour, so there you go. If you're wanting to get hold of your fabric, you may be lucky and get your little cats in there as well. Absolutely amazing. Now, I need to rewind just a few moments. Go back, go back, go back to the previous chart that I showed you with all these gorgeous fabrics. Now, it'll be of no surprise to you at all that these have sold out on immediate dispatch, but we have got more stock available on extended delivery. Now, look at the 25th of August with regards to dispatch. It's only an extra four days. What's four days amongst friends? But you are going to get some absolutely beautiful fabrics, and they are definitely worth the wait. So if you got hold of a set of these earlier on and you thought, oh, I wish I'd gone for a second set, then you can do. You've now got the opportunity to get more. Um, 279503 if you are wanting to get hold of those. So I did tell you they've got some amazing uh, deals for you. One of the deals that we've got is something that is new. Now, I'm going to have to wait for the word to come up on the screen to try and refresh my. So it's Mo Tai Nai. Do 
did I get it right? Did you remember? I remembered. Yeah, so I explained, just explain to them how we taught you it. She's got a fabulous way <laughs> of uh, explaining, and she teaches Japanese, and uh, this is one of the, so with regard to this, it was mo, and you'll know who I mean by mo, mo, tai, in, I. That was it, I could really remember what the I was. So but if you make that little thing up in your head, if you, every time you see that word, if you, if you, you look yeah, in so your head. Mo, tai, in, I. There and you that's go. what we've got here, which is all very good, but what does that actually mean? Mo, tai, in, I just means remake, reuse, relove, or that sort of, oh, you know, okay. around that theory. So it, every little scrap of fabric was precious, especially going back to the sort of uh, 18th, 17th, 18th, 19th century, fabric was oh, more uh, expensive than rice. Really? So you would, uh, you would use the tiniest, tiniest little scraps again and again and again and again. So a piece of fabric would be used. When it was finished, it would be taken apart. The bits would be left and used again and again and oh, again. Beautiful. Now, who's this lovely lady to the side here? Oh, she's a pattern we're just, we're just working on. So she's a, she's a, a shrine maiden. Oh. Um, and she's made from... Uh, one of those packs. Oh, so you might be bringing us these in the future, perhaps? Um, I'm going to bring that out towards Christmas, but we're going to have really special fabrics for the kimono. Oh. So I've got some fabric in mind for the kimono, traditional fabric. Oh, I look forward to that one. So there you go. I mean, inspiration. Many of us have got other patterns. It could be that you're making little gift bags. It could be that you're making purses. With small pieces of fabrics, it gives you so many different opportunities. But saying that, some of these are sizable pieces. And there's uh, cotton and shibori and silk in those bags. And we've added, we've put the weight right up to 700 grams now. Beautiful. So is, that's hand painted. Is that, so is that, I, I'm, yeah. I'm probably, is it upside down? Back it's to backwards, front? yeah. That way? Round the other way. That way? Yeah. <laughs> that, is that right? <laughs> yeah. So what, what, what I person? have no idea because it's <laughs> um, a lot of the you ask Japanese people they won't have a cue. A lot of uh, a lot of the older writing is is a, an ancient form of kanji. Oh, okay. So even the people today can't read it. I love it. <laughs> so so I, much I don't history, feel bad. isn't it? Oh, I need to get myself out to Japan. Um, so there you go. You can see the sorts of things that you're getting. You're going to get in a beautiful little organza bag, as you can see here jam-packed full of all sorts of incredible fabrics. Now, yours will potentially vary from the one that I'm sharing with you, but you can see, value for money-wise, you have got so much fabric in here. It's perfect if you wanted to do smaller elements, maybe create things like um, hair slides, it might be hair scrunches, it might be covered buttons, it might be that you're using them to add cuffs to a garment or adding an adornment. You have got loads and loads of fabrics in here, and you are going to have so much fun. It's your extra-large kimono, cotton, and Shibori pack. If you wanted to get hold of this, Motainai. Um, Motainai, oh, get saying you. it quicker. I'm saying it quicker. We're getting there. Um, 172388 <laughs> if you fancy getting hold of yours. But you need to make sure you're quick with any of these items. We are incredibly busy. You can see at the bottom of the, um, the screen there, phone lines are busy. The website is the way to go. If you can manage to shop online, then I would certainly suggest you do so. Now, something that we were busy for before we even came to air are the next items. And these these are beautiful. Now, you've got a resin show coming up, and the first thing I asked was, could we actually use these and put resin in Absolutely. them? Absolutely. I'm going to show you how to do that this afternoon. Yeah. Um, what, what do you need to do, though, if you're ever using resin with something like this, or you're adding something wet into it, you would need to seal them first with just a, a standard sealer, you know, just a brush on sealer. Oh, okay. Or so even, um, even a PVA would do, oh, okay. on the, but on the inside. Yeah. I mean, you could be taking elements from your gorgeous fabrics, maybe, um, and adding them. I'm just trying to find some little details with these. But you could be taking, like, little blossoms and things like that and actually using them inside those brooches. Well, I've got two here I've made. with. Uh, they're a different shape because they, they weren't part of that pack, but I've got two here that I've made. Ooh. Um, I'll take it off that pattern because that's very... Oh, have I got anything plain? Have I, Eck? That's fine. There the you table's go. table's OK. Um, so you can actually see just tiny, tiny bits of sashiko. So the bits you've got left over from your sashiko pack... If you get the brooch, the brooch backs, you can make these tiny little brooches And they as have well. got the brooch backs on there, so they're yeah, all the good to go. Yeah, the backs are on there. Yeah, yep. the moment that you finish, you can start wearing those. 40% of the stock has gone, though, so £14.99. You've got 20 assorted buttons there. Again, they're going to vary from pack to pack, are they? Yeah, 
Can I tell you that those on the show we brought them on the first time were thirty nine ninety nine. Really? But I've managed to find a new supplier so we can sell them at a much better price now. Fair enough. There you go. So okay, if you bought them uh, previously, I'm you sorry. probably know what a bargain that is, <laughs> don't you? Um, that was a long time ago. <laughs> rapidly approaching half the stock of those has gone. So if you want them, please do make sure you get them into your basket. Seven three seven three one seven is the item number, and then. The book, the, the award-winning book, if I remember. It did, yes. I won Craft Book of the Year 2019. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's gorgeous just to look at. But when you start getting inspiration from what's in the pages here, you are going to have so much. I know I keep saying you're going to have so much fun. I must admit the are. publishers did it. Just the, even the colour is just perfect. They did a lovely job. Absolutely amazing. I well, love know, the photography in here as do well. Do you know the only th thing they did that really annoyed me? What's that? I spent and a week stitching a duvet cover and they put a dog on it to take the photograph. Oh. They put a white dog on it. But you know what, in most homes that's probably what would end up on the I've got it at home but it's in the cupboard because I've got five cats, I don't get it out. Oh no, of course, <laughs> yeah, I'd be terrified. Oh dear. Um, just ten pounds and ninety-nine pence. I mean you've got twenty projects in here as you can see. So again, I'm just gonna thick, flick through there to give you obviously you've got all the information at the top there, as you've heard from Jill. She's so informative with everything, getting you started, um, of course, going on to learn about your different stitches, which we'll chat about as well. Projects like your book cover, which did see a book cover yeah that's the one that's down that's on. the but that's the pattern that you're going to get there oh, that okay. one you've got your finger on oh the that's one the pattern the you're going to get with the rabbit oh pack. of course yes with those panels perfect absolutely wonderful coming right the way through there as you can see there brilliant ideas and you are going to have oh look at that see that's something that's achievable with quite a small piece of fabric that had me in tears i'm sorry to say okay all because right. My fingers, I've got a little bit of arthritis. Okay. And to, to actually, the stitching I loved, but actually putting the purse together, I had to get Chris to do it. They can be quite it. tricky. Can't I had to get those, Chris to yeah. do that for me. Oh, well, if it's any consolation, they can be tricky. She's so, great, yeah. Chris. She does everything She's for me. She's a very useful She's lady. She's bloody lady. lovely. I love her. Oh, excuse me, I swore. Oh, <gasps> did you? I didn't hear that. I said lovely. Oh, okay. Right. Fair enough. <laughs> I, didn't really, I thought it was a proper one. Um, <laughs> now, if you wanted to get hold of anything, then now is the time to do so. I'm going to have a little chat with Jill about all all sorts of Japanese um, influence but while you're checking out your baskets do consider becoming a freedom member to take advantage of your post and packing why pay lots of different post and packings when you can get everything delivered to your door courtesy of your freedom membership have you heard of freedom did you know that as a freedom member you could be making savings on every order you place for just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selective Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom Members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. And it's hours like this that really do make with your Freedom membership worthwhile. So please do consider becoming a Freedom member as you're checking out your baskets. Now, obviously we've seen our lovely Jill with all those gorgeous pieces of artwork. And they are artwork, aren't they? These absolutely, gorgeous, um, absolutely. The, the Japanese attention to detail is what I like. Um, the, everything they do is finished to the nth degree. So they'll go, they, they saw things that are completely hidden. Yes. Um, to actually talking about hidden, the, the jacket Can is behind. Can we talk about yeah, the jacket? The, that's, this, a, that's a really good, now, good example, that, actually. Let me pop this book down just for a few moments, just because you can see it. Now, this is, this is actually the inside. So this is a gentleman's howry. Okay. Um, so if you hold the sleeve out, you can see Whoops. that your sleeve has got a hole through it mm -hmm. underneath the oh, armpit. Oh, my sleeve on my yeah. jacket, yes. And the men's one hasn't. So that's how we tell if we're buying a howry. That's how we tell if it's a ladies or a okay. gent. But it doesn't matter if you're a gent that wants to wear a ladies one or a la It doesn't matter. Okay. The Japanese are not going to care. Yes. Because, uh, strictly speaking, the gents ones are a bit bigger. So ladies like me have to wear the gents ones because we can't get the little tiddly ones. Okay. Um, and these are kind of stitched. So, so they're stitched like all the way through. The whereas you can right. hide tissues in yours. I could put snacks get, and all yeah, sorts snacks in and all sorts. I could get a whole packed lunch in these. <laughs> well, you see, when I dress Paula, she'd be able to get Pringles somewhere, but I'm not telling you Ooh, where yet. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, or other 
Crisps are available. Yeah. Snacks in a tube are available. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the reason for this is it was the sumptuary laws. And it. on the outside, it's all completely black. There's not a single part of pattern showing. Because the, the hierarchy decided that nobody could wear colours. Okay. So they could wear black, blue, brown. So what they did was they put the colour on the inside. So, you know, Savile Row suits, like I said yes, to you before, have yeah. the pink liner. Yeah. Um, it's the same It's the same It's theory. kind of like a hidden gem, really, So you're basically going, na 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 <laughs> I've got to the design anyway. Da, 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 na, na, to the government. <laughs> so some people wear these inside out. Because they are made so beautifully... Gorgeous. If you were to press that, you can wear that one inside out. So is this... Uh, how would they actually get this that's design on? That's actually woven. <gasps> so that's hand-woven. Wow. And there's, there's your rabbit. Yeah, it's always a rabbit. Well. And Mount Fuji, and I was just saying with, with the, the Olympics, everybody yeah. should know about Mount Fuji. It's just a majestic look, isn't you it? You must That's always get Mount Fuji the right way around. Okay. So you see the pattern on there. She looks like she's a standard shaped mountain. Okay, let me hold the sleeves out so as you can see. Oops. But if we, if, we, if we are looking towards her, so say, say I was facing her, mm -hmm. the slope is always on the left hand side. Oh, okay, yeah. It's quite, so it's shorter quite on the right yeah. and slopier on the left. It's quite a steep slope. Yeah, on if one not, side. you've got around the wrong way. Oh, God, there you go. <laughs> Who She's know, revered eh? in Japan. She is actually she, so she is oh, Fuji San. Okay. Uh, so you tend not to say Mount Fuji, you say Fuji San, so, so it's honorific. Beautiful. I love it. I love all the knowledge and all the information. So, Sashiko, tell us about Sashiko, because, of course, this is down to, is it a grain of rice that Sashiko, Sashiko does? Sashiko um, is sometimes called grain of rice stitch okay. because of the size of the stitch. And also, after a while, what will tend to happen is the threads that we use, and you know I said they've got eight strands? Yes. They'll open up, look, and you need to get a very sharp close on to see it, but, so it opens up. And what it'll so it do, kind of, oh, like it actually looks like a grain of rice. Yes, I can see now. Um, it's very traditional, being going back, it's just a layering technique is all it is. So where um, was the stitch you were just referencing? Because it's got this a nice one, this one here, look. look. Can you oh, see where it's opened? Yes. And you could imagine that would be teeny tiny grains of rice. So and it's it just, just this like one rice. here. Yeah. Fabulous, thank you. Thank you, Jill. But yeah, I suppose as it gets worn and it kind of gets washed. That's the nice thing, it, it, it lives it with well. you, it changes. Uh, some people use a double sashiko thread, so they'll, they'll half it, knot it or stitch it and then use double. I think that's far too much, you don't, you don't need to use that. Plus it's wasting a lot of thread. Mm -hmm. um, the little ones you've got on the rabbits that we've gone round the, the, the shapes, yes. You can do all of those rabbits that you've got in that pack with about two strands, three, three strands of thread. Oh my goodness. So everything you've got left is to add on. Um, and that's what I want to say to people here is, don't just take this as finished. So this one here, for example, it, we've made it into a small cushion cover. It's very cute, or a, a large table mat, whatever you want to make it into. But if you think about that, it's, it's good when you're doing it, but when you're finished, you need to do more. So all you do, as you take your panel before you've stitched it up, and all we're going to do is just use a chalk pen, and I think I've actually added a chalk pen into yeah, the, yes, yeah. the burgundy one. I think there's yeah. actually a chalk they're, pen they're in there. They're also in the, the rabbit ones yeah. as well. Yeah. So what that's going to do is that's going to give you the opportunity to add more lines. Okay. So if you look at this now, instead of just getting that little bit of stitching, mm -hmm. I've added all of these extra lines, look, with my ruler. Right. And all of those stitches are now extra work, so I'm getting more stitching for my piece of fabric. And that's kind of the size of a, a traditional kind of quilt panel, so you could actually make could be the this centre of a centre yeah. of a quilt or at the front of a handbag. Yeah. Um, all you do, because you have to then put your own stitching on, so the stitching marks on the burgundy is already marked out for you. But obviously on this it isn't marked out. So what you have to do is you have to do your own stitch, and a traditional sashiko stitch very neat at the back luckily when I turned it <laughs> over wasn't it so if you think of a running stitch a running yeah. stitch is an equal stitch an equal gap an equal stitch an equal gap so that would be a running stitch or canther you know the, the word canther yeah, yeah so that's that stitch sashiko stitch is different so it's a three to two ratio so it's a three uh, stitch okay. with a two gap three stitch two gap three it's stitch like two code. gap <laughs> it is now if you want to do it that small fine if you want to do it that big it's fine there is no rule or regulation really to the size of the stitch okay. but if you can imagine putting that 
in cream around this border now. Beautiful. And yes. can you see I've added it into here as well? Yeah. So I've actually started to put lines into here. Just just work and work and work. And you've got more than ample thread to do that with I all of your panels. It. Absolutely amazing. And of course, those beautiful red panels uh, featured within the bundle, the details of which are on your screen. So you're going to get your chalk pencil, but you can add your additional lines to uh, your project if you're wanting to. You've got your motifs, your larger pieces, you've got your thread in there as well. So you really can get cracking with this. You've even got your needle. So the moment it arrives, you can get started with this. So £22.49. Now, any of those little offcuts that you've got left over, if you're trimming down your pieces, and that goes with pretty much anything during the show, I would suggest you can consider getting hold of these uh, fabulous brooches. Now, these brooches, you've got a variety of different colours, a different variety of sizes. They are ready um, to, to, well, they were ready to go because they've actually sold out. <laughs> so if you've ordered these um, already, then brilliant, they'll be on their way to you. But from this moment on, we're looking at extended delivery with regards to these. For the September, so a couple of weeks for these to come to you. Jill is going to be incredibly busy after this first hour that she's sharing with us. She's got another two shows yet. She's going to have so much work to do when she gets back. Home. It's incredible. Should be a millionaire, Hayley. <laughs> so if you fancy getting hold of yours, you can see £14.99. You'll get a variety of different colours, different sizes in there, but they've all got those brooch clips on the back there. And uh, Julie, have you still got those little brooches there that you were mm. talking about as yeah. well? Um, this is these how are you can that... use them with the sashiko stitches. Yeah, so these ones are a, a different shape. You, you're only going to get round ones in your pack. These, these are two that I had lying about. Um, and we just took little bits of scraps that Chris had left over from a waistcoat and just made two nice brooches really in the nice. in the red pack you get four um small panels as well okay and they're perfect for your coasters look so if you're doing table mats with them oh, so look. there's your coaster beautiful yeah. that's what we're doing on the resin show so oh, is this is the sort up? of resin that we do and which show is that is that uh, we've got two five o'clock and seven o'clock i think brilliant but they make lovely little coasters as well to put your Japanese. Two o'clock and seven o'clock. No, I think it's five. Is it two oh, and? I don't know. I thought it was five and seven. Oh, is it not? I don't know. I don't Definitely care. Two o'clock. I'm here it's all not day. five o'clock. Oh no, it could have been, but no, it's not. They've checked the schedule. Two and seven. Is it two and seven? Just as well we're told that you could have gone off wandering. I was going to go off this afternoon. We're putting out a search party yeah. to get her back. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, yeah, um, if you wanted to go for those, then obviously the panels are on your screen there. I am going to quickly reference the um, the meter, was it a meter pack, half meter pack that we were chatting about earlier on? So, this isn't a linear half meter, you've got the equivalent of, but technically it has sold out. So, thank you that took advantage of that. Sadly, that was one of those items that I had to tell you once it's gone, it's gone. So, there's no extended delivery on that one. Some of the items we have been able to do that because, of course, Jill is able to, to bring us more of them. But some of them, she's literally clearing out space to bring brand new things to us, some very exciting things on the horizon. So thank you to the, everybody that took advantage of those. But don't forget, you've got lots of panels within the red fabric that we're working with. I say red, it's kind of like a burgundy mulberry tone maybe with this one. And it's beautiful because it's actually woven where you've got you kind of two tones with this one. So you can see you've got your black fibres running this way um, with these should I say as well as the red there so it gives that almost like a mottled effect it's, it's just that bit brighter in real life isn't yeah. it than the shows up on tv it's got it's got, it's a, got a, a nicer red to kind it kind of interest to it now of course the lines that you've got there those are your guidance your stitch lines now you don't have to be absolutely bang on with those stitches because don't worry when you come to is it wash it or iron it did you say that they disappear uh you can wash it so wash you're going to wash it in um, lukewarm water okay um because it's on a red, it just takes that little bit longer. So you just leave it in there and just agitate it slightly. Just gently, yeah. And that will just Wonderful. all disappear. Now, you need to be quick again with this one, rapidly approaching 60% of the stock. Once it's gone, it's gone. And, of course, start adding in your additional fabrics and you're extending the usability, the size of those panels, giving you a whole host more scope with regards to these. And this piece here, I mean, this is a beautiful piece, utilising some of those larger examples that we've just spoken of there. So if you fancy getting hold of yours, um, adding in your additional fabric, you can really make these go a long way. So 184519 if you're wanting to get hold of yours. Those motifs and elements may well vary because as we say, um, everything's coming together from Jill. She's cutting them, putting them all together. So they may vary slightly, but you will get um, all of that gorgeous stitch work for you to create using the threads that are included. Chalk pencil if you're wanting to add additional detail. 184519. I think we're going to come back over to you, Jill. 
Are we? Uh, I'm just got, playing. Well, we've got a little over 15 minutes. Now, the fabrics behind you, let's talk about some of these because I know one of your passions is repurposing the fabrics. And yes, these I obviously think... are pristine. These aren't going to get repurposed. No. But remember, the wedding dresses have been repurposed. Because of the original, yeah. So the original has been changed into these amazing things with about a size four, which, like I say, is just silly. Um, the one at the back here, the blue one, which is to my right. I, do you know, I don't know my left and my right. <laughs> Welcome to my world. When, <laughs> when I'm telling my husband directions, I'll say left and I'll do this. So he knows to follow the hand, not the... Not, <laughs> and when I take tours saying. as well, my ladies know in Japan, if I say let's turn left, they turn right, because they know me now. <laughs> um, so this is a, it's got what's called a furisode, and furisode means swinging sleeve. Okay. So it's got really, really long sleeves on it. So um, would the sleeves kind of go down to the floor? They almost? don't go quite to the floor, but they'll go near. And these okay. are only worn by ladies under 21 and not married. Oh. So it's uh, a coming of age. Oh. dress so that's what Paula's going to be wearing oh, she's going to be wearing her. a coming of age I think she's probably the only one that could pass for that age group <laughs> to be fair here um, so what I do when, when I, I get them in yeah oh that one's it's about 100 years old that can one I is all hand this embroidered show you, cause this, this is the thing that I find fascinating because this looks as if it could have been stitched yesterday it's I beautiful mean, isn't it so gorgeous. now look at the size of the kimono from 100 years ago Look at to it. the size of the modern one from 40 years ago you yes. can see the size of the girls have changed yes. so yeah. that's absolutely tiny and again it's still got those open sleeves you were speaking open sleeves, of yeah. and red for good luck so the red the hint of red is for to attract the gods because the gods can see red and what you find in japanese kimono is you'll it's all hand painted but now and again you'll have a tiny bit of embroidery and they're just kind of edged with the most detailed embroidery. Yeah. So it's not embroidered everywhere. It's just the tiny little bits here and there. And what I do, when I'm in Japan, I source these things out. If I bring one back that's damaged, that shows that it's an expensive kimono if it has the pattern on the inside there. Beautiful. Because what you do is, when, it, when you walk, it kicks. So as it kicks open at the bottom, you get to see the flash of the colour. Oh, you can just imagine that, can't you? So I just, it. I only ever take damaged kimono apart. I would never take okay. a, you know, a good one apart. So when they get damaged, because I, I used to hire them out. Right. Um, and I dress ladies, Japanese ladies for weddings and things. And they always come back damaged with, a, you know, tea stained down one side. Oh, um, come to Reddit, you'll be a lot worse yeah, than that. Yeah, and then once we get to that stage, that's when we take them apart. So all the stuff I source is genuine Japanese kimono. Um, and to my the best of my knowledge it's all silk but I can't always you know it's 99.999 percent silk but I can't only, test every single yes, piece. Yes, I was going to yeah. say, it's, it's, it's yeah. one of those things, isn't it? Now, we've not got a huge amount of time left, and because this is the only hour that we're featuring all these beautiful items, I'm just going to take the last, last few minutes to basically show you everything and give you updates where I can. So we kicked things off with our Lucky Rabbits. Now, we've got two different options with regards to these, and this is relating to the base fabric that you've got. Now, with your Indigo, with your Lucky Rabbits, your panels will vary, lots of different content within these, but approaching half of the stock has gone you are going to get your table runner um, pattern in here now that doesn't necessarily relate directly to the designs that you're getting in here but it's kind of a bit of a bonus in there giving you some ideas of inspiration of perhaps how you could work with some of those other things that you've got in your stash or indeed incorporate some of those squares that you are creating so that one is your indigo it comes with your panels it also comes with your thread your needle you've also got your needle thread there and of course your chalk pencil and that is not going to stand up but never mind now the black half the stock has gone of the black the design designs that you've got on here, not like the sashiko will these disappear when you wash, they will stay there because they are a feature and you've got some absolutely amazing designs featuring in here, all featuring the fabulous little rabbit in there which of course being a very lucky symbol with regards to Japan. I love it, always oh, on the moon there looking up at the stars, adorable. So again you're going to get a project within this one. Now this project is something that you could actually create using these panels because you can see it's got sides to it and of course the... Um, Oh, how did you pronounce this one? I'm sorry, Jill. The, the little bag. Kin, kin, oh, that's a kinchaku. Kinchaku, kinchaku. Yeah. I need a few more lessons. So that's where those side panels could come together to create your chinchaku. Chinchaku, in fact. One of hopeless. them. Yeah. One of them. One yeah. of them that it says on the book. Yeah. <laughs> so 336874. Three, in Japanese, I probably sound like the French policeman from a Yes, but you can say Motainai beautifully I now. I can, I yeah. Motainai. <laughs> 
<laughs> so if you're wanting that bundle, the details are there. Oh, we've moved on. Moved on. Move along, Kaylee. Move along. Now, this has been a popular one. Now, over 70% of the stock has gone. Again, you're going to get your instructions, your inspiration within there. You're going to get a variety of different panels, all on that gorgeous red fabric, which has got little flecks of black running through there because of it being a woven fabric. These designs will disappear when you wash them in lukewarm water um, and just give it a little bit of time because of being a darker fabric. They can be quite resistant, those lighter lines that you've got on there. So just be patient, but they will eventually disappear, showcasing your gorgeous stitching. I what don't actually wash mine away, Hurley. Do you, um, you leave them in place? I just leave them. I, yeah. I don't see the, the need to wash anything if you don't need to Fair wash point. it. Yeah. yeah. Fair point made, yeah. So if you're wanting to, then you can just leave them be. 184519 if you're wanting to get hold of those. Now, of course, you might want to create with your own fabrics, and that's where this next bundle is perfect. Because in this one, you're going to get six designs. Now, this is kind of a, a, a kind of menu sheet, shall we say, of the different designs that you've got in here. But what you have actually got is your larger size panels, which you are going to be able to trace out. Now, obviously, if you've got for any, gone for any of the previous kits, then you'll have your chalk pencil already. Now, of course, when you you transfer those designs over and you start stitching perhaps with the threads that come in here you are going to get some amazing results and it's lovely because you've got large um, pieces so kind of like storytelling panels but then you've also got those little motifs that you can use to add or configure to make your own design if you want to. $17.99 a very popular bundle again and if you wanting to get hold of that one then you can do 751171 but we have got those contents carried forward into the next bundle this is kind of the upgrade, the deluxe version. So you'll have everything that was spoke of there, but you'll have additional threads in here. You'll have your snips, you'll have your interfacing, you'll have some fabulous fabrics to work with, and you will get the most incredible little zip pouch. Now, contents will vary with regards to the pouch, with regards to your sashiko panels in here, but it is all incredible value for many and only available while stock is here. So approaching half of the stock has gone, so two flexi buy payments opens up your flexi order which means it's the perfect way for you to add any of those other goodies in as well. So do consider that with this one. And as you can see there, you've got all those gorgeous panels in there ready for you to trace off. 581864 if you're wanting to get hold of those. Now, something that was sold off earlier, but, uh, sold off, sold out of earlier, but are now onto extended delivery, is this next bundle of 15 pieces of incredible Japanese cotton fabric. Now, um, they are still available on extended delivery now, but we're looking at the 25th of August, which is next Wednesday so definitely worth the wait and its contents will vary so you'll get your 15 pieces but they won't necessarily be the exact same 15 pieces that I've got here but lots of foiling going on with these lots of beautiful colors coming through an incredible value for money at 15.99 um, if you like this one then do be aware of that extended delivery stock 60% of the stock has gone that's how popular these are. And I've got a feeling that some of you guys will have ordered some of these, perhaps with the first dispatch of these, and wish that you'd gone for two and you'd come back in to get more of them. So you can, that's not a problem at all, or you might be getting involved now and you want to go for two or three of them, then you can do. But be quick, especially if you're wanting to go for multiples, because it is a case that you have to get these while we've got the opportunity. As I say, I love the idea of stitching these together and making them into a complete garment. So yeah, if you want to get hold of those, 279 503. Now, if you're wanting 30 pieces, now this is a combination of the, the Japanese cotton and all sorts of different fabrics with these ones. So again, this is one that did sell out and it is now on extended dispatch again. Oh no, this one's still immediate, is it? Ah, oh, so if you can't wait, if you really want to get your hands on your fabric straight away, then this one is still available on immediate dispatch. But of that immediate dispatch stock, over 60% of the stock has gone. So again, you've got your foiled fabrics in there. As I say, one of the things that Japan is so famous for is their beautiful fabrics. They're absolutely gorgeous. And this is a wonderful bundle. Again, contents will vary, sizes will vary, but you're looking at pieces that are in excess of four inches square. If you do find any that are smaller, they are bonuses because Jill won't throw them away. She'll make sure you're getting your 30 pieces. But if you just happen to have a few that are lying around that are smaller, she'll chuck those in as well. That's the kind of lady she is. That's why we like her so much. <laughs> 789022 if you fancy getting hold of yours. Now, oh, Kirsty's had a go and she got it very well. A very did a she? Well, I did teach her this no morning. Tie and, I. and that's because <laughs> we're learning. Mo, tie, 
in I. There yeah. you go. That's how we're learning from Jill. I love it. I now, also taught a cat and horse, which are very useful. Yes. I, I can still remember horse, Uma. Yes, Uma. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you how she taught me that one. There you go. Um, but this year, do check out Jill's website as well, because she brings you loads and loads of information. Obviously, Festival of Japan, that's where you're going to be looking for her. Now, this is brilliant, because Mo, Mo Tai and I, now this meant... It was kind of repurposing, We make, repurposing. reuse, relove, so yeah. don't waste it, yeah. reuse it. And these fabrics, yeah. perfect. Love that phrase. So with this update, sorry, what was that term, Kirsty? Approaching half the stock has gone. You've got all sorts of different fabrics that you might have within yours. Driving right into the bottom here, you've got some absolutely gorgeous prints in here. You might get cottons in here. You might get your thicker, wakier fabrics. Absolutely loads of content in here and very sizable pieces as well. So very useful for you to work with. Again, brilliant idea using your pieces to create other pieces, as you can see. Little bags, little um, purses, all sorts of different things with regards to these. So absolutely amazing. Amazing, as you can see, a perfect example of things that you can be doing with regards to these. So uh, it might be that you're taking even little tiny bits. Oh my goodness, look at this. That's made, uh, you can make oh, a thousand from that. And that's using one of the brooch backs. Oh, so I you see. can um, yeah, so you can you can use the tiny oh, bits to make the little flowers. Goodness. That's fiddly that one. So you make the flowers bigger. <laughs> but that's beautiful. That's Absolutely really easy to gorgeous, do. Gorgeous, isn't it? Imagine that with a silk scarf or something. Gorgeous. Um, Fourteen ninety nine. That's all they're going to be paying for your pack. So if you fancy your Motai and I pack, then the details are there on your screen. It's the only word Motai and I and Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. That's not that I can say. I'm going to say very interesting <laughs> conversations, aren't I? When I get to Japan. One seven two three eight eight. Now those brooch backs that we were talking about, we've got these available. They're now on extended delivery because they did sell out. Fourth of September. It's only a couple of weeks to wait, but definitely worth waiting for. You've got a variety of different sizes, but they are limited in stock now. So if you can see the benefit of getting hold of these, and let's face it, who wouldn't? Because you've got your brooch backs on the back there. 20 assorted sizes, different colours as well, but of course you can add your fabrics on top of these. But you can also use them for your resin art as well. And I do urge you to join us at 2 o'clock and um, 7 o'clock this evening to see Jill with her other shows that she's got today, where she will be concentrating on the resin so if you're wanting yours then 14 pounds and 99 pence 737317 and finally Jill's book this is brilliant some of the patterns we've touched on during the course of the show but this is jam-packed for 20 projects as you can see with regards to your sashiko and you've got everything that you need within there <laughs> All beautiful, loads of information on how to get started, how to create the most incredible projects that potentially you could be making for um, gifts to give to people. I love it. I've that got one of these. Fab. Yeah, so it's useful. really, really good. So yeah. useful. So 10.99. That's going to get the book on the way to you. It is award-winning. And if you want yours, then 976.908. Everything that I've spoken of is on the website, though. That's the best place for you to shop because the beautiful thing is you can place your order for these items at any time. I say any They're time what if doing. we've got stock available. That's the thing because you've got to be mindful of the fact that if you're watching on repeat, some of these items may well have sold out. Now, this is just what to, this is just to excite here? Paula. This is the orbi she's wearing this afternoon. So the o she's excited. So can, you can, hear the, can you hear the squeals? <laughs> So the OB, is that wrapped around the middle? This goes around the middle and wow. this one is all hand in, hand woven. <gasps> oh my goodness. And we're goodness. having um, packs of OB fabric like this on the next show uh, when <gasps> no. I come back in October. So oh, we've got this fabric. definitely going to be looking out for that. Why have I got to wait till October though? I want it now. <laughs> um, absolutely beautiful. So is it two o'clock that we're going to see? I have no Olivia? idea. We're not, we're, well, all I have no clue. But you told me, is it only 20 minutes? Paula 20 said minutes yes. to get her dressed? Yeah, she said yes. Yeah, yeah um, it, it normally, if I'm dressing for a wedding, it can take four hours. Wow. Because everything has to be perfect. Yes. But I can do speed dressing in 20 minutes. Brilliant. Do watch on social media. I'm going to go in and take some photos as they're getting ready. Not obviously all the photos, but the ones that you can see. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, make sure that you look on um, Paula's social media later because you'll be able to see those. Um, Jill is now going to have to wrestle me out of this because I have to say she's not getting that back. I need to make sure that I get hold of this because it is absolutely gorgeous. And, of course, it's showing off all those beautiful things that um, Jill shares with us, her knowledge, her enthusiasm, her passion for Japan. 
Japanese, um, Japan, Japanese culture. That's why we've got such amazing kits that we've been sharing with you, with that little essence of Japan running through all of them. Now, one of the most popular items that has been going through this show has been that wonderful bundle of those 30 pieces of fabrics. Now, these are available on immediate dispatch. They're pretty much the only thing I think that we've got left now that's on immediate dispatch. We've had a busy, busy hour. Um, so don't forget, if you're wanting to get hold of them while you've got the opportunity, many of the items we've been sharing with you are limited stock quantities. So if you're watching on repeat, please make sure you've got that sense of urgency when you're completing your order because you could potentially miss out on some of those items if you're not careful. Um, another one that's been very popular and I've certainly got my eye on is that 15-piece pack. Now this is where you've got your Japanese cotton with all that gorgeous foiling going on. Beautiful to use on your small projects, but don't forget you can piece the fabrics together beautifully. They stitch gorgeously and these gorgeous cottons don't fray, so they're nice and easy for you to work with. So if you are a non novice sewer and you've just fallen in love with the fabrics and let's face it who wouldn't then you can with confidence work with these ones they're on extended delivery now because they did sell out but we're only look, looking at next Wednesday so it's not too long to wait at all 279503 um, I have to say I have had the most amazing um, hour we love it when Jill joins us here at the craft store it goes too fast doesn't it, it really I've got too does. much to say oh not at all <laughs> but thank you Jill thanks Ellie look forward to you look lovely you in that by the way yeah you're not getting gorgeous <laughs> You're not getting it back. Oh dear. The fact. There we go. <laughs> and do stay tuned. We've got lots more coming up. Fabulous. Karen's up next with powder. I'll see you soon. Bye bye for now. So distracted, Paula. She's not paying attention at all. Tremendous, stupendous. That's what we've got coming up. Then we're back with a one-day special, of course, at 12 o'clock. Before I join you for all and create happy hour. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Hello, I'm Carol. And I'm Hayley. And together we are the Dreamies. Dreamies have been around for 11 years now. We started with CD-ROMs, we've developed into stamps, paper pads, dies. We've now got the Dinky Inkies range as well. We design everything in-house and we manufacture in the UK. We produce tutorials to inspire you to get the most from our products. On the Dreamy Shows, we hope to further inspire you with all the techniques and tips that we can offer, hopefully getting you to use all of your inks, your flower making techniques, and really build on all the skills you probably already have. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 the craft store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Good morning, I hope you are very well. And now we continue the inspiration here at the craft store with a little bit of a stamping and from a very, very uh, tremendously 
kind of a reputable and also very follow brand, of course, Stampendos. But we also have got a very follow lady here to do a lot of demonstrations. Thank Karen, you. For how having. are you? I'm all right. Thank you very much. How are you? I'm very good. good now, morning, of course, uh, Stampendos, anybody who knows about craft uh, stamping will know the brand of Stampendos, but also the house mouse. Yes. And we've got, we've got, really, we've got them. Really. We've, we've got fitted it by the skin of our teeth, haven't we, this Literally. morning? Literally. Literally. The skin of the teeth. Uh, uh, right, of yes. course, uh, that is going to be, uh, I'm going to show you in a second, but before we go into details of those stamps, uh, we have got a happy hour from our wood. Uh, now, of course, this one is some of the essentials that we use every single day. Yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, Okra Arch is really, really well known for all its essentials and the really hard wearing, the, the knife, it doesn't, you, blades are easily accessible elsewhere, uh, anywhere else, you'll be able to get new blades with it from anywhere. But these are Teflon coated, your long scissors, I've had mine ages, you can tell because all, all the handles really, really filthy, and your knife, they're, they're the start-up. Yeah, they but are. They're, one that you keep. You keep. Uh, I love the fact that you have got rubberized handles as well as the rubber handle in the craft knife. You can buy replacements of the blades as well. It is a traditional craft knife that I kind of always have got at least one of them at hand. And of course, uh, being a happy hour, £9.98 is what you are paying for both of them. That saving of £3.50 is here for the hour and the hour only. So make sure to check out your baskets. Now, of course, that is a happy hour, but uh, Karen was here at bright and early at 7 a.m. However, something that you didn't see, something that just has appeared almost miraculously. <laughs> quarter it, to 11. <laughs> quarter to 11. So it's literally just before we went on air. Is the house mouse a coffee break? We all need a coffee break sometimes. Oh, definitely. Definitely. They've just popped through the, just popped through by the post, yeah. haven't they, these? I love this. It's and absolutely gorgeous. It is brilliant. And of course, it's absolutely hot off the press. I love the tea, the, you know, you, this is me in the morning trying to get that coffee, you know, it's like, I yeah. need the whole coffee. <laughs> yeah, thank you to Cheryl and that, she stamped them out and we've been doing a little bit of colouring just before we come live, but to, we've got a couple of samples done, but absolutely stunning. You can see all the Essien and everything, the, it looks so realistic, it does. doesn't it? Even in black yeah. and white, I love the image because there's yeah. like the shading in the bottom as yeah. well. And of course you have got, and I love the idea of fussy cutting as well, these uh, this image and in the foreground, card, you yeah. know, from bringing it forward, absolutely, yeah. or even taking it to another card as well. Oh yeah, and that would be lovely in to stamp onto a coffee tin or something like that. You know, and, so and paint great, it with paint, paint pens yeah, absolutely. and stuff. Absolutely, already Definitely. ten percent of the stock has gone. You are only paying ten ninety nine, and of course, it's this brand new, brand new. Not today, this hour, because of course <laughs> uh, it was then featured at seven a.m. Zero double seven three zero seven is. Shall I say it again? 077303 is your item number. The number's then, that new, you couldn't get your tongue round it. Well, that's it. I mean, even if it's old, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> then we have, of course, another uh, another brand new one, which is, of course, the Painted Pansies rubber stamp. Love how he the, the mouse is kind of painting those pansies in there as well. This is Maxwell. Maxwell. Yes, definitely. They're all named and everything else, and we've quickly just thrown, well, I know we can say thrown mm -hmm. together, but we've just quickly popped a, popped a bit of something together, a bit of watercolours there, but absolutely gorgeous. You can imagine in, in, the, in, the, in, the, uh, in the wild where they're out there and they're yeah, painting all the flowers absolutely. and everything, can't yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> Little uh, people. Yeah. Uh, over 10% of the stock has gone as well. Remember, you, these ones weren't featured at 7 a.m., so make sure uh, that you grab the latest into the uh, house mouse uh, family designs. Uh, 237069 is your item number for that stamp set. And remember, it's a deeply edged grey rubber as well. Okay, uh, shall I show you this? Because it's just kind of really, uh, you can see there. This one has been stamped, so yours will be brand new, but you can see it there. Right, and now uh, we have got more for you. We have got the Mandala Flower Rubber Stamp uh, from Estampendus as well. I love the 
elements. I think that I can see a lot of colouring going on here. Yes, lots of colouring, lots of layers, some nice little fussy cutting, building it up, using your glitters to decorate, you know, to do the colouring with it, um, on acetate, colouring from behind on acetate, um, making them as window stickers and uh, different things like that, but absolutely gorgeous to cut out. And if you look closely into it, Paula, it's not completely symmetrical. It has hand been hand drawn. There are oh, little yeah, elements that it. uh, it's not it's not being manufactured on a, a computer. They have been hand drawn. That is beautiful. And of course that is the mandala flower. It's just nine ninety nine, grey rubber, clean foam mounted, ready to be used. A uh, two one four uh, two four five is your item number. Then continuing that you know, beautiful bold flowers. We have got these amazing I love this one, the hellebore. Uh, now again you have got here a sizable stem grey rubber beautifully deeply edged i mean the def definition of that edge it's amazing and then of course we have those gorgeous flowers stamped into here as well so you can see them here and then shall i put that one in here you can see them color this is a flower that can be colored in many different ways in many it? different ways at seven o'clock this morning i did a quick coloring of how to just daub it all into ink and then three-dimensional but uh, you can it, it it gives a crafter the scope to go really into town and make it intricate coloring yeah. or you can quickly watercolor it use your alcohol markers plenty of space and don't forget you can doodle in that one yeah, as well absolutely. it's nice for doodling yeah, it is uh it's just 9.99 brand new today here here at the craft store 488136 is your item number and I love these bold big flowers because they are so easily to use as well I'm thinking of stamping and embossing into gold and of course in bringing those coloring methods whatever you like uh, here we have got the single ranunculus I actually love ranunculus I'm well, just thinking of how well you pronounced it, Ailey, and I was struggling oh, this morning. Oh, really? Yeah, that was absolutely one word amazing. I can't pronounce, you know, Better than we can. <laughs> yeah, well, it's because it's one of those flowers that I really like. I love. Yes. It's just, I call them mini peonies because yes. they are kind of. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. actually, I would say that this is actually a little bit larger than they are in real life. Is it? Yeah, they are about. I don't know. They're about this size. Wow. Wow. So yeah, they are, it's, it's very detailed. It is. Again, for colouring, um, massive to be able to. You you think about how you can fussy cut and layer that up and make that look really, really full. Um, but you can also doodle into it as well. Yeah, are absolutely glorious. Uh, I love the way that. I mean, it could be a peony if you wanted to because it's very yeah. similar. There are certain varieties of peonies that are like look that. Look how it eats, it's eat and boss. It's gorgeous, it's isn't it? Beautiful. All those layers. And again, if you want to bring in your watercolors or alcohol markers, by all means. But also, I think for our journaling with a distressed background, these would be absolutely stunning. And, and fabric. Haley was saying oh, about absolutely. fabric. Oh, embroidery. You, you yeah, embroidery in it, but. Fabric and colouring, it's going to be a, 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 it's a nice bold print. So it get is. some nice white calico or white cotton and stamp up on uh, with, with mm -hmm. fabric uh, inks and then start colouring it in and throwing paints. So, yeah, uh, absolutely. Lots of possibilities. Yeah, definitely. 999 is your price. 771 319 is your item number. Then, oh, I love, I never seen a stamps like this from Stamp Panda. So you have got like a, a slimline DL it's sort a DL of side. Card, yeah. Look at that. So we have got this one. It's just, just a floral one that we are looking at. We are, will see those feathers in a second. But 40% of this brand new today uh, stamp, the Slim Cling Floral Wings Rubber Stamp. I love, I really love this one because you can spot colouring, right? Spot colouring, you can just colour one part of it, have it in black and white, uh, use embossing powders onto it because the, the embossing powder is lovely on there. Uh, and just colour one part of it or you can make a background um, and colour and, and print a uh, stamp onto it or as it's been done there, just colour each one. and easily colored but again doodle you can doodle into that one really big 
beautiful. It's a card in a card yeah, on its own, it just a card. Absolutely gorgeous. I also think that this size, again, borders in an art journal. Uh, again, embroidery onto fabric. Yes. There's so many possibilities. And I love the fact that you can spot like fussy cut flowers or butterflies. You can fussy cut those, dark, can't you? Yeah, definitely. Lots of possibilities. It's not just stamp and go. You yeah. can you can layer up, definitely. you can cut more flowers and have some coming forward, mm -hmm. some some taken away. Yes. Absolutely stunning. Indeed. Uh, 071427 is your item number. 1199 for that stamp. We have got another one to show you of the same size. However, this is the hair feathers. This is actually approaching limited stock. Of course, uh, Karen was here at 7 a.m. So make sure to check out your baskets if you want. We are actually now officially limited stock. Can I say how much I love this one? Because I know I keep saying that, but these one, the feathers had like kind of, you can see them kind of coming down in the air. Yes. Yeah, and they're all the different feathers. You can still stamp it out and fussy cut, but it embosses beautifully. Do it onto a background, uh, do a nice, uh, whatever backgrounds you do. And I like those backgrounds that are, are quite random that you don't know how you're going to get them, you know, like your brush shows and stuff like that. And then just st stamp and emboss it. Silver onto, onto black, absolutely luxurious and don't forget we have all those dyes with feathers on oh, don't we they yeah, just would just so be well. absolutely beautiful right. uh, but now it is a technical seller which means that if you have it in your basket you will get it immediate dispatch uh, however luckily we have got some more unextended delivery it will be dispatched in 10 days time so that would be the 31st of august which is uh, not this tuesday the following tuesday uh 313 is your item number 1199 for it and remember great rubber stamp great quality clean from mountain ready to go right that is the ones with the great rubber but we have got clear stamps from a stampendous uh, we have got the bumblebee here with the bee happy uh, you have got seven stamps in total that you can mix and match there uh, now that is there is lots of possible I love these samples as well because you know it shows it's a really fun clever way to right. use right yeah. yes clever. definitely definitely look at that and the little dots in there but don't be fooled by the size of it because you can make it larger or smaller as you wish to like the bumblebee never give up you can fly oh i love that sentiment really love never give up you can fly love that uh, 890 is your item number 14 pounds and 99 pence is your price for that one and then we have got even another one from a stampendous which is the floral uh, circle as well here you can see the perfectly clear stamps brand new today as well uh, which are really fabulous uh, I love this because it has got like kind of mendic sort of a style kind of in there, but also a mandala, but flowers. There's so many elements. There's so many possibilities. It can be a mandala, but it can also be flowers. But it's also great for uh, scene building, even making little flowers. Just cut, and easily to cut out. They're easily cut out. And there's lots of different layers. So there's little stamps there where you can take the center out and add the other centers. Absolutely stunning. I love this. 803772 is your item number. 14 pounds and 99 pence is your price. Uh, grab yours by checking out your baskets. Remember, we have had already one sellout this hour. We have got lots of brand new todays and brand new for this hour. You will find them on the website, of course, thecraftstore.com. And of course, the website is the fastest and easiest way to check out your baskets. Uh, we are trying to get, uh, you know, to, there are queues on the phones. We are trying to get to you. Uh, but if you have got access to the internet, the craft store, com will be the fastest and easiest way to check out your baskets now there is lots of returning favorites as well with five star reviews including the six by six clean rubber stamp with the old inspiring text as well as well as some oh look at that I love that one it says happy celebrate and so much more and being such a large size of the um, you know stamp you can means they will fill the cold card also the mini clear bumper collection very popular always as as well as the Elwood mixed media textures, stamp sets, and words. Look on the oh, is that who is it? Magic Monica and Muddy. Uh, they're there uh, together. Oh, they are so cute, aren't they? Uh, right, have a look on the website, and you can say here. What can I say? Friends and Muddy. Oh, Muzzy, Muzzy. 
Oh, oh, cute, so cute. Right, of course, that is on the website. But right now, Karen, are you ready? We are. We're going to do the, with the, we're going to play with the B one. It's got two nice sayings into it. So it's got one that's B happy. And you don't have to have that with a B stamp. You can just pop that in. And then the other one, I've, I have read it. Be like the bumblebee. Never give up. You can fly. Uh, a little bit of inspiration as from our Carolyn. Uh, from from a sample uh, from a demo, but also in this set you've got a little like a triangle and a another little line. I'm just going to show you yeah. how to go on with those as well. So I've got an A5 piece of paper. Uh, uh, well, it's a 240 super smooth from uh, Jelly Bean. You can stamp on it, ink on it, do ever what whatever you want with it. Uh, and a little bit of watercolour, and it takes water quite nicely. So I'm going to pop that round about in the middle, okay, and you'll be able perfect. to see. And I've not got anything underneath, Paula, so I'm quite happy to have the confidence to be able to just stamp it yeah. down. You by having something underneath you mean like a foam? Like a foam, yeah. yes. I've never I was I was always struggled with stamps um until we got a stamping platform. Yeah. And since I've had the stamping platform, it's increased my confidence. Yes, absolutely. So therefore I'm quite happy now to start stamping yeah. with without uh, without, without anything. Like yeah. Yeah, without it, without a safety net, as they say. Yeah, sometimes it's scary, isn't it? It is, especially on live TV. Yeah, absolutely. Isn't it? Yeah. Like every time, I mean, even now, like the other day, yesterday, I was demonstrating them. You know, I was like, every time I wasn't using a stamping platform, I was like, oh, is, is, it, gonna gonna is, is it, it gonna work? Is it gonna work? Yeah, but it's funny, isn't it? I bought it, and here's one I've done earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Just in case. Just, Just in, in case. case. <laughs> So I'm going to turn this one upside down. What you can see, it will match. Now, do I excuse my head over because it's only got... I want to make sure it matches up just ah, nicely. Remember, on this top part, you've yeah. only got one line, but right. you've got two lines in between all the rest of them. And it just takes it slightly ah, off. And right. hopefully, I will have matched yeah. it up. There. Perfect. Oh, that's Look even better. That. Even better than the other one. Wow. <laughs> you done good. I done good there. Yeah. I'm quite pleased there. Yeah. I'm gonna oh, just show you this proud. this little one that goes on the side. So you want to carry on starting building the scene. Oh, you can pop that. That's clever. Onto the side there. Yeah. Not as probably as far away, but pop it onto there. And then if you only want half of one, we'll, oh, I've put my fingers in it. Just let me wipe them up my hands yeah. on my jeans. Oh, this is why we wear black. This is why we wear black yeah, jeans, absolutely. definitely. We are very busy on the phone, so if you have got access to the internet, that will be the fastest and easiest way to check out your baskets. And, and then this one is going to go if you only want half of one. So I would suggest getting a, 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 another block and making that just line up. And then you've got half a one. So you will be able to build that up wherever you want. Um, I see, yeah. yeah. So you could expand then, it, yeah. So expand it. You don't want to expand it with a with a full uh, chevron every time. You may just want to pop one in, but making sure that they match up. If you can uh, see yeah. with your honeycomb, it, yeah. it goes in a... It, it has a pattern. Yeah. Look for the pattern and you'll be able to follow it and you'll not go wrong with that pattern there. So that's a little bit about stamping just to show you those little bits. So that can extend it as much or as little as you want. You can even start doing your own Perfect. patterns with that. While I'm just doing that, one quick thing I will do, if I may, while I've still got the stamp out, is just show you a little... Oh, I'm only going to stamp half of it. But... If you get your stamp and then have I done it right that way? Let me stamp that way. I did I did notice this. And then start here. You can do a border. You can start doing borders all the way around your uh, round your cards. There we go. So start doing little borders. So that's just another way to do, to use it as well. 
All right, uh, we are approaching half the stock of the Bumblebee with a happy, a perfectly uh, clear stamp size. We can see it here. Approaching half the stock. If you want yours, do check out your baskets. Remember, we have had already one sell out at this hour. I love, I love the way that you can expand the honeycomb and highlight the centers as well and make yeah. it. Yeah. You see, doing that on a full page and then, oh. and then using your craft knife to cut those out and have every have all your yeah. children's photographs underneath yeah. it when you've done it on the 12 right. by 12 page. So we're there so far, and now we'll get our inks. So I've got two distress inks. I've got a fossilized amber and a ripe permissian, and I have no idea whether the same ones that I've used, but I'm just oh, blending I love in. Amber. Yeah, I love oh, I love such colour. A beautiful I love orange and yellow. Yeah. Now it's still my ink's still a little bit wet. I should have dried it, but hey ho, here we go. And I'm covering up those bees. I'm not not so worried. And then I go for a, an orange one, and we're just gonna give it a little bit. Oh, still need yellow one to blend blend that back in. And that's how beautiful your oxides will mix. Oh, look at that. And brushes do help, do that. Oh, they? definitely. Yeah. I could never I could never yeah. mix them with um you know, yeah, you know, with, with, blending, with the blending yeah, tools, too, I was yeah. rubbish. I like them for certain t techniques, yeah. but for like for instance, a stenciling through it, yeah. I prefer the foam because it kind of pushes down. But like you it's, are doing, it's just so. It's fun. right because you get the little finger brushes. You get, you've got that big yes. flat one, and yes. that's great for you. Everybody says you, you have one brush for this, but you need a brush for everything, yeah, don't yeah, you? Different, different, there are different yeah. techniques for different things, the right and the, the more right brushes thing. and different brushes you have, the the more more things that you can you can actually do. So we've got there so far. And then what we're going to do is I will show you how the little bumblebee stamps out. Pop that back onto there. And this bumblebee is an exact match to the one that's on, on the stamp. So you know, you don't have to stamp it out and, re and cut, yeah. fussy cut it if you don't want to. You can use the little stamp exactly how you want. And right, he okay. stamps up so beautifully there. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. While I'm at it with the uh, with the uh, inks, yeah. I'm just gonna go in there and make him a little bit yellow. I did do watercolouring of the last one, but I'm not. And then I'm just gonna make him look a little bit brighter. Then you get your scissors and you just start fussy cutting it out. And if if I turn the scissors around. And if you do a nice little fussy cut and just a little bit of a wiggle, if you keep wiggling, you still get that same same part. However, there are two that I have done earlier. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut into the wings. And the wings, you could stamp them onto acetate, maybe? Acetate, vellum, oh, oh, whatever you... Yeah. Stamp, stamp it all onto acetate and then put the acetate over the top, sticking down yeah. the part that you can see through there and then have four or yeah. six wings so, coming yeah. up. Absolutely gorgeous. And then what we are going to do is we're going to cut this down and stick it and then we've got words to pop on. So. You can then now cut this to whatever size that you want. So you can have it yeah. any size you want. Very busy for this set. Approaching the 60% of the stock has already been with you and yours. Details of the left hand side of the screen. £14.99. Absolutely beautiful. And a, bee's, a bee comes out anywhere, doesn't it? Absolutely. So we've cut that down to there. And then let's get the words. We'll show you the words, shall we? So I'll take the B off, pop him back onto there. We've got the words and we'll do each one separate. So I've got one flying up, one flying down. Put the words in. You can eat emboss these if you want. In that one I'm going to say B like the bumblebee. Just leave it, let it settle in a little bit. And look how beautiful that stamps out. And then the next word, I'll put these back in a second. This one I really, really like. 
because this can be used oh, anywhere yeah. for, for be happy. I like it when somebody says be happy. Yeah. And you've got, and you could just do, do draw if you've got some tiny ones Absolutely. and it go on to anything, yeah. won't it? Be happy. be happy. If you're happy, then then you've got to, yeah. you've got. Uh, we were talking to Jill today, and she was telling us how happy she is. Yes. And you can see it, can't you? You can see that she's happy, yeah. well, and it's lovely to be happy. It's it's impossible not to be happy, surrounded by all these beautiful kimonos. Oh, and I know. And I know. And it's just the explosion of beautiful color and pattern. As is the card that you are creating, because I love those, you know, yellows and oranges. I that love are beautiful, yellows and oranges. But, yeah. I'm just doing the. The, the the bit of twinkle and I'll just show you that on another piece of card the twinkle if I've stamped it so that's the bit this is the bit that you could do with clear and uh, clearing and put uh, twinkling embossing powder yeah, on and everything good. else like that and then the next thing to do is a little bit of glue and the only bit I'm going to stick my awkward archer glue only bit I'm going to stick is the centre bit and I'm going to pull them up and just shape them nicely into there and push oh, that down a little bit gives it you could do those three dimensional if you wanted to oh I love that it just makes them literally pop it out. makes them pop out yeah a nice uh, Nice simple start to a car, but uh, and uh, and and the bees are bees will always go everywhere. A little bit of black pen. Now you can stitch or you can border it, whichever you want. Yeah, I love a bit of border. Yeah, oh, I love. Yeah, it kind of frames it out. Yes, it? it yeah, it certainly does. Yeah. I love a border. And you don't have to be neat, do you? At no, one time, you used to have to do borders really straight, oh. and then you'd get really upset because you didn't do them straight. Yeah. I um, never used to do this, uh, the borders because I could never do them straight, and I was like, no, I'm not going to do them. You're not going to do them. You're not going to do them. And then what yeah. we got? A little bit of black card. And there you go. Excuse me. Ah, I love that. Really, really. You know what? I like that kind of gap in there. It's just kind of adds, like I would wrap some ribbon through it. <laughs> some ribbon through yeah, there, yeah. yeah. yeah it's like just that. the back and of then, a piece of the... There's a matter yeah. I can put it like a dangling element, maybe a bee coming I mean, with a wire. Wrap oh, around wire and then the bee. Yeah. On acetate. On when acetate. it wobbles, yeah, it definitely wobbles. coming out the top. Yeah. Oh, I've uh, done that for ages. Is it? Oh, I love acetate. Uh, yeah, that would work so well with it, says I'm saying. Very busy, approaching 80% of the stock has gone. It's jumping off quickly. So if you want yours, £14.99, brand new today. 890-836 is your item number. Now, of course, this is one of many of the brand new stamp sets, so make sure to check them out. But can oh, the B set, it is now limited to stock. If you can, if you want it, please check out your baskets. Very, very busy, so it will sell out probably in, uh, in the you know in the next few minutes, I would imagine. Uh, now, uh, you, I believe, Karen, you oh, have a, a de just, quick demo with a sentiment. Just one there that we did. Oh. Um, exactly the same bee stamp and then put it through a die cutting machine and it's it's done in the honeycomb the honeycomb oh, I um, like. our Cheryl's watercolored that for me but that's another way that you could do it and make a shaped card yes. with it if you've got an ex uh -huh. a, a ex hexagonal dice you know one of my favorite cards um is actually using hexagons and creating like a honeycomb and you can die that die cut that or quite a few times and create that effect remember to check out your baskets uh we have had a technical sell out uh, the bumblebee uh you can see here but we have it back on extended delivery dispatch date from the uh, september uh 31st of August, so right, so sorry about that. So 31st of August, that will be the dispatch date. Uh, 14 pounds and 99 pounds is the price. 890-836 is your item number. Now, uh, just to reiterate, a temp, um, it has sold out now on immediate dispatch, back on extended. It will be dispatched from the 30, uh, 31st of August, and 10% of that extended delivery has already gone, so make sure to not miss out. Details are the same, left-hand side of the screen, 14 pounds 
and 99 pence for that. I believe that oh, that was very quick, wasn't it? It was very, very quick. Yeah. And I believe quick is also your next then. Just a little quick one. Congratulations. It's that way. Yeah. <laughs> I can never read backwards. Congratulations. So um, we had an email this yeah. morning regarding regarding the words. Oh, I love them. And what we're going to do is we'll, we'll just put some some words I, down. Can I say that I like the ones that is a little bit different? Like I say, looking, uh, looking uh, or feeling. Of, uh, what says it? Can I say it? Uh, looking strong. Not. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> because you have got right, go on then. That's what we're doing. We'll yeah. do that one. Uh, looking, looking forward. Not. Looking forward, not. Uh, uh, feeling yeah. strong, not. No, no. Or um, feeling. We look back. Uh, not. No, not. Where's not? Moving, not. moving on. You can say moving on. Moving yes. on. Um, I love that because you can do like really positive, uh, inspiring uh, sentiments, but also very, uh, you know, kind of. We, there we go. You know, That's the not. Funny knots. ones. So we'll do that one. And all we're just going to do is just show how the, you can heat emboss them and uh, how, how they work. So we've got feeling strong, not. <laughs> or feeling positive, not. not. <laughs> uh, feeling amazing, not. not. <laughs> There's lots of little yeah, words in there. It's what that. I did is when I designed those, I put a load of little sentiments together. You know, like happy birthday, wishing you a happy yeah. birthday, wishing you a, um, a wonderful anniversary. And then we split them all down yeah. into individual words. There will be a lot more coming in the future. I love that. So I've done a little bit of embossing. Oh, there is something as well you could spell here if I'm right. Yeah. Um, ha oh no, I know it's, it's half. Uh, oh, that's a, that's a, I'm kind of kind of creating words in my head, but yes. it's like yes. I think the best thing to do is stamp them all out, yeah. cut them all out, and then just play, and just just play with them. And we just got a little bit of white embossing powder. It's very windy in here, Paula. We, with the air con, with the yeah. air con, yeah. Do you want it off? No, no. I just noticed. So oh, I'm yeah. all right, thank you. Sorry, I didn't mean to sound rude. Then. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, um, we aim to please. I, that was. Uh, I was just noticing how the uh, embossing powders because it it's flying. so fine, it <laughs> flies everywhere. That is like. So we're going to do this one from underneath, shall Ooh. we? All right. Is that all right? I don't know. We're doing from underneath. Okay. Whatever pleases you. We will try. Can you see that, yeah? yeah? And you can see it start turning. Now underneath you get a better, you, you get less dimples in it. It's like, I'll do the feeling from the top and then you'll be able to see the difference, won't you? Mm. There we go. But that's the beautiful embossing powders. But a lady asked this morning about the, about uh, how to emboss them. But you can see the difference there. Doing from underneath, it's like melted from underneath and melted yeah. in. Oh, yeah. And on the top there, it's a little bit bubbly. But yeah. you can just then cut as many, make as many words and as sentences. They just uh, stamp up and uh, emboss beautifully. Uh, if you want detail embossing powders, details on the screen. It's a pick and mix. You choose any two. There is six different options, including a white. I believe, uh, which is of course what Karen has been using. Uh, we have got clear, silver, gold, uh, copper, and black. And the stamp pens are some of the original embossing powders that I think I bought uh, like 19 years ago. Well, pans been going 35 years, exactly. and yes, I totally agree. They were my very first, first original ones. And they have the pots that are low, uh, larger as well. 9.99 for a price uh, for two of them, whichever colors you want. Of course, uh, Karen is using the um, the media texture. Sorry. Uh, the grunge words and so the media textures are on the screen right now is there this textures uh, there's two options so you have got the textures uh, or grunge works so you can see here this is of course the one that uh, Karen is using I was thinking that it's like ho always hoping to have 
a happy day, a wonderful birthday. You have got moving on. Uh, you are brilliant, you can say. Uh, fantastic. I think they are absolutely stunning words in there as well. Have a brilliant uh, birthday. Absolutely. Like that. Uh, right, of course. And then uh, if you want yours, uh, do check out your basket. 721913 is your item number. 14 pounds and 99 pence is your price. Uh, now, of course, we have... Um, Oh, shall we start with the beginning? The coffee break, right? yeah, on the beginning. So coffee break, uh, the rubber stamp in here. Uh, gorgeous, brand new stamp. This is the first time, this is the first hour that you are seeing this stamp in the uh, in here at the craft store. We are approaching 60% of the stock as well. So it is a very busy house mouse. Brand new stamp, and I love the character. I love coffee, so I can of course, of course, I'm going to love this one. But look at the way that the mice are in there. It's just such a cutie, and of course, you can fussy cut them. Think about, you don't need to do much with it in terms of coloring. So if you are a brand new beginner, this is perfect because all the shaping is already in the stamp, the fine lines. But whatever you like, so pencils you like maybe using your alcohol markers or your watercolors this is a perfect stamp to kind of practice the simple of coloring as well 077303 is your item number 1099 is your price and it's a fabulous stamp to send to somebody it's like let's have some coffee that would be a fabulous uh, way of celebrating friendship as well uh, now of course that is one of the brand new as a house mouse but we have got another one which is the painting pansies. Uh, here we have got Maxwell painting those isn't it just gorgeous? Can you imagine every day the mice kind of painting the pansies in the field? 40% of the stock has gone in here and you look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? With that pass, I love that. It's just so beautiful and I love how it's adding that detail on the yellow as well but of course Pencils come in different colors, so you can color in different ways here with pencils before with um, other watercolor mediums. 1099 is your price, 237069 is your item number. Then we have the mandala flower, and again, is of course the gray rubber cling for a mounted, so you can see it here. 999, of course, it's brand new today. I'm going to put it in front so it's kind of a little bit easier, so you can see it perfectly there. 214, 245 is your item number. Then moving on to the hellebore, uh, absolutely stunning large flower. One of those larger stamps that you can color in many different ways in here. Uh, 48. 8136 is your item number. 999 is your, of course, your price. Then we have got the ranunculus. Uh, one of the few words I can pronounce, uh, you know, properly. Don't know why, because it has got an R. That's why, ranunculus. Uh, then we have got, you can see it here, the gorgeous kind of peonies as well, kind of effect if you want to transform it. Amazing in stamping and embossing into all. 999 is your price, brand new today as well. 771319 is your item number. Then we have got the slim floral stamp set uh, as well. It's one single stamp. And you can see it's significant in size. So I would say it's nine inches in height. And of course, so you have got the versatility to stamp onto a DL or even larger card. So for instance, if you like the, your nine by sevens, these will fit perfectly there as well. Now you have the different elements that you can fussy cut. So if we do that, show you this card, you can see that of course the gorgeous stamping onto background or if you want to kind of go in with coloring as you can see here. 071427 is your item number, 1199 is your price. 40% of the stock has gone. Then uh, the feathers, that uh, is absolutely gorgeous. Now they have sold out, but they are back on extended delivery. So they will be dispatched from the 31st of August, I think. But 30% of the extended delivery has already gone. And what you got in here is this absolutely gorgeous, again, I would say it's about just under nine inches in height. And that gives you the definition perfect for the scars for people that maybe they're going through a tough time, or maybe is just to say thinking of you or thinking of somebody in, oh, I love that. I love this one. Uh, 313, oh, well, it, it, 
516, that was the item number. Uh, then we have got, of course, the Bumblebee. Now, of course, it did sell out earlier. It's back on extended. It will be dispatched of the 31st of August, but 40% of the extended delivery has already gone very busy. So if you want yours, make sure to check out your baskets. I love the different ways that you can use that honeycomb with the bee in there. And the cars that they have been done by the team, this one is part Caroline. Uh, look at that, how beautiful. And the fact that you can expand it as well, the pattern makes it even more versatile. 14 pounds and 99 pence is your price. 890-836 is your item number. We are approaching half a stock of the extended. It's not long to wait at all. It's just Tuesday a week. Uh, but if you wanted yours, make sure to check out your baskets. Uh, right, we have more for you also. Brand new today is the floral circles as well here. Love the Asymmet like kind of it's almost symmetrical but asymmetrical hand-drawn element in here 14 pounds and 99 pence is your price for this set brand new clear stamps as well perfect for backgrounds that you can mix and match the colors and create those absolutely stunning floral images as well love the kind of mendy style the kind of henna patterns there as well 803772 is your item number 14 pounds and 99 pence is your price then we we have got some returning favorites and these ones is the uh, agapanthus uh, then of course we have got ooh, look at look at those um, kind of I think there are kind of dandelion sort of elements in there with that uh, thank you in there so if you want some agapanth agapanthus uh, clear stuff oh the second time wasn't as easy uh, 14 pounds and 99 pounds is your prize six four six seven six is seven uh, Six four seven seven five seven is your item number, and this is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? And then we have inspiring text. Love this because it's a six by six clean rubber stamp. So that means that I'm going to turn it around so you can see it there. Absolutely, the detail is phenomenal. And the fact that it's six by six means that it will fill the whole card uh, beautifully. And so I'm going to show you a couple of examples. So you have got the perfect background. Look at that stamp and embossing to go silver. But then you can highlight, separate it, fussy cut those elements, those words, and create a special message in there. So you have here several ones of them, or you can go for just a simple one, select love, and there you have. And we are 60% of the stock gone. So for instance, we can go in for celebrate to rejoice in a festive occasion or event. Love that. And the last minute is synonymous party. Hope, expectations, to wish, to, a desire you wish to be fulfilled. Uh, to have faith or to believe that something you cannot see or touch is true or will come to be in the future as a, a future and expectation. Isn't it gorgeous? And the different words that you can put into your cards as well. And of course, for our journaling will be absolutely fa fabulous. 14 pounds and 99 pence is your price. 8008786 is your item number. This bundle always very popular because it's a fabulous, a great value for money because you are getting so many stamps, but also are different stamps. They are happy stamps. They are funky, they're whimsical. You have got flowers, you have got birds, you have got the flamingo with the sunglasses, which is rather fun. And then you have got the cat, the butterfly. But also it comes in with a clear block and an ink pad ready to go. <laughs> I'll be only one hour, everybody's done <laughs> I let it, I let it, yeah. Uh, you have got the acrylic, acrylic block and your ink. And I like the thickness of this block uh, because it's, it is, yeah. It's building up my collection very nicely, those, it those is, blocks. It is, yeah, because definitely. they're really nice. Shall I not touch anything? Yeah, I'll leave it, I'll leave it there. Uh, right, if you want yours, uh, do, uh, details on the screen. Uh, 087 S537 is your item number. If somebody can make a t-shirt for the world's um, most clumsiest person, I will wear it every day. And the second most clumsy is I'll wear it behind you. <laughs> second person. Second one. All right, yeah. we have got the more, uh, of course, of the house house stamp and the very basket uh, here we have with a mud pie, Monica and Muzzy. Uh, 350-344 is your item number. 
Uh, and of course, uh, it's so cute, 10.99 is your price. I'm not going to turn it around because of course I will knock it down. But you can see that it's grey rubber, clean foam mounted, ready to be used as well. Uh, right, uh, then we have got the missing treats here. And I just love that uh, friends and Muzzy, so they have discovered the treats. Uh, one of them is having a lovely time and the other one is like, where are my treats? All speech days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ten ninety nine is your prize. Uh, Three six four seven one nine is your item number. Now, of course, uh, these are the stamps that we have got for you. But we have got also a happy hour. Uh, we'll remember which are the tools. Uh, the perfect, uh, of course, and these scissors with that black coating, that titanium coating, which means that um, well, we cannot say they are non-stick. The sticky stuff doesn't attach itself as much. Uh, I use them all the times this type of scissors we just cut lengths of ribbon as well as paper obviously keep ones for ribbon keeps one for fabric and ones for paper so maybe you need a new pair for your fabric as I do uh, there we have got the craft knife as well with that rubber handle there triple zero four three six and remember this is a happy hour so that saving of three pounds fifty will disappear at the end of the hour so you know what to do check out those baskets to grab the bargain when it is in stock right Karen I believe you have got more for us I have so I've got the mandala and as you know, it comes with a mounted sheet on it, so that's a clean, a clean mount. Yeah. But that can become a little bit, yeah, okay. uh, yeah. get into the way. So if you Perfect. don't like it, uh, you don't like it all in one go, just cut into it near to where the stamp is. And you can see here, I've cut mine down. I've got less chance of damaging my stamp that way. And then that goes into the bin. And then sometimes they don't stick. Yeah. Now that means I, it's me that's got something yeah. dirty on there. Just give it a quick spray. You normally let it dry and just yeah. wash it. Give it a nice bit and now it That's sticks. Perfect. Yep. So all I'm going to do is just start stamping it out. Just I just want to show you how it stamps out. I've got quite a few um already uh, already done. And I'm I'm gonna stamp it out once. And I'm not putting a lot of pressure on because it's it's nice and thickly, uh, you know, it's got a lot of foam onto it. It's a, a deep, deep etched foam. I'm going to do one there. And then I'm going to start doing some little parts of ones. Now, I'm not worried about whether I do a full one or not. It's just the centre bits. I'm going to do some uh, layering of this one. I'll make sure I don't catch that. Well, I'm not. Go it's not going to worry if I catch that because I'm not going to have those yeah. dots on the next one. And that's that. And then perhaps my next one, I just want to do the centre bit. So I'm going to bob that there. I mean, I'm not so... It, not, none of this... It'll make sense when, oh, I, when I... Oh, I see. You, right. You'll see where I'm I going. I was like, OK. What's she okay. Doing? What, yeah. what is she doing? Yeah, I'm just doing it like this like that oh I think I know what you're and, doing yeah. yes I'm making layers but I don't need to have complete yeah. ones I need one complete one one about three quarters and and then from there now I'm going to do some uh, after, what I'm just going to do now is some blending I've got a little bit of a die cut right. and it's just got a little bit of a shape Ooh. into it so I thought that was quite nice Lovely. and we're gonna I don't know what colors I'm going Love to do it Gorgeous. It's one that I've had in my stash for absolutely ages and I've actually been doing some tidying and I found yeah. it and it's just is a it, dye Is it a memory box one? It possibly it, I think could it be. looks very memory box that one. It possibly could be Paula but I I take mine out at packets yeah. and store them. Yeah, I used to do that until I realised that my memory isn't what it used to be. I used to remember everything. Like I Did just, you? Oh yeah. I still remember certain things, but sort of the novels, this is that like, yeah. But it's not going to worry. We'll get, we'll rescue it. The yeah. beauty about, I went straight across the middle. Forget what, forgot where I was. Yeah. I was trying to do like a, an outer thing, but it's, it's oxide. It's not going to work. It's not going to matter because you can re-blend out. Yeah. See, I've saved yeah. it. Saved oh, it. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I love that. And then. Looks like an uh, archery, like a, the, the, how do you call it? The, a target. The target. Is it target? Target. Yeah. 
It's on, it's on your little background, just to hold on yeah. on to things. However, what we would do here, now this has had time chance to dry, we're just, well, not a lot to dry. Excuse, it's not dry. But you just keep building up with different colours. Like that. All the way through. And you end up with an ink background like yeah. that. With the inks, with yeah. the... Oh, with the... the with them already stamped underneath. Now, you don't want to see me do that because this is the end. All I've done is started cutting them out. Perfect. And they're all cut yeah. here. Ah, oh, different layers. Different layers, different colours, different yeah. layers. Do you think this stamp will work well with a uh, vellum as well and kind of doing some white work? Yes. Oh. Yes, you could. Also with this one, you could heat emboss it with the fine stampenders yeah. and then drop, um, put some water onto it and then drop inks onto, into it, into yeah. where it's all been... Um, yeah, the, the area. And it'll all run and, oh, and go really, really gorgeous, thick yeah. and uh, great on acetate. Yeah. Do it with all your glitters. You know, we used to do all the glitter work, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, do it on acetate. But this, and I'm going to bob that right in the middle there. And then. And just bob that down. I'm getting dirty hands now. I've done really well. I've got to nearly to yes! end it. Second show, Paula. Oh, I done good. Ah, done, done good. The girl done good. Yeah. You always did good. <laughs> yeah. We're just going to do a bit of housekeeping and get my fingers. This is what I need to do more of. Yeah. Wiping my fingers. Well, it's funny because I, I, I'm like you. I don't do it that often, and therefore it's like always finger marks in like perfectly pristine hard finger mark there. <laughs> I'd never get away with being a murderer because they'd have my fingerprints everywhere. <laughs> oh well, we we heard it here, you know. At least, at least that's good to know. Good to know. Yeah, yeah. 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 I do have these sign attendants. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah. So um, this is my base now. I've stamped it onto there. This has been hand drawn, so you do need to match it up with the one that's underneath. And I presume that that's the one underneath. No, it's not, is it? You will find it. You have to keep keep looking and keep looking. And I'd, I got it yesterday. Where did mm. I get it? Oh, there. You can see that one's a little bit off. A little bit different. I think that's no, that's not that one. You carry on while I get okay. on. Okay, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Of course, if you want the mandala flower uh, rubber stamps, is of course on there the screen nine ninety nine for that. The bumblebee doll uh, now they're very busy. It's sold out once. It's back on extended, but two thirds of the extended delivery has already gone. So if you want yours, uh, there is only one way, which is of course to check out those baskets. Fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence is your price. Eight nine zero eight three six is your item number. Karen, we have got about four minutes left till. The end we of were this we're, show. we're we're getting there. We're well on the way, Paolo. We're well on the way. Again, I'm going to use my scissors onto the the foam tape. I'll just put one bit on. I've got one already done of these, but uh, I'm going to put foam tape on them all. Quite happy to do it with these scissors. I know that it'll not gunge up. And if they do gunge up, I think I've only cleaned mm -hmm. these twice in, in, eight, in 12 months that I've had them, 12, 14 months. <laughs> but that's the thing, that this, this the, is the happy hour, which has yes, those, yeah. um, you know, the coating that means that is the stickiness doesn't attach itself as much, which is black titanium coated. Uh, now, if you want it, of course, it is a happy hour, which means that a three pounds, sa a three pounds and 50 pounds saving will disappear at the end. You're paying 9.98 for both of them. The craft knife, you can use, um, it comes with a blade, but you can use a Standard re replacement blades as well. Triple O four three six is your item number. Back to you, Karen. Yep, I'm just matching them up, and I can see that that one there, that matches there. So you will be able to match this up. It'll not go all together. It, it'll it, it has to go in a certain way. So it's, it's it has it has a way. You know, like decoupage has a layering. So so yes. does this, and the, you will you will get better yeah. at it. And I don't know why that I just couldn't do it again. <laughs> I did okay doing this yesterday. And then yeah, today I can't I like layer it up. Yeah. Can't find it. 
It's always the case, though, Paola, isn't it? It is. Uh, you know, it's funny because on TV, everything that, you know, like I always have a mare with a glue. The glue is always a nightmare. On, like at home, it's more or less okay. Well, they're saying that it's not at the minute, but anyway. Uh, but, it, you know, when, when it comes to TV, everything that can go wrong will go wrong. It's never a big issue, glue at home, is it? No. Because you just go, oh, glue's gone again, yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, well, maybe that's it. I mean, I have had, I, my house is super dry, so glue's dry immediately, but also on the bottle. Yes. So they clog so easily. And we're going to put, we could put look or look, looking. Look. From the light, from the open oh, yeah. words, we're going to have look amazing. amazing. We're going to go around that. Well, I'm not going to go around that part because that's covered in glue. So I would go around that. I'll go around the yeah. the white the the look, yeah. but I wouldn't like to go near it with glue because you can dry, you can dry your pens up. I always let things dry before you do it. And then what did we do? We're going to do. Another bit of a border. It's going to go onto black, and there'll be one that I've done much nicer. So we've got. Are we from the overhead? Yes, Is that we right? are. That goes onto there, and then here's one that I did in different colours. And that's the, the effect I, oh, I really want. Yeah, but still we can see a little <laughs> yes, bit. Yes, you can see the I difference. Love, I love the both of them. It, that is beautiful. Karen. And you can layer that. it up and, yeah. and put glitter on it. There's so many things you can do with yeah, a mandala. Really. There are I love so many mandalas. so many uses as well because it's just kind of an, uh, an abstract flower. If you want your mandala, 9.99 is the price. A great uh, rubber clean foam mounted stamp from Aslan Pandas. 214-245 is your item number grab yours check out those baskets and remember that you can create it in any color you want to do uh, so of course you have got there the details now we also incredibly busy for uh, the bumblebee that did sell out earlier but it's back on extended um, this patch date from the 31st of august which is only a few days like 10 days um now don't miss out uh very busy for this one uh what are we approaching so well um uh, over two thirds of the stock has gone. Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence is your price. Eight nine zero eight three six is your item number. Do check out your baskets. Um, very busy show. Don't miss out on the house mouse stamps as well. Now, Karen, when are you back? I'm back on Tuesday. I've oh, got cool. a guest appearance Ooh. Uh, for the lovely guys, uh, Andy and Nigel. The picture this. Well, fabulous. I know. No, no. Oh, I'm going to have to learn how to oh. watercolor. Oh, well, you are willing to. Learn, you I'll learn be so great. Yeah. You'll be great. Uh, thank you so much. Thank Karen, you for very today. much. Thank have you. a lovely time with you. Come on, oh, well, oh yeah. I think I will. Um, no, I will. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much, Karen. You take take care. care. I'll see you Tuesday. But of course, check out your baskets for this fabulous stance from Stampendous. But so stay tuned. One day special after the break with Fiona. Well, we do you indeed have the one day special from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Oh, the Plan Essentials is a fabulous one. Then I'll create a happy hour and then Festival of Japan Resin. I cannot wait. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint but with me and the SAA I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. 
The company La Branche is a crafting company located in Germany. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. I hope you enjoy watching us and crafting with La Branche. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B. Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B. Silkworks shows. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. Good afternoon, is it now? It's yes, it's now midday, and I have the pleasure of bringing you the Penelope Show for the one day special, which is absolutely stunning because I'm going to say the two words Elizabeth Craft. Yeah, absolutely. You know it's going to be full of gorgeousness, and it is the essential uh, planner, essentials complete collection, basically. And I know there's lots of us out there with our happy planners, memory planners. Um, here, we can literally create our own. So I am going to join a lovely lady via Skype, the gorgeous Esther. Good afternoon, Esther. Hi, Fiona. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm very well. It's so lovely to be working with you because I've not had the pleasure before. Um, no. this, this is an amazing collection, Esther. Tell me a little bit about it, darling. Yes, this is our new collection. Uh, I think it's uh, arranged with, uh, no, aligned with eight die sets. Uh, we've got four stamp sets and one larger one. So it all comes combines together and you can also combine it with all the previous uh, lines we already have. Absolutely. Well, I'm going to have the quickest of run throughs, Esther, and then we'll come to okay. you for a demonstration if that's all right, because I know you're going to be okay, showing... So I will, uh... If you get ready, yeah, Esther. I will turn my camera around. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That's fabulous. OK, see you later. Uh, I know Esther's going to show us uh, the dies that she's using as she goes through them, and you'll get 111 and 78 stamps, and they all work cohesively together with past collections as well. If you're a Freedom Club member, you're saving £75.99, and you are working out at every element being 95 pence each. Yeah. I mean, this, 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 this die, this large die, well, we've got so many large dies here, haven't we? I mean, if you just look at these page dies down here, and you'll notice the two inserts of the, uh, the six punch holes, as it were, that's 95 pence. You've got three very large page dies there. Um, so let's, t while we're here with Marcus, let's go through it. So here you've got your page, you've got your numerals there, you've got a sort of texture, um, and also with the hearts, your little motifs at the bottom there as well. Um, don't worry, these are going to be seen in fruition with Esther. We move across. Um, you notice those two little ones in the middle. I'm going to come to some stamps for those in a moment. Um, we've got, are these like the, t the sort of tag dies as well? Yeah. Make like, your own little tags. You can see the stitched at the side as well. So beautiful attention to detail. Got a lovely border die there as well. Moving across. Again, another page die, um, and then smaller dies inside. Um, are these are these like little tabs and and little cameras? And you can see the little pennants there as well, uh, frames that you can see. And again, it'll, it'll become clearer when Esther shows you them. And if you watch past shows with uh, the lovely L as well. Um, and you can just, I mean, to make your own plan. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the planner shows, but they can get to prove quite costly and you can make your own out of your own sheets out of your own papers which is the beauty of this and really personalize it and carry on making them um, and we've got some gorgeous folders on the show as well so you can insert these straight away then these are like your pocket dies as well and we've got love it love love it is it yeah love is it love this there we go fee 
love this and hello and I got that lovely little key keyhole there as well so there's so much and that's just the one row now these have sold out individually so you can only get these in the bundle okay every single set technically sold out individually okay so we can only get this now in the bundle but we'll move across to the top row because you've got a fabulous um, alphabet and numbers here which is a go-to isn't it um, but these you can see they're stitched all the way around the outside beautiful size as well so very dynamic and you've got the little holes in the bottom there as well to add uh, in certain areas of it to add further um, yeah to pop it out easily basically yeah uh, so you've got all your all your lettering there and uh, your numbers then moving across I'll tilt this forward again another page there with a lovely bird on a wire um, I'm not sure what that, that one. I'm intrigued by this it's this, this texture one up here I'm intrigued to see this I think that's called the splatter page, isn't it? So that's already die cut into your page. You've got some letters in there that spell love, as you can see. Uh, we've got the watering can and the spades and the flowers. There's so much in here. That splatter page is gorgeous, isn't it? Then moving across, you can see how big these dice are. They're working out 95 pence each. Our words, now these words spell fun, yes, kiss, OMG, fab, pro, hip. You girl. Okay. Yum. Laugh out loud. Uh, or is it? Is it lol laugh out loud? What everybody else used to think it was? Lots of love. Lots of love that's it. Uh, today and zen. Yeah, baby. Uh, let me just turn that around because you can see. You can see the, the, how they can be inserted there. And the little camera there as well on the page. Isn't that brilliant? Gorgeous. Love those. And you've, see, you've got this, the open circles there as well. So you can put your own in there. And then we've got again the but uh, we've got here. Which one are we on to now then? Oh, the butterfly. Uh, we've got our large frame tags there as well. Um, oh, yeah, that's it because you're looking at the front. Sorry, everybody. This, this is double sided. I'm describing the back to you. Um, and I'm looking thinking, I don't see a butterfly on this. Where is Marcus looking? I can see because he's looking at the front, Fiona. Um, all these, these extra little, you know, when you put your little uh, things to do, jobs to do, one, two, three. Um, what did we set aside that spelt? Oh, we read this, didn't we? Oh, sure, I'll have to ask Esther. I'll have to ask Esther. Let me turn it around, because this is what I was looking at. We'll figure it out. It all says something. Esther will help me out. Um, and then there you go again. So we've got the arrows. We've got the extra banners. The little, yeah, these, these are just fantastic. And again, I'm so sorry. We try to figure it out. Unless you die cut, it's so hard, isn't it? Uh, but Esther will be able to tell us there. Um, that's just the dies. That's just the dies, folks. I know, 111 of them. But I've got stamps. Now, do you remember I said, keep a lookout for those lovely little tags there because these stamps fit into them. Here they go. You've got a whole row of, 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 of them here. There we go. There they are. So they're ready to go in for we are made of these moments. Details this time. What I see, perfect. Um, best time home. Re re home. We've got wonderful, celebrate, good times, real life. Yeah, highlight, amazing. Uh, blank to fill your own, which is adorable, and together. I mean, there, that, that one stamp there is brilliant. We've got the bold numbers next to it as well. So really big, bold numbers there. So there's a really significant date, birthday, year, exclamation mark there as well. Absolutely fantastic. Love the vivid, bold strikingness of those. I think these are brilliant. Uh, dropping down, we've got the sentiments, we've got more words, moments like this, one fine day, little, yeah, like little frame Polaroids there, little tickets, um, paper envelopes, you know, you've got a lovely little bit of writing there, the definition of stationery, book of you, book of us, remember our days, noteworthy, you've got the little girl, right, I mean, they're gorgeous, and then moving across, the bumblebee, again, more, more frames, um, memorable story, lovely. I love those those writing stamps there. The three for ten cents there. You know, there's little black postage stamps there. Another wee girl there. Um, just fantastic. And last but not least, if we move right across there. You've got your planner for the day by day, haven't you? Silver linings, this and that. This is my life. Simple pleasures. All the details. Yes, this happened. Isn't that brilliant? Uh, the story, party time. All those little ring postage stamps as well. And then there, that you can just simply stamp that out. And there's your day to day for every day of the year. Extra days. You've got it all to hand to create the days, the months, the weeks, the years. 
the memory book, the planner book, the um, the budgeting book, the 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 the, the, the caravan book, the doggy book, the, ca the ca whatever it is, it doesn't matter. The notebook, you've got everything. And Freedom Club members, you're saving seventy nine pounds ninety nine. So. Even if you're not a Freedom member, you're saving £56. However, for £7.97, it's worth that spend because then you're going to save another further £20, taking your total up to £75.99 saving. £179.88. I know that's an outlay, so let's split it up into three flexibuy payments over August, September, October. £59.96, your first payment of three. This all arrives on your doorstep. Happy days. The dispatch is the 2nd of, of September, because you know this is a company based in the Netherlands, but it'll all be sent out together. All of this goodness, gorgeousness, interest-free, all of this planner goodness coming to you on that first payment. 4th of September is the dispatch, 714314. Now they're, oh, do I have, this is mine. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to stroke this. I know we've got to get to Esther, so I'll be brief, but this is the most such loveliness we've been able to get you a few more because over 70 percent the stock's gone but you are going to want this i promise you, you're going to need this you have got um 32 of the double-sided um 120 32 of the double-sided 250 that's the technical bit let's get inside everybody every page is a doozy designed by um our lovely l look at these these are just esther and uh I did Esther design this as well? Esther, oh God, Esther, I love you. You're amazing. This is so beautiful. What's the best way to hold this book up? Oh my gosh. Every bit of it is gorgeous. You've got maps. You've got journal pages. Can you, the colorways change. They get, they go from the sages. I mean, look at these background papers. You've got tags. You've got indexes, journals. Um, fussy cutting your tags out, beautiful background papers. Esther, you're, 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 she's, she's, she's an artiste. Look at this, the girl with the pearl ear. I mean, these are just beautiful. You will not, this is a great gift for someone. Add it to your flexi order, and then it's an extra £7.33 per month. I mean, these, you can see every, look at that page. Look at the gorgeousness. She's already created the print, the collage, the ledger. Oh, designed to fit perfectly with your planner pages that the uh, the planner set uh, create. I mean, you go from yellows to purples to mauves to greens to browns. Look at this gorgeousness. I need this in my life. Do you know what? I'd even just stroke this and just open it. Um, I'm just happy doing this. Look at this. I think Scott found a map of Liverpool last night. Look at these. Cut these out, these botanicals. Look at this. Esther is a woman of such talents. I love her. I've only just met her today. And this book. Oh, Esther, I need you in my life, my darling. I need this book in my life. Look at the gorgeousness. What's not to love? Get this. Well, yes, my Molly wants it as a coffee table, table book. Oh, it's just the best ever. I mean, they've got some gorgeous pads on the show, so I feel like I'm ruining that moment. They're stunning. I've been through every single one. But this, this boy, oh, look at this. It takes the biscuit. This, you need this, folks. This is just gorgeousness. I'm telling you now, there'll be a world of disappointment. And then we repeat it through again. It is phenomenal. I'm kissing it. Twenty-one ninety-nine. It's just gorgeous to us. Seven four eight two three seven. Please shop ahead. We are going to go to Esther. These are the lovely journal covers. We've got the double-sided ticky tape. Um, we, we've got yeah. We're going to go. Oh, too much to show you. Too much gorgeous to us. Let's go and see the lovely Esther via Skype in the Netherlands. Hi. Yes, Hi. I'm ready for you. Hi. Oh, you make me laugh so much when you show the book. I love it, Esther. You are amazing. Uh, you I mean, that genuinely, my darling, it's just gorgeous. Uh, thank you very much. That's really kind of you. Okay, uh, I will try to do a little bit more demo than uh, the last hour because there, were, huh, there are so many things I want to show it to you. Um, I will show a few sets uh, to start with, and then I start with my demo. So I picked out a few um, so I can show you the samples. For this one, uh, for example, it's a full page and it has rounded corners. So also for people who want to start with uh, our collection, uh, this is a great set to start with. So you can make full pages and it also has a frame and uh, another frame where you can put pictures in it. So for example, I made this one as a backing that's a rounded corner on this side. And there, there's this frame and I put two pictures in it. So I hope you're able to see it. Maybe I should put my 
work a little bit more to the top. Is it okay like this? Perfect, Esther. Absolutely perfect. Yeah? Okay. So this is the frame I used on this page. And then I'm moving over to this uh, set. This has, uh, how do you call it, uh, some kind of ripped paper edge. Yeah. And also a frame. Uh, let me show it to you. So this is the effect uh, mm. the, the, the edge gives. Mm -hmm. It's this one. And then I use one of the papers from the reminiscence book. And here you can see the other um, piece which in it, that's this one, and it has two little, uh, I think you call it slots or slits, <laughs> where you can slide uh, this piece under. Yeah, the slots, so, yeah. Yeah, slots, yeah. Um, so this is one of the stamps. Wait, I will show it to you. This is the stamp from the large stamp set, and then you can slide it under these slots. Okay, and then you can use this as um, a planner if you want to plan or your agenda, if you want to use it as an agenda. Uh, me, m myself, I am using it as uh, a memory planner. So I'm writing down, okay, what, I work in weeks in my, in my journal, mm -hmm. and then I write down, okay, what happened on Monday or Tuesday, or uh, just like a, like a diary or something. So that's this one. And then I'm moving over to the one with the numbers. Oh. I have a little demo with this one also prepared, so I hope we can we are able to manage it. And that's this one on this side. So that will is the effect it will give when you uh, run it through your die cutting machine. That's gorgeous. Yeah. And then I did this one in the previous hour. Uh, it has all those different cards. And Esther, what do they say? Think... What do they say, darling? Forgive me, I couldn't read it back to front. What What do the the words on that one you've just held up, the die set? What do this they one? say? Yeah, yeah what do... I'm going to show it to you now. Oh, sorry, darling. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Okay, I made this one in the first hour, and I didn't completely finish it, so I wanted to show it to you again. This is the new font, the di uh, the set with the new alphabet, and it has a stitch font, and one of those frames. I put on top of that and it says everyday life stories. So that's one of them. And then I will take, take it. The other one is saying good things. So I think you can see it now, right? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yeah. Okay. Then there's another one says, remember this day. Got it. And celebrate. Celebrate. Thank you that's so much. One. So much yeah. easier to see I will with you. Show you yeah, a quick, uh, a few quick samples I made. This is one of my husband and our youngest granddaughter. Oh. And I made this, it says good things. So it's very simple to make, yeah, just take a picture, put the frame on top of it, and you can use it in your journal or maybe put some rings on it and you can give it to someone as a present. And what's also good to know is the, these sizes are three by four inches. So they also fit those plastic pl uh, pockets where you put pictures in. It's called uh, Project Life, and then you use a lot of pictures in plastic pockets on pages. So they also fit those uh, systems. So this one says good things. Another one which says good things, I only took off the, this hole. Can you see it here? Mm -hmm. Because it was just in, uh, on top of her face. So I took it off. Here I made a little collage um, because I love to do it and I use a lot of vintage uh, ephemera. This is another one and I used also one of the butterflies in the set and uh, the banner. Oh. And you can stamp anything on this. Mm. So I took one of the stamps from the new sets and this one also says celebrate. And this is our eldest, eldest granddaughter oh. making breakfast. Oh. So, so Oh, and oh, I've got more. <laughs> Another collage. One more. Uh, this is one of the stamps from oh. the new sets, the little girl oh, with the so bold cool. numbers. Yeah. The bold numbers, and I put a wing, one of the wings of the butterflies. So there's a lot you can do with those uh, frames. It's a very versatile set. I'm putting this one aside. So mm -hmm. Let me see. Um, and the last one is the splatter page. And oh, no, I will show that to you later. I will start working on a demo right now. Is that okay? Thank you. That would be perfect, yeah? Esther. Thank you so much for okay. that. I am going to show you this one now. Am I still online? <laughs> you are, my darling. Yes, we can see you clearly. Oh, okay, yes. Sorry. I get engrossed I in what you're some... doing and forget to speak. I'm so sorry.
Okay, okay, okay. Uh, if you don't speak, I think I'm on, on, all alone <laughs> over here, you know? <laughs> sure. No. Okay, you are still there, Fiona. Yes, I am, sweetie. Okay, I, I'm going to use this set now. This is a fold page, and then it gives you kind of an arrow-shaped uh, page. Yeah. You can use in your journal, but you can also do something else with it. So, for example, when you cut it, it looks like this. You can put those frames, uh, put in another color, and you can make cards like this, and they go into your planner. Let me show you. Uh, I think I've got some here, yeah. Here, here is already one, and you can put them in like this. These also fit in the Sidekick Planner, the smaller one. And it doesn't matter if you put them down here or you can use them at the top, yeah. it's the same. So you can use them anywhere. And when you cut it, it's very easy. <laughs> Just for, what? Here I've got some uh, papers prepared which I want to use. So uh, the only thing you have to uh, be care of, of no, take care of, is that you use the right folding line over here. Okay. There's an embossed line, uh -huh. and it also has a stitched line. You don't need, you don't want to fold it on the stitch line because then it's not okay. So you have to take the uh, the correct line and then fold it. Right. Just use one of your bone folder or your fingers if you want. <laughs> to make the correct, so this will give you the right size so the, the holes will uh, line up perfectly. Okay? Gotcha. Then I'm forming it one more time. And then it's just like, I will take this away so it's more visible for you to see what I'm doing, I think. <laughs> so uh, you can use the um, double-sided adhesive. I think it's also in the show. Yes, we have or you those. Can use glue. We'll get those yeah. on the screen now. Three okay, millimeter yeah. across, and you get yeah. uh, 27 yards. So just line it up on the edges. Mm -hmm. I will do something here, a little bit extra. And I'm not sure if I want to uh, close this down already, so I'm only taking this part. Okay. So maybe I can put another tip or something uh, underneath. Mm. So it's very easy to remove the backing paper from the tape. Let me see. Yes, yeah, I can see that. And the, the different <laughs> sizes are good as well, the six and the three. Yes, yes, yes. I took the small one now. I don't know which sizes you have on the shelf. We've got, we've got both. You get to two of the three oh. and two of the six for 9 okay. yeah. Okay. Mm. So then it looks something like this and then well, you can use it like this if you want, but there is something nice because when you cut it, this piece falls out, you see? This comes out of this one. Yeah. Oh, sorry. And if you want, you can use it on this side. So it's, yeah, you know, it's the same look on both sides. That's really nice to do. But there's also a, a frame in the same uh, arrow shape, which has the words love this, and this one says hello. So what I did uh, on this one, I'm not sure if I'm doing it correctly. Yes, I do. Um, so I prepared this, of course, because you run it through your die cutting machine like this. So you take a picture, if you want to use a picture, of course, Aww. and run it through, and then you take it out, and then, then it has the words, love this. That's so cool. On here. So these are our three grandchildren. Oh, so beautiful. it's always good, a good subject to use in my journals. And then when you glue it down, you, you can really see the mm. words love this. That's so okay? cool. Yeah, I will glue that down in a minute. Huh? So then you don't need this, of course. So. And what you also can do when you make multiple of these uh, pages, you can make a mini book. Oh, so look. that's what I did with this one, and I'm going to show that to you first before I start continuing with the other. Uh, here I made, well, a bunch of these double folded pages, as you can see. So it's just a lot of those. And then I uh, put some rings uh, on it, and I started to decorate it just um, roughly. So it's not finished yet, but here you can see how I start working um, with a mini book like this. So this is the first, um, the main page, the cover. And as you can see, I use the same element over here as I did on the picture. So if you want to use a picture on the cover, that's very nice too, of course. 
So this is one of the girls from the new STEM sets. And uh, for this book, I used all kinds of green, green mm. shades. <laughs> and by using the same colors and using the same elements over and over, it starts to become one. Uh, is this the correct way for me to say it? Yes, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's getting cohesive or um, um, you bring it all together. You absolutely, know? Like, yeah. Yeah, by using the same color. So I will quickly uh, flip through it so you can see what I did. Here's another picture of our living room. We just had new furniture in a couple of months ago. So I also used the same dye uh, on the picture. Beautiful and then, view. oh, here's the other one. There's another frame in the set which says hello. That's this one, the square one. And I used that one too over here. So I hope you can see it. <laughs> we can. And here I also used the little stamps from one from mm, the sets. Like, so yes, good. this happened. This and that. Some extra tips just for decoration. Uh, the same stamps. I keep repeating this one too yeah. uh, throughout the book. And here you see one of those little elements again. And then you can start filling it with pictures or maybe journaling or whatever you want to do with it later on. So, but this is just a base uh, to start with the book. Uh, here again, one of those stamps. And the stamp sets with um, those, wait a minute. This stamp set, it doesn't have a matching die. There was a little bit confusing. Uh, oh, I thought it fitted in into. Show. I thought it fitted no. into the dies. No. No, that's what everybody thinks. But oh. It's such an easy shape. So I thought, okay, you can cut it by hand. I see. <laughs> so it's very easy to cut them. So and that's what I did because uh, when you have uh, matching dies with stamps, you always get a little edge around it. You know what I mean? You always need one or two millimeters around. Um, your die, your die cut. So uh, if you cut this by hand, it's really only the black um, part, in this case, the black, because I stamped with black. So you don't have a white edge around it. That's why I, that's why I didn't want a matching die for this stamp set. Right. So uh, here you see one again, and it's just by using the same colors. And I just mix up all kinds of papers, as you can see. It doesn't matter if it's flowers or ledger paper, or I just mix it all together. And uh, well, that's what I like. I hope you like it too. But... Oh, I love them. Are they from your reminiscent book or are they all from one of the paper yes, pads? Yes, yes. Most of it is all from the reminiscence book. Yeah. As, oh. as some, uh, this is some plain paper with some ruler, uh, rules or some lines I had laying around. But the other things is almost everything is from the reminiscence book. Stunning. Best yeah. ever. All bits and pieces. So I will flip through more quickly, highlight details. You see all those little stamp elements and I will put in some pictures or journaling later on. So that's what you also can do with the set besides using it in your journal. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let me see. Um, I'm going to use my planner. Um, and I also want to tell you, I work uh, month by month. So uh, for example, yeah. I used, uh, here is my month of May, uh -huh. and I used all kinds of um, pink and greenish papers. Mm. So I hope it's visible like this. And yeah. I will go uh, through that one quickly too. And by using the same colors and all kinds of different elements, it's starting to get one. <laughs> yes. it, comes all, it all comes together. So uh, here, over here, we didn't have those big bold stamps yet. So I used one of the other stamp sets uh -huh. because I always like to use uh, my week number. So this is week 18. So that was in May last year. And then you see all the light pink and pale green colors and some black, of course, because I like to use black too. And here it comes to week 19, week 20. And so I go on and on uh, in my journal. Then we move over to June. Um, I choose to use red and blue colors. Mm -hmm. So here you go to week, um, is that correct? Yeah, 20, yeah. 23. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is 24. I'm missing something here, but that might be laying around here from the last show. Oh no, this was 23, 24. And so I will keep going on. Mm -hmm. And now I am moving over to June, July, because now I want to work with pink and a little bit of yellow. So uh -huh. this one doesn't go here. And then you can see I just put in some pink and yellow papers, which, well, 
it looks a little bit messy now, but by using uh, the same colors, yeah. um, by keep using the same colors, it all comes together again. Mm, I love that so, idea. Yeah, so that for me, it's a really quick way uh, to work because when I prepare a month and I choose uh, one or two colors, then it's already in my journal. Then I don't have to think about it um, when I start working in it, you know? Yeah. So, and what I also do, and I also show that the first hour, I also prepare a lot of elements uh, in advance. So like tickets or uh, like small journaling spots with labels, the numbers, uh, stamp them and cut them out. Oh, even your so boxes you are beautiful. Yeah, oh, thank you. It's also covered uh, with um, most of it from the reminiscence book, you know, those ah, little yes. elements. So if you have nothing to do or you don't know what to do on a certain day, and or you, or you have no inspiration just start and making those little elements you know yeah and you can use them later on so here are the little girls which are stamped and fuzzy cut you know yeah so it gives you always something to do also when you don't have any inspiration esther just before okay, you so, go into your demo would you mind if i very quickly just had the quickest of recaps would that be possible darling yeah. Okay, no problem, no problem at all. Thank you, honey, I'll be two minutes. Um, just to recap our one day special, 4th of September dispatch, approaching two thirds of the stock gone. We can split it into three flexi by payments. Um, so we have got, so thankfully Esther took me through the different um, um, things that they say. Uh, so we've got that lovely butterfly and, uh, you know, Esther's just been showing us the, 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 the lovely banners and the, the little index here to ticks or mark off. Um, these all said, I'll take, the, take you through them again. They said, love this moment, celebrate. Every, hello, moles. You wrote them down for me, darling. Everyday life stories, good things. And remember this day. There we go. So that's what they all said. That was that one. Uh, and I know uh, we've got these, the fantastic little bubble words. Um, just yes, kiss. Hey, you. OK. Laugh out loud. Zen, pro, fab, hip. Yeah. And then some blank ones there as well. Uh, the lovely borders and the pages there as well. And the little spiral wiggles. Um, and as Esther pointed out, that does not fit the stamp set. We, we think we established that, but you can cut out and do your own. But you've got the different stitched tags there as well. Bold letters and numbering, an absolute must. Um, I'm dying to see the, the, the gorgeous uh, splatter page as well with the birds on the wire, and that spells love as well. Um, gorgeous, isn't it? And then Esther was showing us this one. Those go that, 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 didn't that look great? And then you've got these extra borders there as well that you can cut and die cut out as well. Love that, seeing that cut out. Um, and then you've got the cameras there as well, and the pennants, the tags, as it were. Didn't that look so cool as an edge? Wasn't that effective? And you've got the different sizes there, the little slot Esther was showing us there as well. And then to see this last set made out of the tag booklet, so you don't have to think rectangular. You can make the extra little tag inserts as well, because they are perforated at the side, the little keyhole. Hello, love this. And that was just your dies, because then added to that, you have got your stamps as well. Um, that was the little girl that Esther was just advised, you know, if you fussy cut the little girl out. That was the repetition of the sixth sense as well. Um, you've got the extra little things that you can put your own little sentiments into. Love these definitions of the dic dictionary words as well. Accent stamps, worker stamps there as well. Then you've got the bold numbers. Wasn't that clever how she did that? That with a butterfly wing and that little girl. I, I love those and the exclamation mark. There are all those fabulous sentiments, the blank one as well. Uh, best time, this time, details, good time, high life together, wonderful, celebrate. Um, I'm whizzing through because I know Esther's waiting with the demonstration. Uh, and then our little little girl again, uh, again with more definitions of the words, the blank opening ones as well that you can fill. Uh, moments like this, one fine day, our days documented. And then of course the big one, the journal page there as well. And I'd seen that printed up with Esther was amazing. And you've got everything on there. Just fantastic. So many little sentiments. £179.88 can be split into three flexi by payments. You're saving £56 if you're a non-freedom member. For the extra £7.97, you'll save another £20, taking it down a saving of £79.99. 
So £75.99, wrong way around, Fiona. So £75.99 saving if you're a Freedom Club member. Every element works out then at 95 pence. An element, look at the size of those journal pages. Once it's gone, it's gone. Dispatches the 4th of September to... Oh, 2nd of September. Where am I going with my numbers today? 2nd of September. I've got all Frankie Howard, haven't I? Oh, 2nd of September is the dispatch. Two thirds of the stock has gone, and Freedom Club members, you're saving £75.99, and each element's working out at 95 pence. The covers. This is the journal covers. This is the okra. So these fit the journal pages Esther's got. Isn't that beautiful? It's like a buckskin on the inside. It just feels so gorgeous. Um, You've got the double, and I love that, that they're separate because then you don't get that weakness in the middle. I think uh, Karen and I were discussing that. Um, the extra little tab there for your pen, and then it just folds over. It's such a handsome looking kit, isn't it? And then that folds over as well. So you fill that with all your journal pages. That's your okra. Then we've got, it's almost like the, the desert sand, and it kind of has a sort of a sort of crocodile skin feel to it. It's not crocodile skin, I hasten to add. And again, same thing. That, you've got the Elizabeth, Elizabeth Crafts designs on the back. Yeah, the two separate inserts. So you can do those separate elements, as Esther was explaining. Again, insert there, pockets in there, little tab there for your pen, extra pocket there. And it's beautiful quality. Um, £23.99, The reminiscent book. It goes in so many different colourways. I've opened up on one of my page, pages. This is just utter gorgeousness. £21.99. Please do not miss having this in your life. Approaching three quarters of the stock. Once it's gone, is, it, is this gone as well? Oh, I don't know about this one, but anyway, I'm giving you what I can. Don't miss out. Look at these colorways. I love Esther's idea of going from the pinks to the yellows to the blues. I've got to show you. Where's me? Where's that Titanic page gone? It's just, it was just white style. But look at the lemonade one. Who cares? It's all gorgeous. Every page is a doozy. Look at that. Even the lovely ledger. It's in the pink. There we go. White star line. Oh, my gosh. It's just a little bit of heaven. Oh, you've got to have this in your life, folks. Please trust me on this. This is just gorgeousness. 21.99, oh, 748.237. Going to be as quick as I can with the paper pads because every single one is beautiful. Four different options. This first one, Rainbow of Happiness, 13 pages, okay? Even your front page is a page, okay? Um, Double-sided um, paper pad. They're gorgeous, right. Repeated randomly. So, for instance, this front one gets repeated. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, where, where's he gone? There we go. He's coming to me now. Um, see, that front one is the same as... I'm going to flip it, but that's what's on the back, but you're going to see. So, if you need... They're, they're, they're a collage. Um, nine and ninety. I mean, look at these. They're, they're, everyone's a work of art. The splash of paint. I, I've sorted them so you're going to see as many of the designs because they're double-sided. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Look at these. I mean, whichever pad you choose, it's a winner. That's all I'm going to say. You will not be disappointed. Go for all four. $9.99. They do not. See, that one, you see, is the back of your front cover. So I'm not going to. We've already seen that one, so I'm not going to repeat. So you choose. I've sorted them so you're going to see every single design. 13 sides in this. It's 12 pages, and then the front page is a, is a reverse of it is. How long would it take you to create a page like this? And then that's the one we started with. Uh, $9.99. That's Rainbow of Happiness. Beautiful. That's made me very happy. Then this is Rusty Weathered. Look at this. I mean, you can't decide. I get both. Choose, choose, it says choose from. No, choose all. 511666. Choose all. Look at this. How much would that take? How, how long would that take to do? Oh, my giddy. Look at this. Gorgeousness. The gorgeousness is, I mean, look. Oh, I'm going to show you every page anyway. They're just utterly, utterly amazing. And for 9 99 oh, my word. Look at this. I know, sorry, that's all I'm going to say because I want you to look at it. I just can't stop looking at it. It's heaven. Yes, I know. It's just, could it get any more beautiful? Well, yes. Oh, we saw that one. Fee, you repeat yourself. Turn it, turn it. Didn't see that one. Um, oh, I know. Oh, hello. I think I've just found my favourite. What one's that called? Rusty Weathered. Moving on, moving on. Summer art. Don't forget that front page. And this is where they get the 13, that front cover page. That's one in itself. Got to show you that one. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? Okay, let's put that down, Fiona. Show you, look at this. Look at that. It's like a romantic novel, isn't it? Oh, my, what? Get over yourself, Fiona. This is amazing. Look at this. Oh, that's my, my, Marley's favourite. Hold on. 
Oh, it's like Gone with the Wind. Something or others, like the red sky. Oh, look at this. Just beautiful. I know. I know. Oh, my. Oh, yeah, that's me all over that is. Oh, God, the moodiness. It's just so good. So good. So gorgeous. Just utterly beautiful. This one is called Summer Art. I know. Let me show you warm wood. I know, how do you choose? How do you choose? So these are wood grains. You're going to get them on the vertical axis and the horizontal. So don't forget, again, I should show you my front page, because it is a page. Yeah. Um, worn wood, this one. I mean, look. Can you see the script work? And, and the, the, sort of the print over that. Yeah, this beautiful ledger writing. The splashes, the stains. See, horizontal, there's different panelling in there. This is what I love about it. Oh, the texture. Just amazing, just amazing. They're so real, aren't they? The photography. Look, can you see that, that, um, that leaf? That leaf, what do they call them? They're those little feathery leaves that we get sometimes. You just see the little veins. Oh, they use them in mixed media, don't they? Can't think of the name. Skeleton leaves, yeah. <gasps> Did I show you that one already? Let's just reverse that one. Perhaps that's, look at the peel paint on that. Ooh. I know, just amazing. Oh, so good. There's a skeleton leaf there, so good. Oof, I know. It's just a little bit of heaven, isn't it? <gasps> I know. I love them all. How do you decide? I'm sorry to give you the heartache, but that's, that's your decision. Get a couple, get a couple. 511662, beautiful. Um, go to the web. The rolls of adhesives is Esther used. Very popular. You've got three millimeter, six millimeter, you get two of each. On each roll, I know it doesn't say it on the screen, but there is 70, 27 yards. So that's approximately each roll is 25 meters. So you get 100 meters. 999 270072. And the double sided adhesive sheets, 15 sheets in total. These are perfect for creating your stickers, die cutting, double sided intricate dies. Um, you know, if you want to create, I mean, they're just brilliant, aren't they? 1885 405041. Please don't miss out. Right, I think I'm ready to go back to our gorgeous Esther. She's waiting patiently in the Netherlands. Let's go back to Esther on Skype. <laughs> yes, Fiona. <laughs> I'm still here. Waiting Thank you. you. There's just okay. too much gorgeousness about... on the counter, Esther. Yes, I, I saw it. Thank you. Uh, what I did in the meanwhile, um, I glued this picture that I, uh, I showed you before you did your uh, quick recap, and I glued it into the frame. So I hope you can see it like this. Beautiful. And I used one of the sentiments, but because I have to use uh, the picture this way instead of this way, this one didn't fit. So normally it would, would go like this. So what I did is I trimmed off some of the black parts like this over here, and then you could turn it around and use it like this. I so see. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> it does, it does. Yeah, okay. Uh, this is my week uh, 28, um, but I also have some more elements over here for my week 27. And the advantage of working in a journal with a binder is that you can uh, move things around. So, for example, if you think, okay, this one doesn't go well with this side, you take it off or you turn it around. So it will give you a different look every time. Ah. You see? Mm -hmm. So if you think, okay, this might look better this way, or it might look better that way, or you want to remove something, mm. uh, and yeah, that's working in a loose leaf journal uh, has it has uh, some advantages too. Okay. What I have now is, uh, I think I'm going to use this page over here. And I've got some different elements here and some picture of our youngest granddaughter. Yeah, pictures again, that's me. I'm sorry, I just have to use them. And then I am going to use the big stamp, which I want to use on this page. And then I've also got uh, my week number 27 already prepared. So I'm going to try, uh, no, I'm going to use one more, one other page. Hold on, hold on, where is it? <laughs> I showed it to you earlier. Yes, the one with the numbers. Mm. Yeah, that one also has to go in here. Love that one. That was my plan. Now I remember. <laughs> Change of plans sometimes. And you see, I just... 
uh, glued a little bit of black paper cardstock at mm -hmm. the back, mm -hmm. and I will apply another page later. So this is just the, the pa page cut out, uh, one of the pages of the reminiscence book, and then uh, you can put some other color on the back. So I'm going to do that here, and I think this might look nice too now. And I'm just playing and see what I like to get uh, the, the, the result I would, I would love. Okay, I'm going to do this one here. And I want to have, let me see, there's my other yellow page. There's another one here. Mm. So it all comes together this way. And I also cut one of those extra. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, a part of this. And you see the holes are still here, yeah. but I want to remove those. So what you can do now is Ooh. glue these two together. And then I'm going to tear it uh, apart. And now tear some of the edges. Ooh. And then I'm going to use it on this page. So I'm first applying a little bit of glue here and there. Mm -hmm. Uh, in between all those numbers, because it has to stick, um, of course. <laughs> Let me see. So I think that's enough. And I am gluing those down. It doesn't have to be perfect, this, because I'm going to tear those. And maybe I have to wait a few seconds um, so the glue will work. Otherwise, I might tear them, uh, separate them again. But I will give it a try. Okay. Oh, no, this is okay. Ooh, I like that. So just... And don't be afraid. It's only paper. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to remove this side, too, because here you see the holes uh, for the rings. So I, I don't want to see them on the other page. I see. And I'm going to apply that here. So you see, because yeah. I used it on this side, uh -huh. and you, you have to use it again on this side, then it's, yeah. Love um, that. Okay. Here is going to be my stamp. And then I also had a tag somewhere. Yes. Um, these numbers, by the way, I also used in one of the previous sets. And I wrote it on the back because I couldn't remember. <laughs> it's one of the tag topper pocket sets. Okay. Uh, in one of our early, earlier releases, and it has the same numbers, the same fonts, and I use those again on this page too. So mm -hmm. you can combine them if you already have them. Great. So that's what I'm going to do here. Then I've got those two cute pictures. Mm. Um, I'm just laying it down like this, and then I glue it down uh, when I think it's okay uh, a little bit later. And of course, I need to have some pink on this page too. And not sure what I'm going to do with this one. It can also be something like this. So you just start playing and see what you like. There are also uh, these little mesh um, mm. elements in one of the sets. Fantastic. And I think it's a little bit mesh, what you use on drywalling walls, you know? Yes, the, it does look like mesh, tape. yeah. It does, Esther, yeah. yeah. We've got just under yeah. 10 minutes, just so you know, darling. Oh, my, no. <laughs> That's really quick. I know. Okay. I, I, maybe I'm not uh, able to completely finish it, but... Uh, what I will do is just lay it down and mm -hmm. don't glue it yet. So you yeah, can that's see fine. It's that nice because we're seeing the all the result. elements. We're seeing all the yeah, elements. Okay. That's maybe a good idea. Okay. Um, then I also prepared some of those little tiny wait, Let me see. I will empty this bag so it's better for you to see. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, something is peeking underneath. Uh, the large stamp, stamp set you have over there. Yes, the circle reinforces. The one with, yeah, <laughs> and that one has the, I'm looking for my tweezers now. Now, I, I will put them down here and I, hopefully you can see them. It yeah. has those little circle stamps. That's so and cool. And they are supposed to go on um, the reinforcement rings. Yes. So, they're brilliant. Can you see it? Yeah, they're yeah. fab. So that's what I also prepared. So let me see. Um, there's also a small tank, which you also can use. 
just put a little bit twine in here. So um, because I've got some pink on this page now, I'm opening it up. And I think I might use the pink ones, the pink reinforcement rings on that page. So again, pink here, pink there, <laughs> pink everywhere. <laughs> no, no, it's just, to, yeah, that's the way I work. I mean, if, um, if you like to work in a different way, of course you do your own thing. But um, I'm just showing this, yeah, because that's the way how I do it. This one says today. Yeah. Very tiny stamps. So you can do those here. I am missing one of the pink ones now, and it probably fell somewhere where I don't see it now. But okay, just pretend there's another pink one over here. Okay. Oh no, it's here. Yeah, found it. It's here. Number 27 is going to be somewhere here. Then I've got three more to do for those rings. I hope. Where's number three? Let I love, me see. I love the fact that you've got things written on those rings as well, and some of them are patterns. Yes, they're that, brilliant. Yeah, there are, there are more um, uh, different texts on it. Yes. Um, I've got, I've, I stamped them over here too. It's uh, it's all good, and it says today story in my heart, all, all things like that, which you, uh, which I think are appropriate for journaling. Ah. And then uh, from the other stamp sets, we also have some little sentim sentiments, so you can do those here, for example, another one here, and then you just start decorating your page. Um, now, for this week, you can stamp uh, the numbers of the week, mm -hmm. or let's say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, if you've yeah. got stamps like this, awesome. you can decorate it like this. Because uh, working like this and making journals like this is so much fun, and mm. especially when you look back on it later, let's say a year from now or two years from now, uh, and then you will see you have been doing things which you, you, you don't even remember. <laughs> so when I... Yeah, when I look back on my uh, previous journals and I'm looking, oh my gosh, I went uh, to Ikea with my son or, you know, very simple things, which, which you normally don't remember anymore. So, and these are also some bits and pieces from the reminiscence book, which I cut from pages. And it's just for decorating. So, I'm not gluing it down because of the lack of time now. Is that... <laughs> So how far are we now? So we've got about six minutes. Oh my, um, I can't find my tweezers. But which is what is also fun is, you know, when you cut those pages with mm -hmm. the numbers, all those tiny numbers fall out. Oh, like confetti. And yeah, so you can use those too, just mm. for decoration. But because I don't have my tweezers here, I will do it with my hands like this. <laughs> And you can just start decorating your pages as much as you like. If you are more into um, uh, clean and simple pages, then you don't have to do this, of course. But mm -hmm. you can do as many as you want. So, for example, like this. Let me see. They are very small, those elements, so a little bit hard to pick up. But you oh. see, so it all comes together. Yeah. Maybe uh, here are the um, the letters in um, the cut out, and you see the the paper. But you can also put back another color. So here's the black five, and you can glue it in in here. Mm. Can you see the effect it gives? Yeah. Yeah. And I've got a number two laying around here. I think that's this one. Not completely sure. I think it is. See, it goes perfectly into yeah, those. Yeah, it's like paper piece things. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Got one more. Not sure which one it is. No, this is one is not here. Because there are more numbers over here. So it's a little bit... Oh, I've got one. And you can start playing with these and mix and match. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's it for a page like this. Fantastic.
Oh, it looks so okay. beautiful. We've still got about four minutes, Esther. If there's anything else you want to show us in terms of how the yeah, dyes yeah, relate yeah, to what yeah. you've got. A, 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 quick, a quick label. Yes, yes lovely, you know perfect, yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, one of those. I had this one laying around too. Uh, one of the grandchildren and those, uh, one of the frames from the set with one um, solid one. I cut those out mm -hmm. and I want to use this picture. Oh. Yesterday I saw Els using a transparency to oh. make um, the placement for her picture. Yeah. Because you want to know exactly what you are trimming off or trimming out. Uh, but I just, uh, I think it's e also easy to trim it off by yeah. hand with a pair of scissors. Oh. But because this is really a little bit dull, you know, if you only use the black and white. So I was thinking, I haven't used it before, but I'm going to try it now. I was thinking, um, just use a little bit of ink and color the the text. So I only want to color this part, oh, not, nice. not the frame. Yeah, those frames so, are brilliant. Yeah, so you can use watercolor or inks or markers. This morning I did something with uh, a marker, but then I was thinking, oh, well, it might just as well go very quickly and easy with uh, some ink or watercolor paint. So it needs to dry a little bit, of course. Yeah. That's what I didn't think about now. <laughs> that's okay. It's just a nice idea. Yeah. I mean, I hadn't thought of it, so that, yeah. that's just a lovely idea. I loved it when you used yeah, those frames directly onto the photo as well, so it, it didn't spoil the photo, yeah. but cut out the word, love this. So I, I thought that was brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I need a little bit more. But it's a different effect when you use uh, um, two different colors, you know, the frame yeah. has its own color. Yeah. Or you can use you can use a pattern paper to you to cut the frame, of course. Abs absolutely. But you can also do this. I need to clean it off a little bit. Okay. I hope it dries a little bit. So <laughs> moving this. And you will see that it will look so much different oh, with a, a bit of color. So good. Yeah, so I'm going to uh, glue this one down now. I already prepared a little hole in the picture. Yeah. So I wanted to know, I wanted to see her hands and some of the bow, uh, how do you call those? Bubbles? Uh, blowing the bubbles, <laughs> yeah. Bubble blowing blowing yeah. the bubbles, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope it's dry and I will glue it down. For this, I would like to use um, glue instead of the double-sided adhesive yeah. Yeah. because you want to have a little bit more time to um, attach it, you know, if you use glue, then it's, uh, sorry, if you use the double-sided adhesive, when it's, st uh, when you put it down, it sticks immediately, so you can't do anything about it anymore, so, Gorgeous. and this one you can fiddle around a little bit. <laughs> Esther, we've come to the end, I'm going to have to say goodbye, my mm -hmm. darling. Okay, but you can imagine when trimming this off, you've got a really nice label, and putting some twine in, and you can uh, back the, the back side with another card. Gorgeous. Esther, thank you so much. Yeah. I really appreciate okay. it. It's been lovely working thank with you. you. Thank you for all your Fiona. demonstrations. Okay, thank you very much. Have a good weekend. Thank you, darling. And you. Ah, oh, there's Esther in the Netherlands. We'll have Elle back with us as well at four o'clock for the last show. Remember our one day special. Once it's gone, it's gone. Over two thirds of the stock has gone. Dispatch is the 2nd of September. If you're a Freedom Club member, every element is working out at 95 pence and you're saving 75 pounds, 99 pence. So it's a bit of a why not deal because it's 59 pounds you're saving if you're not a Freedom Club member uh, for the extra investment of seven pounds 97. It's well worth that investment. It's a phenomenal collection. Action. Don't forget the reminisce. This is book two. Book one sold out very quickly when it was on a previous collection. You will love that, as you will love the pads. And this is amazing. Enjoy. I'll be back with us at four o'clock. Let's see what's coming up. Oh, that book's coming with me. We've got all and create happy hour now uh, with our Haley in a oh, a beautiful jacket from the yeah, air, Jill. Then a festival of Japan with Jill. In the foothills of Aldol, a lawless event unfolds. The craft store's sixth birthday, an exciting time beholds. Yeehaw! 
Phil Martin and Indigo Blue, Heartfelt Creations, Zuri, and Crafts 2. With six pounds of credit, there'll be plenty to buy. With great one-day specials, the aces are high. With discounts and deals, with prices to amaze, join us for a hoedown for a wild seven days. From fabric to paper to glitter and pencils, pens and stamps, inks and stencils. Join us in August, a craft extravaganza. Happy sixth birthday, the Craft Store's Bonanza. Did you know you can continue watching the Craft Store 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If it's not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember, you will need your router's password at hand whether you are on a wired or a wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the centre of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type thecraftstore.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. Now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite TV shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hello there and welcome back. And as you've seen there, we are just kicking off a brand new happy hour. And this is a cracking hour. We have got so much to share with you. But of course, it's all and create. So we know it's going to be a very busy hour. So my top tip for this hour is jump ahead. We have got a whole host of different things to bring you during this hour, all of which have got promotional prices for this hour and this hour only. So on the website, you will find everything. Now, we're busy for some of these already because I know lots of you will be filling in some of your gaps. Some of you will be seeing things that you've not seen before from All and Create. They've got an extensive range of stamps, stencils, dies, all sorts of wonderful things. And we've got lots of different um, kind of uh, packs that you might be using to fill in gaps in your collection. Might be that they're brand new things that you're looking at and you're thinking, oh, I need that one. Well, the key thing is if you need it, get it in your basket. And if you want it, check your basket out. Because if you, oh, oh, you don't want to see that. Oh, that's a big, uh, uh, if that happens, that means you put goodies into your basket, but you haven't checked out in a timely manner, which means that they've fallen back into our stock and it's given somebody else an opportunity to get hold of them. Now, there's some fabulous reviews there. So if you fancy checking some of those as well as you go, then you can do. You just click on quick look and it will give you more information about any of those packs there. And then, of course, if you are watching and you're recognizing some of these items, you've already got them in your collection, then get involved with the hour. Let me see what you've been creating with some of these stamps and we can give you a little bit of airtime showing off your fabulous creates. So how do you get involved? It's studio at thecraftstore.com. Simple as. That's the email address. Send your pictures across and we will share them with everybody showing just how creative you can be with these stamps. We're busy already across the board. As you saw on the website, we've got loads and loads of discounted prices. So if you're not a Freedom member already, I hope you're becoming one for this hour because you don't want to be paying post and packing. Utilize
maximising some of that saving that you've made. Now, I better crack on because already this first bundle, 20 approaching 20% of the stock has gone of this particular one. Now, it's a set of two doilies. You've got your lace and your doily, as you can see, but there is a lot of content within these stencils. Now, as is the case with all the stencils that we see from All and Create, they are impeccable quality, a lot of fine detail, and of course, you need to be able to get that detail through on your project. So whether you're just going straight through onto your cardstock because you're creating cards, or whether you're using them with your um, your gel um, gel presses and things like that, then of course you can utilise these in the same way. And what they regularly do is make sure that that uh, square, that kind of six inch square that you've got with regards to these, is jammed full of detail. So you can see on this particular one, we're looking at three different designs. Well, I suppose you could even call those different designs because of the way that they work. And this one, you've got loads within there. So you can see lots of content. Um, again, you've got kind of little geometrics. You can flip and rotate these ones as, as well. So you can get all sorts of different effects. And cleverly, some of these are kind of half circles, which means you can work with them, flip them over, and actually get a full rotation if you're wanting to. Now, this is proving to be a very popular bundle. So these are some of the things you might want to create with these. So you can see a lot of detail within these. Lots of you liking that price. And incidentally, you're going to be seeing a lot of less than £10 prices during this hour, certainly in the first segment. So if you do want to go on the website and have a look, check out those different bundles. But you have to be quick. This one we've just spent a few moments on, already approaching half of the stock has gone. So if you want in this particular one, 551184, less than a tenner, just 998. And that is delivered to your door if you're free to remember. None of that saving is spent on your post and packing if you're a free to remember. That's why it's such a brilliant deal to become a member and then you don't have to worry. Turning our attention to stamps next, and these are little houses. They're so cute. Now, this is a really good buy because you're getting uh, 12 stamps for just £9.99. Again, all in Create, um, kind of using a number system. It's an international number system, which means it's whichever country you're watching from, you can kind of tick the list off. Now, these ones have been created by Olga. Gorgeous detail, as you can see with regards to these. Um, positively mansions at your disposal. Beauty is you're getting a lot of stamps within this set. Different buildings that you can be kind of utilising, putting together to make your own little street. You've got trees there that, of course, you could add in as well. And, of course, because if you've got that fine detail line, you could take your Micron pen and actually add additional detail if you wanted to. Brilliant value for money at 9.99, And 20% of the stock of that one has gone already as well. So if you fancy that one, 449951. Keeping below a tenner, we're looking at the next one. Oh, this one is amazing. These are animals and they are parties. They are having a whale of a time. They are literally going wild. So you've got 16 stamps on this particular set here. And <laughs> look at these characters. These are so much fun. You've got additional elements in here helping support those characters to really create a wonderful story with them. And such a lot of characters with them. Let me turn these around as well to show you. Absolutely a um, deal. Like, try again. Absolutely adorable. Oh, it's just popped up on your screen there. Monthly mega deal. Don't worry about it about that it's not a monthly mega deal but you are making a saving of these meaning you are only spaying 9.99 for your 16 stamps they are adorable and you will utilize these over and over again adding those little party hats perhaps i'm sure you'll have additional stamps in your stash that you'll be able to add up that party scene adding a bit of bunting as you go and balloons and all sorts in fact you've actually got a balloon in that set as well so there you go if that is going to fill a gap within your collection then you'll need that item number 644592 that's all you need to do. Pop it into your basket, but more importantly, check your baskets out. Incidentally, some of these deals that we're bringing to you, the stock will become vulnerable as the hour progresses. And this is it. This is the stock that we've got with regards to these. So you have to be quick. When you've got them in your basket, check your baskets out as quick as you possibly can, because I would hate for any of you to miss out on these. Now, next set for you. This one, again, is less than a tenner, and this has got a very arty feel to it. So absolutely amazing if you're looking at popping this maybe in your art journals as you go. Now you can see there number seven on this one. So this is one of the kind of early releases of stamps that we saw from All and Create. Must admit, it's one that I don't recognise, and I don't think I've seen this on air. I'm sure we have seen it, but perhaps it's just a case of I wasn't um, doing the show at the time. And this is brilliant absolutely amazing now you've got all that detail in there let me turn those around you can feast your eyes on those stamps there so if you're wanting this particular one let me give you that item number it's seven two zero 
524. Oh, sorry, 534 with regards to that. I got a bit distracted there. I was reading the, the text on there. Um, beautiful feather featuring on that one as well. And I love that. It's almost like um, a little um, kind of uh, dream catcher there with good vibes featuring on there as well. So you can see there with these absolutely brilliant family for money, um, as you can see. Now, have we got as far as we were going with regards to the 999s? Oh, a couple more items. Oh, now, oh, we haven't got these in the studio, so uh, we'll be sharing these ones with you in a few moments. Very, very busy. Lots of you taking advantage of these deals. And, of course, during this um, kind of hour, you're going to be adding lots of things in that you may want to spread the cost off because you can do so when you've got Flexi Order on the go. And if you're not too sure what Flexi Order is about, check this out. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier absolutely brilliant way for you to shop so make sure that you are jumping onto the website and placing your orders put the details up on the screen for something i can't physically show you in the studio but have a look at this this is a fabulous set absolutely beautiful such a useful one to have as well and again it's one of those ones that you may be missing from your stash so this one is taking you off to the cinema as you can see and for just nine pounds and 99 pence amazing value for money as well so with that one i don't know is it have we got lots of stamps in that one or is that one stamp there for lots of backgrounds i'm not too sure actually with that one but it does look but it's like little tickets and things like that so um so i think it's just one background stamp with regards to that one because it's nine point nine point so nine and a half centimeters by 14 centimetres, so that sounds very much like a back um, one stamp, doesn't it? But um, a brilliant one. Obviously, do look on the website. You'll be able to find out more information about that one as you go. So 947246. You've been finding these by having a little bit of rummage. You found this one as well. Oh, this is a good one to go for as well. This one is your Blooming Heart, and you can see you've got six stamps featuring with this one. And it is 999 again. Um, if this one is missing from your stash, then again, it's a perfect opportunity with that £2 save. You've got six stamps in there, and if you're wanting this one, it's 136937. Oh, I thought that we'd actually finish with our 999 segment. Um, and we have. We're moving on to um, the next ones. Now, these are kind of combinations. We've been looking at kind of, obviously, with it, the exception of the stencils that we spoke of. These are quite a few kind of stamp and stencil combinations, which are nice because they work well together. And I've got a few examples to share with you these. So have a little look at this set. Circles and background stamps. Um, amazing. Now, first of all, let me explain. This one is a stencil that you've got with this one so you can see there you've got your circles there you've also kind of got that it's, a, it's almost like a, a computer right it actually says human on there and then that's the, the actual title of the stencil as well because you can see it's broken into different parts there love the circles where you kind of got those dial systems there and um, so I do like that one and again it is one that you can flip over now I know if you do flip it over you might find that the text is in the wrong way around you've got to be careful how you actually apply that but you know what I kind of like that as a little pattern regardless so uh, yeah if you want in that one that one is called human and that is your stencil included within that bundle but it doesn't stop there because you've got your stamp set now within your stamp set you can see you've got a good collection of stamps here um, again maybe early on from that collection number 50 with regards to this one another one of Olga's designs and it's nice that you've got seven stamps here that you can utilize independently or as a kind of bundle together nice opportunity to build up your layers and of course that 
something that so many of us like to do. Add the interest, fill in those little gaps that need something there. And of course, because you've got a variety of different sizes, you will always be able to find something that you can use. Now, finish sample wise, we've got some lovely little finish samples with regards to these. So this particular one is utilizing the stencil. So you can see the, the text there um, with the stencil. You've also got obviously little touched areas that you're using that just almost like kissing down that design absolutely beautifully now this is a larger piece more of an a5 size as you can see but again adding in that interest using those different elements that we've got with regards to your stamps and your dies and again the human stencil coming into its own again here you can see a little bit of text being added just in the odd little place just dabbing it around 12 pounds and 98 pence brilliant value for money um and uh, yeah one of those ones that if you want to take advantage you've got a little over three quarters of an hour to do so but I wouldn't leave it that long because you may find that you pop it into your basket, you'll forget that it's there. Ten minutes will go before you know it, you've missed out on that deal. 429 or 786 if you're wanting to get hold of that particular one. That's the item number that you need him. Another pairing for you with the next set. This one, again, you've got a stencil and a stamp a kind of combo, combination with these ones. Um, incidentally, if you are placing your orders on the phone line, you may have found yourself in a queue situation. I can only apologise. It's happy hours. That's what happens lots of you get involved and a lot of you do like placing your order on the phone which is okay but just be aware that you might find yourself queuing to get your call um, your order taken it's always quickest if you can order via the app or on the website and also you can see all the other fabulous deals um, but don't worry we will get to you if you need to place your order on the phone so combination as i mentioned you've got your stencil again a really good size stencil this is a nice one because i know lots of you will have bought and um, the circles and the triangles and the geometric shapes that we see from all and create so with this particular one you've got a lot of detail on here again it's one that you might want it to use a little area so i can almost see a little face featuring in there almost like a ghostly image of a face You've got numbers in there as well. You can flip and rotate and play around with those to your heart's content. Brilliant value for me. And this one is a stencil that's got the indicator number six on there, the number six. So that is one that potentially, again, is quite early on. Um, so, uh, yeah, it might be one that you're missing. Next one that we've got is stamp set number 10, again, quite early within the combination. Now, this one works well with the stencil that we just saw a few moments ago because you had numbers featuring on there. And, of course, it does work with the stencil that we've just looked at as well because you have got a, your little circles featuring in there again a pack of stamps not just one stamp on this occasion so several feature in there you've got seven again so a brilliant value for money when you're looking at the two of those coming to you for just 12 pounds and 98 pence that is phenomenal value for money that is definitely a deal to be taken advantage of so you'll need the number 429 786 if you are wanting those so we're moving to our next items now this is set up of two stamp sets so again we're going up a little in price not a huge amount it's only by a pound to be fair and these are incredibly useful now if you're into your planners and journals you don't need me to tell you how useful having those months of the year um, featuring there and numbers because of course it can be your numbers of your years your numbers of your dates now you're actually getting 34 stamps in here because you're getting your combination of all your months and your numbers featuring there and you kind of got like a, a negative look to these which I like you've also got your ordinals in there as well and it works out at just 41 pence per stamp lots and lots of additional stamps in there so perfect for building up borders frames if you're wanting to again adding little details if you're wanting to fill in a little gap that needs something popping in there then i'm sure you will find something within there and again the today simply i think that works well again with those numbers that we just saw so number 15 from your collective maybe if you are collecting them and if you've got i don't even know if there is like a little collecting card for um, all and create i'd love to think there is but you can see we're looking at 107 with that one now i'm not saying that that is a newest release but it shows you just how many different stamp sets you've got that you could be collecting along your way but if you want in this one you've got a bargain saving with this one bringing it down to just 13 pounds and 98 pence 683 eight four five now of course all and crate bring us lots of stamps in loads of different styles and guises now this is a nice one this one's um, called quirks and minis so when you're looking here you'll see that you've got a few kind of headless characters
characters. Don't be alarmed, though, because you have got the heads there as well. But it gives you the opportunity to build up your characters in a whole range of different kind of expressions and different ways. So £13.98 for so this one, 012149. Another one that you might like to consider is this particular one. And again, it's one of those ones that we haven't got, sadly, in the studio to share with you. But again, really brilliant characters. A rocking unicorn. Isn't that brilliant? Rocking corns and solos. It's two stamp sets, as you can see, but a whole compendium of stamps there, all on that music theme. And of course, a few unicorns in there as well. That's what you need, isn't it? An electric guitar playing unicorn. That's what you need in your stash. 707569. Now, the next one that I'm sharing with you, this is where we're going slightly up again within the price. Um, so if you're wanting this one, now this is going to be a useful one. It's your blueprint and your lunar. Now, with this one, they're A6 in size, so good sizes, and you're getting two of these. And again, these are early on ones from within the range. Number 22, number 14 there. So again, if you're looking at filling in the gaps, just £15.98 for you to get hold of those. So that's worth consideration isn't it zero six zero eight four six now incidentally as you probably notice we've moved from 10 through to 12 through 13 and obviously we're increasing those prices as we go just to let you know that the top price of the bundle that we've got within this show is still less than 24 pounds um, 23 pounds and 97 pence something like that and you get a lot of stamps within that particular bundle so just bear that in mind the prices are not going to go anything beyond that during this hour and i'm not i'm probably a nearly halfway through so there's a lot to look at a bit of crack on have none so next set that we've got for you is called honey and art is you now here you can see two stamp sets again a lot of content within these a lot of kind of little compendium stamps is that the right phrase where you've got lots of little pieces with regards to these so again if you're building up your interest um, again it just gives you the opportunity to add those layers to get to your in um, um, kind of your interest project going with regards to it. Now, we're just swapping the details around because I don't think we've got the right details up for you there. So apologies for that, bringing these ones in. So this one is your compass and your cipher. So with regards to this one, again, the same price, though. So the price hasn't changed. It's just we've got the wrong number. Um, 820750. Again, I'm going to turn these around. You've got lots of elements featuring. Again, this is nice because you've got number 24 and number 25 alongside them, um, each other. So maybe it's a pairing that you've missed. That's a useful one, isn't it, with that kind of scribbledy script there. Love the little coat hanger as well. I think that's kind of cute there with the wire there forming those words. And then again, some really nice designs with that scribble effect. Um, you've kind of got some, some of your geometrics there as well. And you've got your numbers, so that's a useful one to have as well. £15.98. pence Again, if you're wanting these ones, this time we're looking at Papasha, who's created both of those for you. So if you are a fan of Papasha's work um, and she is one that you follow, that there you go. Why not get hold of those? 820750. We got a little bit excited giving you those details a few moments ago because it's actually for this set here. And you can understand why, because it's a lovely set. Now, this one is called Honey and Art is You. And you can see you have actually got a stamp within that stamp set that says Art is You. So maybe this is one that you're going to use in your art journals. Love that scribble. It's almost like you're going down a well or something like that. Go for it. Get that arrow pointing forwards. Get yourself on that journey that you're wanting to go on and again here life is your painting that you have created that's a lovely phrase isn't it again beautiful artistry within these designs this particular one is honey so you can see your theme there with your honeycomb featuring and obviously you've got your little winged creatures there in a variety of different guises and I love that kind of, uh, it's almost like a, well, it's a cross between a daisy and almost, it almost looks like a, um, a, a chimney sweeps brush. It's, I love it. But I think if you did that in different colours, it might be a case of it almost looks very much fireworky and, and that kind of idea. Again, a lot of stamps across these two sets. So you've got 22 stamps in total when you're only paying £15.98. That's why you like these ones. That's why we like to take advantage of a happy hour deal. 151191 if you're wanting to get hold of these. If you have just joined us, this hour is being dedicated to All in Create, and it's a happy hour, which means that all the prices that we're bringing to you are promotional for this hour only. We've already lost nearly 20 minutes of our hour. You've got 38 minutes left. So, yes, if you're wanting to get involved with these, you can do. There's still the opportunity, though, so jump onto the website and you can check out those ones that are already covered. None of the items that I've shared with you yet have been beyond that £15.98, so it's worth going back and having a little look. This is a useful set.
this is incredibly useful. We love like those kind of swirls and the circles. This one's called Bright Side and Circle Around. So with these, again, a lot of stamps. I'm going to turn them around so you can see. There's a lot of content in here, some lovely phrases with these as well. I love being around you. What a lovely phrase. Oh, Maddie, I love being around you. Oh, she's a good person to be around. She's awesome. Oh, she's doing the little heart sign back. Thank you, sir. Um, and so £15.98. If you're wanting to get hold of this set, this is a useful one to have. Again, you can see how far we've come with regards to the um, stamp sets that have been coming from All and Create. These ones you're looking at 126 and 212. And of course, if you are new to All and Create, not only do they bring you phrases like bright side, like circle around, but what they also do is because they have such an international following, when multi-language they have numbers with these as well so it gives you the opportunity to kind of index them put them into order and know exactly what you've got now this is a useful set of stamps because you'll use them in loads and loads of different ways i love this one is it a flower is it a lollipop it can be whatever you want it to be really is it on this occasion janet's chosen to use it like a kind of flower or it could be a whizzy wand couldn't it if you wanted it to absolutely beautiful um, and again Janet again is created here using that kind of swirl and I love it because she's actually used um, a backdrop with regards to some of these elements as well because that background the circles that has been done with one of the stamps in this set as well so all your different little squiggles and your marks again they're coming from the stamps but you can add additional ones if you wanted to just with something like a micron pen or a fine liner 391703 nice little set that one there 15 pounds and 90 Eight pence. So yeah, treat yourself to that one, why don't you? Pop it into your basket. But as I said before, more importantly, check that basket out. Now, this next, next set is called For the Record. And to cart a post, postal, postal, postal. I struggled with Japanese earlier on when we had a fabulous hour, so I'm not going to get very far with that French, am I? Um, now, with this one, you've got two consecutive stamp sets here, one, two, four, and one, two, five. So again, these are ones that may have escaped your collection. So this is a perfect opportunity for you to get hold of these. So your postal stamp, which is the one that you're looking at the moment, is kind of configured with multiple layers. So what Ada has done with this one is she's um, kind of multi-layered, as you can see here. So it's one that you can use as an entirety, use it as a full background, or use it just by pressing down the elements that you're wanting to get. The next one works alongside it beautifully. You can see how you've kind of got your postmark with this one again, lots of script featuring with this one. So again, imagine if you're working with things like little postage tags and things like that. Um, postage style stamps maybe you're using well this one again a nice collective of stamps there a lot of stamps as well for your 15 pounds and 98 pence you're getting your one, one large stamp there as you can see in your a6 but then you've got multiple featuring with the next one and i love the pointer the pointer of finger one is always a useful one because it kind of draws people's eye to a specific area of the work that you're wanting them to look at zero four four eight seven three again phenomenal value we're still only looking at 15 pounds and 98 pence now we are looking at larger bundles i think from this point onwards so you might see an increase in those prices but not with the next item because we've got two sets with these so we've got quite a few of these we've got quite a few pairings so we've got about another nine within the 15 pounds and 98 pr price point it's not bad at all now Love them or hate them, schools always feature well within the All and Create range. Um, and these ones are brilliant. I love these. There's a sense of humour with these because you've kind of got the crown that you can use alongside these. And what you could do is actually pop that crown on top of the schools if you're wanting to, or utilise those crowns maybe with some of the other characters that we've seen along our journey. This one, again, number 66, so it's relatively um, early on within the range of stamps that we've seen from them. I say relatively early, yeah, towards the, 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 the earlier end, more also in the um, latter end again another lovely collection again olga has designed these ones and she's still very much involved in the the up-to-date style stamps that we're seeing as well again consecutive numbers 66 and 67 so these are ones that will work beautifully together and it's perfect opportunity for you to get hold of 15 stamps for a phenomenal price of just 15 pounds and 98 pence now these are brilliant because you can use them in lots of different ways love this one because you've kind of got an altered book 
with this where the cover has been created using the skull, using the crown there. And you can see the little kind of clocks and cogs and things tucked away behind there. Nice book, really nice idea. And that's something you could actually create and make and sell. Next one that we've got, this is where you kind of got a little bit of a wicked sense of humor going on with this one. Very much an arty feel with regards to this one. And again, that stamp is definitely worth going for. Now, one of the stamps featuring on here we've got coming up. Oh, the Wicked. That's coming up a little bit later on. So if you like the look of that one, then, uh, yeah, you might want to jump on the website and find it. And this one here, look at this. I don't know if there is a collective noun for a collection of schools. I'm not sure. It's not one I've really needed to look up previously, I must admit. Uh, but but um, there you go. You can see you've got those kind of glossy finish with regards to those. They kind of look happy schools, don't they? They've got big smiley faces. Um, £15, 15 pounds and 98 pence. 15 stamps. Lots of 15s in that one. Have we got a 15 in the item number? No, sadly not. 592174. You kind of could if you swap the numbers around. But there we go. Again, brilliant value, eight pounds saving. Lots of savings to be had. I think that's the key thing. Lots of you taking advantage. Again, we're sticking with that same price, fifteen pounds and ninety-eight pay. And this time, have we got both of these coming together? Ooh, actually, these are quite a big collection, aren't they? Some good size stamps. Love the fox. Absolutely amazing. Love it. Animal Instinct and Lips. You can understand why that one is called Lips. You've got um, that big kind of kissy lip look there, as you can see. We are all a little bit mad here. Yes, I think we should walk around with that on badges, to be honest, because that is definitely where we are here. And you can almost want to add the words, kind of, wee, as she's swinging on that balloon there. Nice one because you've got the clouds, but the clouds are separate. They're not actually attached to the character that you've got there. So I'm sure you'll be utilising that in other ways. You've got the raindrops there as well. Of course, you've got those lips. You can do some um, kind of colouring in work with those and have a lot of fun with those and then of course you've got your foxes all coming together isn't that lovely? Animal Instinct being the text um, stamp within that particular set and it does feature quite nicely when you are working with those stamps as well so yeah come together absolutely beautiful the little characters there again if you're using animal instinct alongside them i think that's a brilliant idea as well some fun and quirky ones as well that's something that you often see from all and create and i like this one because she's got wings so she's flying above the treetops 15 pounds and 98 pence um 467 349 both of those coming together so if you fancy that as a duo set then you can do again these are ones that you might not have come across previously they're very early on with regards to the numbers so you can see number four and five. So they are perhaps ones that you haven't seen. This is the opportunity for you, again, to fill in those early numbers in your collection if you're wanting those. Now, next set, incredibly useful. Again, you've got a duo of stamps, and you've got um, the opportunity to, again, get consecutive numbers with these. Now, you can understand why these work well together. You've got your marks, um, as I say, try again. You've got your maker mark, um, and then you've got your dots matrix. So lots of content within these. Now, again, they are individual stamps, so you've got 21 stamps in total again a lot of sketchy detail which hopefully will you give you the confidence maybe to add a few extra lines yourself you might be looking at some of these and thinking oh i think i might like to add a few cross hatches to those well you can do if you're wanting to just get your micron pen your fine liner and add that additional detail as and where you need it to so uh, yeah personal preference but having good foundation stamps to start with 15 pounds and 98p again if you fancy those ones then please do so Louis, designed by louise nelson so that's a name that i'm not familiar with um, from the team so i've definitely not come across these before but very useful i do like those um, little leaves that you've got in there i think they'll be a useful one to have five three um let's try again eight three five zero six seven um if you wanted to take advantage of that 15 pounds and 98 pence again keep an eye on that clock incidentally as well we're a little over halfway through the show and that is the indicator for how long you have got left to take advantage of these the show is slightly shorter we've got three minutes shy of that figure so uh, we will have to say goodbye to you but you'll still have your three minutes that's if we've still got stock available of these next set again 15 pounds and 98 pence this is beautiful oh 
all that doodling going on. And I know how you love your doodles. So again, you've got that circular content. The circles and mandalas, we love them so much. I love the way that you've got those mandalas kind of dropping into the stars there as well. Again, good quantity of stamps with regards to these. And again, a nice set that's going to sit very well within your collection, I am sure. Doodly content with these, which I think will give you the confidence maybe to add a few little swirls, a few extra little petal details, a few extra little kind of mandala details if you want him to. But again, with these, nice opportunity for you to add colour as well. So if you do... Do you like to add colour, whether it's your alcohol markers or your pencils or your paints, then this is just a really nice set. I can imagine these looking amazing, um, maybe on acetate as well. Maybe you're doing a shaker card and it's almost a star shape and you pop in this in the centre of there. But whichever way you're using them, you've got a lot of content in there. So again, it might be that you're taking certain elements, like that large kind of um, design that you've got there. It's almost got a paisley look about it, I think. Certain colours, it might look um, more Art Deco. But again, use them as a backdrop. You can see those circles. Because of so many of them being placed together, you're going to be able to cover a large area very quickly with those. So again, useful ones to have. And again, you can see that little star with all the detail feature in there. £15.98. What an absolute bargain. 218964. Again, two consecutive stamps, number 61 and number 62. So why not pop those into your basket and take advantage of the saving? Now... This is going to be a useful set for you because it's typed. It's got those letters, but they are individuals. So I've got a feeling that when you see these ones, you are going to be rushing to the phone lines and website because you've got your uppercase, you've got your lowercase. Now, you've kind of got that distressed typewriter look with regards to these, which means that you can play around with these to your heart's content. So, again, Bipasha, one of the main designers that we see from All In Create, bringing these together. These give you the opportunity to add whatever words you like to your projects. Again, number 40 and 41 within the range. We've done a quick quick um, kind of count of these and yeah we're feeling that there's in excess of 100 stamps there I mean you've got obviously your uppercase and your lowercase um, alphabet there you've got um, and I love this you kind of got that little nod to kind of um, copyright where you've got the kind of little circles around the words as well inhale as you can see creativity intelligence having fun um, and I like that creativity is intelligence having fun that is a really nice phrase Date as well, you can see there, it might be utilising this in a journal where you're adding words of inspiration. You might be using it in a planner where you've got practical implications of the numbers and the letters. But it is a nice way and a very affordable way for you to get an alphabet set that you are able to use time and time again. So, yeah, if you're liking the look of that one, 069373 pop them into your basket. Hope you're checking your baskets out as well, because that's the thing. With regards to these, I know you're probably waiting till we get to the very end, which isn't much further, to be fair. But if you do want to jump onto the website and check your basket out sooner, you can do. But I'll carry on and we'll get to the end and then I'll urge you to do that. Now, these are so cute. So, with these ones, you've got Awesome and Quack the Duck. Of course! Quack the Duck, it makes sense, because you've got a duck there. And he's having, he's having a fabulous time. I love it. It's kind of got a quirky, quirky duck look. <laughs> Aren't they brilliant? Oh, look at him. He doesn't like the rain. That's a little bit unusual for a duck that doesn't like getting wet. But there you go. Now, the bugs that you've got with these, I love these. These are just such good fun. You've got a mixture of different characters. I think this is a brilliant one because you can always have this peeking over the top of a pocket in your journal. Or, again, your planners as well. I know Leone brings us lots of happy planner um, shows, and I know she utilises a lot of her All and Create stamps within her planner. Again, nice set. Again, 135 being one of the latter from the collection. But the one that we've got here with the little characters on there and the hashtag Be Awesome, that's number 13. So, again, it's quite early on in the collection, potentially. So, if it's one that you're missing, um, as uh, lots of you are getting hold of this, I think you like the quirkiness of this one. Don't blame you at all. Shall I show you some finished samples? We've got quite a few for this one, actually. So I think it's one that the design team have enjoyed using. And there you go. Hashtag be awesome. That's all you need, isn't it? Don't do anything else. Just be awesome. Love it. Um, the exclamation marks and the hashtags, we've got those featuring with regards to this stamp set as well. And there you go. I love this. It's almost like he's, he's kind of hiding and shying away from the, uh, the dripping embossing powder that you've got there. 
Now, it's a popular one, this one. If you're wanting to get hold of this one, please be aware that 60% of the stock has gone. Now, you've got a phenomenal saving with this one, £8 saving. You're paying just £15.98. So you can kind of equate that to almost, a, well, I suppose it's around a third off, isn't it, really? So three lots of eight. No, it wouldn't be. It's actually more than that. Oh, I was trying to do the maths. I was trying to be clever then. and It, it hasn't worked out, hasn't it? Two... Two, six, two eight is 16, is that right? And then you've got an extra eight on top of that, which is your discount. So, yeah, it is a third off, isn't it? Oh, I'm just, yeah. I've been up since 4.30. My brain's still in bed, I think. Love this. Um, and I love it. Oh, it's reclining there. Have a nice little relax there. That's a clever idea, isn't it? Masking off that area. Oh, that is a face that just wants to go back to bed. It's like, you know, I got up, I tried, it wasn't working out for the day, I'm going back to bed. Simple as. Um, and again, this one, he's got his little ducky friend there. Together is the best place to be, and certainly under an umbrella <laughs> when it's raining. 70% of the stock has gone, and that is a happy face. That is somebody that loves a bit of a rainstorm. Having a whale of a time. Now, if you're wanting to get hold of this set, again, £15.98. Such an affordable set and such a popular one as well that you need to be quick. So if you're wanting to get it, details are there. 211466. Do not miss out on this one. Beautiful. Now, we're going from a set that's got very much quirky look to it, very much a fun element, to something that I think has got quite an arty feel to it. Could almost be a classic look. And I love this because you kind of got a positive and negative style with these. Again, number 20 and 21. So I'm guessing early on from within the collection. So again, ones that you may have missed. Now, I think these are going to lend themselves so much to different styles of backdrops and backgrounds that you've collected over time. And we see it regularly, don't we, Leone? always picking up that ink. We saw Karen doing it this morning in her 7am show. And you'll build up those backdrops and you often need a gorgeous stamp to work with it. I can imagine that one working amazingly with a kind of almost like a rainbow effect, you know, an ombre going through different shades of colour, stamping that on top or using it as a resist even as well. Loads of different ways. Good size stamp. You can see it's got that negative look to it. But of course, that negative look when you're using it with a gel press gives you a different look as well. So again, you can apply your bands of colour to that one if you wanted to. Um, this is a nice one again if you're wanting to add a resist or maybe you just want a nice black outline and then going to add all your colour and your detail to it. A good size stamp. Both of those. £15.98. So if you're wanting these ones, again, number 20, number 21, definitely a considered one to go for because that's going to be something that's very useful and creating very quick and easy projects, whether it's on a canvas and you're wanting to fill in an area or you're wanting to make a quick and easy greeting card. I don't think you can make anything quicker than that. All you need to do is pop a sentiment on. 686048, pounds Now, before we go forward, we need to go backwards and go back to our little characters because they are now limited in stock. Now, you only have 20 minutes to take advantage of the price on your screen. I very much doubt that the stock will last that long. So if you've got your heart set on your little characters there with awesome and crack the duck, you need to be quick. 211466. I will keep you updated. But if it's in your basket, you're OK at that stage, but it's not yours. Pop it into your basket. It's kind of reserving, saying, I like that one. Yeah, I think I'm going to get that one. But it's not saying, I'm definitely going to get it. When you place your order, you complete your order, that is when you definitely know that you've taken advantage of those savings and those deals that we've been bringing you. Now, this is a nice one as well. It's one of those ones that's so useful for building up, building up detail, building up depth and dimension to your projects. Um, you've got that kind of sketchy look to this one. Again, multiple stamps within here. Now, the stamp that you're looking at the moment with the half mandala that has got the attachment of the scribble lines it's got the, um, the little wand there in the circles which lends itself to some of those other stamps that we saw earlier on you've got seven stamps in that one because you've got your additional stars which are kind of replications and repeats of some of the stars featuring in there but it gives you the opportunity to extend the design I think this is a nice one should you want to do it on a landscape way as well so it kind of could kind of top something off couldn't it if you wanted to that you're working on that's a um, kind of landscape star so that's a nice stamp this one's a useful one to have as well love the word at the bottom of your drippy art i mean you could have loads of fun with that couldn't you 
all sorts of different colours. Maybe you've got your textured embossing powders, adding a lot of interest to that one. Um, it's a nice one to work with. Um, and again, a really good combination for a fabulous price. £15.98. I've got some finished samples here again to share with you. Nice little book. Absolutely amazing content with here. And if you are working on a project where you've got a lot of pages and a lot of interest, it is useful to have a set where you've got lots of stamps that you're going to be working with. Now, I'm not guaranteeing that every single stamp that you're seeing is featuring within this particular set, but there certainly has been a contribution to it um, with regards to this one. So, yeah, if you fancy getting hold of this one, then please do so. It's a nice one, that one. I like that one. Who's created that one? I'm not sure. Anne. Anne. Well done, like that one. Cards you could be creating with these as well. And that's exactly what Jenny Marples has done with this one. Look at the fun that she's had with that. That looks amazing. And again, they're just useful stamps to have in your stash. And they just look amazing. Even if you're creating something as a card, it looks fabulous. But what about giving it as a gift in a frame? And then, of course, teaming it up with other things that you might end up having in your stash, just as our lovely Janet has done there. She even utilised some of the stencils, as you can see there as well. Fifteen pounds and ninety-eight pence, zero five six two six one. Popular item. Lots of you taking advantage. Now we've only got one more item that's within this kind of price point that we're looking at. Fifteen pounds and ninety-eight pence, and this is a set of two stamps. Now it's the first border stamp that we've seen today within this kind of range. Now fly high and count on you. These are the two stamps that are featuring in here. So we're going into the higher, more recent numbers of the um, range here. So this is a multi kind of stamp. So within this, you've got one stamp. You've got multiple layers in there. So it's a lot of interest. Very quick being laid down so again don't forget when you are working with all and create stamps if you do want your acrylic blocks you will find them in their brand section but this one again utilizing lots of elements that we've seen if you've gone for the compass earlier on maybe this is a nice one to work alongside it we've got that element of travel featuring in there and then of course you've almost got like an electronic look with all those lines it almost looks like a little circuit board or something like that this one's a nice one as well so you've got scribbles featuring in here some nice text and again a nice connection to work alongside many of the others that we've looked at as well. And of course, those numbers there, almost like ticker tape numbers running across there. £15.98, again, a really nice set. Um, and I think it's one that's going to be very useful sitting within your collection. One of the latter numbers, so maybe working backwards from the end to the front, I don't know, but it might be ones that you're missing or you might never have seen them before. But if you're wanting these, for the next 16 and a half minutes, you've got an £8 saving. Again, you're saving a third of that price, aren't you, with that price there? So two four. Um, at three nine four three. So one more item. I forgot about this one because it's not in the studio, but this is a nice one. Now, this has been very popular. Lots of you placing your order for this one. Um, and, uh, yeah, you found it on the website previously. So, again, you are saving a third on that price there. You've got a lot of content in there. You've got the Wicked and the Underwater Wonders. So, again, maybe these are missing from your uh, set. And, of course, we touched on that phrase, the Wicked phrase, when we were looking at one of the finished samples earlier on. So this is a way that you can get hold of it if that's something that you wanted to do. So zero. 091489. Um, I think we might have a few more to share with you as pictures. I don't know. Is that the last one? Oh, no, we have got another one. So this one is slightly um, higher in price. And I say slightly because you're looking at just an extra pound. So these ones are borders and these are brilliant. You've got perfect there and balanced. So you can see those gifts balanced up there. Oh, they look like they're going to topple over at any moment, don't they? Love the um, fabulous little characters that you've got there as well. So I would consider that one a very useful set and again two border stamps we've not got a huge amount of border stamps on this hour so if you do like working with those then, then perhaps that's one for you 992 287 if you fancy that one but we are going to the last set to share with you. Now, I did mention that we've got different kind of prices as we worked our way through. This is our first, oh, it's the only trio set that I've got to show you in the studio. But what a cracking set. So we've got a couple that we're going to share with you. Oh, we've got some behind me. Oh, I have so I have. They're behind you. So this set, you've got three sets of stamps. They are entitled Meow, Beast Friend, I love that, and Spooks. Brilliant designs, and I think I remember seeing these um, come out. Certainly, the the characters with the ghosts on there. Don't know so much about the cat number seventeen. Again, that's quite an early one in their range, um, but. Look at the expressions on these faces. I mean, Olga's captured them perfectly, hasn't she? And I love that, that cheeky little monster there with a rather round tummy. 
Love it. So, again, within these ones, and I know these are words that will resonate with certain characters that you know, maybe they're, they're phrases that you use with yourself um, or jokingly with regards to other people. But with these, you're getting a lot of stamps with these. So some of them, there's 26 in total, some of them resonate beautifully with um, Halloween, as you can see there. So I know I've seen a lot of things that people are kind of uh, indicated because obviously start thinking about Christmas, Halloween, all those periods of time. The cats, I think, are brilliant because the cats, you've actually got your back uh, I don't know if it's the back or the front of your cat but you've got you'll notice with those you haven't got the facial features reason being is you've got them at the base there so we've got let me just have a little look at this one in fact let me turn that yes because that's the tail the tail's at the back isn't it so you've got your back and your front now with regards to these I don't know because I haven't stamped them out but looking at them they look as if they're symmetrical so if you're wanting to do a character that appears on the front and on the flip side of a project then I think you can do that with this one got some finished samples here as well I don't know whether that one actually features within here but you've got your cat so the cat hasn't actually got an expression on the stamp but then you choose one of the expressions that you've got um, within your collection and you could be making like a little a little treat bag for your cat couldn't you might be that you wanting to use uh, is it press press here oh i don't know if that did something at some point it's probably been pressed and the batteries have run out now um, but again there you can see fabulous if you are looking to create things this is quite, quite a good one as well though it's almost like bursting out of the page like that one absolutely amazing and then let's end it with a cutie lovely little cat as you can see there as well happy looks good on you that is a nice little phrase as well then you've got all your li other little characters in there and your expressions as well you can just use expressions by themselves you don't necessarily have to use them on a character but you might have other characters or maybe fancy doodling characters maybe you're good at doodling characters but it's the expressions the faces that you struggle with well by having a set of stamps that will allow you to do that then sometimes you don't give them that kind of demonic look I can kind of doodle a little bit, but as soon as I put a face in place, it all goes awry. 210882 if you want in these, £23.97. Now, I'm just going to set backwards a little for you because we've got another little set to share with you. And these are really pretty stamps, quite cute again. So you've got freestyle flowers, you've got your bad bears. Bad bears, are they naughty bears? I don't know, I don't. I'll have a little look at the phrases that you've got there. But then you've also got your frayed threads as well. Oh, excuse me, a little hiccup there. So again, a set of three, £23.97. You're looking at some of the latter collection, but you've got number 157 and 158 coming together. So these ones are consecutive. And of course, you've got those fabulous strips. So let's turn these around and have a little look at these as well. Because again, they're useful ones. I mean, portrait or landscape with that one, I think that's going to be a useful one to work with pop that on there so you can have a jolly good look at that one the scribbly flowers again that's a nice little set there nice ones to doodle again ones that might be confidence builders that will encourage you to have a go at creating your own little flowers as well got a little bit of glare on there but you can see there you've got your different flowers featuring there and then of course you've got your bad bears your naughty bears i don't know they don't look pretty they don't look naughty to me they look quite cheeky i don't know but there you go they do look like their stuffings hanging out there, I'm not going to lie. But there you go, if you're wanting your bad bears there, if you're wanting your fabulous florals, as we just saw there, or if you're wanting those scribbles, then they are all within that bundle. Um, and it's a brilliant deal. Again, it's a happy hour deal, it's an affordable price, and of course it gives you the opportunity to get some of those ones that you might have missing from your collection. Now, of course, there's lots of different items. That post of packing really does start creeping up. And in a show like this, you do not want to be spending that saving that you've created Created on your post and packing. So how do you avoid that? Well, you get yourself Freedom Membership. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom Members Badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom Membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today.
You definitely need to be a freedom member. You've probably noticed um, on some of our shows, or maybe you've noticed on social media, we've got our birthday coming up, our sixth birthday. Regularly we will see deals that you'll want to take advantage of, so it's useful to be a freedom member then. But in hours like this, it's useful to be a freedom member because that £3.95 pence post and packing will disappear. It means that when you look at the price on your screen, 9 98 that's what you're paying. That is delivered to your door. So it's not a case that you look at that and you've got to pay those extra pounds to get it to you. Then things like our one day special today, we've got a discounted price for Freedom members. And that's why it's one of those things that I would certainly consider if you're not already a Freedom member. But I know lots of you have been Freedom members right from the launch of the channel six years ago, as I have been and take advantage of regularly. In fact, I did this morning as well. I ordered something off Karen's show at 7 a.m. Well, not at 7 a.m. because I was on air, but when I came off air. Um, five, five, one, one, eight, four. If you wanted to get a hold of our first item, now our first segment, these are all items where they are less than a tenner. And this one, I'm amazed to be able to tell you that it is still available. You're looking at less than a tenner for two fabulous stencils that have got an incredible amount of detail in them. Lots of elements within here because I know when you're working with your stencils, that's what you do. You use part of it, you don't necessarily use it in its entirety. Um, 9.98, and again, you've kind of got that text uh, at the bottom. So if you're wanting this particular one, it comes alongside this one and um, stencil as well. So you're getting both of those, but rapidly approaching three quarters of the stock has gone. Entitled lace and doily. So if you're wanting those, do make sure you're getting hold of those. Pop them into your basket. Five five one one eight four. Now the little houses that we shared with you again this is a nice one think about those new homes maybe you're moving from a flat and you're giving somebody they're moving to a mansion love this because you've got the little kind of victorian lampposts as well so this is a nice one maybe to use alongside other items i love a victorian lamppost around christmas time on my christmas cards so that is a nice one as well so again if you wanted to build up perspective they're kind of in proportion to the buildings that you've got as well which is quite nice because sometimes you can lose that perspective when you're kind of crossing over different stamp sets, but a really nice set that you are going to have loads of fun. It's been a popular one, this one, and rapidly approaching 60% of the stock. It's relatively early on the range. It's number 52, so maybe that one has escaped your collection. Well, now's a chance for you to get hold of it. If you want to yours, 449951, just 9.99. The party animals. Well, they are still going. They are still partying, but um, not for much longer because that price will go up. Now, 11.99 is a great price for these at any time so if you are watching on repeat it might still be worth you getting hold of these ones but if you're ordering in the next six and three quarter minutes then you'll get that discounted price at 9.99 644592 again lots of elements not just your fabulous little animals but these will be brilliant again for things like your happy planner journals because of the sizing of them they're going to fit in absolutely beautifully and they might be that you're using some of those little elements there to uh, keep a note of people's birthday is when you needed to send a nice little card. 999-644-592 if you're wanting those. Now the next one, this is one that's quite early on in the collection, so it is one that may have escaped you previously, it might be the first time you're seeing it. Number seven, and you can see here you've got that positive good vibes feeling with this one. Positive vibes, as you can see, a positive mind, positive vibes, positive life. Um, I love this one, that's kind of my head some mornings, we've got a lot of scribble going on. <laughs> and then you've got obviously your feather there, your fabulous little birds taking flight there as well, and also that nod to a dream catcher with that good vibes arrow at the base 520-534 if you're wanting to get hold of that particular one so in the cinema, this is one that we showed with you um, earlier on. It's background stamp, and um, you can see there, if you're wanting this particular one, you've got multiple lines in there. So although it's a background stamp, there's nothing stopping you cutting that into strips and utilising that in loads of ways. 947246 if you're wanting that particular one. Less than a tenner. Now, this is a nice one as well. It's one that you have found. It's one of your ones that you've been taking advantage of, a blooming heart. Now, of course, you can see that in its entirety with the, the main focus stamp there, but you actually got six stamps in total there and at 9.99 really good price so 136.937 if you are wanting that 
particular one. All of these items that we've been speaking of are on the website, so you could be having a little look on there, but bear in mind, I um, break between the shows, it's only three minutes, so you're not going to have a lot of time to actually take advantage. So if you want to have a speedy, quick look, if you have just joined us, maybe you've heard all the rumours about our lovely Paola appearing in a kimono in the next show, and you've just kind of slotted in a little bit early, you dipped into the shows early. Well, this is a happy hour, so all of these fabulous goodies you're looking at, those discounts are going to disappear in the next four and a half minutes so be quick with these next set is a nice one because you've got a combination set with regards to this one incidentally we've got about 34 different deals with regards to um, the, the website I haven't shown you all of those during this hour we've had to be very very quick wouldn't I but this is a nice set because it's where you've got two together so you've got your stencil there your human stencil so if you've missed out on this one previously it's a nice one to add detail add a little accent when you're working with something so you can see they're just adding a little bit when you need to fill an area then that is a good one so you're going to get that stencil in there but you're also going to get your set of stamps there giving you those textures alongside it so again number 50 in the collection if you're looking for numbers 12 pounds and 98 pence now we've got another combination of stencils and stamps for you with the next item number and again a useful one to have your stencil there again lots of content in there lots of different elements and working well with the stamps, um, stamps alongside them there so so because we've had so much interest, well, so many interesting products, so I should say, to share with you during this hour, I'm not going to be able to show you the rest of them. So do take the next three minutes to jump onto the website if you've not seen the items that have been bringing to you. But make sure you do grab a cuppa and come back and join us because we have got a fabulous hour coming up. I can't wait to watch. Paula looks amazing. Um, do make sure you're checking out your baskets. I will see you a little bit later on, but uh, feast your eyes on this Yes, feature your eyes on this because this is what we've got coming up during the course of the day. We've got Festival of Japan and we're concentrating on resin in the next hour. Then the Go Power and Emboss monthly mega deal before we see the one day special. Final call. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products as well as some of their other amazing brands such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut and the Craft Artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi, my name's Mel and I'm from Crafty Devils down in Devon. We are a family run business and we've been established for about 16 years now. We're known for our MDF products and our mediums. So make sure you tune in to all our Crafty Devil shows.
afternoon. Uh, I'm in heaven, basically, because this is the most beautiful kimono. Of course, we are celebrating Festival of Japan, and Jill, who is here in the studio, has dressed me up. Uh, Jill, thank you so much for my pleasure. letting me borrow this incredible my ceremonial pleasure. kimono. Oh, so you do know it's just borrowing. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, I make an invasion. <laughs> but it is an incredible ceremonial kimono. Am I right? Thank yeah, you. this is a furisode. So furisode means swinging sleeve. Yes. So you are under 21 and not married, aren't you? Well, I'm not married, that's for sure, but then I am, you know. No, you, you could get away with it. She could get away with it. I'm almost like double 21. 21. I'm just going to be yeah. double 21. Yeah. 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 But I absolutely, it's such a beautiful, absolutely beautiful kimono. But, of course, we are not uh, talking about me, about the kimono. We are talking about Festival of Japan. We are talking about brand new items. And we are already very, very busy for these items. Now, Let's have a look at the first item that we have got for you. Now, they are incredibly cute, uh, Jill. Uh, and of course, you can see in here that you are getting 12 small uh, memory bottles, uh, 3 ml. Look at how tiny they are. Now, we still used to put on the Christmas tree. Once they're filled, they look absolutely oh, fabulous on the Christmas tree. They would tree. be so beautiful yeah. as well. Now, of course, you have them there. Uh, you are getting 12 of them. 12 of those, yeah. 12 of the small ones. Could you do, like, the 12 days of Christmas? You can do the 12 days of Christmas, yes, indeed, to go on the Christmas tree. Yeah, that would be I've done a Christmas one here to show you when we get down to this end. Are you warm? Yes, I am You've trying to, to get this, like, because now suddenly I got so Have you not got your fan at the top? Oh, yes, it's true. I, there you go. Where is it, my fan? Have I, you taken it? Oh, you've taken it out, haven't you? Oh, I think I might. So. Oh, well, it's, oh, no. it's all right. It's just like I'm getting so excited here. But anyway, let's get back to the bottles in here. Uh, so <laughs> these are for memory. So a lot of different uh, products. Over 10% of the stock has already gone here. Uh, 723674 is your item number. 999 is your price. Now, that, of course, is the first item brand new today, which well, we have got plenty more for you in here. Uh, now, these ones are five bottles, but they are larger. They are 25 mil that you are getting here. 9.99 is your price for five of them. I, this is one of my favorite products to use for around the home. They're really cute. Um, yeah. I've, just feel, I've just made a teeny tiny Japanese crane, so I've just popped one into a bottle here. Um, Put some, oh, yeah, origami. teeny tiny origami in there. That's Fabulous. beautiful. And I also love the idea of, can you pour, uh, you can put a little bit of resin as well, couldn't you? Mine are filled with resin at this end, so oh, they're see. all completely filled with resin, yeah. You can see that, uh, so which one is uh, with resin? Uh, okay. So I've just done one here. Yeah. I'll okay. shift all of these. So I've just put, I'm going to shift this stick. So I've just filled uh, this one with oh, a teeny tiny crane. That. It's got some Christmassy baubles in there, and that'll be lovely on the Christmas tree. That is just gorgeous. <laughs> I love resin, that. Resin um, magnifies everything. Yeah, so it will make it. So it makes it look complete. I know it's 3D in real life, but it makes it look even more oh, HD. Yeah. yeah. I love that. It's just so beautiful. And I always like the idea of capturing things like, you know, from memories from trips and things like that into there as well. I mean, you can put sand and things in them. All you do is you mix the resin, the sand with a little bit of resin, pop that in first, let that set, and then you can layer things up so you've got your memories of your holidays. You can. Yeah. Love that as well. A third of the stock has gone, and I love the prices as well. So you have got the quality, of course, that we are used from uh, Jill Cray, but also the prices. N brand new today, 949-360 is your item number. And now, of course, we are going to go to button making. Uh, these are beautiful molds, but also we are getting gorgeous pigments in here doing is because we do handbag kits in the soft craft shows I could never find the buttons that I wanted so we started to make make our own buttons so at the end of the day if you've got a little bit of resin left not enough to make anything even a piece of jewelry mix a little bit of resin with it a, a pigment pop it in and make a button oh, so you never waste any tiny little bit of your 
of your resin? That's a very good top tip because of course you have got, these ones are the larger ones that we have looking at, but you can see in here the smaller ones as well. Uh, absolutely glorious. You are getting two molds uh, and you are, so you are getting this, the rounded ones and you can see there with the little uh, elements in there. Uh, and then you are getting the hardener and the resin itself. Yeah. The reason we've got two molds is each set has different sizes. Oh, I and see. And if you want them to match, then you can make at least one pair of buttons. Oh, I see. So if you had one mold, you, you would not yeah. be able to repeat the colours. So you can do sets of buttons if you have two yeah, sets. Absolutely. So you can multi a match a batch making. And of course, you are getting also the pigments in here. So we have a mica powders. We have you are getting four of them, and you can see the blue, the copper, the bronze. The, sorry. It's like more of bronze there. It's it's like a ready bronze. Bronze, yeah. which is absolutely, which is actually like uh, our producer saying, Katie, it's like, well, there are kind of metallic versions of the primary guns. They are. So with those, you can you can actually mix powders. I think people forget that mica powders can be mixed together as well yeah. to make other colours. Because, of course, I have got a piece here that you have made, which is the most extraordinary, uh, gorgeous gold in here. We can see the gun of blues and, and turquoise is that creates absolutely gorgeous. So that's got the gold and the, the dark blue in blue. that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And of course, mixing them up, you can create a gorgeous green. Uh, 18 pounds and 99 pounds is your price. 243861 is your item number. Approaching 20% of the stock has gone. Oh, it's just such a beautiful things that we have got here. Uh, and of course, we have then the next bundle. Uh, we have got more buttons, but this one is slightly different. This is the metal backing uh, that you are getting. So what you see here, you are going to get, and then you are choosing extra ones as well. So different colors options there is. So you are getting your hardener, your resin, you are getting your brooches, and of course, in the wooden. And then you are getting the um, button backing in that size and color and then you have got the different options for you to choose from the larger size so the options are silver gold and pewter and then look at this there's beautiful. enough resin left over that that'll do that that small bottle of resin will do at least a hundred buttons yeah, minimum a hundred buttons really that's what I was saying that that's why I like if you're making buttons you need at least two of a button yes. really don't you so um, you get mm, the bigger ones, then you've got a selection of small ones and also the the wooden ones. But I've got to say with the wooden ones, you have to seal them first. Yeah, all right. If you're using resin. So you've okay. got to put a even a PVA glue a PVA on glue. the inside, smooth coat, and that will seal the resin. Because uh, so otherwise it's porous, it the water so it soaks yeah. in. Right, yeah. so that makes sense. So coat to the wooden ones and then of course you pour the resin. Uh, now of course if you want this bundle, you have got the choices. Remember that the top row, you are gonna get it, uh, whatever choice you are gonna get. So the choices are silver, gold, oh, I don't know how to hold it there, there it is. And then pewter, which is, I will go for pewter, actually a pewter because it's a it's actually the most popular one. Uh, so if you want that one, make sure that you check out your baskets because also we need to tell you that many of these items, once they are gone, they are gone. So make sure to check out your baskets in case you don't want to miss out. 17 pounds and 99 pence for that bundle. Moving on to this one is the dried leaves. Now, I believe these are hand dry for hours, hours and hours and some of them are hand coloured by me as well. So the ones that show up coloured there are actually coloured when you get them. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, yeah this is very special. So, so, shall I hold the ginkgo leaves? You were, um, can you tell us a little bit about ginkgo leaves, how special we were, they are? We were just explaining when we were chatting earlier that um, with ginkgo leaves, there's a male and a female tree. Yeah. Um, so the, the female ginkgo is fine, but the male tree smells yeah. when you stand on it. That's a female tree. We're That's fine. A female, that is absolutely nice. Um, so those ones, um, I mean, ginkgo is such a, an iconic pattern in Japan. And they don't have, even in autumn, when they have the reds and the, the oranges, where they need the yellow to just boost them, and ginkgo trees are everywhere. But they don't last very long, and they tend to drop. And ginkgo nuts are delicious. Oh, are they? I like to eat the nuts, yeah, they're delicious. I wouldn't pick them off the floor. Yeah, oh. But I'd 
gone to a restaurant. Uh, don't do it in England. Ah, uh, yes. Harvest. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, the, the nuts are lovely. Ginkyo nuts. Really, really nice. Uh, uh, Ginkgo nuts are lovely. We'll yeah, I'll take that. Ginkgo nuts are lovely. Yeah. And then we have got, of course, the option of the hydrangeas. Now, I, I have done some flower pressing in my lifetime. And one of the things that is, is it sounds easier than it is because to preserve the color yeah. is almost impossible. It, so. Well, these are about these ones here are about a year old. Right. So we know that the colour is going to be that colour forever. It's not. It's not going to fade to. It'll fade a little bit if it's in sunlight. But yeah. we try to keep them for a, quite a long time so that we know they're going to be good colours. They are incredibly beautiful. And then, of course, the other option that we have got in here is the mixed one, which we I can see ginkgo leaf, uh, but also can see uh, Japanese acer maple leaves in there as well. Can you I see the difference in the ginkgo that's not coloured? Yes. This one yeah. is not colored. Yeah, the, the one colored is. ones are absolutely gorgeous. They are absolutely stunning. Gorgeous. If you uh, want your, as these are two, three of the options, we have got two more options for you, uh, which of course are the old maple, the gold maples here. Uh, you can see here that gorgeous element in there. Gorgeous. Now, you see, I, a lot of people would be quite upset that that's got little holes in it. Oh, no. But it's I beautiful. like the, the perfection of imperfection, yes, I suppose the, you could say. Savvy? No, no, wabi savvy. Wabi savvy. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, none of us are absolutely perfect. I mean, apparently my husband is and Ben, um, <laughs> but, <laughs> but the rest of us have to just, you know, deal with what we've got. Yeah. Uh, so just because I it's agree. not perfect, don't discard it. You know what? I I love that, and it's one of the things that makes me fall in love with, with uh, Japan even more. Uh, look at that! You can enclose them into resin, and then of course the final option is uh, the uh, maple leaves themselves under the red uh, red maple. There, absolutely stunning, glorious colors in there, and there is more that you can do, of course, um, in you know encasing them with a beautiful resin, and you can see there. But also, I kind of love that you know I could incorporate them into to my paper crafting as yeah, well. Yeah, you put them into absolutely anything. And uh, again, people forget that you can colour things. So you don't just have to have a leaf, a leaf colour. Like these ones here, for example, where have I got it? I've got one down here somewhere that is a black one. This one here. It's actually been done with heat sensitive paint. Oh. So when I touch it, you see, it changes colour. It's a bit difficult to see in this light, but they actually change colour. It changes colour? Yeah, so it's gone green. Wow! It's on bright green now. <laughs> so you are this a magician. Is just, I just, I just magic. So this right. is, you know, the the paint that you use it's for true. mood rings. Oh, it's the same paint. So if you if you were to put this into a picture frame, throughout the day it changes yeah. colour. <gasps> that is incredible. Oh, you need to have it. Do it's you just, have, it's like magic. It's, it's magic. Just, just we like, need that magic. In it our is lives. like magic. <laughs> Absolutely, it's gorgeous. Uh, 700492 is your item number, 1199, and you're choosing any two plans. I would definitely go for the ginkgo and probably the red maple. That would be my two uh, choices uh, for myself. But, you know, it's your choice. Uh, right, now moving on to more. Uh, we have got more, and this is uh, right up my street as well. Well, everything that is, uh, Jill brings it is. Uh, now, already approaching a third of the stock. Uh, this is, of course, the brand new Cat Charms. And look at that. I mean, they are beautiful for resin but on their own as well uh, yeah you can put you can put um, clay and things into them as well so you can fill <gasps> them with clay you can do anything anything you want with those but the, filled with resin they're absolutely lovely um, and I just want to show you a tip with the resin when we get around to showing those of ones of course we will uh, now very busy for them a third is it a third already uh, of the stock uh, like yeah, approaching a third of the stock already gone. And make sure to check out your baskets, nine ninety nine for all five of them. Uh, brand new today, 030384 is your item number. Moving on, I should have shown my, my Ovi because I'm just like, I'm just so happy. I'm just distracted. I come down a little bit. So I'm gonna let I thought you were going to squeal at one stage. <laughs> I did, I did <laughs> squeal. Uh, well, I did cry when I saw the kimono. Did. I did actually cry. Of is so beautiful. Uh, now, of course, we have uh, the flower tray and coaster set. Uh, now, this is a set of four, five, actually. And oh, it's one tray, which I'm going to show you so you can see it in its full uh, glory. Look at that. 
is such a lovely size. Uh, you are going to be doing dem a demonstration with this. I'm right? just, I'm, I'm having to do some resin now because it's starting to set up. Um, oh, really? Depending on the temperature, your resin goes faster or slower. So I'm right. just getting this, this going here. Perfect. So now, of course, if you want to go for the flower tray and Costa said, hey, which is a fabulous depth for all these inclusions of the, uh, of course, the flowers, dry flowers, as well as the leaves. Look at these ones. Aren't they just amazing? Look at that. We are over half the stock. Uh, 16 pounds and 99 pence is your price. Make sure to check out your baskets. Um, then you can have a look at this. Beautiful. 093907 is your item. Uh, 093907 is your item number. I'm so giddy that I, I'm just in another <laughs> world. In a, I'm in a dream uh, world. Uh, Jill, are you ready for a demo then? Yeah, um, all I'm asking, because um, resin has a working time, um, and I started to do the resin just before we came on air, so it has a 40-minute working time. So I've actually started to put some resin in here, and the one we're doing is this one here. Yeah. So it's this uh, this design here, which is like a, a Jill, flower design. We have got sorry to interrupt, oh. but we have got some news. We have had a technical sellout on the flower tray and coasters. Now, if you have it in your baskets, do check out your baskets now because then you will get them. Otherwise, you will miss out. So if you do not want to miss out, well, there's only one way to check out. Well, I something. thought that. That's why I was demonstrating on them so I've changed to the day. Yes, um, the a, lot, a lot of the moles we're using the ones we have got on the second show. Okay, so, so. Uh, the buttons maybe? maybe yeah, I'm going to do I'm going to okay, do because I have to set, I have to set this up because oh, like I say right. you've got a 40 minute working time with it and once it's gone off there's yeah, no going no back with okay. it. So all I've done with this one I've split my resin into three sections. Now if you need to know how much resin any particular mold takes okay. the easiest way to do it is to get your mold fill it with water. Right. Pour the water back into a jug, and then you, and then you know exactly how much Perfect. resin to work with. Because there's nothing worse than running out yeah. when you get halfway down. Now, all I've done, I've filled, I split it into three. I kept one clear. I filled one with one of our new mica powders that's coming out next time, uh, which is this look gorgeous purple. And the last one, I put a white pigment. Now, when you're dealing with pigment, people get a jar like this and they think it's not going to last very long. When you fill in up to 40 mils of resin with this, I'll find a cocktail stick. Cocktail stick. Okay, okay. I will find a cocktail stick. It's a really small one. Oh, I'll tip them out, it'll be easier. There's one. So when you're taking the resin to do up to 30, 40 mil here, that will colour yeah. 20 mils of resin okay. on the edge oh, of wow. your, that on there, literally will colour 20 mils of resin. So this goes a long, long, long way. Now, one thing I did find this morning is when I started work, it's really cold in here because there's air conditioning yeah. above me. Now, now it's cold. Before. <laughs> You're not cold. <laughs> I'm not cold. I'm wearing like two, three layers and then oops, yeah. how many bells. So the trick with that is if your resin, so say you keep it in your, you've got a workshop outside. Yes. Um, and it goes very yeah. solid. All you do is you pop it in a bain-marie, basically. So pop it in a bowl of hot water. Don't put the resin into it put the pot into it yeah and that will heat heat it up and get it liquid again right so the more liquid you've got it the more flowing it is the easier it is to work Still with work. and also if you've got lots of bubbles right um, this resin is pretty good for bubbles if you mix up your resin and the harder to make your solution and then you pop that into the hot water the bubbles will rise to the top with the heat and then they'll pop at the oh, top. Could we use a heat gun to kind of... You can. I've got a heat gun here. Oh, uh, we're going to do the same thing. But it's just if you've got quite yeah. a large container and yeah, you want those yeah, bubbles absolutely. to get to the top. One thing I would never do, so say you were mixing this much resin. So we've got a big tub here. So say you were going to mix this yeah. much. You would never leave that in this pot. Right. Why it not? gets hot. <sighs> Yeah, so the bigger amount yes. of resin you've got, the, the hotter, hotter, hotter it gets. If I was to put this much resin into the size tray that you've yeah. got next to you, for example, that won't get hot anymore because it's got a bigger it's, surface yeah. area. So you're looking at the surface area of what you're working with. So this bit here. It's not the volume itself, it's a surface area. A lot of the time it's a surface. So if you're using a lot of resin, you need to split it into separate sections. Even if you're going to mix the same colours, you would still split it up into smaller pots. That's really important. So we've got a white pigment around the edge, and then we've put the pinky purple pigment next to it. 
And all we're going to do with this is we're going to pour clear right into the middle and we're going to leave this for about 20 minutes and you'll see what happens. What will happen is this, what we've got next to it. So the clear resin will go underneath, it will mix together with the purple and the white and it will start to pull the white over the top of the blue and work towards the centre. Resin is self-leveling if you've got a level table. So what's going to ah, happen... Ah, that's important. Yeah, yeah if you haven't table. got a level table, you are not going to get level resin. So we're just going to pour that in now. It looks really boring at the minute, but we'll come back to that in about, say, about 20 minutes and see what that does. So one thing I wanted to show you, if it's OK, yeah. is that when you're working with moulds, they get really dirty really quickly. Right. Um, before you start, so when you finish, you should always put it in a plastic bag. The easiest way to clean a little pot, so we, we try to use these because, um, well, we've got a clean one, yeah. because we don't want to use lots of um, pots and throw them away. Yeah. So we try to use the silicone ones if we can, but they hold a lot of dirt. I see. So all you're going to do is you're going to take some sellotape, pop it down here. Right. Now, that some people will do it a really complicated way and they'll dab it like this yeah. and it takes ages. All you do, turn it inside out. Right. It's silicone. It will bend. Oh, okay. It will turn inside out. And all you do now is you do that with it. Oh, that's so all of the resin, the little bits that are hanging about and the little bits of mica that you've got stuck, it's all now on that there. piece of... Can you see? It's got... Uh, can you see all the little yeah, perfect, bits and pieces? Yeah. That's all stuff that will get stuck in your resin. And it would be transferring to your and project. And it would come out. So all you need, that's all you need to do with it. Just pop it down and roll it over. So allow this to dry. And then that's ready now perfect. to use. Like I said, the silicone, so they turn inside out. Perfect. Don't thank be scared to do that. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much, Jill, for explaining that. It's a great to have that expertise from Jill. Uh, now, of course, we have got uh, also another item that we haven't quite uh, shown you yet, which, of course, is, is something that is a returning favourite. Now, this one is the... Uh, this one... Oh, what is this? This one is the stickers. Uh, oh. There's no stickers. I ah. the stickers. The, oh, there is... The stickers? The I forgot the stickers. Oh, well, this one's... It's a surprise. Well, it's a surprise. Yeah. Well, you're not paying for them, but of course you are getting the resin dot pack. <laughs> uh, oh, we have got a, a cell, so we are going to show you a picture there. There it is. Uh, there, look at that. Isn't that just extraordinary with those pay, pay, uh, stickers there? Now, those stickers, can we, of course, uh, use them in different ways, not just with the dot? You can use them with anything. The reason we do this is because resin can be expensive, and we need to, sometimes we want to put photographs and things into it. So all we do with the resin dots is we actually, when we put that onto the photograph or the sticker, we're sealing it in. So we're protecting it from the wet resin. Perfect. So, so that, that can then get sunk into your resin. Yeah. And because resin and resin, mm, blend. they blend and they become invisible. That is beautiful. So you don't see them anymore. Perfect. Um, and they're great to put in the buttons as well. Oh. So you can pop them in the buttons. Oh, that would be yeah. amazing. Of course, if you want yours, 310381 is your item number. Now, you're going to get those free flower stickers that are worth £3, and you're not going to pay any, not even a penny for them. And then you have got a £3 savings. So that, in actual fact, well, you can do the math on how much saving you are doing. You're getting something that was worth £3 and then saving £3. Uh, £12 and £49 is your price. Uh, now, you three quarters of the stock has gone. Uh, 310381 is your item number for this one. It's absolutely stunning. Grab yours. Remember to check out your baskets. Right, of course, we have got more from Jill. So let's head Try back. Try not to make a noise. Oh, well, then. <laughs> if you look at resin, um, what you'll find is, it doesn't matter how careful you are and what brand of resin you get, the resin will get bubbles in it. Okay. Sometimes we like bubbles. So this one, for example, I wanted the bubbles in it because I wanted, to look, wanted it to look Christmassy. So we've got oh, that. So it's really cute. Yeah, look at that. And I've got a great tip for using less resin to get, to get a really good result as well. So I wanted bubbles in that because I thought they looked really cute and pretty. Look okay, at we've that. got this set, and um, we've got these lights and this set on the, on the next show as well. Um, but some people don't want bubbles, so especially if you're doing something like a, a necklace or a brooch, like these things here. Right. 
you don't want to have bubbles in here so okay. what you can do you can use a flame so you can use like a, a creme brulee torch as you'd use in the oh, kitchen course, yeah, yeah. you've got to be really careful because that can one burn the resin Right. And it can too melt your mould. So better a heat gun. So a heat, heat gun. gun. I, I use a, a, a flambe tool because I've been doing it a long time. Yeah. And I know exactly how long to do it. But just a, a normal heat tool. And if you put that over the top, what you'll find is you'll see... Teeny tiny bubbles popping all the time. Wow. So the little yeah. bubbles will disappear. Now you need to do this a couple of times. So you need to come back in maybe 10 minutes yeah. and do it again. Can you right. see that the white is now overtaking the purple? Okay, yeah. On here. So that's what's going to happen. We're going to have the colour around the outside. So it's going to completely turn around to what we had before. Oh, um, these see. little charms, these are, these are just things made from the moles again we've got this afternoon. You don't always need to have coloured um, resin. Clear resin is, it, I think it's beautiful. stunning clear resin. I, I love clear resin because it kind of is like the purity of what it can be. And can you see we've got a Christmas theme going on oh, now, so we've got I little berries that. and things. That's These beautiful. tiny little berries are actually Brazilian peppercorns. Ooh, peppercorns. That's a huge I've never thought. They're red, they're red berries, aren't they? Yeah. So we can use those, peppercorns. That's beautiful. Oh, I love that. Uh, this actually, if you put those uh, peppercorns inside the little tiny bottles. That's, that's what's in here. That's one that is in oh, this tiny bottle. So it's got peppercorns in there as well. That. It's really hard to see because it's teeny yeah. tiny. Oh, look at that. We are coming in. Oh, no, no. You put, can you put it back where it oh, was? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Ah, oh, there it is. You can see it. Perfect. Thank you so um, much. I must tell people a tip about this as well. When you fill in these bottles, um, anything will float in resin because resin is thick and things you put in it will float to the top. So if you want, so I set this little, um, this little guy up this morning, this origami crane. So I filled it quarter with resin. Then I popped the flowers and things in yeah. and put the crane onto the top. Let that set up for an hour and then okay. put the rest of the resin in and then nothing will fly to the surface so if you want things to be in particular layers you work in layers so layers and layers yeah so layer layers. to make it stay where it is then you can put the next layer that and the next sense, layer yeah. and because it will all blend you will not see any see any lines. layering unless yeah. you put a pack unless you, you want, purposely want them yeah. Yeah. yeah unless you want to of course 999 is your price for the memory bottles we are uh, those ones were the larger ones uh, the big ones but the small ones let's start with the small ones because these ones come in with that little hook at the top so it means that if you want to do things to hang on the tree christmas tree that would work also as pendant i think that would be lovely as well as mixed media projects we are 30 percent of uh, this stock gone so if you want your 12 beautiful 12 uh, three meal bottles i mean look at this they are just so amazing i mean you could keep in here memories from like a tiny petals or you could put flowers or you know you, like you go for a nice walk and then you finally you find some type of seeds or sometimes that are beautiful you can preserve them there as well or wildflowers imagine doing that as well uh, you can of course preserve maybe if you like traveling you like the seaside you can keep like little sands from different beaches that you like no for instance if you go like Norfolk and you can go to Holcomb and Santon you know Cromer oh that would be yeah and then hand it out to people as a Oh, that would be lovely. You would never put fresh flowers in, though. No, 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 just dry yeah, them. So yeah. dry them or silicone. Silicon right. Oh, yeah. If yeah. you dry uh, flowers, uh, you know, three-dimensional flowers, would you dry them upside down? Yeah, if you want to keep the stem on it, dry them upside down. Um, I can show you as well, when you've got two minutes, a quick way to get them to stand up as oh. well, if you want them to stand well, up. When we come back to yeah, the demo, when that come back to that, I'll that get that set up now so I can perfect. show you. All right, of course, Evie, thank you, Jill. It's just the fountain of an old knowledge, including how to dress a proper kimono. Oh, I'm so happy. Uh, now, of course, you want to have the 12 small memory bottles, a 3 mil, and 9.99 is your prize. 723674 is your item number. Now, we have got the medium bottles, which, of course, is the size that Jill was showing. Half the stock has gone. The other reason I love these ones as well is the fact that I like to put um, maybe inspirational quotes or, uh, you know, uh, maybe a little, uh, verses from poems as well. Uh, 
you know, standing up. This is a kind of photo holder as well. So if you have got a pen, you can then put those ones as well on the top. And then here you can put things that relate to that, not just, um, you know, not just dry flowers, but also you could put uh, maybe words as well, submerge words into resin, words that, oh, that, you know what that would be really nice? It's like, so your favorite verses from a poem, uh, to cut the words in and then submerge them, uh, coat them with uh, PVA and then submerge them into resin. So you have got a broken down poem, but you know exactly what it reads. It's kind of mysterious there as well. And you can put glitter or something else as well. So you don't have to think just resin. This is a kind of a project for, like, there's so many possibilities. 949360 is your item number. 999 is your price, brand new today. And of course, do check out your baskets. Do not miss out. Right, back to you, Jill. Um, I try to give as many tips as I can while we're going through the hour because resin is, is all about experimenting and it's following a, yeah. following a rule, but you're never going to get the same thing twice. Right. So um, tips are more important than, that, than pouring. Yeah. One tip that's really important for taking things out of a mould is you would oh. never pull it straight out. What you do is you would flick your finger around the edges just to loosen first and then pull it out. Now this resin is about two, three days old, so it's it's nice and, and hard and yeah. finished. Isn't that just the cutest little picture? It is. Teeny tiny. So this is a necklace when it's finished. Um, if you're taking them out within sort of 24 hours, depending on your resin, you must wear gloves. Okay. Because if you put fingerprints on them, they're still quite soft for about two days. Ah, oh, I see. This one, for example, if I, aim it. I don't know. It's difficult to see, yeah. but it's got tiny little dots on it. Okay. If you tilt it a little bit forward, yeah. it, it might be too... Oh, yeah, yeah. I can see it. Can I you see it. the tiny little there, there, dots? There, yeah, yeah. We can see there you that. Go. Yeah. Now, what that is, when I finished with it, I thought it was dry and I put it upside down on my ah. doming mat. Right. And that's how soft it is until it is. it's completely, it is. you know. If, if you, that happened, could you do a coat of oh, resin over the top? That's my next thing to tell oh. you because this is going to happen a lot. Yeah. This okay. is not something that's going to happen now and again. This is going to, every other piece of resin, you're going to do this. So what you would do with this, because it hasn't got anything too terrible on it, we don't even need to sand it down. All we're going to do, we put it onto... A door, so this is a doming tray. I can't move that one, unfortunately. So we'd put it onto a tray like this on a nice, nice flat surface. Yeah. Make sure it's level. And we're literally going to pour a tiny bit of resin onto the top. You can guide it to the edges. Now, if your resin's nice and warm, it spreads better. So if it's not moving, you can either warm it up with your heat gun or you can help it. And if you take that cocktail stick again, or a, 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 a lolly stick, you can actually take it to the end and what's going to happen if you just go to the end with your stick it's going to stay at the edges and it's not oh, going to go over the edge i see but you have to be really gentle with it so you're just going to force it to the edge and then just touch the edge and what that's going to do is going to keep it on the edge so that's called doming okay. and that's going to give you the lovely yes. surface area if you do have to take marks out cat's hairs Terrible. Oh, cat's hairs are the bane yeah, of my I life. Remember, well, I remember when I had wasabi. You know, <sighs> it was it would get everywhere. 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 So what's going to happen when you get cat's hairs in things? So again, this one's got a cat's hair in it. Right. So uh, diff uh, resin is really difficult to pick up. Um, my mother-in-law said, "Well, I can't see it, but I can." So for me, I couldn't possibly sell it. So just here, there's a teeny tiny cat hair. But it catches the light yeah. and it reflects. So all we would do with that, now I won't sand in the studio because the sanding is the only time where you have to have a mask on. Right. Um, because it's the small part. It's carcinogenic yeah. and you, you don't want it getting into your lungs. So for sanding down, this is a, a, nail, a nail file. Yeah. And all you do, I'm just going to put it on the soft side so it doesn't yeah. take anything off. And you're literally just going to sand off the the marked piece yes. it can end up looking like this now that looks terrible doesn't it yeah. it's flat it's dull but as soon as the resin goes back onto the top of that to dome it That's the and you see the colors will yeah. come back in and it will go shiny again oh. so don't worry i mean this one again is is a huge table mat that had two blooming cat hairs on it oh well so the whole thing has to be sanded down and it looks terrible but again, if you put a bit of water to it, 
that easy. Can you see? So then like, you can start to see. And that's what's going to happen when you put the new layer of resin on the top. It's almost like you could leave it like this. So it's, you know, those beautiful like calligraphy a practice, that, you know, yeah, the magic yeah, one. So it's like magic. But underneath you can see all of that resin is still there. And because we've we've done this with a fine grade of sandpaper, now this I would use wet and dry sandpaper okay. because it's a larger area. So because it's got the wetness in the sandpaper and the moisture, it's going to hold those particles so it mm. makes it much safer. I would still do it outside, All right. Um, but that's how you're going you're to sand them down. Um, we do have um, coming out, uh, which is available... The next show I do, we've got a 60-page book oh. on resin, so you can, you know, you can see all of these tips of and course, tricks. The next uh, show is seven o'clock, right? We've got seven o'clock, but for the next oh, show when I come, next, we've okay. got a, a full uh, book. Oh. So rather than publishing it the, in this day and age, we've just done it as a download. Oh, perfect. So it's a lot cheaper as well. Yeah. Um, so again, there's a cat hair here that nobody can see, but I can see it. Yeah. And also, what you get with resin is you get this edge. Can you see? It's got like a yes. lip. The, you know, so this is called a meniscus. Meniscus. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's called a meniscus. And what happens was because resin becomes static almost, yeah. it will go up the side of any right. mould that you put yeah. it in. You can dome it right to the top in your mould so it goes over the top. But most people, um, you don't even need with a resin mould, you don't need to fill them all the way up. Right. You know, if you want a thinner yeah. coaster, don't fill it all the way up, save money. That's true. It's heat resistant, the resin we use, so we can just put a dome on top of this. Right. So the same way I did before. Yeah. So we'd sand this edge down, pour some nice warm resin into the centre okay. and just manipulate it to the edge. And, and once that's set, that will give you that's perfect. finished, that's ready to go. Fab. So don't that. worry about that. Another thing people forget with, with moles is this is a coaster that's got flowers on it, like this one. Okay. But you can get a bit more adventurous with right. resin. So you can make it into pictures. Right. So this one has been drawn on. And if I'm you get drawn. close up, you'll see it's got layers and layers and layers of trees yeah. going back and back and back. Do you want me to tilt that? Is that yes, right? that would be lo oh, look there you go. that. So can there. you see, if you look back, the trees yeah. go... I'll turn it up the right way, should I? Yeah, there's right Because the trees way. are all yeah, up the wrong way. Is, yeah. um, it goes back and back and back. And we put snow on it that goes back and back oh, and back. Yeah. So you do one layer. layer. And we just use uh, a waterproof, uh, a just a, an acrylic pen, one that works on, uh, on yeah. acrylics. Oh, that's fabulous. Thank Draw it you. on with that. You've got a really fine nib. Could you do that as well? Like, for instance, and you wanted to do miniature buttons and you wanted to do like little details. In yes, really? absolutely. I've just done one here. Look, exactly that thing. You could do like a story in the buttons. Like, if, oh, look at this one. So this is just drawn on with this little thin pen and then it's filled in with a silver marker. Yeah. And then once that's resined over the top, it becomes magnified yeah. and it becomes 3D. Uh -huh. And all this is, is at the end of the day, I didn't want to make any more buttons, so I just put it in a mould, let it dry, and you end up at the end of the, the month with lots of, lots of bits of resin Perfect. like this. That's probably, thank you for showing all those little buttons. By the way, if you want buttons mold, we have got the kit for you. And it will be perfect if you are creating lots of different ones, uh, larger pieces, you will have some leftover. This is the perfect mold. Or just projects. I think that's also what would look lovely is a necklace that is all about buttons that you have created. And what about making in each button, encapsulating something special, something in memory as well. Or you can use them as proper buttons as well. Now this kit not only comes in with two molds that are uh, buttons, so you have got two identical ones, but what it means is that every size you have got two of them. So for instance, if you're making a pair of earrings with buttons, you can do two at the same time and you know they are going to be exactly the same color because you are getting the pigment as well in here. You are getting four parts of pigment. You are getting, of course, the white, uh, the mica powders that have got that sheen to it and of course the gold, the red uh, bronze uh, and then of course that blue blue that kind of absolutely stunning now you can mix the um, mica powders and pigments and create your own shade of beautiful colors as you can see here so this is just basically using the dark blue on the yellow and creating a kind of you can create shades of them like greens uh, of course coming through there as well now if you wanted to create purple you just mix the red bronze and the blue creating a more so you if I show you this 
and side by side, you can see how the purple in one side, in this side, is more dominant, and here is more blue, more clean. And if I turn it over, you can see how it's the same ones. Uh, right, so this is what makes this kit uh, very special because, of course, you are getting the resin and, of course, the hardener. We are approaching 40% of the stock. It is a brand new from the Festival of Japan here at the craft store. 243861 is your item number. Now, Jill, you have got these molds uh, there ready for I have. Now, the longer you leave resin, the harder it gets to work with because it sets. So this is starting okay. to set, but you would never throw it away. All right. Um, this is, if you were doing this and you've got some that's really, really sticky, you just yeah. turn it onto a flat sheet and you can make um, pictures with it. Right. So you don't need to waste anything. But what we're going to do is we're going to start to put it into these button moulds. And as I said, it's really nice to have at least a pair of buttons of any type. So all we do, can you see how sticky this is getting? Yeah. When I first started, I could actually pour it. So all you do, it just takes a little bit more time. And it's already got the buttonholes in there. Right. Now, silicone won't stick to silicone. So even if I put that on the top of those little button sections, the holes, right. it will sink straight through. So you don't need to worry that it's t touching the top. So you don't sort of have to go too carefully around the edge. So all you're going to just do is you're going to use your resin. And like I say, this is seriously sticky. And you're just going to pop it in. Now, the the bottom of the mould is the top of your button on right. these ones. So if you are putting a design on the back, so say you wanted to now, well, I'm going to put some white into this in a second. So bear in mind, you, you wouldn't have left your resin this long. This is getting towards very, very sticky. It's like toffee now. But we never waste it. Never waste it. Never waste it. So we got to there. And say I wanted to put some white on. If I put white onto this now, this is the back of the button. Right, yeah. So if I was to put white so on there now. The, fr the bottom of the, the bottom button is the front. Is the front right. Unless you use a little cheeky trick. Oh. Which is, if you look at some of the buttons that I've got here, yeah. when I get this in there, gosh, it is sticky now. Yeah. Plus it's cold in here. Yeah. So the colder it gets, the stickier this gets. Put that in there. So you can manipulate it with a, you know, that cocktail stick that I keep losing. Yeah. So you can manipulate it round so you can start to put swirly bits in, oh, even at this stage. Yeah. You can do like Yeah, you can still make it swirly. Don't worry that it doesn't come all the way to the top. The reason being, if you want your buttons to be this side, remember we said about doming? Yes. All you do is you dome them, look. So now you've got, instead of a flat side and the front, which is quite plain, if you dome them, right. you've now got the pattern that you wanted on the side that you want it on. And it just takes a tiny, tiny bit of resin. Now, it will start to fill in the teeny, tiny little sewing holes. So what I would do, I'd just get some cocktail sticks before I started, poke them through the holes like that, then resin it, and then they'll just pull straight out. Wow. So, so it's yeah. yes, simple even if you... Yeah, so, so don't worry that... Don't think that the colour that you're looking at here, unless you dome it, is not the colour of the button you're going to get. Because if you look at the other side, that's the difference. Wow. Yeah. Look at that difference. Yeah, that you can see yeah. very clearly. So yeah. that's the bottom. And also, this mould is quite a dull mould. So a shiny mould will give you a really shiny button. Yeah. And a dull mould will give you a dull button. Right. But by adding the extra dome in resin look, you've made it into a shiny. really shiny button. But I love the yeah. different uh, possibilities. Uh, now, by the way, if you want uh, this bundle, we are approaching uh, uh, half the stock uh, gone, so if, make sure to check out your baskets. Again, you are getting two molds. You are getting the resin and the hardener, so remember that you use... Is it one, one part, one part, right? You uh, it's one-to-one, yeah, one, so one, it's one one an easy one. resin to so use, and yeah. it, you'll probably get two 200 buttons wow, easily out of what that. you've got there. And then, of course, you yeah. are getting the four parts of my car, which I guess also, because we will do some transparent, so... You you know, you kind of will if you mix le If you mix less in, you're going to get a, a more a transparent, you put more in. You go uh, with mica powder, you can add quite a lot. If it was a liquid you were adding to it, so say you were adding your uh, alcohol yes. inks, yeah. it's a ratio of 6% and no more of alcohol ink to Into resin. The resin. 
That's yeah. very good. Otherwise, fun. it won't set. Yeah. Oh, perfect. So six percent uh, you can put of alcohol ink. Uh, right. Also, I, my producer has worked out because obviously, if I had worked it out, it would be probably in the wrong mass. So, uh, if you make two hundred buttons for that price, sorry, uh, for how many? So it will work at ten, nine pence a button. That's how much it would be. So that's and they're how handmade little. buttons. And they're, they're handmade not just buttons. buttons then yeah. it could be memory buttons. It could have encapsulated different things that you have collected over the years or things that they are very special. Over half the stock now has gone brand new today, uh, 18 pounds and 99 pence. I love that you can make a pair of buttons uh, at the same time because you are getting two of those moles and that you are getting everything that you need to create them. Also, I love that you are getting, of course, the resin. So if you have ever wondered, if you have ever wondered about how to, you would get on with resin, this is a, I have it all a kit. 243861 is your item number. We have got another button bundle here for you. And this one is a slightly different because this one, uh, you also are getting the resin and the hardener, but you are getting them with the button that is metal back. Uh, so if you are going for this one, you are all gonna get the top row, but then you're choosing whether you want the silver, the gold, or the um, black, um, what is it called? Um, Peter. Peter. Uh, and then, of course, you are getting four of. Oops, there's an upside upside moment. Yeah, uh, oof, I'm the clumsiest person ever. Uh, but of course, you have got the brooch backed uh, wooden buttons in here that you can then put uh, PVA. To, to, of course, you kind of coat it and then you put the resin just so because of the wooden element um, is porous, so it would absorb the resin. So make sure that. Oh yeah, um, because the back of the button has a has the 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 bezel the the round yeah ha shank is it shank yeah yeah sure. um, you must put those either into Oasis is perfect a piece oh, of dry yeah. Oasis is perfect or a doming mat or just something, yeah, something that you can, that it can pop go it into, into. Um, plasticine. Anything oh, that's straight, that's and that way you can get it yeah. level before you, you put it in. Now, of course, if you want to go for this one, uh, you have got the details on the screen. The choices, of course, is for the extra buttons. You, the top row, you are going to get no matter what choice. Uh, right, you have got the details there. £17.99 pounds is your price. 767294 is your item number. Continuing. This journey through the Japan. Oh, I love, I love, <laughs> love, love, love. Uh, this is a dry, dry flower, uh, dry flowers and leaves. Now, uh, this is a choice of two. It's a pick and mix. You have got uh, here five uh, different options for you. Starting with the hydrangea, we have got the beautiful lilac and purpley colors. Then we have got the gold ginkgo leaves in here that have been not only dried, but uh, let me grab one. This one to be, I need to be gentle and delicate with these ones. I don't want to break them. So I'm just kind of, because we all know how clumsy I am. See? Uh, but look at that gold reflection in there. I love this. I mean, it's just so beautiful. And then, of course, we have got the mixed one in here, which features, fur, and, you know, you have got the mixed leaves in here with the ginkgo, but also the, the uh, Japanese acer as well, the beautiful maple leaves in there, as well in the reds and, of course, the spines there. That is the third option. The uh, fourth option is the gold maple, so you can see the golden tones, and you can see the sparkle. I don't need to touch it there. The gorgeous, beautiful, stunning uh, leaves, and then, Finally, we have got red maple. My oh, those gold ones into that train. The small train oh, yes. next to you here to show you the the uh, round train right next to your hand. Yes, uh, this uh, one. Yeah. yeah. So I've put the, the same size in there just to show you how how they look. Once you get them in there, they look really really pretty. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Those beautiful golden tones, absolutely stunning. Gorgeous. Uh, 700492 is your item number. Uh, this is something that you could be doing uh, with your leaves there. 700492 is your item number. 1199 is your price. Moving on to something that has sold out but is back on extended delivery. Uh, oh, no, sorry. No, it's not. Oh, sorry. Uh, pro oh, sorry. I, oh, I just like uh, 
forgot. Sorry. Uh, uh, you know, approaching 80% of the stock, uh, we have uh, these ones absolutely gorgeous. Thank goodness I have got a proper voice in my in my head that actually tells me the things. I do apologize, Katie. Uh, now, of course, we have, uh, you know, the gorgeous cat charms in here. You are getting five in total. Look at that. This is my favorite. But you are getting all of them because you are getting five in total. Look at the cat looking at the stars. Uh, you can work with resin into them, but you, of course, you can uh, just keep them as they are. Also, you know what I was thinking? Uh, would really look really nice as well. If you like some threads through through there and kind of create it, also, yeah. and then you can yeah. embroider even elements into it. There's all so many into possibilities. Them. And look at that. That's so cute. And they are, I love that. It's very stylized, but also it's very realistic. Like you, if you have had a cat in your life, or you have got a cat right now, you will know that these are completely and utterly shapes their body. They, Can they I just so show you this one? Because yes, of course. another thing to, you know, we would keep going on about doming. Yes. This is the difference in a domed piece and an undomed oh, piece. So this lovely. one looks quite flat. Yeah. But this one, if you look at the the sheen on it where we got there we go can you see it's got oh yeah it's got like yeah. a, that dome on it that curve that. whereas this one it just looks flat yeah. it looks a bit sort of it's oh. pretty but it's, it's so not pretty. yeah it's not it's not yeah. at all like this so, one uh, so i'm confused well kind of confused but how, they are shallow so how do you make sure that the resin right. stays with there? these ones what you do you, you you have what's something called uh like a, a dam tip okay but you can use a very strong cellar tape right. to do that yeah. um and all we do is we put a piece of the cellar tape onto the the grounding whatever we're using so you would take that you would pop it down you would then pop your open bezel onto the top and rather than pressing it down with your fingers, because if you get marks on the cellar tape or the, the tape, that will show through. So all you do is you just use your tape and you just press it into the, into the tape. And that way that's going to seal the edges. Right. So it's going to seal all the back and then you can fill all the individual areas with a, cho with a cocktail stick. Amazing. And the same we we've done. We are the... actually approaching limited stock uh, for uh, the cat charms. If you want yours, if you lo look at this, I mean, they are so adorable. Oh, oh, I love them. Yeah, I lo absolutely love this. <laughs> and of course, you can you can cover just parts of it. So, for instance, in this one, I would love to do just the stars on it. Mm. So you could do that as well. Absolutely glorious. Yeah, because uh, resin will stick to any surface that yeah. isn't silicone. It will stick to the edge and it won't pop out. It won't fall out. It will stay exactly where you put it. I love that. Uh, now, of course, if you want yours, uh, do check out your baskets. Of course, yeah. limited stock. Nine ninety nine is your price. Zero three zero three eight four is your item number. Jill, uh, what are you going to show us? We have got about what am I going to show you? Left. What have we got left? Um, trying to work through lots of because I like to show people lots of different things. Um, one thing I'm going to go back to this afternoon is is this thing here that we were showing you. Now, uh, you know, we said resin was quite expensive. Yeah. And you know, I was saying you don't always have to fill things right, full. Right, yeah. So if you've got a cylinder like this, right. it was filled the same as we did with the other things. So we, we put some stuff in, we allowed it to dry, we put some more in, put some more in. And then your final layer, if, if you want, so the, the, main, the main mold is this high. Oh, That's yeah. a lot of resin. Yeah. So we filled it halfway. Just before it started to set up, and you remember that button mold got really, <gasps> yeah. really, really sticky. Yeah. You put some more bits and pieces on the top, okay. and that will glue them in. So then you can have a—you don't have to have a solid top yeah. on it. You can have a rough top on it, so it looks more more Christmasy and more three D. So, yeah, don't always—you don't always have to fill things. And it looks like it's eyes captured in yeah. eyes, actually. It's really cute, uh, isn't by it? By the way, uh, the cat charms. And now we are officially limited stock. That means that ninety percent of the stock has gone. If you want yours, you know what to do. Check out your baskets. They are absolutely glorious. Nine ninety nine is your price for all five of them. It's just also this could be a lovely present for anybody who you know loves cat, cats. This could be a charm within a art journal. It could be a bookmark. It could be so many different things it's not just for resin I adore them and again you've got resin left over you never get rid of it so you're either going to do a free pour which is just putting it onto a surface yeah. now if I was to put it onto this surface which is um, sort of it's got a texture yeah the texture will show up on the back 
So, but if we want the texture, you might we want can't, that. Yeah. You might want that waffle texture. So nothing should be left over. So this is just a little bit of glitter, and that would make a lovely brooch if it's put on a back, or it'll make you know whatever. And also these moulds that that we have later. Pour your oh, excess resin into yeah. here. Right. Uh, can I, sorry, say something because of the charms? You know that before I said, oh, we had a seller. Well, I had the gift of foresight at that moment because they have indeed now sold out. Uh, now, we have got some on extended delivery. It will be dispatched from the 4th of September. Uh, now, but of course, you can get them at the same price. 9.99 is your price. 030384 uh, is your item number. They are gorgeous. So they are well worth waiting. Those two, uh, I think it's kind of on just um just a week uh, but do check out your baskets if you want them because you know what has happened and maybe the my gift for for a side has I still you know still here so i'm very busy for them oh i wish mm, numbers share. on me i'm not sure right. no, um, one last thing i want to show you is with the resin molds you do have to treat them very well so this mold here you can't see again because it's hard to see but it's got scratch marks at the bottom that are scratched in on purpose to show people what's going to happen so can you see i've scratched in yeah. and you can see this mark here on okay. this resin um, can you see that sort of fl yeah. swirly line right now i completely forgot that was on there because that's now scratched into the silicone oh. and when i did this coaster here last week without a dragon scale design yeah. <gasps> Those Ooh. scratch marks are in there. Is that using the mica that comes in with the button molds? Yeah. Oh, so this is this is um, when you're using pigments and micas and resin, everything has a different density. So it's the different densities that give you the different layers. But if you look at it, it's scratched and it's exactly the same pattern. Yeah. I don't know if I can pick that up. It's, bit, it's really difficult to pick up. Um, but it's got the same scratch marks that's on the bottom of the, the mould. So if you scratch that, say, with a cocktail stick or a spatula, those marks will transfer onto your resin. That makes sense. So if you've got something like that and it's marked, all I would do with that, I mean, you can still use it because you can, you can dome it over the top. Mm -hmm. I just get a permanent pen and I would just write on the bottom mark so that I know not yes. to use that one again. Or for something else, like yeah, you, you and don't then, mind, yeah. yeah. So I can still use them for these coasters. It just means I have to dome them now. Yeah. And can you see what's happening to this one? Look. Uh, oh, oh, that's beautiful. It's like magic. It is. And what will happen? That will the by seven o'clock, hopefully, the white will have gone to the center, and the purple will come around the edge. Wow. That's amazing. Jill, Fantastic. we have got Are we seconds, finished again? To, seconds to go. <laughs> Do check out your baskets. Of course, Jill and myself will be back at 7 p.m. Do check out your baskets. They are glorious products from uh, Festival of Japan. So they are well worth checking out those baskets for. And of course, uh, do you stay tuned because we have got lots more. But don't forget, at 7 p.m., Jill will be back with brand new products uh, that we haven't seen yet this hour. So do tune in for that. And of course, I'll see you uh, in at 5 o'clock. But uh, stay tuned here here at the craft store because we have got lots more coming up. Thank you, Jill. We'll see you at 7. Sure. Thank Am you. I going to get you out of that kimono? Maybe at 7, uh, at 8 o'clock, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's, of course, it's beautiful. And stay tuned here. We have got Go Power and Emboss monthly mega deal after the break. Then we have got the one day special at 4 and then Quilting Westerly at 5. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. The stamps are all hand-drawn by me. They're made in the UK, most important to us at Picture This, and we have so much more to bring you. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want, and they listen to us crafters too. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping molds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning.
Hello, I'm Carol. And I'm Hayley. And together we are the Dreamies. Dreamies have been around for 11 years now. We started with CD-ROMs, we've developed into stamps, paper pads, dies. We've now got the Dinky Inkies range as well. We design everything in-house and we manufacture in the UK. We produce tutorials to inspire you to get the most from our products. On the Dreamy Shows, we hope to further inspire you with all the techniques and tips that we can offer, hopefully getting you to use all of your inks, your flower making techniques, and really build on all the skills you probably already have. Kay Fassett is a distinguished artist, designer and author who has used his background in knitwear design to create an expanding range of bold and beautiful fabric prints for the patchwork market. I will be bringing you a wide selection of beautiful fabrics at fantastic prices. It's like being in the movies, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, it's the monthly mega deal. Now, you might have seen the launch of this monthly mega deal with the gorgeous John Lockwood. It was incredibly successful. When was this? Was it the 17th of August, did you say? 17th of August. That was a Sunday, wasn't it, I believe? Uh, I know I was in the building and the lovely Yanis was with him. Um, oh, was it a Tuesday? Anyway. Anyway, I remember him talking about it. Maybe they were back doing the monthly mega deal, the two of them. But, uh, yeah, it's been incredibly, incredibly popular. Why? Because it is an amazing piece of machinery. Now, John is going to wax lyrical about this. We're going to be watching some footage. So he's going to explain how, it, how you use it and what have you and the benefits. But let's break it down in terms of what you're getting. We have two options on the counter for you. The firstly, the exclusive pink. Now, this is the colour we've chosen for you because it's exclusive to the craft store. 80% um, of that beautiful exclusive pink has already begun. Um, if you go with the pink, you are getting 30 of these fabulous dies and two embossing folders. Now the dies, you've got your numbers, you've got the bicycle there, um, you've got the snowflakes, I think. Well, kind of like a snowflake, but or, or just a decorative design. Um, you've got a little foliage there as well. We've got some words, we've got the, it's almost like a strawberry, we've got a tag. Ah, oh, it's, it's beautiful borders. It's, it's a fantastic one to get you started and to get stuck in. You've got some uh, the ands and what have you there, the THs. Amber, is it the amber, the ordinals, isn't it? That's what we call those. Third. 80% uh, of this is gone. Now, dispatch is immediate, isn't it? Am I right in thinking that? Yes, it is immediate. And once it's gone, it's gone. It's all in-house. And then you've got these two beautiful embossing folders as well. And you get all your plates. Your A plate, your B and your C, your metal shim, and your... Uh, the latex adapter mat there as well. Now, embossing mat, yeah, you have got, and I do believe, I mean, watch back with John, but as far as I'm aware, there are, even the plates you've got at home, and I remember John's plates, he was saying they hadn't buckled, they hadn't bent, these are the ones he was using. He'd use them over and over again. You can use ta your Clido plates, your tangerine, um, all of them, basically. I think there was only one exception, which was some massive plate that I just I don't think anybody uses anymore anyway. Um, but... Um, you can always ask John more about this, but we are going to be showing this. But I remember the plates, these plates, for, for the amazing thing was he had been using them over and over again and they hadn't even buckled or anything yet because I know that can happen with the metal shim. So great durability. And I know when he was cutting through with the dies, because I watched him, the, the, the pressure on the dies themselves, because you can run it through and rewind, because it's only just the three buttons, but all, all that's to come, um, you would got a brilliant, brilliant cut from those dies. I mean, it, it was, it's a phenomenal piece of kit. So that's the pink, the exclusive pink to us. Once it's gone, it's gone. 
Uh, three flexi bike payments, £46.66, to spread the cost over August, September, October. Now, I know some of you have multi-machines, you see, as well, because sometimes they start to die a death. And we've had viewers who, who tell us, you know, that multiple, they've got both. Um, uh, but this is John's go-to. This is the one John brings in with him, John next door, uh, when he comes to see us all the time, every time. Then we've got the beautiful gold, gold. And again, you're going to get those uh, beautiful 30 dies. You're going to get your two embossing folders and you're getting your A plate, your B plate, your C plate, your lovely metal adapter mat there and your latex embossing mat there as well. And you're getting a £10 saving. Yeah, and we can split it into three flexi buy payments of £46.66. I think it's time we see how this machine works and hear from the man himself. So let's have a quick review about what makes the Go Power so good. What I'm going to do is I want to take you through the basics of the machine, what you'll receive, how it will actually work, how we do the basic die cutting and, and what when you get it at home. So I'm going to take it to one side. So this is your machine. Now, this is obviously my machine. This has been used heavily for the last two years. Um, so, you know, I want to show you with this that I, I'm not using a brand new one with the best thing and that sort of thing. I want to show you that I'm using a machine that I genuinely believe in. So what you'll get is your machine will come like this. It has in the back a simple power point, yeah, which just plugs in. Really, really simple. UK plug, really easy to do. And all you have to do is to turn it on. And these are really easy press buttons. They're not actual buttons that you click or press. They're almost, if you look, they're infrared almost. They will start straight away, so you've got no problems at all. The other good thing with the power on this, and this is something that I'm really impressed with, is after 20 minutes of not being used, the machine will turn itself off. So, if, like me, you forget last thing at night to actually turn your machine off, this will actually turn itself off after 20 minutes. So, if it hasn't been used, which I think is a really good safety feature. So, the basics of your machine, you've got your opening here, which is actually wider than A4. And this has been designed so that you don't have to worry about fitting your plates in. So this is an A4 piece of card. So you don't have to worry about fitting your plates into it and get them very, very neat to each side and get them perfect. But it also means you've got a very wide flat bed so that putting the plates in and holding them in place is really, really simple. So literally, all you need to know is three buttons, run. Oh, I'll turn it around a little bit here, you'll see a little bit better. You've got run, you've got power on and off, and you've got reverse, and that will simply reverse it, but I'll show you how they all work. And to make it work, you just press the run button. So, I want to take you through the plates you're going to get, and again, these are my plates, so these plates are over two years old, and this is one of the great benefits of the machine. None of these plates have been replaced in two years of heavy use. So you will receive an A plate, which is a base plate, which is a thick plate, which obviously if you're using thicker dies, you would miss out, but I will go through that in another demonstration. You will then receive a C plate, which is a thinner three millimeter plate. You will receive a five millimeter B plate. So you can see there, if I put it the right way around, you'll see C plate and B plate. You will also get your metal shim, and your metal shim has been chamfered at the edges so that it doesn't cut you. You can't hurt yourself with it. And you'll also get a very thick, this is a five millimeter, this is one of the thickest embossing mats I've ever come across, embossing mat, which is in a beautiful rubber. And again, if you see how much this, I haven't used this as much, but again, it works really, really well. So. You get all of those plates, you get your machine, you get your lead. You'll also get with it 30 thin dies. And the great thing about these is, and this is something that I absolutely love about the machine is, if you look at the dies, these are very, very, if I turn them around the right way, look how fine they are. Some of the detail in here is extremely fine. Now these are dies that are made exclusively for the machine, so they're not available elsewhere. These are only available in the package with the machine, so they're not thrown together. But to me, it says something about the quality of the machine when 
the dyes that they're actually including are so fine because let's be honest the very first thing you're going to do when you get your machine is to take one of these dyes they've supplied and cut it so you've got to have confidence in a machine that it's going to cut something that fine first time otherwise i would open the machine up put that through it doesn't cut and i would put it all back in the box and send it back so it shows the confidence but you'll also get two embossing folders in there included classic designs you use all the time so the most important thing i think is first of all how are we going to cut with it how are we going to cut with the machine so this is the way that i do this this may not be the manual way but it's the way i found this to do it is basically put your c plate down you will then take your piece of card i'm actually going to make this even harder for myself because i'm going to use a piece of mirror card so this is the craft artist gloss card we'll take that little die so the little one that i've just pulled out because this can be the first thing you try I'm going to tape the die down and I'm going to put it in the corner. Regardless of how old your machine is, whether it's new or anything else, you'll always find tighter tension in the corner. So it's always better to think, put it on the sides. Our natural instinct is to put a die there. That's probably the silliest place to put it. Put it to the side. We then simply add the B plate on top of that and then you present it to your machine. And it doesn't matter if your plates are completely out or you don't have to sort of get them like a deck of cards and get them all completely flat because remember, you've got that wider opening. And all you do is take your plates to your machine and basically present them. Slide it in until it stops and then simply press run. And all it will do is, with no help from me, it will grab the plates and it will simply run them through. And if I want to, press reverse while it's working and that will reverse the action and bring the plates out this way, which is really useful because number one, if you've got limited space or limited mobility and you don't want to be grabbing to the other side, then it will bring it back to you. But it also means that your die goes through twice and that's always a good way. So there we go, straight off, take that out. I'm just gonna flick that, which is always my test of a die and card. And you can see there, that is cut, but not only is it cut, can you see the sort of chamfered edge on there? And what you're getting is, it, the pressure is so good in the machine that I don't have to emboss that die. That already looks as if it's been embossed and it looks as if it's curled because the die has done its work. So that's a simple cut using a standard die. I want to show you now, I'm going to use the same card again. This time I'm going to use a larger die. This is one of the John Next Door dies and this is the Advent Pop Box. And this die does three things in one and it's a really good tell of a machine because within this die there are areas that will cut out, there are areas that will emboss lines to fold and there are areas that will perforate. And so what I want is, obviously from a machine, I want it to do all three jobs in one pass. I don't want to have to add anything to it. So again, plates together, present it to your machine and push it, I'm doing it with one hand, till it hits a wall almost, and press run. If it doesn't, just give it a little tap to start it and it will run through perfectly. And the great thing is it doesn't go through at such a high pressure that it throws it out of the back halfway across the room, which I've had so many times. So I can just lift it out. And you'll see on here, when I take this out, first of all, cut perfectly. But if I show you the front, you see every line. So there are your emboss lines and there are your perforation lines. So simply, I don't even need a bone folder, that's how the pressure's worked. I can fold those up and these perforations, watch, and they will tie. And if I actually try and tear a piece of the card, you can see it, <laughs> it doesn't want to tear, but the perforations have worked perfectly. So the machine has in one pass cut out it's embossed a line that's good enough to be folded on a mirror card 
without actually having to use an embossing tool and it's done the perforation lines. So we know that it can do that sort of thing with the pressure. The next job you'd want to do in your machine is emboss. And one of the great things that this has got is standard embossing in a machine, in a die cutting machine, is you take your embossing folder it, with your card in and you place it between two clear plates and run it through. That's not how this works because it's been designed so that it will take different depths of folders because every manufacturer makes their folders of a different width and depth. So here I'm using a 3D folder. This is a beautiful Nelly Snellen one. And to emboss in the machine, you don't use two plates, you use your rubber embossing mat and your B plate. So this is a, and I've placed it in the middle. So again, present to the machine, push it to the back, press run. If it doesn't start, pass it through. But because, if you can see the rubber mat here is stretching to reduce the pressure, the machine said it's too much, which is exactly what I wanted it to do and watch. The lights are flashing on and off to say that it's been rejected and it's reversed it out. So it keeps itself on, so all I would do is take the B off, put the C on and run it back through. So the fantastic thing is that no matter if I try and put something through this machine that it doesn't like, it will not accept it and break the machine, it will simply reject it flash at me to tell me I've been an idiot and that I've done something wrong and then it will return my plates to me and so now because of the mat on a 3D folder I have the perfect again on mirror card 3D emboss and if I want to use a thinner folder so final one I'm going to use a thinner folder this is again a 3D, this is a standard embossing folder, not a 3D one. This is actually one that's a few years old, so this is a totally different width. But I do exactly the same again. Place my mat on. I'll try my B, see if it works. Put it in, press run. Doesn't even want to take that. So take it out. Put my C on top. Present it, press run, and it will take that. And to release the pressure, it will increase the it will increase the pressure on here, on this rubber mat, and make this rubber mat stretch until it goes through. And when this is finished, we will have the perfect emboss on a standard sandwich. So in the machine, we've been able to emboss standard. We've been able to emboss 3D and we've been able to die cut multiple different sizes and shapes of die. It's a clever machine, isn't it? I love the way it just knows if you've got your sandwich wrong or it doesn't like it, it just rejects it. I remember that was always one of the best things John told me about this fabulous machine and the, and the wider mouth as well to accept all of those plates. Uh, we've got it on a monthly mega deal. You're saving £10. Now, the exclusive pink is only available to the craft store as it stands. Once it's gone, it's gone. The 80% has gone for the exclusive pink. We've got the beautiful gold that you saw that John... Uh, well, it's over 80 now for, for the pink gone. Uh, we've got the gold as well that you saw John using. Uh, and you are also getting those fabulous dyes to and from and happy birthdays on there. You've got the ordinals, you've got the, um, the, the, the lovely uh, numbers and border dyes. Lovely, thin, beautiful, intricate dyes. You've got those two embossing folders. And, of course, your A, your B, your C, your embossing mat there and your metal shim. John's, you saw John's well-thumbed, well-used, um, just a brilliant brilliant piece of kit and actually I will do want to mention that metal shim very briefly because I know Molly my floor manager she's helped so many lovely people find plasters when they haven't had the Couture Creations metal shim because this as John said and I do remember this is chamfered and I remember Yanis talking about this the other day with John um, and I've seen the uh, the lovely um, uh, machines that you can get that don't have the chamfered edges and they are so sharp yeah and we've had people live on the show not using this one, of course, but with other metal shims, cut themselves. It actually happened recently, didn't it? Yeah, so Molly's are going off looking for the first aid kit, bless her. So, uh, that, I mean, it's a small detail, but it's just another tick box for me in terms of the quality of your Couture Creations Go Power.
Now, the only choice you've got to make is your colour. Do you want your gold? Do you want the exclusive pink? They're both beautiful. They both do exactly the same thing. It's what you want in terms of your lovely crafting room. In fact, can I ask you, if you've got this machine, would you email me in to studio at thecraftstore.com? That'd be absolutely gorgeous, because I'm here talking to myself. We've got John there on video, obviously. But I would really love to hear and read out your testimonials and say hi to you this Saturday afternoon. If this is a machine you bought, what was your reaction? What do you love about it? Could you let me know or let us know on the face cloth page as well? We've got it on three FlexiBuy installments of £46.66. Pink or the gold? Oh, I don't know. You see, I you see. I know pink is exclusive, but I like the gold. You know, the gold. I'm thinking, ooh, platinum gold. It's like another club, isn't it? But it's really up to you. I'm not making that choice. Uh, right, the die cutting bundle. You've got that, haven't you? Um, oh, the die cutting bond. Sorry, I'm too busy looking at these lovely machines. Now, this is the die cutting bond. This is seventeen pounds forty nine. These. This basically is an adhesive long roll. So you can make embellishments with your own, you know, you can create those die cuts, those intricate dies, you know, when you dibby dob in the glue, you can put it on your cardstock or your paper when you want to literally create a glitter scape. You can run it through your die cutting machine, um, specially formulated, though, for the couture creations and the intricate dies there. I mean, look at the size of that roll. When would you ever reach the end? Um, double sided adhesive sheet. So there we go. If we read that then. It cardstock paper, head of the die cutting, it places a layer of adhesive onto your intricate die cut shapes, even f find even more applications online. So die cut in the usual way. So you have got the bond there to actually stick and glue. That's proven very popular, 364032. I'm not surprised. And something else you are loving is the tape cutter. The die release papers, the sanding block to do your chamfering, um, and the lift off tool. Yes, all of that. Oh, for an amazing twelve pounds ninety nine. That's just a brilliant bundle, isn't it? Six six zero seven eight six. And the double-sided glitter card collection, you can see that behind the lovely John Lockwood there as well. Uh, double-sided. Now you don't often get the double-sided, do you? Eighty sheets for a phenomenal forty four pounds ninety six. Seven pounds saving. You saw the colours behind John there as you watch on video. They are available individually on the web if you want an individual bundle. Two flexible payments of twenty-two pounds forty-eight as well. One six three six nine three. Something else as well you found is the twelve by twelve scoring board. What a good size! Isn't that brilliant for your twelve by twelve? Not just your A fours, your A three, A five, and A six, but it's for your twelve by twelve. So you've got your centimeters, centimeters. Sorry, you've got your inches there as well. Um, your envelopes, your boxes, and in fact, if you want that box die that John was using, look under brand there as well, because I know he had that with his advent calendar there he was making the other day. It's a brilliant die with the perforated edges there. It's the advent pop box and advent numbers, 26 dies in total, bottom of the screen, 027292. And I've got my scoring board with the bone folder and your guide there, 588-584-2199. Now, we talked about the plates, and obviously this it can be adapted to your own plates that you've got at home as well. But what types of dies can you use in the Go Power? Let's find out from the lovely Mr Lockwood. So the next question that I get asked most of the time on this machine, and most people want to know, is how can we use our big dies? How can we use our steel rule dies, our different brands of dies? This was one of the major attractions to me of this machine was that apart from a couple of 12 by 12 dies I've got, every die I've bought ever fits through this. And when I say that, we actually go back to, and I'm hoping I haven't lost it, this one here... This die is 19 years old. Mm -hmm. This die is one of the original dies, very first launch. If you can see, it's actually on wood. Yeah. It's not plastic, it's on wood, it's on a, a basic foam. Um, and I'm very lucky to have borrowed this from Paola. And um, I'm very annoyed that she's got the last show with me because it means she's going to be able to take it back. However, anything from the very first die to originals through to your big dies through to your larger big dies, which struggle with a lot of machines, through to your extra long, through to things like your thinlets dies, which are dies that very few people have got. I've got about six of these, and I haven't been able to use them in years. Your quick cuts dies. 
which again are a different brand and a different make of die and a different thickness. This is an Anna Griffin die from about five years ago. So this is actually thicker than a normal steel die, than a normal thin die. Things two, dies for your aqua quilt. So aqua quilt dies. Your this is handmade by Haley. Um, fabric dies again thicker or your mixed media. I know Tonic and a few different companies have done a ranges of mixed media dies, which are thicker. And we may there may be some press cut ones coming at some point. Things like this is a fabric die to make a Christmas stocking. And the machine means that basically, and this is a full A4 size, if you see, if you can get it in there, it will cut one way or another. Um, and the, the range of materials is crazy, but the very first question I always get asked is, how can I cut a... We'll start with the original die. So this is one of the original dies. This is 19 years old. So this was obviously invented for the very, very first machines, which were actually manufactured for schools. And few people remember that these were actually made for schools, these dies. They weren't for the public. They weren't for crafters. We'd never even heard of them. So to enable you to cut one of these dies or a big star, which I'll show you in a second, you need to use your C-plate that comes with your machine. I really should keep turning that over so you can actually see. So you use your C-plate and you need either a second C-plate, yeah, which I've got here, and this is mine, which is now finally starting to actually get to the end of its life. So I'm going to show you this with a second C-plate, but if you don't have a C-plate, you need to have simply a three millimetre plate. So this is the um, raspberry plate from the Tonic Tangerine or the Spellbinders um, machines, range of machines, Calibre and Platinum and things. You can see there, so there is a 19-year-old original die cut in grey board through the machine. But let's say I'm going to take one of the big dies now and I'm going to use one of my favourites. Actually, I need to swap that one in. I'm always so, so organised. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a die that I bought a long time ago, but I wasn't able to cut because I didn't have the machine that worked on it. So I'm going to take this one out. So you know for a fact this is brand new and never used. So this again is a steel rule die. And this time, that's not going to fit on there, is it? I was hoping I got enough card of this left, but we'll cut the first bit. But of course, I don't have another C plate. So if you have the Kaleido, you take the three mil plate from there, or if you have a cuttle bug, or a big shot, or any of the smaller A5 machines, you can still use the three mil plate. And this is one of the great things about the Go Power and Emboss. Normally, through every die cutting machine, your sandwich has to be even. It has to be same top and bottom. With the Go Power, it doesn't. I can marry that in and press run and watch. That will take it and grab it, even though only half of that plate at the top is actually covered and it will cut it just as well. So if you've got, so if you don't have an A4 second 3mm plate, this is actually cut off, the poor little dash and because I didn't have enough card, but it will actually work really, really well. And what I'll actually do is I'm going to grab now a little bit of 350 GSM card and we'll do two layers of that. So I've got 350 GSM card here, I've got two layers. So I can go with the die in the middle, basically the C plate. I'm just going to put that on top and this time I'm going to use the raspberry plate just to show that you don't have to go out and buy yourself another C plate. And we run that through and as long as the sandwich fits, this will cut. So we go through, really simple, and there I've got my dash and, and my little bow for him. Well, obviously, I've got two of them because I put... Oh, no, I put three layers of card through, didn't I? Yeah. So he's got a little bit stuck. I've, I've ripped his tail off, but I'll hold him like that and you won't be able to see. So, but you can see there, 
Yeah, I've got another one in there that's stuck. So I've got my dash and all the pieces. But this is the fantastic thing. If you saw there, it didn't quite cut through the extra of the second layer. So one of the things that we have in this, and I'm really, yes. This is a brilliant thing about the machine. Included in it is the metal shin. So what you would do is this will add a millimetre onto it. So you would put this for cutting this on the bottom your die down, my two layers of card again on. Again, I'm using the, the different plate from the different manufacturer. Gu guide it in and let it run. And in this way, I can get the steel rule die to cut really, really simply. So we come out here. And this time, there you go. With the addition of the metal, I've got both cut out absolutely perfect and fallen out and even down to having two of the bones so that's the flexibility of the machine but the great thing is because of the way the plates work we can bring in as i said other dies so i have this which is an old i do love this one so here i have a thinner die but again it's not a thin die it's still it's like the quick cuts dies so what i would do this time is i would bring in my base plate, I would bring in my, my larger die. I'm going to be really difficult on this and I'm going to try it in double-sided glitter card. So I'm going to put that on, it's actually wider than that, okay? And normally you would marry this together with your C and your B. So, what I would do first is, and as Paola said earlier, what you would do is try the slightest sandwich first. So I'm going to put that through and run it. So this is just the thinlet die, the base plate, the card I want to use, and the B plate. If that doesn't work, it's taken it extremely well, I would then alter the sandwich using the plates that I have. So we'll have a look. It's cut into it, but it's not cut it. So I can take the metal shim, add that in get the other side of the card again add the b plate and put it in and this is the great thing because of the way the plates are designed it means regardless of what die that you've got you're going to be able to cut whatever you've got so if this doesn't work there's one more trick we can do and that's what it really shows the flexibility so this one i'm thinking no, it's, it's still not quite there. So what would we do? Well, it's quite simple then. I would, I'm going to have to, we'll pop this back in, okay. I would take that and my C plate. I would then add either my second C plate or my other three mil plate and add that through. And basically, all you are actually doing is altering the sandwich based on the plates you have each time till you find the one that works with the die you've got. And that means that regardless of which manufacturer made your die, you will find a sandwich that will cut it. Um, and this is the benefit of having things like the metal plate included in there. So this time, there we go. Oh, nearly through. So I would just shim it a little bit more. But this is, you know, I, I've, I've, I've basically tried the hardest card that we have in existence through that. And I'd rather show you what does and doesn't work. So again, I'll put a piece of normal card on because there is a little trick that you're supposed to use with that, which I will show in a second. So we just run that one through, take it. And if it doesn't want to take it, if it's too thick, if it's wrong, it will reject it. Those three lights there will flash and it will reverse itself back out. Um, but again, it's always with any die cutting, making sure your sandwich is right and that the die you are using is right for the card type that you're using. So there we go, all cut through. So that's how you would alter it. First of all, for a big style or steel rule die, which everybody asks about. But secondly, that's how you would alter and play with your sandwich each time until you find the right sandwich to work for the die that you've bought. Love and that cuts perfectly. 
Isn't that incredible? All those different dyes, and I love the cleverness of this machine. You know, with it even like a cuddle bug or a smaller A5 plate, that it'll still go through. You just put it in, butt it up against that edge, because you can hear it. I've heard John, you know, do it so many times now. Um, I just think it's so clever. Something that, that uh, perhaps because you just didn't have it to hand, that it also does, is if you get this Heartfelt Creation 3D moulding, the flower shape moulds, they work a dream through this as well. So, again, all those dyes that you thought you can't use, your Sizzix, your Bigs, your... Sometimes, you know, when they've been sold, and you, like John was getting... He had wanted a wrapper there that he hadn't used for years. You just get your plates and uh, I love the fact that you you know if you've already got an old one or a different C plate or you know you can make those sandwiches up um, and, and then use them and, and revisit them and fall in love all over again with those dyes perhaps that you bought years ago and forgotten about it's a clever clever machine isn't it now we've got the two choices so this is the pink this is exclusive to the craft store over eight centers gone um, so once it's gone it's gone so if you want the gorgeous pink then this is the one for you we've got it on three flexi buy payments of 46.66 you get all your dies those 30 dies those two embossing folders as well and all your plates as John's explained your A plate your B plate your C plate there your embossing mat there the latex embossing mat and your metal shim which is chamfered so that you don't cut yourself, uh, which is really key. Um, £10 saving, 880282. We've also got the gorgeous gold as well. And, you know, you saw John's plates. They haven't started to buckle. Yes, the, I think that the C plate now is coming to the end of its life. But that happens. You know that as crafters. This is what can happen. But that's two years further down the line now. And he uses it all the time for demonstrating here, for demonstrating on Facebook, for demonstrating in his workshops. Um, so it's getting a lot of use. So the, exactly the same deal, but the difference is this is the gold one. That is it. It's really up to you. You've got that wider mouth there as well to accept all those different dies and uh, those plates and those different cards to get a brilliant cut each and every time. That's what you want, isn't it? It's like John said, when you get the die in and you put it in, if it doesn't do, do what it says it's going to do, you're going to send it back. That's the end of it. I don't know if anybody managed to email in or let us know on Facebook. I was asking um, if what was your response. If you look on the website as well, you'll see the five star reviews. These are your testimonials to the quality of the Go Power. Uh, I know my lovely producer, the lovely Moles, is putting some together as we speak. So uh, thank you for those. I'll have a read out of those. So we've been exploring with John how it works. Very simple. You've got your three buttons here, your power. And I love the setting that, you know, after 20 minutes, if you forget to turn it off, it powers down. It's, it's very handy. Yes, sometimes we just get a bit uh, sidetracked. It's a lovely... I'm just going to move this out of the way slightly, not to ruin displays, but I just want to show you the underside because it's got these feet and they are... They've kind of got like a rubberized as well, so it's super sturdy and protects your work surface as well, so that when it's there not sliding about and, uh, and something that John pointed out as well is when it goes through I have seen this happen as well with other people's it shoots out at such a speed not this one but others I've seen that then they go flying off the counter and you hear this enormous clatter in the studio and it's all the plates falling on the floor this runs it through gently you've got the run through and then you've got the reverse so if there was something you felt, you know, you needed to go back on, uh, not that you would, though, you can reverse. It does reverse out automatically as well if it doesn't like the sandwich. So sometimes when you're trying to muddle your way through it and think, which sandwich do I need for this? It lets you know. It, it, you could see it there stretching that latex embossing mat when it, it, just, it just wasn't having any of it because John was talking about the different sizes of the different embossing folders. There's no one set size. Um, not cumbersome at all. The, you know, this is lightweight enough for me to pick up, but sturdy enough that it's going to sit on the table and not budge. Does that make sense? The reverse feature as well gives you more space as well. So if you haven't got the, you know, if you've got this buttered up against or, or close to a work surface or a wall or a shelf or something, so you can go so far and then just reverse it out. So it accommodates the space within which you work. And then you just literally, there's your lead with your three pin plug just to plug it in. We've got a 10 pound saving, dispatch is immediate because we've got these here for you, ready to go. Got the pink or the gold, 
They're ready to go immediate dispatch and you get it on that first flexi by payment of £46.66. We've got 84 five-star reviews on the website. So if you haven't already added to it, please feel free. 84 five-star reviews as well as obviously John's. The die cut and bond is proving very popular. I'm not surprised. Did I say how much was on there? Um, 25 metres. It's 120 centimetres across. Is that half a, an A4? No, it's wider than half an A4, isn't it? Wider. Just over wider. Forgive my ripped label here. But 25 metres. Isn't that brilliant? And that is, you put that to your cardstock and you can just run that through the machine straight away and die cut your, 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 and then that's ready to stick on or create those backgrounds. You know, it's double sided if you want to create a load of glitter on there. Um, just, just brilliant. Fantastic. Um, you are loving plenty of the, the, the couture creations. Let's have a look at the die cut bundle as well. Uh, now this has the quick release die papers, the sanding block, the lift off tool and the tape cutter. Oh, the quick release die paper. Isn't that beautiful? Very handy. 12 99 We've got the Couture Creations Quick Dry Glue. Yeah, two large bottles there. Um, super grip there. 11 uh, Dries crystal clear. Can be on your fabric, your paper, your ribbon, your leather, your chipboard, and so much more. And it's acid free as well. So that's a go to 910808. We've also got the super tacky glue as well, 999. Also dries clear, perfect for, you know, this kind of paper and cardstock in your school classrooms. You know, super friendly. Um, you know, that just rubs off as well, 880208. The turbo glue pens, power packed into a mighty, powerful pen there. Um, precision, yeah. 9.99, those exquisite little dibby dobs you need to put down. 902430, and you can write with those. And my favorite John Next Door die, yeah, the advent pop-up. If you didn't see this, oh, with John the other day, I mean, this is adorable. Look at all those different apertures there. You've got your numbers there as well. 26 dies there. Brilliant, isn't it? £10 saving. That is basically your numbers as a bonus die. You're saving £13 if you're a free club member. £26.98, 020292. Ooh, the reveal card die. That is gorgeous. Looks like a pair of doors, saloon doors, and then you open it up. Ba ba! How gorgeous is that? Uh, you might have a lovely sentiment, a photo, a ticket. Mm. 21 99 327 323. These are all on brand, John Next Door, when you look on the web. Um, the never ending die. Now, my director Molly is pretty confident that this never ending die set, he, there is a YouTube tutorial for John doing this. If you go on the John Next Door, he's done a, he does tend to do a tutorial for every die. So we're pretty confident that, I mean, that's just beautiful. You open it up, then you open it another way. It's just brilliant. 18 99 takes all the hard work out, but makes an amazing card. Uh, the floor tag die as well. Small tag, sorry, not floor tag. A small door tag. Um, it's four dies. I've not seen this one, so I'm looking at that picture, but I'll have to watch the YouTube video. Oh, you put like little sentiments in the flaps. Ooh, I've not seen this one. That looks in, that looks very intrins, uh, intricate, doesn't it? Fifteen ninety nine. That's a new one for me. Seven three five one one seven. And some of the favourite glitter card glitter. Oh, the colourways, the two packs of the twenty sheets, the glitter, the non shed, double sided. I've never seen double sided ever before. So we've got those as a multi-pack, but we've got them individually as well. 12 399 Air Force Blue. Oh, my word. I'm going to love this. Beautiful. Look at that. Ba, 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 ba. 12 147741 And if you can't choose, like I said, the multi-pack entire collection, 80 sheets, giving you a £7 saving, £44.96, 163693.
Right, so many lovely emails from you as well. Have I got time to read out one? Jackie was looking for a new die cutting machine. When I saw a reasonable price, I purchased one for myself, sent one to my sister in Austria as a surprise. She's loving the paper crafting. It also takes the cuddle bug dies. Um, Susanna, I previously had a well known machine, but got fed up of buying new plates every few months due to the buckling and the marks. Uh, I bought my Go Power and embossed 20 months ago, and I've not changed the plates, and it's eliminated all. All the marks, yes, which re-embed into the card. A revolutionary die-cutting machine, says Angela. Um, I am truly normally afraid of using the metal shim because I've cut myself. So um, this one I can truly, truly use in its true capacity. Brilliant. Um, ba -ba -ba. Karen Keats. Oh, I've got the GoPress and I love it. Best electric machines I've ever had. Oh, fabulous. But we have got the lovely John coming up next with our third explanation tutorial. Um, looking at some of the materials that you can use through the Go Power. This is my machine I've had for two years, over two years. This is my machine that I bought, and I bought it for more than it costs on this show. I also love it that much that I bought four of them. I have one that I keep and travel with, one that I have at home permanently, and three that I keep for workshops. So I've actually got five, haven't I? It's strange. But because I want people, when they're doing workshops with me, I want them to use the equipment that I use, the equipment that I trust, and I think that's important. Um, and one of the things I want to go through, and this is the reason I use it for workshops, is because when you are actually doing this as a job, so when you are die cutting or you are demonstrating as a job, and when you're doing workshops, you're doing different cards and different projects and different techniques every month. And you need to make sure that your equipment is working for everything you could possibly be asked for. So this is one of the things I absolutely love. So these are pieces that I've cut during the shows. So here we've got, so this is a piece cut almost in the center of a satin card. Cut absolutely perfect. Look at the detail on those. So it will cut things like that. This is one of the dies you get in the set. This is cut in a coated 300 GSM of craft card. Here it is cut in a watercolour mixed media card. So the same die. I've got this cut with a big die. This is in mount board. As you can see here, very thick in mount board. This again is in craft card. We've got these numbers cut in grey board. I've got the tag cut again in the mount board. I've got a very thick mylar, and that has cut. I, I, I was watching it this morning, and it's of course, mylar, mylar is of course for the um, open dice, uh, right? Yes, it is. As, as long as it's an open shape, this would work with mylar. So I've got this one cut in mylar. I've got here. This is a thick canvas fabric, very honestly, won't even fray, it's that thick canvas fabric. I cut this with the dies. This is a thin cotton lining fabric, like a really cheap one, so this was cut in there. But we even go down to, this is in vellum or parchment, which is detailed, and this one here is cut in acetate. So this one can hardly see it if I put it against the green can you see that's cut in acetate so I needed a machine that was going to cut for whatever I threw at it and whatever material and so that I could be confident in actual cutting these absolutely perfectly and one of the things that allows all of these different materials to be cut so well is the plate combination but it's also this metal shim. The metal shim makes all the difference because, again, it's not sharp. You're not going to hurt yourself. This one, as you can see, has been used and used and used, so it's no problem. And what that means is with certain mixed materials, it means that I can cut them into this. So, for example, if I want to cut vellum, I'm going to use vellum with some fine detail, so I would put the metal shim down, so I'm going A base plate, metal shim, C plate, because I'm using a fine paper. I would then put my two dies down, and again, remembering, you'll always get the best effects on the sides. 
So we put those down. I put the B plate on top and I cut it through. And again, it's just a case of taking it to your machine, presenting it. I'm literally, as far as I can go, and press run. And it will grab it itself and run it through. So that's when I'm using a vellum. And a vellum is like a normal paper. So vellum is a standard normal paper. So it has fibres. So if the pressure is right in the machine, it will cut. So see here, I'll just pop this out. There we go. So this is simple cut with the vellum and you see there that beautiful snowflake. Okay, cut into the plate. This time I want to cut the same two dies into acetate, which is one of the hardest things to make. And I'm using the Kaleido acetate in case anyone's sure, unsure what acetate I'm using. So this is a high duty, not, not ridiculously thick, but it's a, um, a heat resistant one. And this time, when it doesn't have any fibres in the medium you're cutting, so it isn't paper based, you cut onto the metal shim. So I'm going to put exactly the same two dies in exactly the same place this time on the acetate. So I've got this time a base plate, C plate, then the metal shim, then my B plate on top. And again, I'm just going to take it, present it, and press run. And you'll hear it like it's walking on sugar, like you're standing on sugar crystals. Um, and that is the die biting into the acetate onto the metal sheet. And I used to have to do this by wasting. The only way I could get this acetate to cut like this was by doing it onto another piece of card. Well, now I don't have to waste the card. But if you see there, there is the finest acetate snowflake I think I have ever seen. Yeah, so that's cut. And this is a job that I know for a fact is an absolute real struggle with most machines. So if we want to cut something like fabric, so I'm going to grab some fabric from my magic box. And again, I'm using a thick canvas because I didn't believe in making it easy by using thin fabric. So I've got two layers of this thick canvas fabric. And again, it has no fibres, so I need to cut into the metal shim. So I'm using exactly the same sandwich to cut fabric as I used for acetate. So A plate, C plate, then my metal shim. I'm going to take a couple of... These are handmade by Haley's fabric dies because you need a fabric die to cut fabric. Take them on as normal and again... B plate on top, and it's the same routine again. Present it to the machine. It's got a good base. See, I can actually hold that with one finger because it's held. Present it, press run. If it doesn't take, give it a little tap, and it will take it through. And this time, so the exact same sandwich, I've changed the dies to fabric dies, but will cut now fabric just as easily and just as well as it cut the vellum and cut the acetate and this is what impresses me so it doesn't matter what workshop I was doing you see there perfectly cut both layers of that fabric and it's thick fabric I've used yeah so exactly the same sandwich because it seems to have some sort of flexibility in there and the sort of the last one that I know people would want to know on sort of cutting different materials is we've done cutting mount board, we've done cutting grey board, done things like that, but what about cutting with things like your aqua quilt or your aqua acu quilt, is it? Never remember to get the name right. So what do we do about cutting some of the dies that are designed to cut layers of fabric? So again, this is an A4 one. I'm going to again use the same fabric I'm just going to trim this down to size. So again, I'm using two layers of the canvas on this Christmas stocking die. So all I do is take out of the sandwich the base plate. So I've got C plate, 
my large quilting die and I simply take another C plate or another three millimeter plate in yeah if you are concerned you can put your metal plate in and all you do is exactly the same again you take that you present that sandwich and you press run and it will take that and if it's not happy it would reject it out but what we'll find this time is just by taking out the base plate and the B replacing with two C's we're able to use some of the quilting dies which and to be honest some of these are a ridiculous price I was very lucky I won this one in a tombola because I wouldn't actually have bought it because they were like 80 pounds, I think. But you can see there, now I have both sides of my stocking cut in this canvas. I have both sides of the top and the heel bit. So that has, means we've been able to cut fabric with a quilt die, fabric with fabric dies, acetate and vellum all through in the same machine. Isn't that brilliant? I mean, the, the, the amount of different materials John went through there. I love that man. He's a font of information. Isn't that fantastic? So we've gone through the dies uh, that you can use within it. Um, all your old favourites, even dies from 20 years ago. You can use your heartfelt moles, your bigs, your Sizzix, your, your thinlets. You can use all sorts of different materials, your cardstock, your grey board, the material there. You know, there was the hessian, your leather, your pleather, your... Uh, cork, I mean, your hot foiling, your foiling emboss, your 3D embossing folders, whatever size they are, you know, even your big styles. I mean, it's, the versatility is phenomenal. So you are getting either the gorgeous exclusive pink, which is exclusive to the craft store. You get your uh, A plate, your B, your C, your lovely embossing latex mat and indeed your metal shimp which has been chamfered so you don't cut your hands £139.99 £10 saving as a one-off payment or split it into three flexibuy payments over August, September and October of £46.66 and forgive me you're getting the 30 dies plus the two embossing folders 880282 or you can go for the gold. Now, I have to laugh. Lovely Karen. She was with us this morning, so she's back home now. She really made me howl. She says, I'm still on my original uh, plates, despite getting me Bigs dice stuck, which happened to be my fault by using the wrong plates. It works as perfect now as when I bought it. You'll have to pry it out of my dead hands for me to change to another machine now. <laughs> That really made me laugh. I love Karen. And this is from an anonymous viewer. Said, arthritis made me buy the Go Power and emboss... It is hands down the best machine going for all dies, bigs and thinlets. I haven't found a die it doesn't cut on the first pass or for intricate dies on the reverse. And Shannon says, I was fortunate to purchase this machine, machine a few months ago. I just love it for its die cutting power. Yeah, Angela says, a revolutionary die cutting machine to us. And more importantly, a machine that has a safe and usable Metal shim, I know, Angela, I know. Uh, just amazing. She says her plates are just as brilliant now as they were 20 months ago. And it she's eliminated all the marks embedded into, you know, which happens when you get them embedded into your shims. It relates back into your car, doesn't it, as it goes through, so it doesn't happen for her. Brilliant. Thank you for those, Shannon, Jackie, Angela, Anonymous, Karen. Thank you, everybody, who, who sent in those emails. Sorry if I didn't get to read them all out. Thank you, Susanna. Um, just brilliant. It's been lovely being with you. Thank you to John, of course, for creating those videos for us. It's the monthly mega deal, so don't forget to check out your baskets. There are 84 five-star reviews on the website. Have a look at them if you're still undecided. And remember, this monthly mega deal is running until the 17th of September. That is stock permitting, given the amount of the exclusive pink, um, which is already coming over 80% gone. So even when I depart from you now, you can still buy the monthly mega deal run until the 17th of September. Well, I love revisiting the Go Power because sometimes you forget just how brilliant it is. It's good to revisit, remind ourselves. But let's see what's coming up today on The Craft Store. Oh, one of my favourite ladies. We've got Els on the Elizabeth Crafts Design One Day Special. Then we'll be quilting with Westerly, the lovely Angela. And then we've got Sew Craft One Day Special with Angela again.
What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on Flexibuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexibuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 the craft store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Well, hello there and welcome back. Well, it's four o'clock, so you know what that means. It's our last opportunity to have a live look at our one day special. Now, I say last opportunity, it may have been the first opportunity that you've had to see this one day special, but thankfully you have got the opportunity to still get involved right the way through until six o'clock if stock permits us to run the whole day through. It's an amazing deal that was launched last night at 6 p.m. and of course fabulous Els was here last night and Els is joining us for this final hour as well. Hello Els, how are you? Hi Hayley, good to see you. You're looking uh, fabulous. Yeah, very much looking forward, yeah very much looking forward to this show, it's going to be fun. It's... I actually watched the shows from Esther during the night, I was awake because I'm still jet lagged so uh, <laughs> And they, she did fantastic. Loved her shows. She did. She's a lovely lady. I was working with her this morning and, yeah, amazing. I always enjoy working with her. But, of course, you are the, the kind of the main face, for the want of a better phrase, behind Elizabeth Craft Design. And you've bought us this incredible one-day special. Now, talk us around what the whole kind of idea was with regards to this one. And then I'll show everybody what we've got while you get ready with your camera. Yeah, so uh, Esther always, uh, of course, Esther is uh, the lady behind the uh, Planner Essentials line. And um, when we started this, we said, oh, we want to have a loose leaf system so we can have die cuts uh, to cut pages. And that's basically what we started with. And this collection has like some base pages. So for people that are new, this is a fantastic set because there's one with the, like with the uh, splatters on it. There's one with the rounded corners. There's one with the, like the kind of edgy uh, on there. So there is enough to start, like there's so much in there and it's just a fabulous set. And Esther always comes up with the greatest ideas, I have to say. She does indeed. And she was showing us through her pages and her fabulous shelf with all of those planners on there. It looked amazing. I just wanted to go in and have a little delve. Um, now, as you say, it's a brilliant bundle. So I'm going to let you get ready, if that's OK, with your camera, um, Els. And we'll come back to you, because I know you've got some beautiful finished samples to share with us. And I'm going to crack on and show everybody, because as Els has quite 
quite rightly said there. If you're thinking about getting involved with memory um, journals, with art journals, with planners, and you really don't know where to get started, this is the ideal opportunity for you to get everything that you need because you've got something that's going to allow you to cut out your pages, something that's going to allow you to cut out your apertures, to cut out your picture frames, to cut out your pockets, your um, embellishments, all sorts of incredible elements within here. But it's not just that, you are getting the stamps as well. So of course the stamps are going to adorn the pages, they're going to add that personalization to your photographs, they're going to give you direction when you've perhaps lost your idea, lost your mojo, they're going to help you get kickstart. And I love that larger stamp that we've just been looking at because if you are wanting to get yourself organised, perhaps with a planner for the future or maybe a kind of diary for the past. Um, we saw with Esther's a planner earlier on that she was using this to kind of document things that had gone on so she can look back in future times to see what went on during the course of that particular week absolutely loads within here. You've actually got 111 dies in this bundle as well as your 78 stamps. Now the details are up on the screen so of course you can get involved straight away which many of you are. And we've got two different prices to share with you because everybody is saving at least £56. That's a saving with our general one day special. You can see it on your screen there. And of course that means you will get everything dispatched and on its way to you at the beginning of September with the extended delivery. But of course with regards to these you have got so many elements, so much content within here as well. It really is an amazing bundle. But I said there were two prices. Now, the second price relates to Freedom members. Now, if you're a Freedom member, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. We've got an additional price saving with this one, which means you're actually saving £75.99. What an amazing saving. That is phenomenal. Just to give you kind of an idea of what that equates to, all of the stamps plus the die down at the front there pretty much come to that price of 75.99 so it's as if you're investing in the rest of the bundle but you're getting sent those as well what an amazing deal now of course the ability of paying for this all in one go you may want to do that but you may want to spread, spread the cost over flexi buy and flexi buy it means that you can pay three different payments with regards to this one so if you're not a freedom member you can see on your screen there 66 pounds and 62 pence but if you are a freedom member then it comes right the way down you're actually paying less than 60 pounds for that first payment 59 pounds and 96 pence now if you're not a freedom member already you might think well hang about i'd like a bit of that 75 pounds 99p saving if you don't mind well I have by all means you can become a freedom member at the same time as taking advantage of your one day special it means that instantly that saving will appear when you're checking out your basket but that post and packing will disappear and it means that you've got that freedom membership we've got our birthday event coming up so be very mindful of you to actually have your freedom membership for that but if you decide to cancel it straight afterwards then that's okay you can do that it's not a commitment it's for whenever and for however you want to take advantage of it but I will let you know that of our one day special three quarters of the stock has gone it's a big bundle and there is a lot that you can do with this and I have got the perfect lady to talk us through the different opportunities that you've got with this one and I can straight away she's got that fabulous ochre um, planner folder I love this color um, else it's such a perfect one to work with all those papers yeah, Haley, it's it's a uh, it's a. Uh, I have the samples in here, and those are actually the samples that I have on the packaging because that's uh, the one that Esther created for me. And uh, so I will quickly go through that. And what I would love to do uh, during this show is uh, show uh, people other thing other things to use the uh, dies with. I know you saw that in your earlier show. You saw that little pizza box. Yeah. I actually checked it out. Uh, it's going to be in the show next Saturday. Okay. Where we do the florals. I, I because I didn't want to tease people with something that we uh, we don't have in stock. So I checked that. Fabulous. I'm it's, looking it's, forward to that one. I'm going to make sure I see that show because they're very useful boxes. They are. Yeah. And I'm also like I I'm going to use a stencil. You see, I made a stencil with one of the dies. So uh, I want to show kind of show um, like different things because that's always what we kind of tell people and love to show people that they can use their um, their dies from the planners or from other lines in the planners. So the whole Elizabeth Craft Designs collection from the different designers work together. And that's what we love to kind of communicate because, you know, it's an investment. This one mm -hmm. is an investment as well. And, uh, you know, that's why it's nice that, you know, you can use them for so many different things than the uh, planners. So 
I'm just going to show you some pages. So these are the pages that I created like this one. Well, this is actually Esther's. So here you see that pa uh, page that I'm going to use to make uh, to kind of to stencil with, you ah, see? Yes. So I'm going to ex yes, so I'm going to explain that. I'm going to use the birds in this one. So it's, uh, yeah, very much looking forward to this. This one I did yesterday uh, showing that you can make pockets with because we love our pockets so i can put pictures on there so this is just like a start for mine and i know esther uh, showed you that she does a weekly uh page yeah like a layout yeah and i love that if i would have the if i would have the kind of the system that she has uh i would do exactly the same of course but i'm more like uh I just like to be creative whenever I feel for it. So yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not good at uh, myself at doing it uh, every week. So, but uh, that's the, the system is creative freedom. So you do use it so however true. you want to use it. Because I know there are people that really made it into an art journal. Because you can imagine if you cut your pages and you do a beautiful stamp on there, or we have those gorgeous floral stamps, and you can, you know, you can stamp that and color that, and then put a little quote or a little picture on it. That's, that's something that's beautiful. Oh. So it's just, there's so many possibilities. Absolutely adorable. I love the way that you actually got your pictures on the opposite side to those planner pages as well. So it's nice because it, it kind of makes it a, a pleasure looking to see what you've got planned, um, what you've got in your diary system. And it gives you the opportunity to showcase photos beautifully. Yeah, exactly. And that's, uh, and that's what I like to do as well. Uh, so uh, add like one or two pictures and then add fun stuff. And it could be uh, theater tickets if you go to a concert, yes. you know, whenever that's possible. But go to a concert and, you know, or you might have been to a concert two years ago and still want to document that. Yes. So yeah. take a picture, you know, save your tickets because tickets are a lot of times so much fun and so creative, like beautiful art on there. So save that and put that in there. So there's so much you can do. And that's what I absolutely love about the system. I love it. Now, of course, this is the last opportunity for us to see this one day special live. Lots of you getting involved during this hour. Rapidly approaching 80% of the stock has gone. Now, of course, you have through until 6 o'clock this evening to take advantage of the deal. But, of course, I would urge you to do so sooner rather than later because I would hate for anybody to miss out on that saving. We're not talking about a couple of quid here, a couple of pounds there. We are talking about £75.99. pence. That is a considerable amount of saving that you could potentially miss out on if you're not careful. Now, of course, with regards to these, we did have the in, um, individual dies. They sold out very, very quickly. But to be honest, throughout the last 24 hours, the majority of you have been going down the route of getting it as your one day special because of the versatility. And I think it's the fact that you, you might not necessarily know what you need at this stage or how you're going to work with all these different dies. But knowing that Esther and Els have put this together, knowing that you've got hundreds of different different possibilities, loads and loads of different combinations. And the fact that it's backward compatible, things that you've already got within your stash that perhaps you've bought into with your planner systems, with your memory journals, with your art journals, are all going to work together alongside this one. So that saving is something that you need to consider because you could potentially miss out on this one if you're not careful. Now we're going to go back to Esther in just a few moments, but um, I don't know if you noticed some of the papers that she was um, had got within her planners, um, absolutely beautiful. These have proved to be very popular throughout. Again, it could be your last opportunity to get hold of these. So perfectly sized to work with the dies, as you can see. And you've got a mixture of paper alongside cardstock. So you will be able to see when you look at the book there, you will be able to see where you've kind of got that difference in the stars of the pages. But what you have got is a um, kind of a, a card version of each and every one of those pages that you've got paper versions of as well. So it covers you with all sorts of different possibilities. And it lends itself so beautifully to those dies even those larger dies that you're going to be creating your pages with you can see you've got plenty of room there to choose a particular area of your page and still be able to use those larger dies now one thing I forgot to mention is your extended delivery well I kind of mentioned it but I couldn't remember the exact date I said the beginning of September it's the second of September you can't get much earlier than that can you really in September but there you go second of September and these will be on their way to you seven four eight two three seven if you're wanting to get hold of those and I have to say else Every time you bring these um, reminiscence pads, I absolutely, I just fall in love with each and every one of them. They're gorgeous. 
Yeah, they, they are absolutely beautiful. And I have to say, because of the jet lag, I woke up in the middle of the night and, uh, you know, I got a request if we have more because uh, it was selling out. And luckily for this one, we had more. So I was so uh, happy that we could actually add those to the show um, uh, because it's gorgeous because you get uh, like 64 pages. So you get the thinner ones like the 32, 120 grams and then the 32 to 50 grams. And the designs in this, and I love what Esther did in this book, like because she went and I know she talked about it during her uh, show because she has the, the pink, she has the yellow, yes. from the yellow you go to the orange. Yeah. And on the back you see here you go from the neutrals to the greens. It's just, the, the you know, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous book. There are a lot of cutting elements in there that yes. you can use, like... Yeah. Uh, there's all these beautiful labels that you can use. Then I have all those, like those little labels. Uh, there's one page with all the little labels in there, like these. Yes. And you can stamp on there. You can write on there. So there's so much you can do with that book. And it's so gorgeous. So you get so much out of it. So yes. it's, uh, yeah, I love it. And, and we can actually get a lot of people. And that's not a sales talk. That's actually true that people say, I, I need one to stroke and one to use. Oh, it's a, I, because <laughs> I know that feeling as a crafter. <laughs> I know, I know. And that's what, what they have with this one. So what I did here, I wanted to show you that. So with this one, I did die cut the page. Okay. You see, and I'm just going to put the book away for now. There's actually a light background here, I see. That's but, okay. Um, we can still so, see Esther, don't worry. Oh, okay. Yeah. Elle, so, yeah, sorry, I'm getting myself mixed page. up. I think I've got jet lag and I've only come from Birmingham. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's good. You know, a, a, a few days of very early rising and early to bed and kind of, you know, you kind of go uh, to the, uh, you know, to the, uh, to the good kind of normal time frame You're back, uh, again. back in tune. Yeah. So you see, so I had a few, uh, full page. And what I got, and that was actually a coincidence because I, I did cut this one and then I thought, oh, that almost looks the same size. So I actually could get exactly two fronts here that I can put on the boxes, you see? So I have two exactly the same size. So that was a coincidence. So that's just a tip okay. uh, that you can get two fronts out of there. Brilliant. So what I want to do, I'm going to put this on here. Then I'm going to stencil a little bit with the stencil that I created. And um, again, with this box that will be on the show next uh, Saturday, I'm pretty sure. So that's a week today. And of course, yeah, it's a week today. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Um, and uh, so I'm using the three mil tape here. And of course, that thin tape is just perfect. I'm just going to cut it here because I don't want to have it where those holes are, of course. Now, can I just Another mention thing. the tape? Because we've actually got that as a pack of four. And you've got two different widths with regards to this. So um, are you working with the three mil wide there, Els? Yes, I have the three mil here. And I put the three and the six in because those are, for me, the ones I use the most. So I said, let's do those. And then, um, yeah, I use the wider ones as well, but these are really my, uh, the six and the three mil are the go-tos uh, that I use all the time. So and I'm I know just they're going popular to... as well. The, the actual adhesive sheets as well, I know they're always popular. They're... People like your adhesives. Yeah, it, you know, it's great and it's, uh, you can tear it very easily. There's a lot on there. And... Um, yeah, it's just, you know, I always have it at hand, of course. You you know, you cannot, as a crafter, you cannot do without double-sided adhesive. Oh, definitely. So, um, yeah. And uh, so I put this box together. Of course, I will show that next week as well. It's it's super easy, but that's uh, not in the show right now. But those boxes, so if you have your die cuts, and I know Esther showed it as well. If you have your die cuts, and I have to actually give credit to Esther because she does a, uh, like a live in Dutch uh, uh, I think every Tuesday, okay. and uh, she came up with the storage system because we all had like boxes, and then you need to buy like uh, metal boxes, plastic, well, uh, plastic in crafts. It's not, you know, not that crafty. So I had those, and then she came up with making her own boxes Clever. as the storage here. So that was such a great idea, and we had a, a run on those boxes. <laughs> so that's why I checked before oh, if we had yes. some because you see, you can put them in like this. And then I know exactly what's in there. Yes. And it's just fabulous. So I'm going to, I, I just need to find, I don't know if the craft store has that one. I need to find a perfect box to fit this in. But, um, oh, that's we'll a good find point, it. yeah. <laughs> but you can put all your elements in there. Like next week we have the florals. And I actually have uh, one in here, like this one. You see, this is the reminiscence, the paper here. Yeah. 
So I put the paper from the book on there, like the little label here. But then the fern is actually from uh, next week's shows. But you see, oh. those are in here. And it keeps so I them think... perfect. I know. So it's absolutely fun. So this one I'm going to put aside because I want to do my stenciling first because I really want to get something done this show. So I have a piece of um, water, uh, watercolor paper there because I'm going to watercolor a little bit. And I'm going to add paste and then it can dry. So what I use for this, and I'm pretty sure you will be familiar with, like you can use a heavy cardstock, like glossy cardstock or something. I use the Yupo paper. Oh, yes. Kind of, you know, can, yeah. can, be, can be any brand, of course. But Yupo paper is kind of plasticky. So that's uh, to make your own stencils. That's actually perfect for that. And, and we've got that on our website somewhere, I think. So people can search for that if they need it. Yeah. If you want to make your own stencil, the Yupo paper is absolutely fabulous. And uh, then I'm going to uh, just take some paste. I have an opaque matte paste here. So I'm just going to add it here and just... And what I did, I don't know if you can see it. I will show you in a second. I uh, closed the, uh, the holes, like the, the page holes there with a tape. Ah, oh, okay, so yes. I don't, yeah, so I just took tape and I put it in there, uh, over there, so I don't have uh, that there. You see, so now I have my stencil here, and I actually think I'm going to leave it with one corner. Okay. So I do have that, yeah, you know, I can do a few splatters here. This one, just a small corner there, and of course you don't need to put it in perfectly. You can just kind of add that. Just a few splatters in the corner, and I'm going to leave that to air dry, and then uh, later on I can watercolor that one. And um, so you see, so that's that's done, you know, now with the page. So you can use it for a page. You can make your own stencil. You can use it for the front of the box. And, um, you know, that just gives you lots and lots of possibility with one die already. Does indeed. Um, yeah. And I, I, I love that idea. And I also showed the, uh, like, the slim line card. Let me clean my hands because I'm putting paste on my hands there. Oh, dear. <laughs> that's how it goes. Uh, so that one, and then I showed yesterday, like the dies, because the page dies are actually perfect for slimline cards. Oh, cool. Because the slimline yes. cards, so I have, yeah, I, and I don't know exactly which, you might have a little bit different, but th this is three and a half by eight and a half inch. Okay. And uh, that die is perfect for that. So that's the page. Let me show you that here. You see? Oh, yes, of course. The dies itself is perfect, but of course, if you need to have it a little bit different, you can only cut these parts. Yeah? You can stay away from the cut lines yes. from the page, but it works perfectly. And then uh, I showed this one yesterday. It is an A2 size card, and I only did one corner on that one, you see? So you can do that. Just use the corner part. So there's so many possibilities. And yeah. before I forget to show this one, this is also... a. Uh, like that's also a page so oh, okay. i used um and that's what i love to do like uh, show people the other possibilities that they can use with the dies so for this one you see i cut the page and then i cut it in the width that i wanted to use for my um for my uh, card uh -huh. and then i could turn turn the die around and cut this side you see Got so it's this you, one yes. and now you have another yeah so it's you know Lots Clever. and lots of possibilities. So all, yeah, so all the dies you have from the Planner Essentials, because we had more with edges, yes. you can use to make a really nice card. Because, of course, you can imagine I can do the same with an A2 size card. Then you just cut a different size of paper, but I can also cut that edge on there. Good tip. I like that idea. Yeah, that's, you know, that's just an idea. So I'm going to leave that to dry. Then... Um, and there's another thing I want to do, and that needs a little bit of drying because I have some elements cut that I want to use. Like this is an element from the uh, Planner Essentials as well, from uh, this uh, release. And I want to make a nice uh, watercolor background, add a little bit of glitter, and then just add an element that you can make a really classy card with just like that. Uh... Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so there's, there's so many, and that's... You know, that's, I always uh, encourage people to just play. That's what I kind of say, just play. And um, I love to do that. Wonderful. I'm bringing in my watercolors. Okay. As soon as we have those, they almost should be there. It's taking us because, you know, shipping, it's been, uh, it's yes. in a container. So 
as soon as it's back, I will bring it back on the show because people are, I know they're waiting for it. Oh, sorry, I need to wet the paper a little bit first. So as soon as they're back in stock, I will bring them to the show again because it's a beautiful color palette. And I'm just going to do a, um, like just some color, very super easy, nothing, because I'm not an expert in watercoloring. Um, so again, just encourage people to just, you know, try stuff, just try it. And I want to add some of the light green there. And then you can imagine if you add that element from that, um, I'm going to do some splattering and then leave that to dry. And then I can get back to that one, just a little bit. And I want to splatter a little bit. And I just took a good towel here from the kitchen. So they might not like that, but I need a towel. <laughs> uh, not a problem at all. <laughs> well, while, I, while so, you're doing that, shall I just very quickly give people a very quick update and then come back to you, Elsa? Or are you yeah, okay? that's good. I'm just going to... Yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm just going to spread some paint here. Yeah, just absolutely. Yeah. No problem. We'll come back to you in a few moments then. So, yeah, your yeah. one-day special, it is flying out. Um, over 80% of the stock has gone. I think lots of you have been thinking about it, thinking about the value for money, thinking about how you're going to be using this. Because as Al said, it is a considerable amount of money that you're looking at investing in this. But you can invest wisely because you know that everything works well together. You've got elements here, like the birds that are sitting on the little line there, like the little watering can. These are things that when you actually need them for another project not necessarily planner related or journal related you know that you've got those garden implements you know that you've got that fabulous corner that Elsa has been working with to make things like your own stencils imagine that creating your own stencils and then the die to the side there where you've got all of those circles I think this is one of my favorites um, in fact every single one of those dies that you've got within your one day special you will find that you're getting lots of inspiration with these so I'm just very quickly going to show you that because it shows you just what you can do with them so these are these wonderful little discs and you've got all sorts of wonderful little phrases on there um, omg kiss lol all of those things that we regularly see appearing in texts and messages and things like that now this is actually a double-sided card so you're actually getting two lots of dies within these and we saw esther working with these earlier on because they cut out the frame they cut out the little eyelet hole as well but you are able to use those you can snip into them if you want make fabulous little kind of pockets if you're wanting to work with them that way you've got your banners and these actual words are attached to them as well so do check out the Facebook group as well because you'll find loads of inspiration that way now this particular one again you can see that larger piece there with that stitch detail around the edge that's important because we've got more of that stitch detail coming up in a moment but again there ideas layouts things that you can do with these now the stitched um, edge detail of course we were talking about that a few moments ago you're going to get that on your full set of alphabets now your alphabet you've got all your uppercase there as you can see but you've also got your numbers featuring within here as well incredibly useful because you can do personalization whether it's a phrase whether it's a person's name you have got that there then of course we were looking at the garden implements a few moments ago those gorgeous corners that Els is working with again inspiration and ideas for you to work with those and then Els has just given us a little insight into that almost like a hessian ribbon that you've got there you've got that long die allowing you to create that over and over again you've also got those um, numbers that are going to cut out of the page as well if you're going to cut with this one you'll have your outside area with the holes but you also have that cut out almost as little apertures which gives you a wonderful way of actually layering on top of your different pieces again elements that you're going to be able to create with that torn edge that Elsa shared with us just a few moments ago things like your cameras things like these little icons that are so familiar to us that lend themselves so well to the photographs that we have got out there and then I know I didn't actually catch the show but I know Elsa was going to share a fabulous book that she was making with this die so do go back to the show at 12 o'clock and you'll be able to see with the show with our lovely Fiona how um, Esther put this together to make a wonderful book those are just your dies you've got 111 dies you've got 78 stamps as well I'm not going to go through all those in great detail as well um, but we'll have a little look at them maybe a, a little bit later on in the hour but for the time that we've got our here we really need to press on 
56 pounds saving, everybody is saving at least that, but if you are a Freedom member, you're saving more than that. You're actually saving 75 pounds and 99 pence. You've got the opportunity to spread your cost over three payments, which means if you're a Freedom member, you're actually paying less than 60 pounds to get all of this fabulous stuff delivered to your door. Oh my goodness, we won't see you for weeks. You'll be having a load of fun with these. And that 75.99 saving is the equivalent of the stamps alongside that die that's down at the front there. So it really is a considerable saving to be taken advantage of. And if you're not a Freedom member, you can become a Freedom member at the same time as placing your order. And because you've got your Flexi order, it gives you the opportunity to add other goodies in. So if you like the look of that reminiscence pad, um, you're going to need to be quick with this one as well because approaching three quarters of the stock has gone. As um, Elsa explained to us, you've got so much content within here that you can use some of the frames that you've got within here to isolate certain areas, create some fabulous pockets with those, utilize them in so many different ways. And you've got all of those color themes that lend themselves so well. They all blend together absolutely beautiful. And the only other thing I would say to add into your basket alongside your papers is your planner cover. Which are you going to go for? Because they both look absolutely amazing. Now this one is your sand. And as you saw, um, uh, lovely Elle's working with that elastic wrap around with that kind of protector for the edge there so the elastic isn't going to cut in. Because as time goes on, you'll be filling and filling and filling and it will stretch with all those wonderful pages you're making you've got the ability to obviously put your pages in place there with your holes there you've got your folders to the side there you've got your little opportunity to put a pen in there as well and that one is your sand your desert sand if you're wanting that one 23.99 but again pop it into your flexi order spread the cost over three payments but of course esther was working with the ochre the ochre has got that lovely kind of rich tan tone both of these i would say unisex colors it doesn't matter whether you're making this for yourself or as a gift for yourself a guy um, it doesn't matter and to be honest you can actually uh, um, add decoration to these as well if you so choose I must admit I do like them just as they are um, 881 185 will get you this particular version with that deep kind of peach tone that you've got within the inside there but very similar with regards to the layout and the construction it's pretty much down to the color that you're wanting to go for so those are some of the things I would certainly make sure that you're adding into your bath Basket. those papers the folders but to be honest we've got the most incredible deal with regards to the 12 by 12 papers as well and the beauty is these are all on the same item number so you've got choices where you could go for all four, all of these all four of them Add each and every one of them in. If you pop in, there, in alongside your one day special, then of course you can spread the cost of those <coughs> oh excuse me over three payments as well oh Losing, losing my voice. I do apologise. We're going to go back to Els just while I compose myself. Els, save me, Els, save me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you take a, you take a sip from uh, some water. So let me show you this. I, I know you were talking about this, and uh, yesterday I forgot it, but that's the little book that Esther created with that die. So you can use that as a page in your planner, but you can also use that uh, to make a mini book. So this is all done with, uh, or most of it is done with the reminiscence paper. Like, oh, let me let me quickly go through it. Like, so here you see that stamp here. You see uh, some of Esther's washi tape. Uh, these are the uh, labels that I just showed you with the stamp, the noteworthy. These are elements from the set here, the real life. So that's all done. Uh, and of course, you can add pictures. I know Esther showed you that as well. Uh, and here you see a label from the book, Best Time. That's what we're having here, of course. So you can see, so that's the mini book that now you can fill with pictures. You see, so that's just the book. She, oh, here you see that beautiful butterfly that we're going to yes. use. That's just gorgeous. Isn't it beautiful? That looks amazing. It's a really good size as well. It works well with that die. Yeah, exactly. And and again, this is a page, so you can actually use them uh, like two uh, on top of each other in your uh, planner. But you can also hear the love this. That's an element from that. I actually have that here, you see. So that's a die oh. that comes with the with the set that's one of the dropout pieces so there's lots and lots here another label the perfect and it cuts the window of course as well so um if you want to you can put your pictures right behind there but that's up to you of course that's uh so um but yesterday i forgot to bring it so uh, Esther, that's the book you were sorry, talking Els, about Els, have you ever heard yes. of brag books 
Brag books. Yeah, because no. brag books were a big thing. They're like little mini photo albums that you keep in your handbag when you're bragging about your family and you're getting the photos out and you're showing them off to everybody. That little size that you've got there is absolutely perfect for what we call a brag book because you've got everything yeah. within the palm of your hand there. Yeah, absolutely. That is actually a fun idea. And, uh, you know, it actually fits. Uh, it's, it, it's, it's very small. So it actually... It, it would be perfect for that, absolutely. Love it. Now, make, I love that one. background that you've made there. Very effective. Yeah, so yeah. So that's the watercolor, and I just added some splatters. I did a little bit of etching, and I did 3D tape on the back. So I'm going to uh, mount it on a card. And I choose a watercolor paper for the background as well, because that matches, because watercolor paper is not perfectly white. And, um, of course, you can choose a color as well. I could have chosen a green or a... Uh, or uh, like a, a, a blue tone or something, but it's, uh, I'm just going to add it a little bit towards me. And see, I, that's always hard when you want to put something straight and you can't lean in because they see your gray hair. <laughs> oh, tell me about <laughs> it. <laughs> I, I actually, I, I, I noticed that, uh, that Esther did this morning. She said, um, OMG, OMG, what did I do? <laughs> oh, bless I didn't mention it at all. I was very professional. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, and here I have the butterflies. So uh, I have those in the in the boxes. Well, you see, so all cuts. Uh, I actually have other butterflies there from earlier release from the art journal as well. Uh, and these are the ones from Esther. So you just cut those and have those ready to go. So I actually cut them in silver. Oh. Uh, so, oh, that one is really pretty on That's there. That's nice. So we have two, but that one is a little bit wider. You see, I like that better on this one because it's a little bit wider. And then I can actually back that. Which color do I have in that one? I'm going to see if I want to back it with another color. Just to see, but that's a little bit off. No, I don't like that. I think I'm, and I have it in vellum as well. Maybe I back it with vellum. That is nice. So you have a little bit, because what I'm going to do, I'm only going to add... Um, like uh, the glue or the adhesive in the center. That's it, you because, can lift the wings, uh, I say yeah. With, yeah, with butterflies you want to have like wings that kind of open, can be open. And then you can see so how easy this is, if you need a, like a fast card, this is so easy to create because that background took me a few minutes, not more. And I dried it with a heat, like with a, a heat gun. So it's dry right away. And like you say, so when you've die cut them and you've got them in your little storage boxes, then that you just go to them at a moment's notice. And anybody that's tuned in and you're thinking, oh, I like the look of those little boxes, well, Els is going to be with us next Saturday um, with a beautiful collection of florals, I believe, including those pizza boxes. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, the florals are stunning. I actually, uh, you've... I have uh, the samples here already. I thought I'm going to be prepared. Oh, we but might have a look at them are, at the should... end. <laughs> you know, yeah, I, I, I actually showed one already. Like, <gasps> this is the page as well. So that's that same page yes. using as a background. And that's one of the florals that we have in next week's shows. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be a, a... I love making florals. You know, we have, a have such a show. great... Yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. You see, I just do the sensor here. And this is the metallic paper. And, of course, there's different ones. Uh, this is like, uh, I don't know if I can say, but like the Ranger one, or Tim Holtz one, whatever, like the block. But okay. if, you, if you have any silver, yeah, silver paper, that will work, of course. And then if you want to, and I don't know if I have one cut that will, or ready to go, that will, uh, let me see if I have, no, I don't want to include the black, I think. Because I can add one of those little uh, label, but... Uh, oh, these are oh, so cute. Because these are the part of the stamps. I mean, these are brilliant. Because um, I, I know Esther was talking about these, and you just cut them with scissors. So a simple, simple cut. Yeah, yeah, it's a simple cut. And, and I know Esther explained it, because Esther did not want it... Uh, that, because if you die cut, I love the die cutting around the dies, but in this case, she didn't want to have the edge around yeah, it. Yeah, so makes sense. That's why yeah. this one, yeah, that's why this one doesn't have, uh, but I have a celebrate here, so I think that's a very good one to use there. I'm just going to add that to the center at the bottom of the pay, of the card. There we go. Beautiful. To get that centered. Normally, I would measure this because I'm 
uh, kind of a wush with that. I want to have it scented. And then uh, to get that black back a little bit, you can actually do some... Oh, I don't like this. Well, wait, I need to have a little bit of a wider... I'm just looking oh, at the alternatives to the Celebrate there, and every single one of these would be perfect to work on the card that you've got there. You've got things like perfect, best time, wonderful, good times. There's loads, and there's a little blank one as well. Yeah, there's a blank one that you can write yourself. And I'm using, uh, I pick my mic on here. And did I see you have Sakura on the shows as well? We do sometimes. Um, I don't know on this particular show, but we'll certainly have them on our brand section if people want to look for them. Yeah, yeah, because what I like, uh, I love my, well, I love all the gel pens uh, from Sakura because I'm, uh, I don't know if I told already, but before I left the Netherlands, I actually was a, I worked for Sakura. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Okay. I actually, I even wrote books with uh, gel pens. Oh, this is being a very care, um, <laughs> open and uh, kind of caring and sharing. Oh, I didn't know that. I know. No, and it's, it's such a high quality product, so I was very yes. happy to see that on the show. And um, I don't know if you have like metallic gel pens on there as well, but with metallic, you can watercolor with those. And uh, so, yeah. Lots a and lots fabulous of fabulous uh, range, well respected brand. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So you see, so this now you have a beautiful card, I think, which uh, you know very easy to make and ready to go. And if you have those elements Gorgeous. like in your box, then they, you know, I, yes. I love that. Uh, I, I love, love that it. Card. So beautiful. That's that one. Um, now, very quickly, um, Esther, I just need to do, Esther Ells, I'll get mixed up with everybody's names. I do apologise. Um, <laughs> rapidly approaching limited stock now with the one day special. Oh, my word. do hope we've got enough stock to see us through to six o'clock. Of course, you are going to get your 111 stamps, your seven, sorry, your 111 dies, your 78 stamps. And you're going to get the most amazing deal, but only if you're placing your order before six o'clock or before the stock sells out. I don't know which one's going to last. Is it going to be the clock? Is it going to be the stock? Who knows? But what I can tell you is if you place your order now at this moment, we're looking at about 20 to 5 in the afternoon. If you're taking advantage of that deal, you will get it. If you're a Freedom member, you will get that £75.99 saving. And you will have the opportunity to spread the cost over three payments of £59.96. But that is only if you check out your basket now. If it's a case that you don't and you think, Oh, I'm going to leave it for a little while. We get distracted. Life gets in the way. I've been there. I've done that time and time again. It'll be suddenly about 20 to 7 this evening. You think, oh, I forgot to check out my basket. £75.99. That's the saving you will have missed out on if you find yourself in that situation. And it's easily done. It really is. So why not? You know you want it. You know when to get a hold of it and you know you're wanting to spread the cost. So why not do it straight away to ensure that on the 2nd of September, this will be winging its way to you. And then you're going to be creating so many amazing planners, journals, memory albums, your large tool versions. As we can see, they're smaller kind of tag books that you could be creating but then you have got all the opportunity of utilizing the alphabet in so many personalized projects the different elements that you're getting with the dies there for your cards those wonderful little kind of mini sentiments almost and I could see some of these when we were looking at Al's demonstration so I know she's going to touch on those in a few moments but it all combines and works beautifully as Els has just shown us with that beautiful card that she has just been creating 714314 pop that in your basket but make sure you're checking your basket out as i say spread the cost over three payments if you're wanting to but do consider becoming a freedom member because this is what we call a why not deal take that saving while you've got the opportunity because in a couple of hours time it is going to be disappearing so something else that's proven to be very popular that could well disappear before we get to the end of the one day special shows then this is your reminiscence pad approaching 80 percent of the stock has gone you've got your 120 gsm 32 sheets in there you've also got your 250 gsm at the back of your book there again 32 sheets they are double-sided and you will be using every last piece of this 
Love the way that it's bound together because it keeps it all together. That's the key thing. Sometimes when you've got a paper pad, you'll find that they'll fall out those pages. But this has kind of got like a webbing. It's got some fabric there keeping it all together. And you can see those colour groups go from your pinks through your yellows to those deep red tones coming right the way through to the oranges, the greens and your neutral tones down at the bottom there. So again, spread the cost over three payments. You're looking at an extra £7.33 there or thereabouts alongside your one day special payment. So do consider that one um, because it could be a case that you lose out on these ones because they have sold out previously as well. So just to, uh, well, the first one, Reminiscence Book Number 1 sold out. So yes, take advantage of that one where you've got the chance. Now very briefly mention those papers before my voice gave up on me um, so here we go we've got those papers so let me explain further what we've got we've got 12 by 12s and we've got four different packs for you to consider now in each one of these you have got 13 sides of your pages that will give you different opportunities to take advantage of these and they are beautiful collections they've been popular not surprised at nine pounds and 99 pence and you've got all your different opportunities your summer active you can see there your worn wood featuring with this one as well and um, they are really really nice now this one is your um, rainbow of, what was this one rainbow of happiness that was it rainbow of happiness and again beautiful colors combined colors coming together absolutely beautifully now the way that these work is you'll have flip sides on these so if I turn those around you can see oh no actually those aren't exactly the same but you will find that you've got repeats but when you flip them over the other side is not exactly the same as the one that you looked at previously did I see that one I did indeed so there you go so you can see those two are the same on that side but if I take them and I flip them over you can see they're different on the other side so it gives you lots of opportunities so you're not necessarily missing out and not being able to use all of those papers that you want to those are your 12 pages double-sided with regards to those but don't forget you have got that 13th page which is the other side of your cover so when you start looking for that you will find that on the other side but to be honest you might want to use those hexagons it's entirely up to you it's your paper pad you can decide but do consider the others that we've got as well because each one of them is just 9.99 all on the same item number so if you're not a freedom member you can actually get hold of those with no additional post and packing again ready for dispatch on the 2nd of september 511662 if you fancy getting hold of those but let's head back over and have a little look to see what else has got planned next oh look at these papers oh these are gorgeous yeah what i did here so i took uh, this one this corner and I cut it out. And of course, you get this twice. So this is the thin one. And in this case, I was cutting the heavier one. I could easily have done the thinner one. But somehow I had this in my hands. Uh, so I cut it out because I want to have like a lighter background. So I'm just using that on here. Oh. And then I'm going to add a butterfly to that one. And that one actually has adhesive on the back. And the reason for that is because those boxes are going to be stacked in a... Uh, you see, in a, uh, together like this. Okay. So if I do the open wings like I have here, that's going to be damaged quickly. So that's why I have adhesive on the back of those. And then, uh, so that's the paper. And of course, there's more elements in there because if you start cutting this one, you can cut this corner. Uh, you can cut this bigger part. You have yeah. a label here that you can use. So everything from that paper you can use. There is not uh, like, and if you have like this one, of course, if you have little pieces left, you can cut it. Uh, you can use it for your reinforcements. So there's always, uh, always a use to every piece of paper uh, that you have. And I thought I'm going to put a little piece of um, washi tape on there. I know we had that uh, like in the show several times. So I know. People have that. This is the washi tape uh, from, I don't know if it's still online, but we had it uh, several times in the show. So that's the washi tape from uh, Esther that I have here. So I just want to um, kind of have a little piece of that and not end it straight because I know Esther would not like that <laughs> if I do it straight. Cannot. <laughs> Uh, that's something I'm learning uh, from Esther. And, well, Esther is actually pretty, uh, well, she tears this one. But like uh, as Ailes and Charlene, one of our other design team uh, uh, from the Art Journal line, the ladies, they are very much uh, like, um, um, you know, just tear everything and rip everything. And What so I call an, or an I'm, organic I'm feel to it. I know, I know, I know. And this yeah. one I need to kind of add a little bit of glue because there's too many like loose pieces. So I'm just... Adding some wet glue to this one. You no see, I have problem. because it's going on the box. I want to have it tight on the box because otherwise it's going to be. Uh, so in this case, it's easier to use a wet glue. 
Um, now, just as you're doing that, I'm very, very quickly going to mention we kind of got to the situation that we preempted. We thought we would get there, didn't realise it would get to there so soon, to be fair. But we're now talking about a limited stock situation with regards to your one day special. This hour, lots of you have been making your final decisions over this one. We've only got about 10 minutes left within this hour, so I'm hoping that we've got enough stock to see us through. So if you are watching on repeat or you've suddenly decided to get hold of this after 5 o'clock, but before 6 o'clock when the price goes up, I keep my fingers crossed that you're able to get hold of it. That £75.99 saving is something that you do not want to miss out on. So take the opportunity while you've got the chance. 714-314 if you're wanting to. Sorry, Els, I felt it was important that we mentioned that to people. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's perfect, of course, because I don't want people to miss out. And uh, while I'm creating this, Haley, I think how beautiful is this as a gift box? Beautiful. Like if you buy a nice uh, kind of a necklace or a, you know some chocolates, some some chocolates in there, you know it's just uh, it's just or some cards by the way because you also can make cards because you will see next week that pizza box has extra uh, dies in there, so you can actually make cards that fit in there as well. So that's that's another idea, but it's just you know it's just a gorgeous gorgeous uh, kind of little box. You see, I thought I'm going to put this one on here. A little bit higher. Oh, I'm going to put it low. I think I like it the best here. You see, that's me. I should have put it in an angle and then me just put it on straight. That's just, you see, now we have like another way uh, to uh, use the box. And of course, if you want to use it as a gift box, uh, just don't like not flat. You can easily add another butterfly, you see, on top then with the yes. open wings. So if you want to use it as a gift box, you do it like this, of course, then you leave those wings open. But that's just another just way. Ask Els, when you actually cut the butterfly, I know it's adhesive. So is that using the adhesive sheets on the back of paper and the die is cut through both yes. of those layers? Wow. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. It will do that. So that's uh, that's just uh, yeah. That's why I use the tape. Like for instance, I have this one here, like one of those little circles. Yes. Uh, so th this one doesn't have tape because I don't know how I'm going to use it yet. Okay. But this little circle has tape. So I use I use a tape a ton. I use it all, always. Sometimes I have people and they say, "Oh, I have that roll, or I have that." But I don't. I said you need to keep it inside. You need to keep it inside because I'm using that the whole day. Like this one. Look at this. If you want to use wet glue on these little, like oh, that gosh, thin line, so tricky. That's impossible. Yeah, it's impossible. Exactly. So it's always going to smudge. And with the adhesive, it will not. So I take this out. On that backing comes off so easy. It does, it does. It's just perfect. And then you line it up on that circle, you see, and now I have a circle with the word fun on it, you see. So th that's just, it's it's so, it's so, uh, you know, it's, it's just perfect to use. Um, and again, keep it at hand because I use it all the time, every time, honestly. That's, that's just so so easy to do. We see so many people um, reference your adhesive sheets. We've got a fabulous bundle with them and lots of people have been taking advantage of them today as well. And I think seeing the use of them with those fine detail sentiments, I mean, you imagine how many other sentiments that you've got within your stash that are fine detail, that are so tricky to work with when you're wanting to stick them in place. Well, pop your cardstock onto your adhesive sheet, die cut both of those at the same time, and it means instantly you have got a little sticker that you can put with your sentiment down in place or add your glitter or whatever it is that you're wanting to use it for but by having these you need to make sure that you're taking advantage um, of these 18 pounds and 85 pence you're going to get 15 sheets of those you can add these in alongside your one day special as well and spread the cost of them because you've got your three payments with your one day special it makes sense to get those additional things so get your adhesive sheets get your reminiscence pad get your um, planner cover as well get everything at the same time and spread the cost of everything over your three payments. Now we're seeing a lot of you placing your orders, finalising your purchases in the last kind of 10 minutes of this hour. I think you're realising the urgency now. It's a limited stock situation with your one day special and I think you realise that potentially you could be missing out on a £75.99 and pence saving. It's going to be at least £56 that you miss out on if you don't go for this as a one day special because that is the saving that everybody's taking advantage of. To get your 78 stamps, to get your $111 
guys and to get hours and hours and hours of pleasure days weeks months worth of pleasure years if you're looking after everything but these are things that you're going to be creating in the here and now to look at um, in the future perhaps even future generations will be looking back at some of these things that you created but you've created them using those fabulous quality uh, products now with that saving and this little box that's been created has been amazing i love this version of it as well um i love the design elves yeah it's you know it's it's just uh again it's just play just play that's that's a lot of uh, i i mentioned that a lot of times because i honestly want people to just play and kind of figure out what you like and how you want to use your dice and before i forget to say uh if, you, if you're buying into this, make sure to check out the ECD uh, Planners and Journaling group on Facebook. So yes. ECD, so short for Elizabeth Craft Science, ECD Planners and Journaling. And then we also have an Elizabeth Craft Science family page, but everything related to the uh, Planners and Journaling, that's ECD Planners and Journaling. And you will find so much inspiration on there that is just, you know, it's just amazing. It is amazing. I love it. Um, and of course, do things like YouTube, have you got videos as well and things like that we can look yes. out for? Absolutely, we have videos. We have um, uh, the YouTube channel, so Elizabeth Kavzan's YouTube channel. And uh, that is, um, so all our uh, like Facebook lives, because we do that a few times a week. So th there's, there's so much out there that you can find uh, how to use uh, your products. And a lot of them I share actually on the the craft stores uh, Facebook group as well. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so you can find a lot of it over there as well. Wonderful. What are you up to here, Alice? Well, I'm, I'm cutting off the top from the tag because I like that little rabbit in there, kind of, uh, you know, it colors nicely. And I think uh, giving him the fun, uh, the fun sign, I think that's kind of fun. And uh, so I'm going to put that on there. So I'm just going to add the tape to this one. Lovely. Now, the tape's popping up at the bottom of our screen. Just to give you a little bit of a time check, Alice, we've got about three minutes or so left. So um, obviously we'll stick with you with the demonstration, but it'd be lovely to uh, give you the opportunity to turn your camera back round again before the end of the hour so we can say goodbye to you as well. Yeah, that's good. And and what I, so I did not finish my watercoloring. What I will do, I will absolutely finish that one and bring that next week. Wonderful. Uh, to add flowers, to, to add florals to it. Sounds like a good idea. I like the idea of that. And of course, if you are watching and you're wondering, um, Alice is going to be back with us next Saturday. She's going to be bringing the die that will allow you to create these fabulous little pizza boxes and bringing the most incredible dies to create some beautiful florals as well. So make sure you keep an eye on your schedule with regards to that because it is something that you will certainly want to take advantage of. Those little boxes look incredibly useful. You know, shall I turn around, Hayley? Before yes, it's too late? if you're ready to do so, that's not a problem. You can do okay. that now. Um, so, yes, one day special. It's your last opportunity to see it here out on our counter. It's an amazing deal. Lots of you have been taking advantage. Um, and that makes me very happy because I can imagine there's going to be some amazing planners, some wonderful memory binders, memory folders, little brag books perhaps. Might be that you're utilising the demonstration that we saw from Esther earlier on at 12 o'clock, utilising that tag die that you can see in front of you there. It makes a lovely size album. Or maybe you'll be making something on a larger scale, something that you're not necessarily wanting to carry around something maybe that's going to be on your coffee table so that people can pick up and flick through at their leisure but the stamps and the dies you will be using them in lots of different ways not just for your planners not just for your journals but for your cards your home decor projects you will use them in so many different ways i love the size of the numbers that you've got with these as well really strong numbers that you could be using if you've got a special birthday or a special occasion coming up if you're wanting yours your one day special is key for you to take advantage of and I would certainly take the opportunity perhaps to add in some of those 12 by 12 papers. You've got four different options of these. Each one of those is just £9.99, pence, which, of course, if you're spreading the cost over three payments, works out at just £3.33 pence into your flexi order today for each one of those that you choose to go for. Warren Wood, love that one with all those gorgeous details in there. The 
some uh, um, some are our, um, our, with that one you've got those turtles in there do you remember the turtles and then you're rusty weathered again you've got elements of rust and time that um, has had its effect and then you've got your rainbow of happiness of course a fabulous selection there each and every one of those just 9.99 you're getting 13 sheets in there so definitely worth getting hold of um, I have to say Els this has been a brilliant collection it's been a pleasure um, working with both yourself and Esther and she's done a great 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 ideas great projects everything coming together absolutely perfectly yeah you know it was a pleasure it's been a while so it was a pleasure to be back and I know Esther really enjoyed it as well and uh, I'm going to um, go and uh, start playing in the garden making florals for next week Oh, I love it. Now, you do need to get some rest as well. Don't forget with that jet lag, you're going to be all over the place, as I know, uh, a season traveller. And I've been watching you on Facebook as well, and I love the family photos. They'll be going in one of your planners as well, I'm sure. Yeah, absolutely. I'm actually, I started printing already uh, last night. So uh, I'm absolutely going to include those uh, in the planners. Oh, I'll well. look, look forward to it. I will look forward to it. So uh, for the time being, I'm going to say goodbye to you. Um, thank you so much, Alice, for your company. Thank you for bringing us such an amazing deal. You mind how you go? Yeah, thank you, Hayley. All right, Love you it. take care. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Um, and thank you to everybody that's taken advantage of the one day special. If it's in your basket, you need to be checking your basket out. $75.99. Do you really want to miss out on that deal? I certainly wouldn't want to. Oh, now we've got a couple of fabulous shows coming up with lovely Angie. We've got Quilting with Westerly. That's straight after the break. And then she's going straight into a one day special with So Crafty. In the foothills of Alnul, a lawless event unfolds. The craft store's sixth birthday, an exciting time beholds. Phil Martin and Indigo Blue, Heartfelt Creations, Zuri, and Crafts 2. With six pounds of credit, there'll be plenty to buy. With great one-day specials, the aces are high. With discounts and deals, with prices to amaze, join us for a hoedown for a wild seven days. From fabric to paper to glitter and pencils, pens and stamps, inks and stencils. Join us in August, a craft extravaganza. Happy sixth birthday, the Craft Store's Bonanza. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B. Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B. Silkworks shows. Hi, I'm Petrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows. Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Cathy. And I'm Mel and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand-illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. On our shows, we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Good e Well, evening or good afternoon, five o'clock, what is five o'clock? 
as afternoon, so late afternoon. Well, good late afternoon, early evening. Hello. Uh, you are tuning in, of course, to the craft store. And this hour is all about quilting, made beautiful patterns for your quilts and so much more. It's all about Westerly. And of course, we have got one girl, well, lady who makes the most amazing patterns of with, of course, Westerly tools, which is Angie. Angie, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Now, uh, we have worked together before, we but have. we were saying like, so, for somebody who is just tuning in, you have got a lot of experience designing patterns, don't you? Yes, and um, especially with Westerly, yeah. So um, I've been working with Westerly since they arrived in the UK five years ago now. And um, after a very short period, I just loved the, the product so much and I decided started designing patterns and these patterns are absolutely stunning and we will be seeing them uh, in a short while but before we get started Westerly is is a company that has been designing uh, you know easy quilting rules for a lot of time a long time yes they started with um, patchwork templates actually um, Australian couple um, initially um, Bill and Leonie West which is where the name comes from um, and then they um, came up with this fabulous quilting system uh, because they wanted people People, um, and Leone wanted herself to be able to go back to um, coming up with professional looking quilting on a domestic sewing machine um, and so yeah it's been in the UK about five years now came in 2016 and then uh, Bill and Leone um, retired and um, uh, a company called um, So Steady had been making te their acrylic template manufacturers. Um, they'd been making templates for many years and worked with Bill and Leone, so it was a natural progression for them to to buy okay. the company. So. And of course, even though we are talking about uh, you know products from companies abroad, uh, all the stock is here in the country, so yeah. you do not have extended a delivery whatsoever. Now, before we get into um, the details of everything, uh, we want to mention the starter kit, isn't yes. it? Because you are going to need the starter kit for any of those templates yes um, you do need so th we're going to bring some templates that we haven't brought to air before so we just want to mention obviously that you need a special foot yes. so it's a very special um, free motion ruler foot which is different to a traditional uh, free motion foot okay. uh, because a normal free motion foot uh, will bounce and this one doesn't bounce you don't want your ruler to be um, sorry your foot to be bouncing because it will um, damage the templates so um, it can be obviously the, the westerly starter sets which come in low shank medium shank high shank and high shank special yeah. so four different shank heights um, some manufacturers now this is this is so normal now to yeah. sewing machine manufacturers that some so new sewing machines are coming with ruler feet so maybe you already have a ruler foot but if you don't you definitely need to get the starter set and that will include the foot and a starter ruler which has um, a straight edge and a, and a nice curve. Indeed it does. Uh, now, so uh, basically I'm showing the two shanks uh, so you can see the difference, well two of those ones, uh, because of course there's four options. This one is the low shank, this one is the high shank. Uh, if you want to go for the low shank details on the left hand side of the screen, oh I went to the right place, and then if you <laughs> want it to go for the high shank, of course is at the bottom of the screen. Now, of course you may know which sort of machine uh, you have whether it's a uh, you know kind of a high a shank or a low shank but however if you don't know uh, give us a call to the uh, call center which is in heat base upstairs so here in the country and uh, the call center has all the different machines which ones are they uh, now that is important to know because every single kit that we are going to have a look at will have those different options the low shank of the for the starter kit 154699 is your item number and you have got of course flexible which means that you can and spread the cost in interest free payments. High shank will appear at the bottom of the screen, not only for the starter kit, but as we are going alongside. So if you are, you know which one you want, well, of course, you need a lower, uh, here at the bottom will be the high shank, left hand side will be the lower shank. Right, the first one that we are going to look at, those beautiful templates and, of course, the ruler or the pattern and the templates, of course, we have in here the Dahlia. This is an incredible pattern by yourself. Thank you. It is. I love this one. It's just kind of, the, it's, it's kind of miraculous. Like you're going to see the petals coming up. But, of course, the all important uh, we have got here, that, uh, the, the rulers in here. Uh -huh. So we are getting them in, is it five sizes? Yes, that's right. Five sizes, so you can see them here. So is it for different sizes of um, also blocks 
or you can mix and match? You can mix and match and with the pattern, actually the Dahlia pattern, I've used several of the sizes um, in there as you can oh, see from the design. Um, we've got some smaller petals um, here, some of the larger petals. If I turn this over actually you can see it more simply from just the quilting. Um, mm -hmm. the quilting style. So yes, it's a really nice set with five different um, petal sizes for you to then use on different, um, different applications or mix them all together to create more sort of intricate designs if you like. That is just beautiful. I love that. It's just absolutely glorious. And I was thinking as well, like there is lots of possibilities in terms of expanding it, you know, kind of almost like seamlessly, you know, across a quilt, large quilt, couldn't you? This actually is, is bigger than just the, um, the one pattern design. And actually that was my intention. I'd been designing with Westerly for a while, big projects. And then I designed a small project and people love a small project, don't they? Like a little weekend project. Um, so I decided to create some smaller projects with the templates and there was born my um, squared up series. So this little series of, of patterns, um, it's, it's showing you how to design uh, or stitch out one design block and then you can use that on a bag or a cushion. But if you wanted to make it into a bigger project, then you can stitch multiples together um, to make a bigger quilt or uh, a table runner. You can stitch them in a whole row. Um, you know, to make them into bigger projects. So the idea is that I'm not dictating to you what to make with it. It's just giving you ideas of the quilting design, and then you can apply it to whatever project whatever you, project you want, you want to. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to hold one of the samples. I'm going to go for the one in the front. Uh, now, one of the things that I noticed, and because I have done a couple of shows with you uh, from Westerly, uh, these um, can you explain everybody this piece in here that kind of slots in perfectly like a puzzle piece? So the gate system. So there are uh, different um, templates out there now it's great that we've got a lot of choice but I love Westerly whenever we're stitching on the inside of a shape um, Leone West the designer knew very well that we didn't want to keep breaking our threads to get yes. out and so the gate system the little key there is to enable you to interchange templates without breaking your thread when you when you're using them and you can you put a little bit of uh, tape to secure them but yeah. I would keep them like this uh, you know with the tape you know, my, my stash, and then when you take them out, then you... That's right. And when it's just um, when the tape wears out, you can just use a normal low-tech um, tape of any kind yes. just to keep them in position. Yes. And, of course, you have got the collection here of templates, the instructions as well. You can see uh, the size is 3.5, 5.5, 7.5, 9.5, and 11.5 inches that you are getting there as well. Now, you are getting uh, this uh, strip of uh, white... Um, it's anti-slip, right? Yes, that's right. So, um, to... To stabilize the templates when you're using them, uh, you can chop that up into little squares and apply it to the back of the templates um, and then that holds securely to the fabric so that the fabric moves at the same time. That is, is gorgeous. Uh, because that, of course it will mean that you will have a, such a much better, uh, you know, Kind more, of, accurate. It, more accurate yeah. because otherwise like ooh, slips. Slips. <laughs> uh, now of course if you want uh, your uh, Dahlia uh, bundle now with the low shank the details are on the left hand side of the screen the high shank at the bottom the kit is the same in terms of what you the contents however I'm gonna put them side by side so you get an idea of the difference so the high shank is that one so you have got in here the higher you can see there the the uh, extra thick and that is for the high shank hence why it's important to know which one you need to go uh, now of course you have got the details of the left hand side for the low shank the bottom for the high shank uh, if you don't know which one it is give us a call to the call center and we will try to uh, see which machine you have uh, can we see it in action angie yes yeah, sure so um i'm just gonna I'm going to stitch out um, a number of rotations. You can see from the pattern here that we can choose what they might be. You can stitch four petals, eight petals, 36, you know, 32 petals. You can stitch however many petals you like. And to make that easier for you, um, you'll um, need to put some guidelines on your fabric sandwich, which is what um, I've already put some on this piece here. Um, but that can be done 
you can use a normal patchwork ruler with a, you know, with a, you've got 45 degrees or 60 degrees. But when you're doing a lot of this kind of work, there are tools that can make this more easy for you. So this is the large um, 12 and a half inch crosshair square. Um, and it allows you, you can see the guidelines on there with the numbers um, of the measurements of the squares. So if you were putting this over a patchwork block, you could very, very easily find the center That's of your nice. block mark the center and then using um, a, a, any kind of um, safe marking tool on your project I've, as I said I've already marked these ones here just for speed you can then um, draw inside the um, inside the grooves, the grooves yeah. to mark your yeah. eight and then what you would do if you wanted more is to pivot it around and mark another eight and so forth um, yeah. we've yeah. yeah, so of course we have got it in stock, the crosshair ruler, the eight point. Uh, you can see here the instructions and of course you are getting the uh, ruler with those grooves, the eight points. Uh, Twelve and a half inches square, 41 pounds and 95 pence, 415017 is your item number. Already 20% of the stock has gone. And I suppose this is actually very good for other techniques as well. I'm sure the craft, uh, you know, quilters will use it in different ways as yeah, well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, really, really useful. And of course you you can choose sometimes like uh, the, the stars uh, you could choose even lines that are not not all eight just four or alternate absolutely you four, could mark yeah. just four of those as I said or you can mark multiples of yeah. eight um, yeah of course you can rotate, so it, you rotate so 16. it and then mark another eight which yeah. will give you 16 and so forth yeah fabulous yeah. and of course the details on the left hand side of the screen this is not you don't have to know if it's a high shank or a low shank no. right? <laughs> <laughs> so this one is just one item number it doesn't depend on which machine you have 41 pounds and 91 five pens four one five zero one seven is your item number back to you Angie thank you so uh, we'll we'll make a start I'm going to bring my needle up right in the center um, and I could open the gate um, to get my template in but just to make it easy I'm going to pop my um, spin effects number 10 this is which you should say as well with the dahlia um, so it's called spin effects 10 and um, I don't think we've bought um, many of the spin effects there's a whole different you know a whole range of different spin effects templates um, in the Westerly collection and so this is number 10 I'm okay. just bringing my bottom thread up and just gonna do a little securing stitch okay. so when you actually fit your uh, a foot to your machine yeah. you can see that I, I have it as close to the fabric as possible but it's just sitting above the fabric and therefore it's going to glide across because as I said it's I not see. going to bounce yeah. so you set the height by you yeah. can move it up and down on the shank of your machine and um, tighten it up there and you can see um, spin effects 10 it's a lovely um, simple um, petal shape. It's not actually the same shape top and bottom. It's um, more pointed at the one end to the other end. So also you can flip it around and use it two different ways. So that's really nice. Uh, we've got great guidelines on here. So um, because I've marked my crosshair, my eight point crosshair now, we can stitch four or eight. It doesn't really matter. And you can see I can pivot it round and line up my guidelines just to keep everything um, really accurate. I've already got my stable tape on the back. You can see I've got four little pieces of grip tape there um, on the back of the template, which allows me to just put a little tiny bit of pressure. But really, um, you know, you're not thinking about holding the template on its own. You're, you're sort of holding the template and your quilt sandwich all at the same time and just just stitching really slowly actually compared to a lot of free motion um, often people think that you have to be stitching super super fast and I love that fact that you're not changing the position of the fabric you're just changing rotating the actual template that is the the hugest thing with ruler work um, that as I said Leonie wanted to make it easy for us to be able to quilt professionally on domestic machines which uh, as a lot of people out there will know is is you know quite tough with a small throated machine um, but by doing that precisely because when you've got a big quilt stuffed under there um, and you're stitching away you don't want to keep resettling the quilt so the whole idea of ruler work is so that we pivot the template and not the quilt itself um, so there, there might come a point at some point in your quilting that you might reposition the quilt for ease but you're not having to do it all of the time 
So here I've stitched. This is the middle size I thought I'd choose because I've got so many to show you today yeah. <laughs> on my uh, my sandwich. I thought I'd show you the middle size of this one. That is just, but it's quite quick. Even though you know, like I'm always scared of quilting because I'm kind of thinking, oh, I'm going to mess it up. But you, I can see that it's just glide in the fabric, right yeah. in the, the template with uh, sandwiching with the fabric, and it's just easy. Super easy. And then, as I say, with the gate, you can easily... I think I've got go. new tape on here, actually, so it's super sticky. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm able to take, it out. take out the gate and switch templates. So I can switch to easily a bigger size. I'm just going to pop that tape back By on. By the way, so we, the, the, one of the reasons that uh, Angie is gliding the sandwich, basically, so easily through her uh, machine, not only because the dog feet are down, but, of course, because she is using, Angie is using the great glider from So Steady. So you can see it here. That, that kind of gives that the smooth surface in there as well. So it glides through easily. Uh, 12 inches by 20 inches. It has got the grid in as well and has got that surface that glides 25 pounds and 95 pence is your price uh, 824654 you can take it out and reposition it again can you not with uh, the glider oh yes absolutely it comes with um, I've just switched over to a bigger size just to show you here what happens when I overlap a bigger one to the corners while we're um, it's showing how it works um, yes the grid glider comes with um, a backing um, a protective backing in the tube when you um, first open it and then what's going to happen is you peel that off. It's got kind of, uh, you can see here with mine. So it has, um, it's really strange. It, does, it doesn't leave any residue oh. at all, but it has a, a kind of sticky, um, an adhesive backing, yeah. which sticks to the surface of your machine or table, um, but it doesn't leave any residue. It's a bit like those things, people that remember tax discs oh, the, on the windscreen. Yes, yeah, <laughs> those know? things, yeah. It's a, it's a, special, oh, yeah. a special type of fabric. Um, producer material. doesn't drive. <laughs> and it's just too young to know anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? so, um, so, yeah, it's super. So it's not going to go anywhere. You, it's not going to move and get, you know, stitched to the back of your quilt. Mm. Um, and then you peel it off, uh, uh, and when you put it away, put the backing back on it. Mm. Um, over time, you can get... Um, dust and fibers stick to this backing area and it will lose its tackiness oh, and right. so then you just wash it under um, some hot you know mild soapy water some warm soapy water let it air dry and it comes back new the beauty of it is it's that it's actually got the grid on it and it's got uh, a square cut out so you can actually leave it on all the time when you're piecing when you're patchworking wow. Uh, it'll help you line things up That's when you're piecing. Perfect. So it's a, it's a, and it's quite affordable. Yeah. A lot of the grid gliders are super expensive. Well, so it's uh, a good 25 price. pounds and 95 pounds. Uh, and of course, you can see it. It comes in rolls, so I would recommend to keep it there as well. A eight two four six five four. Do remember to check out your baskets as well. Uh, back to you, Angie. Okay, so I'll stitch. Uh, let's see if I can fit another one in here. So what I've done is I've stitched the smaller size to the northeast southwest if you like, of my eight-point crosshair. And now I'm stitching the bigger, the next size up, which is, let's have a look. It's got it written on each template, so nine and a half inches, this one. So I'm stitching that to overlap, and it's making this lovely pattern. What you can also do is use um, part of the template so I could choose to just put a little bit of detailing in here. So I've just pivoted it slightly uh, and I could just put a little stem. So there is a lot of customization that we can do as well. Absolutely, um, because that, that initially when I first started Ruler Work, I did wonder if, you know, we'd start to see the same patterns on everyone's but, quilt. But no. But, but five years no. on, it's, yeah, it, it's, it's not happened, so. really. So. I love the fact that it comes with uh, actually your patterns there to follow, so we can practice those ones. But then we can do our own. Like, I love how you're going, oh, I'll add a stem, or I'll mix that one, or I will make a 16 flower, you know. Absolutely. I think people enjoy my patterns because they, uh, when you first get a new template or a new product, like, like with Ruler Work, um, it's, you do need to do a little bit of practice. Um, you know, you're not just going to fit the foot and, you know, be away straight away. Mm -hmm. You just need to have a little bit of practice, like using any new tool, like uh, the first time you used a rotary cutter or so forth. Um, and often people 
you know, when, when you sit down at your machine and you just need to practice something, you know, what do you do? So a lot of people love my patterns as well, especially the little ones. They give people a little, um, a lovely little project to do mm. uh, and it gets you totally comfortable with that particular template knowing how to use it in lots of different ways and then like you say it gives you the confidence then to move on Perfect. so Thank i'll just you. take this out yeah. so that you can see this um Perfect. finished is there any final tips that you want to give our dedalia a template um no it's it's, it's a really it's Easy. a really soft yeah. curve so it's a really nice one if you're yeah. new if you're relatively Perfect. new to ruler work this um, is it's not too difficult not to shape difficult. yeah I it's a really that. nice one and of course while uh, angie resets for the next uh, demonstration let's have a look fine a look one of final that sounds very final uh, a look at the low shank dahlia booklet these ones are the details on the left hand side if you want the same bundle but for the high shank machine uh bought details at the bottom of the screen they are the same price but the item number you have got a nine pounds and fifty pounds saving and of course you can flexify into interest-free payments of 47 pounds and 50 pence six eight five four two eight is your item number for the low shank for the high shank four one seven one four five is your item number now you may want to add on the echo guides which i think they are a fabulous addition you are getting the one inch the uh, 70 uh, the three quarters of an inch and the half an inch echo guy said for just 10 no, uh, 10 pounds and 50 pence 353248 is your item number for that. That is a very popular item to add on. And remember, anything that has got flexi including the rulers uh, with the patterns, you can add those extra items and flexi buy those ones as well. Now, the, the other uh, and the other bundle that we have got, also brand new today, is the Clematis. Um, now, this one, of course, low shank uh, comes into the left hand side of the screen. If you have got a high shank, details at the bottom of the screen uh, this is this is different right? when you look at it you think that it's more like a tree or a you know toast tool but it's just so beautiful oh it looks it just reminds me of um playing cards oh yes I don't know which one. I don't play cards. Uh, yeah, yeah, spade, a spade. Yeah. Well, I, I play. Well, I used to play cards in Spain, which are the different, completely different. Oh, are they different? Uh, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So, so it's a different. Um, yeah, baraja. Let's call it. Ah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> the space. Uh, kind of, uh, right. Of course, this one comes again with your own pattern. Uh, well, of course, it's by Angie, and you can see there. I love that you are getting the instructions from our instructor here. This has two patterns in it as well, oh. so two different designs. Let's have a look at this one. So, oh, I'll open in the second page, and you can see that. Oh, this is this can be quite complex. Complex. I love that one as well. So absolutely incredible in here. You, we can see them here, and of course the step by step instructions. And of course you are getting all the different, uh, you know, all the different plates. Now, sorry, Tim. No, they are not plates, Paula. They are. And rulers uh, and of course you have got in here the set for the um, you have got the one two three is it five as well so yeah yeah five of those gorgeous clematis um, into the high shank the details bottom of the screen 95 pounds and 99 pence now we want to see them in action so because they look like a spade but when you uh, use them then they look completely different yeah when you overlap them so um, this is the first project I stitched with um, the spin effects 15 and I was making this case actually to hold my to, to hold my rulers in um, my you know a 12 inch square and um, I stitched this pattern out and I was about to write it up and I right. thought what a waste for it to just be on a ruler case you know this, yeah. this pattern it would be nice to use on other things and so that was where really the um, the idea of these little patterns that can be multiplied up for bigger patterns um, came about this is actually um, so this has been done with reverse applique um, which is why it's showing all the all the fact that there's two layers of top fabric and and one's been cut away um, this is how the quilt this is the second pattern in the um, you get two designs in this pattern yeah. with um, clematis and so this is the one pattern with these lovely uh, flourishes and this is um, the same design but cut away so again you can emphasize different parts of the template
That is um, gorgeous. But yeah, you get these. Th this is kind of, this is the template shape here as a yeah, whole. Is, you can it, see the space. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. But when they overlap, you're getting all yeah. these lovely other shapes oh, coming in. So really lovely, really curvy kind of um, design. Before I stitch out um, spin effects number 15, I just want, you mentioned uh, part of the echo guides, yeah. um, and they're these little feet um, that you can add to your ruler foot, basically. Right. Uh, and they um, would work particularly well with some templates, not all of them, but certainly, uh, um, you know, a good majority of them. You can see that if I were to add, I could add, you know, there's this half inch, um, three quarters of an inch or an inch, so I can pop this onto my foot it's got a little groove at the back again so if I was adding this um, without breaking my threads that would work as well because it's got a little groove that I can just lift the foot and pop this on um, and you can see that then I would be able to stitch okay. out this yeah. is the nine and a half inch um, dahlia that I would be able to now stitch this out but with a bigger wider foot oh, on I see. Yeah. and it would give me um, a smaller sized um, perhaps an in-between size oh of course you know so you've got the five sizes in the template um, Plus set, the inside but yeah. this would give you um, a half inch smaller mm -hmm. again so if you go for the echo which gives you one uh, quarter of uh, three quarters and half an inch Plus the five sizes, so you would have actually 15, di 15 different sizes? Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah, because three times five. Yes. That yeah. would be 15. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm thinking, yes. I mean, don't quote me on that. In my mind, so yeah. But you can also use them, like, like I say, on lots of different templates. Um, yeah. So they're, they're really nice little um, an accessory, and like you say, a, a little affordable accessory there. They're, they're lovely. So um, this is the um, Spin Effects 15, if I get it the right way up. Again, I've got my grip tape on the reverse side, and we've got some nice guidelines that we can line everything up. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to, well, we, we're going to start here and stitch around the shape, just as before. I've got some um, guides already marked here. Just before I do that, let me show you, um, we have the mini set. So. Um, this is particularly useful for certain shapes. So this is the mini crosshair set. So this is an alternative to the big 12 inch one that okay. we just looked at. Yeah. And um, this is actually um, giving you different alternatives. So you can't draw, so this is the eight point. So it's the same as the 12 inch one, but a little four and a half inch one. Um, so you can draw eight, 45 degree angles just as before and what you would do here is if you've drawn those to just to that length then you would take your normal patchwork ruler and then you would oh, extend the line yeah so they're nice and portable um, but a little bit more work obviously because sometimes you would have to extend the line but sometimes you're working in small corners yeah. of a quilt or on a you know a little part of a block That's so you don't nice. always need to mark huge crosshairs uh, and the beauty of this is that you're getting three different ones so you get a six point which these yeah. are all 60 degree and the five point which is 72 degrees and a simple petal like the dahlia if you stitch uh, five rotations of a petal it can look quite different to an eight pointed petal it can look like a completely different pattern so again extending the um, yeah, the, the creativity of your yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, perfect uh, thank you so much for explaining them so well of course the details now on the left hand side of the screen again you don't need to know what uh, sort of uh, shank your machine has uh, this will, will be universal 31 pounds and 49 pence for all three of them the five the six and the eight point mini crosshair uh, ruler set uh, if you want yours, one, two, three, four, four, five. What a lovely number, item number. <laughs> <Anyway>. <laughs> Right, did you check out your baskets, of course, if you wanted us also the echo and the last uh, crosshair. Uh, back to you, Angie. Okay, so we'll have a look at this shape. So this is working in, um, you know, very similar way. All the spin effects work in a very similar way. That's why they're, they're really popular because they're just so easy. So this is a little bit more curvy. So sometimes, you know, the, the angles are a little bit sharper. Here we have a nice smooth curve, so we can sort of get going with that. Um, and then this is stop at the point, give you a nice sharp point, come down this soft curve. And then this is a quite a sharp bend here around this corner, so we just take it nice and steady. 
when you first new to ruler work sometimes you can drift inwards off the template um, so yeah it's just keeping that contact with the template but that's a very you know um, a usual thing that can happen so really don't worry about it So I've pivoted it round and I'm stitching now to the other corner guideline. The, the easy glider makes all the difference as well, it it doesn't does, it? It really does help. You can see here where I've stitched one to this corner, yeah. and stitching this other 45 degree, and where we have the widest part of the template, they're just kissing mm. and making this inner oh, petal. Yeah. So they're making this inner petal shape. So I'll stitch four because on my... Um, on my big uh, clematis design there it's quite there's quite a lot going on there so if i stitch four so that you can see a bit more simplified but i just this is such a beautiful shape uh, very unusual very unusual shape just gorgeous and they're so accurate um, they're so beautifully made and so accurate the templates the reason that we have different um, thicknesses, the high and low shank, of course, you can see how with these templates, they have to pivot around the back of the foot and there is more room at the back of a high shank ah, uh, to, to rotate. Yeah, to rotate, to rotate yeah. So, um, you know, you have to have this gap here. If you put a template that's too thick, um, then it will crash into, a, you know, there's, there's less gap on, on a low shank machine. So that's why the templates are slightly um, thinner. Perfect. Um, I just love the, the, it feels so smooth and because with quilting a lot of the times so we're going to think, you know, oh, it has to be just with using a walking foot or something like that. But these foods are designed especially to quilt and use the rulers, right? Yes, that's right. And it's, um, I call it civilized quilting because most mm -hmm. people when they're free motion quilting are gritting their teeth and yeah. stressed and uh, hanging on for dear life, holding their breath until they get to the end of a, you know, a pattern. Um, and I just find it, you know, it's, well, you can see it's, it's really, really quite a pleasure. I'm just taking this out so you can see what's happened when I've stitched these four over the top of each other. Can you see, now I can, you can see the shape if I put this over the top. Um, so there you can see the single oh. shape. Right. But when I stitch them together, yes. just four of them, yeah. then we've got this lovely um, inner, inner petal design petal. happening. I love that, yeah. Um, and as you can see, if I was to stitch um, more of them, this is eight. So here's this one coming here, and then it makes, obviely, um, like more uh, secondary patterns yeah. inside. That's gorgeous. And this is, of course, the pattern that is included with the, uh, the rulers, but yes. that's one a pattern. I mean, once that we get confident, we could expand it. We could. Absolutely, and you could use these um, in a border. You don't have to use them in a spin effects. Um, I could stitch this around and then pivot the template and stitch another one going along in a line. Oh, so, you know, you can, there's endless possibilities with it them. Is, Absolutely. Oh, this is fabulous. Thank you so much, Angie, for showing uh, the Clematis booklet uh, with, of course, the Clematis uh, rulers. Now, if you have got a low shank uh, machine, uh, the details of the left hand side of the screen, high shank at the bottom. 164994 for the low shank, 95 pounds and 99 pence with a saving of 10 pounds and 50 pence. Yours, of course, you can flexify it into two payments of 48 pounds. The same applies to the high shank. The different item number is 471810 for the high shank. Now, the final of brand new uh, template uh, that, or template pattern and rulers that we have got here, of course, is the leaf, the feathered leaf that we are looking at. Again, left hand side for the high sh uh, low shank, bottom of the screen for the high shank. And again, you have got a nine pounds and 50, uh, 50 pence saving here. We with that glorious patterns that you are getting. And I love the fact that they are so kind of a step by step. So you are not gonna be lost at all and how to follow the rules and else, how to follow the visual guidance in here. I, I love that you have got also text so you can follow that if it's your preferred way of following uh, templates. 
you also get in all five sizes and of course the anti-slip tape as well as the pen in there now uh, if you want your high shank the details at the bottom of the screen for the feathered leaf there uh, now of course Angie you are ready for the leaf uh, yes, yes I think so. yeah. <laughs> yeah I think so uh, with the feathered leaf um, template um, these are the newest oh. uh, patterns actually the feathered oh, leaf so People will have come across traditional feathers and Leone designed this feather leaf shape with this slight kink in it. Yeah. Um, and it's a bit, uh, it's a bit, it's a bit art deco, it's a bit, you know, it's a bit art nouveau, it's a bit, um, a bit more contemporary than the traditional feathers, but it's also very organic um, and very forgiving, so you can use it in lots of different ways. Um, and this feathered, uh, there's also lots of feathered leaf templates, so there are normal feathered leaf templates that are designed to work like this pattern in a border um, and, and in this kind of um, design and um, these are the spin effects of the feathered of the, of the, the feathered leaf version and in my pattern um, the pattern actually um, shows you how to make the pattern I've just shown you stitched but then depending on if you own different templates, different feathered leaf templates, like the spin effects we're just showing. Um, what I'm showing you here is this is um, what it's supposed to, th this inner, pa inner pattern okay, right yeah. there. I think it, I don't know if you can see yeah, it a bit closer. Yeah, we can closer. see it, yeah. We can, yeah, so yeah. you can see that inner kind of windmill idea in the oh, centre of there. You know what, last sock looks like, well, yeah, like a windmill, but also kind of thinking like a dandelion flow blowing. You yes. know, kind of that sense of, uh, or, 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 you know, there's so many... See also like um, yeah. you know Turkish um, scimitar uh, the, the the sword is it that oh, also okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, so the spin effects the pattern um, as I say it shows you how to stitch out this design but then it's got alternatives if you own further templates to um, change up the design in the middle so. Um, yeah, if you yeah. could already own feathered leaf templates, but you might want to have a look at the spin effects yeah. version. So, um, yeah, I just thought I'd show you how that works. So, again, it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of like facing one way, isn't it, this one? Um, so, what we can do, I'm just going to line it up again. Um, these stitch out, again, as a spin effects round, just like we've stitched the other ones but we can actually flip this template over and stitch it going the other way as well. Ooh, look at that. So if I've stitched one that way, let me take, uh, let me stitch a couple more uh, before we take it out. Um, for you. Again, this is, um, this is a nice shape to stitch. If you're relatively could new. You, with this template, could you do once that you have done the outline, could you do like crisscrossing inside it oh, or do free motion embroidery as absolutely. well? Absolutely. I mean, um, some people that, um, you know, are very, very comfortable with free motion, myself included, when, when I first came to templates, um, my speciality was free motion embroidery. So I could draw with stitch, but um, if I wanted to hit like a two inch circle or this, this exact shape over and over again. There's no way that you know I could do that. So I think that's the beauty of the yeah. template. So you can use this as a structure um, to your quilting, and then by all means continue to free motion with the foot. Um, don't have to change the foot. You can do normal free motion embellishment with the ruler foot. And in fact, some people prefer it to a free motion foot because it doesn't bounce. Yeah, it's um, true. I, and also what I think is, is the fact that you have got like a, the regularity, the similarity, the, the symmetry that you can achieve if you want it to. That's right. And, and it, um, it's less distracting, I yeah. think, than a free motion foot. So I'm going to take this out and I'm just going to flip it over. Ideally, I would um, yeah. put some stable tape on the other side as well. <laughs> oh, I see. You know, but um, obviously I haven't for this... Uh, just yes. for this purpose, yeah. but if I was doing this on a quilt, I would so put some more stable tape on the reverse. I often flip templates. Ah, I see. Because that, then it gives you a mirror image, because it's not symmetrical, is it, this one? No, exactly. So we're going to stitch the mirror image just alongside each one of these that I've stitched. And it creates, uh, again, a lovely pattern. Each of the templates do come with, obviously, suggestions 
inside the packet of what to do with these, um, with, with the template itself. They'll give you some ideas and there's lots of um, education online as well. So, Perfect. so we, we will not be lost at all? Oh, no, no, absolutely not. Lots of support groups, lots of um, educational videos. Leone's, there's loads of um, free, free tutorials from Leone as well. That's still out there. So I can pivot this round. This makes a really fun shape. I, I have to say, I mean, I'm a little bit quiet at this hour because I find a quilting, generally speaking, incredibly soothing. But I think the rule of work is even even more so because I just see you not a struggling with the fabric, not a struggling f trying to find a pattern. And I think that is uh, the best advertising for the Westerly uh, templates and, of course, the patterns because we want to enjoy and relax our crafts and we want to enjoy creating beautiful things and that soothing effect of uh, that is happening on me i'm sure it has at you at home the uh, you know the fact that you can rely on these templates that you can turn them around so you have got the you know the mirror image the fact that once that you have got the starter kit and the low shank or high shank depending on your uh, you know uh, your sewing machine that means that you have got the starting point of you know, creating the most amazing quilting patterns. If you are thinking, well, I'm not that creative, I need the pat like the templates, the patterns, Angie has provided that for you in here. Uh, whichever bundle you go for, not only you're getting the rulers, the, the templates, but you are actually getting the pattern by Angie herself. Now, remember that the only thing that you need to know is whether your uh, uh, machine is low shank or a high shank. And of course, if it's a low shank, the left hand side of the screen, uh, low shank bottom, uh, high shank at the bottom of the screen in different item numbers uh, but there it is you can see them there uh, we have had a question uh, from uh, from another Angie uh, that is can any machine do free motion sewing with the right foot or must it be a feature of the machine I hope that doesn't sound silly no not at all um, yes any any machine um, that's that it doesn't have to have fancy stitches all you're using is straight stitch even if you don't have um, we say we talk about dropping the feed dogs yeah. um, so the feed dogs that generally push your fabric through in a straight line if you've got a machine that you can't drop those it's really not a problem either so you can just turn your stitch length to zero so that the um, the machine isn't trying to pull the fabric through um, so change your stitch length to zero, leave the feed dogs up and, and you're away. Um, as like you say, as long as you've got the correct foot. Uh, which, for, is for room, yeah. Yeah, which is important. Yeah, which is important. If you don't know what machine, uh, what um, food you need, uh, give us a call at the call center. They have got the list of which ones. I mean, I think. Well, I mean, not. I'm pretty sure that they have got hundreds and hundreds of models and manufacturers there. So if you don't know, uh, also sometimes you know what I do is like research the machine that I have got online, and they usually tell you as well. But of course, we have got the call center with that list. Uh, now, of course, uh, thank you so much, Angie, for that question. I hope they has. Answered. Any other questions? Studio at the craft store dot com will be the the uh, right email address. Uh, five seven six zero two one. Of course, is for the uh, feather leaf hello shine. Now, Angie, I think there is more demos that you want to show us, isn't? It? Well, I just wanted to show you oh, what happened. When, uh, I've ta taken it out of the machine now, <gasps> so that we can oh, see. Oh, that's beautiful! Um, so you, when we had the single shape, yeah, and then we flipped it so it's mirroring and it's created this um, love lovely that. secondary pattern. And again, that was only four of each, so you can see how how, how um, complex it goes. When that yeah. is beautiful, and I'm kind of thinking also having the other patterns that you have done during this hour, um, the fact that you can mix so much as well the different yeah. templates so you can build your own collection i mean i see all three and wouldn't that be beautiful over like all these flowers and then oh i had an idea i don't know if it's possible but you know those fab uh, fabric markers or fabric paints and um, if if we like to paint we could we paint on top of absolutely it? so instead of reverse it like yeah. the reverse applique um, but you're pulling out certain certain areas yeah you could quite easily um you know do this on a cream yeah. or a white you know yeah. a pale fabric Perfect. and paint the different uh, elements for sure fab 
fabulous. Uh, by the way, what is also fabulous is that we have got some fabric paints. I didn't know that. Uh, but I actually genuinely did not know that we have got them as seven day savers. And of course, that's the Dylon, of course, renowned for their fabric paints and dyes. And you have got the set there of 10 of them, including, of course, the metallic bronze there. 9.99 is the price for all 10 of them. 26, pa uh, 26 pounds. That's the saving, which is massive. It's more that was more like two thirds off the price that you're saving. And remember, you can pop that into your flexi basket and split the cost of, uh, of that 9.99 into two interest-free payments should you wish to do that. And of course, seven day savers, they launch tomorrow at 8 a.m. because tomorrow is Sunday. So this is kind of the last chance to get them. Uh, now, we also have got the Trimit's um, Christmas sewing bundle, the advent calendar kits, the cross stage cards, and the cross stage kit and felt decoration. Uh, 16 pounds and 44 pence is your price. Five pounds and sixty pence is your saving. Remember, this one savings are here for less than twenty-four hours. In fact, actually, what about? Um, I'm not going to calculate it. About thirteen hours or something like that left. Uh, so, oh, 30, no. Uh, 18 hours left. Uh, so make sure to check out your baskets right now and you, you know that you're getting a bargain. Angie, uh, I know that you have got something else for us. Yes, and I've just messed up my tape trying Ooh. to get it up. I just wanted to show you that all of these um, spin effects te templates also have, I'm going to do another demo in a second, um, perhaps showing you how to do it on a border. Um, but all of the spin effects templates, um, as well as this gate, you might have noticed that they've got a little pinhole. Um, in this oh, yes. um, gate as well and um, this is so that you can up until now we've stitched all of these um, pivoting right from the here same, yeah. from inside the template but um, you can actually oh, um, they, will, they will all come with you've, you've got them there are some little um, drawing pins uh, in a packet so they will come with um, two little drawing pins the spin effects and they are just regular pin tacks just drawing pins and um, you're able to, uh, I'm just looking for one in my, can't find one yeah, in my box. So of course yeah, they there, we, there I have one. So basically you're able to pop a pin up through your quilt sandwich. Ah, okay. Yeah. And then you would pop the template, the hole, um, the pinhole over that. And then this would pivot. Oh. So what this is creating, instead of the flower being stitched right from the very center, it's creating a gap in the middle because your stitching isn't going to meet um, and I just wanted to show you in my instructions in the dahlia instructions th what this is to enable it that for you to do is to have that gap or for you to stitch it around a two inch circle um, so we can see that if I if I do that because I know that the I think that's better for close up so along the top here uh, yes the top yeah yeah so along the top can you see you've got all the different sizes stitched around a two inch circle and how different they look they look amazing because of the yeah. rotations um, but because uh, obviously when the templates get bigger or smaller how much they overlap I've just got them in faint um, if you put more rotations over them what happens yeah. but it changes the design again doesn't it by putting that gap in the middle yeah. So. And of course, if you uh, if you use the echo uh, guides, so you would have three more sizes of it as well. Yes. Oh. Yeah, absolutely. But they wouldn't. Yeah, they'd be even wider, the wouldn't way. they? Yeah. Because they wouldn't come as close to the center either. Of course. Oh, that's so. uh, all the, the possibilities yeah. if you invest, <laughs> of course, in the system by Westerly. Remember that this is a kind of a model system that you can build it up as it goes along. All you need is the start the kit, and of course, you need to know whether it's a high shank or low shank or medium shank or a high special shank. But the most most of machines are either low or a high shank. And if you are wondering, give us a call at the call center and we will sort uh, which well we will try to figure out which machine you have got uh, by model and manufacturer and then try uh, which one uh, of the rulers you need uh, now of course you are using back Angel Angie the, uh, um, is the the dahlia back right? with the dahlia for now yes um, w one indication most regular sized sewing machines so if, unless you've got a wider throated machine if you've got a standard sized machine uh, it's most likely to be low shank uh, one way you can check is where in the lowered position um, the shank of your machine where the screw hole is holding your foot on if that screw hole it, when the shank is lowered is about um, half an inch 
from the bed of the machine, then it will most likely be low shank. If the screw hole is more like an inch away, then it's more yeah. likely to be high shank. Yeah. So that's a, a, a little a indi a measure yeah. that you can do yourself. I have time to do a little one last demo. Yes, yeah? uh, you have, we have about <laughs> ten minutes. Of, okay. Well, actually eight minutes. But, you know. <laughs> So I'm just going to have a look at using the, um, the dahlia, not as a spin effect, so we're going to use it on a border and see what that might look like. So I'm just going to stitch, just to show, you know, they can be really versatile if you think that, oh, you know, well, oh, you might get a little bit bored of them, just stitching them in circles. So when I stitch back up to here now, obviously we don't want to be there if we're travelling. So what I'm going to do is go one and a half times round again. So they make backtracking over the top of your stitching really, really easy, which I know a lot of people struggle with that. Right. And then I'm going to pivot it. Because this um, template is not the same each end, we've got a, a fatter end and a pointy yeah. end. I'm just pivoting it round so that it's almost like, like a bow tie almost kind of shape. And, then, and I'm going to come back down this side with the, my double stitching. So when you're double stitching, a little tip is to swap sides. So this ah. I double stitch this side yep. and then this side. So it's not all on the same side. Right. And then so your eye doesn't... Yeah, travels um, has got yep. that on the lesson. Is there my... a particular type of thread that we should be more... Um, Considering using better or no, you just you use whatever thread that you love to use for your projects, and that can be different for different types of projects, can't it? So, yeah. if you've got um, a real sort of heirloom quilt, you know that right, you, yeah. you might want a particular type of thread. Um, I particularly love using um, a, a, a polyester yeah. um, thread called Glide. A forty weight yeah. is great for quilting. Um, I just love the definition it gives, mm -hmm. but I know a lot of people. Uh, we'll also love using, you know, 100% cotton, um, you know, for very sort of traditional, more traditional quilts. Of course, yeah, some people are very much curious, but yeah. I think that it, uh, sometimes, like, for instance, my machine loves uh, polyester, uh, you know, the high, and the, I heard that uh, nowadays it's so much better quality. Absolutely, you know? absolutely. And it feels like cotton, like, you, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference, obviously, I'm not an expert, but, you know, it's... well. It, also, the, um, if you send your quilts away, which, um, you know, this is saving you from having yeah. to do that, but um, the glide thread that I use um, is used by a lot of long arm oh, quilters. Um, they love it because it doesn't give off a lot of lint. Yeah. It's designed, um, it's a trilobal thread, so it's designed to yeah. um, retain its tension as it moves through the machine. So it's really, really um, designed for free motion quilting, really. Okay. So there I've just done this little um, this little pattern okay, yeah. in a straight line, you can see. So you could use this down a border. And I just had a little play there and embellished the... Oh, I see. <laughs> that is just... I okay. love that. I love that. Thank you, uh, Angie. Okay. I know that you have a very busy uh, evening, but because you are doing the one-day special. So we I are am. thanking you very much. Thank you for showing the Westerly You're templates. You're very welcome. Uh, and we will let you go and set, uh, set the, for the one-day special. Angie is amazing. Uh, she not only designs and demonstrates the gorgeous Westerly but she's gonna show the one day special at 6 p.m. but do not forget that you can of course uh, get these amazing Westerly uh, beautiful templates now here is the spinet flex uh, the number 210 which the bundle includes the long shank uh, dahlia uh, of course the booklet with the template by or the pattern by uh, Angie and of course those templates here those rulers uh, for your machine now, I love the attention to detail, the fact that this comes off so you can uh, save that thread because then you can slide it in uh, with uh, your foot and of course you don't have to cut the thread. You have got even the pin in here, pin hole here, so you can put the pin in and rotate and even have more possibilities. Now you have got all five templates, all five different sizes included in this kit. Now if you have got a low shank uh, machine, you what you need is the 
item number left hand side of the screen 685428 and of course you have got the nine pounds and fifty pence saving which you can split into interest free payments the same applies to the uh, Hai Shang the details at the bottom of the screen uh, of course the fly away and uh, they're coming back yeah they're bringing back Kate is bringing them back so that's all right sometimes I'm so slow this is the thing so I'm very slow and she's very fast uh, oh shall I do like uh, and of course that's the low shank in there and of course the high shank at the bottom uh, now 417 of 145 is your item number now that is of course for the Dahlia but we or Dahlia Dahlia is the Spanish pronunciation just in case you're wondering where I go and then of course we have got the Clematis annex uh, and of course we have got uh, the Clematis I think it's Clematis is it Clematis 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 probably I will I will trust the director he apparently is in it has been what do you said it was a, like you can teach English to foreigners so uh, that's a, you know it's kind of that's what he said uh, so that would probably uh, and of course you can see the low shank Clematis Clematis uh, you can see here uh, the you are getting all five of those templates in here with of course the anti slit and um, anti slip uh, kind of tape and of course the pattern in here now of course you can see that here that you have got the patterns by Angie herself so absolutely gorgeous templates uh, patterns that you can follow step by step with the diagram as well as those words in here right and of course you can split the cost in two interest-free payments of 48 pounds saving 10 pounds and 50 pence and of course you can pay one off payment with that saving is still there uh, 164 and 994 is your item number then moving down to the next bundle uh, of course this is the feathered leaf uh, bundle that we are looking at and here again you include the well the low shank left hand side of the screen I know I'm repeating uh, m very much at this hour but just want to make it very clear that the high shank m for uh, is details bottom of the screen now if you want to go for the feathered leaf of course the feather leaf design I may have been you may have seen it before but this is the first line that comes in with this pattern that is a br brand new from uh, Angie there 94 pounds and 99 pence one of payment or you can split the cost as well into two interest-free payments details for the low shank five seven six zero two one is your item number if you want to have the high shine is that seven zero two six two eight is your item number now of course do you need to check out your baskets if you want to have the most beautiful templates and patterns for your quilting and of course you will find them all on the website thecraftstore.com which is also the easiest and fastest way to check out your baskets and there they are all of them and they are there the clematis and of course you have got the feather shank as well and all those different possibilities remember that once you open a flexi basket then you can add other elements into there right remember to check out your baskets but stay tuned because Angie is a very busy lady after the break she's launching the one day special with Fiona so check out your baskets stay tuned for more And it is so crafty one day special after the break with Angie and Fiona then the festival of Japan of course Jill is back and then so crafty at eight one day special Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and I'm really excited to be working with you guys here at the craft store We've been here since the very beginning and hopefully we'll continue to bring you lots of new and exciting soft craft projects. We've got everything from things like our Fabazine, which contains 12 different projects that you can do either in one go or split them up separately. Um, and that's a journey through all types of different soft crafting. And then we've got things that are really specific like our stitchery, which is a journey through all kinds of embroidery as well. So make sure you join me and craft yourself silly here at the craft store. Have you heard of freedom? 
Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selective Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom Members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi, I'm Catherine and I'm the guest presenter for Zuri Designs. Zuri Designs are based in America and they bring to us their exceptional quality silicon moulds. Zuri Design moulds are used in all areas of crafting, not just for your clays and your resins, but also their food grade silicon as well, so used for your cake decorating designs. Zuri excel on the detail in their moulds and the designs range from animals through to fantasy and much further beyond. If you watch the Zuri shows, I will share with you lots of hints and tips. I will show you how to use different mediums, ranging from your clays and your resins through to things like even your hot glue. So make sure you don't miss the Zuri shows. Oh, we have a lovely one day special for you now. You are looking at a set of stunning sew craft, 100% cotton, um, beautiful, beautiful materials. We've got the teak. We've got the glitter effect. Um, these are a meter in length. We've got half meters on the show. We've got five inch squares. Absolutely stunning. So crafty. Sorry, forgive me. I said so craft. Uh, yeah, this is our one day special. You have already been shopping ahead for our one day special. Well done, you. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to say a big hello to our lovely Angie. She's multitasking tonight. She's just been showing us the wonderful uh, rulers. Hello, my darling. Good evening. Evening. Uh, we've never worked together, have we? We haven't, no. Oh, I'm looking First forward time. to this. Yeah, I know, absolutely. Um, are you still setting up, Angie? Or? I am a little she bit, so yeah. Big, I'm big, a big shift with the big machine. Oh, well, so. yeah, the big machine it is too. <laughs> Remember to put my feed dogs up. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll go through everything with the so crafty yeah. materials and then we'll come back to you for a yeah. more in-depth look. Super. Gorgeous. Notice those quilts behind Angie's shoulders. Yeah, this lovely Christmas quilt here. Uh, these are all going to be fantastic. Um, uh, demonstrations from Angie and they are using these stunning glitter effect and um, batik materials. Now my first section is the earthy section. So this is uh, one choice because you're getting six meters. So as you can see they've been well put together in their collective colorways. So you've got that gorgeous gorgeous almost like um, a mustard okra kind of color then we move to a beautiful turquoise batik i've got to say these batiks they're so soft to the touch they're really quite exquisite sometimes batiks can feel quite stiff does that make sense with almost like there's a bit of the wax residue kind of left there but these these are so beautiful 100 percent cotton then we move to a lovely midnight sky look at that isn't that gorgeous but you can see how it kind of gives that glittery effect it's almost like the galaxy isn't it looking through a telescope then from the turquoise because it is different you've got these pretty pretty navies sky blues in there pretty pinks in there as well then we're moving to a gorgeous green a real emerald green followed with the batik green to follow and that also has some very gentle shades of you could describe it as almost like a very soft um, autumnal brown in there. You could, you could actually match that with peach or even a pink tone. So that is our earthy tones. Yeah, we're going to move to rusty now. Um, so again, raspberries, um, sort of Tuscan sunset colours, really beautiful. Look at that autumnal colours beautiful jewel rich colors so that's a that's a really pretty purple a real pinky purple you can actually see the different tonality in there you know darker and then the lighter purples and then again this sort of glitter effect how pretty is that with that batik isn't that beautiful i don't know you've got the gold you've got little flecks of green in there lovely lavender and sorry my hands right in the way lovely lavenders and lilacs and, and almost like an indigo blue there then we move into our gorgeous like a plum plum red isn't it um the burger yeah claret red yeah that's exactly it moles a claret red yeah that's absolutely gorgeous and then we get that in the batik but with our 
flashes of neon raspberries, yeah. You know when you make heat and mess? Oof. So remind me, there's lovely reds and raspberries in there. And that ties in beautifully as well. Now this is more the rusty kind of colour, but that really shows up that starry aspect there, doesn't it? And then, ah, oh, autumn personified in a material. How pretty. The pop of the turquoise there. Mint, actually, it's a mint, isn't it? And those, I just love that layering up of the colours. It's like fire embers, isn't it? So there are rusties, I know. Now we're going to move to the midnights. Now, this is what this beautiful quilt here is made out of. I think um, Angie's going to be doing this tomorrow because she's well, obviously with us for all the one-day special spe sessions. But if you love these, this colourway, and she will be demonstrating it with one of the special rulers, you want your midnight one-day special. Every one of these is a metre. The lovely dark navy blue followed by, oh my word, the charcoal greys, the peaches, the fire colours in there, and then those indigo purples. The silvery, now this is a different grey, this is a lighter dove grey. Your other one was more of a, I wouldn't say black, because it almost has a kind of granite effect to it. This is um, a much lighter, lighter grey. And then, see how that ties in? Oh, this is possibly one of my favourites, I love these colours. Um, peacock colours, aren't they? A little bit of purple, a little bit of violet blue. Ice blue, just gorgeous, which ties in beautifully with the purple glitter and then the purple batik, again, with those autumnal fiery colours. Just gorgeous. So they're your midnight ones. Midnight is in the lead. I know, it's hard. It's so hard. They're all so darn gorgeous, aren't they? You're getting... So each colourway has six metres because you get a metre of each of those. Let's hold, let's hold out a metre bolt just so you can see just how much you are getting in this one day special. Two flexi buy payments of £23.97, saving £24. And look at the gorgeousness. Oh my word, I'll try and. Oh, get a load of that. Huge amount. Huge amount, isn't it? That's massive, isn't it? 50 inches wide. Sorry, 60. 60 inches wide. Oh my word, that's, and that's, you, that's what you're getting six of. And remember, 100% cotton. They're just so utterly, utterly divine and gorgeous. How could you resist? Um, oof, let me try and put that there then. Terribly unneat. This is why I'm not a floor manager. 10% um, of the midnight has already gone. 10% of the midnight has already gone, everybody. Now, if you love these fabrics, but... You want to make your own choices and you want half meters. I've got to pick a mix for you. So I've got them in the glitters and I've got them in the batiks. Okay, so you pick any two for 11 99 and you can pick more than that, obviously. Five, three, six, six, seven, five. So I've got them all in the glitters and I've got a few more, maybe batiks. Yes, I think I'll cut a few more colorways in the batiks. So let's have a look at the, you're choosing from the glitters and the batiks. You can go all batik, you can go all glitter. So colors, do, we, do they have names? Okay, here we go, folks. Eyes down. Burnt orange. Burgundy. Hotty pink. Light grey. Royal. That, we'll come to the royal now. Bear with, bear with. That's our royal. So that is our light grey. That is, where's my thing? Royal. Yeah? Navy. Grey. The other one's light grey. That's the grey, the darker charcoal one. Aqua, you can see. That is, that is so pretty, isn't it? I love this glitter effect. Moving, I think I called it sort of okra and mustard, but this is actually called gold. It's like old gold and new gold mixed together. And green, well, that's an emerald green if ever there was one. Now we're gonna to move to the batiks, everybody. Um, same item number, but different colors. So this one is called, well, there we go. No idea, deep blue and red. I'm hard pushed to find where the deep blue is on that, but um, sometimes you just gotta go no. Maybe we'll look at these online. But for instance, can I just say, uh, that's in my, my Rusties. That's the red batik, definitely the red batik. Black and, um, that's, I'd say that's black and gold. This is purple and gold. Oh, aubergine and gold. Amber. That's an easy one for me. This is pretty, I love this one. Black and purple. Deep purple. So this is a darker purple too. The aubergine is pinkier. I, this is my favorite. This is, this is the peacock. This is light blue and lilac. I love that one, that's my fave. 
earthy green, okay, deep blue and, well, that's gold. And then I've got my, I've got sort of turquoise and gold. I'm not sure what that one's called. And then I've got my deep blue and red. Bear with us, folks. It's all on the website. It's all on the website. Um, two half metres of the glitters and those gorgeous boutiques there for 11 536 Angie is ready. I've got five inch squares in those colourways and we will be going to those in a bit. But I think she's ready now. Angie, are you good to go, my darling? I am. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Switching my brain back into um, piecing mode after quilting. Yeah, I'm all good. Um, so, um, so, so what, do you, what do you love about these uh, beautiful, beautiful um, materials, Angie? Uh, well, yeah, I met, uh, heard you mention straight away how soft they are. Yes, aren't they just? So they have a totally different drape yeah. to a batik, like yeah, you they were do. saying. There's none of that crusty, well, not crusty, waxy kind of the stiffness. stiffness. Yeah. That's right. So it's because they're not a true batik, so okay. they haven't been through that process okay. of, or, of the wax and you the never processing. Know, it looks identical to it's, the so place. it's printed so the oh. pattern has been printed onto the fabric Clever. and so that's why you don't have any residue from oh. the sizing and the and the um the wax and things. wow and, and that's precisely uh, what i was going to say for those of you i know there's probably tons of people out there that have um, bought fabrics from so crafty before yeah um, because i've worked with their fabulous african wax prints and their solids yeah which are lovely but they have a real stiffness to them yeah almost like they've been pre-starched yes you know? that's it pre-starched um, yeah so these are very soft and um so i think they would also i mean i've i'm working with them in a quilting um um way um over the weekend but they would i that they're definitely working lots of different, um, you know, for lots of different textiles, even um, dressmaking, because yeah. they have such a lovely drape. Oh, they do, don't they? Yeah, yeah they really beautiful. lovely. And, and they just spoke nature to me, but like of all the seasons, actually. Because, yes, you really have. Um, yeah, the, the colours, the purples and pinks can be used either um, in winter or in spring, mm. and then you've got the lovely autumn colours, like you say. Yeah. Then, yeah, and those really glitters are very unusual, very different. I've not seen material like that before. I love no, those. No, and I know when um, so crafty was, you know, weeks ago now when we were speaking about bringing them to yeah. air, and I said, "Oh, can you send me some samples, please, of this glitter fabric?" Yes, because it conjures up all sorts, doesn't it? <laughs> you know, you're just thinking, is it going to be like super um, scratchy or um, difficult to work with? But again, the the, the effect, the effect is printed yeah. onto the fabric. Very so, clever. So they're great to work with. Yeah, yeah. They really are. That's your picnics. Getting very busy for that one. 11 99 535. I'm going to move to the five inch squares now while Angie's with me. Um, so we've got my top three are, are basically a replica of the one day special. So if you look at the top here, you're getting like a little bite sized look at the Earthy Colours collection. Then my Rusties, then my Midnights. So of these, these, oh, let me just pick up one here, the five inch squares. Um, you get 42. 42. So you're getting um, seven of each, because I'm just thinking the six different items, so six times seven, there we go. So seven of those um, gorgeous, so that's, this is, this is me, me lovely earthy tones here at the top. So they move into the turquoise there, and then we move into our glitters that have been accompanying them in the one day special, into the greens, into what was called the gold as well. So they are my earthy, so you get, um, Six of the different materials there, and you're getting seven of each of those five-inch squares. Then we move to the beautiful jewel-rich colours. I know they're called rusty, but I'm going to call them. I'm going to rename them the jewel-rich colours. There's your lovely um, pinks and reds into those. That's that one is called the aubergine. If you're looking for that one in the pick and mix, that's the gold amber. Yeah, that. I mean that. That. Let me just grab this beauty out of here. Look at that with the mint. Isn't that, that's, that's awesome, personified. I love now that Angie's just told me that that is printed. That looks like fallen leaves that you crunch under your feet, doesn't it? Isn't that beautiful? And then we move into our lovely glitter effect. Got a lovely raspberry there. I don't think it's called that. Um, and then that one was, oh, that was my first one I did. What was that called? Burnt orange, thank you, Moles. And then that, uh, uh, well, we called it claret, but it was burgundy. That was it, made me think of wine. That's the burgundy. So they are our lovely rusty ones. Dropping down to the midnights. Oh, midnight proven very popular. Why do you think that is, Angie? What's that? Well, the midnight's proven the front runner. Oh, I don't know, actually. You said I don't know. know. I just thought maybe... Midnight swinging. It's maybe it's your lovely tree quilt. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? Maybe we're all just purple and pinkies. Um, there's our deep purple, that one. 
Oh, I know, you're all rock and roll. Rock. Um, and then my favourite, the peacock colours. Oh, that's so lovely. That's almost like... Um... A watercolour, you know. Yes, fallen rain, isn't it? Like with, like it's had water spilt on it. Yes. And, um, like you're taking the colour out of yeah, a stamp. Yeah, really lovely. And then we move to our beautiful glitter effect, um, the lovely deep purple there, that that midnight blue. Almost looks black, doesn't it? But it's midnight blue. And then our light grey. So they are the lovely, beautiful midnight tones. And then you can have the glitter effect option. Or the batik effect. So you can have all of the 42 of those in every single one of your glitter colourways there. And, uh, or you can go for every single one of all of the beautiful batik choices. So 42 five inch squares. So we've got those on the web as well. 786035999. What a bargain! Wow, that's amazing. I'm coming to the end now. We will get to our lovely Angie. Uh, I've got it in the fabric roll as well. So. Let's get them in the mode, the order they should be. Uh, earth, there's me midnight, there's me uh, rusty, and there's me earthy. Because you can see it, turquoise and greens in your earthy. Now, 22 and a half inch fabric strips. What, I mean, what would, we, what would we do with that, Angie? Oh, I shall show you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. She's going to keep you suspenders. <laughs> Just you wait and see, Fee. Just you wait and see. So they are my earthies. Then we've got our lovely rusties. You can, that's a really lovely way of seeing them, because you can kind of get a better feel yes. for the colorways does that make sense just in that proper little color wheel there and then oh my midnights oh they're all gorgeous they're all gorgeous uh choose which one you want for 14.99 let's jump on the web because we've got rulers galore as well as lovely uh, angie's earlier with westerly um extras on there as well we've got some lovely gutterman threads we've got some lovely poplin um some lovely color block fabric bundle there as well and you might be talking a bit more about that Ooh, that very very have you ever worked with cork vinyl angie i haven't actually but i've seen it's so popular it's isn't mad it? isn't it <laughs> i know i don't have time to do all this other stuff it's <laughs> incredible <laughs> stuff it's really beautiful we yeah. did it the other week with lewis and uh, I, I so crafty and i i just never come across it it's quite spectacular yeah. and then our lovely the creative grids i know angie's going to be using the the, the non-slip triangle there as well um, plenty on the web. Please shop ahead and enjoy. But we're going to concentrate on our, our lovely one-day special. So over to you, Angie. Thank so you, So we were talking Fiona. strips. I see you've got one there. Yes, I have got a strip because um, what I'm going to start with today um, is I'm going to be looking at the Hunter Star quilt that's behind oh, me. Oh, so lovely. Um, so when I was sent these fabrics, as I said, they just spoke nature to me. Um, so I really felt like I had to... All of my projects I've got coming up over the next five shows are all sort of um, a bit nature inspired, I should say. <laughs> oh, do you know what? I'm unhappy now because your lovely machine has globbed off the bottom of that lovely quilt. We need to, <laughs> we need to pin it higher. It needs to go higher. So we can see the bottom of it in all its glory because you need to see the colours. It really is, it really is beautiful. <laughs> so we're, we're going to be, um, the Hunter Star is a really popular um, quilt block. And originally, like many um, quilt blocks, actually, it would have been done by hand originally years ago. Um, and some of those blocks are more tricky to do by machine, but over time, um, you know, people find various different ways, and that there's more than one way of doing this, oh. I can tell you. Um, but basically, um, we have a star block, and then we have also a block of square of the five inch squares, as you can see here. Oh, so yeah. you can think of it as two blocks. But if we create this block here, this is quite a prominent block actually for you to see. So if we create this block here that's got two squares and then two of these kind of chevron patterns, yeah. that will actually, if you just make lots of those in lots of different combinations, they will just fit together. Because wow. that's a quarter, if you like. If you can see here, you just pivot it round. Here's another one here. Oh, yeah. And then you would have another one, four coming in to a point so you can think it of it your brain ways. if you're just looking yeah. at it you're just like what <laughs> oh yeah now i can see it so yeah. you, you some people think about just making the star block and then mm. four squares but we're going to look at making this you know this and one then quarter repeat. and then repeat oh. yeah 
Wow, it looks so complicated, <laughs> but when you break it down like that, Angie, yeah, that makes it far simpler. I love that about about patchwork that you get these secondary patterns. Yes, um, but um, yeah, because it oh. looks a pretty boring block on its own, doesn't it? You think, what on earth would that make? It but, looks so um, exciting <laughs> with all those lovely colourways and your rusties there. Yeah, Beautiful. it's really lovely. And and actually, that's one point. Actually, you don't have to have it all out of one fabric. Mm. So um, you can see up here in the corner, we've got different elements, like you say, out of the strips. Whether you've bought whether you you're buying by the metre, um, whether you're buying the five inch squares, whether you're buying the strips, uh, you can see we've got different colours used within this star and they just go beautifully together. I think they've collect, you know, the, um, they've collated a really nice um, package of colours, haven't Definitely. they? They're oh, really they're beautiful. Stunning. They work so well together. Um, so I'm, I'm going to work, as I said, you can do all of the projects that I'm going to be showing you, you can do no matter what you buy, whether you buy meterage or pre-cuts, um, oh, okay. but I'm going to talk about you know the different elements and how what if you did buy just the squares or whatever um, or just the strips how you can make it um, so we're going to start with some strips to begin with and as I said you can use two different fabrics so I've actually stitched already um, two two and a half inch strips together I've got a plain solid on this side which is the the sort of silver silver gray that I've um, thought it was quite modern with the silver gray there. Yes it is it's very much in vogue again isn't yeah. it? It's a, it's, yeah I've it's a beautiful with a, soft I mean, gray. You, you could put it with any any color mm. um, and then on this side I've just I've actually got two different type I've got a glitter one glitter and one of the batiks on there and I'm going to be making some half square triangles because the the block is basically squares and half square triangles. It's how we put them together, which is important. Um, so we think from two and a half inch strips that we can only make two and a half inch squares, but you can actually make half square triangles about up to about three, three and a quarter inches oh actually, gosh, depending that's 50. on. Yeah, so yeah. You, you know it's it's difficult. It's hard to get your head around that mm. at first. Pop my glasses on. So what we're going to do is I've already started to cut a few from this strip. To cut eight half square triangles, which you will need, you need about 19 inches uh, of length um, of fabric. And I'm going to place my, if you line, line your strip up with um, a nice straight edge on your cutting mat, just to keep you square. And if you can see now, what I'm going to do is I'm lining, the other thing that this can do is I can use my 45 degree angle on my um, ruler here just to keep me square to the base um, and so I'm going to I'm going to tidy up that edge and I'm just going to pop I'm not going to sometimes um, to do this we can this indication here where your stitching line is so I've stitched two seams a quarter of an inch from the edge this would indicate that this would make me just under two and seven eighths uh, a square but I'm not even going to look at that because I'm just going to put my tip along the edge of my stitching line there. I'm going to try and make two and three quarter inch squares. So I'm going to, that's going to be plenty for me to trim down later. And I'm just going to square that off. That's better. And then we can just flip it around and do exactly the same the other way. So I'm just realigning on this cut edge. And I've got my tip just in line with my stitches there, a quarter of an inch away. Make sure that you go through all of your layers. I think I've got the right template there, the bottom of the screen. Is it six and a half by the six and a half square That's there, right. Angie? It's really uh, yeah. handy. I went years. When I first started piecing, I went a long time with um, a, a bigger square, a nine and a half inch, I think. Okay. And the long, the big one, the 24 inches by six and a half that you, you need. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to cut some from the other end now, just so that we've got a selection. And um, I went years with those. And then, of course, when you've only got a big ruler, it's great because it does a lot. It does all the sizes. But then it's quite cumbersome sometimes. If I was doing this with a big 12-inch yeah, square... Yeah, to be turning it, to be moving it. Yeah, to... they, mm. you realise then, actually, that they can, you know, that it is worth having a little bit bigger collection of sizes um, because they can become a, a little bit cumbersome yeah. when you're doing particular jobs. So... Well, we've got that up on the screen, £14.49. Well, the bottom of the screen there, 465553. So, yeah, I really like this little six and a half inch square. Mm. And I often use this one as well, which is a four and a half by 12. Again, oh, yeah. it's not as long as the, 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 the mega long one, but, um, you know, it's uh, long enough for, long enough, but nicer to handle than a huge thing. Okay, so I've pre cut some earlier as well which I've got just here. But now that we can um, open these up, 
and um, you can press to uh, the dark side as, as a lot of people do. Yeah. I like to, um, as a lot of you will already know, controversially, I like to press open. <laughs> oh, okay. And I, um, it's because I specialise in quilting and mm -hmm. uh, I like a nice, uh, my quilt tops to be as flat as possible. Mm -hmm. And also, um, you know, I, I make a lot of my own patterns up and sometimes mm -hmm. Well, you don't have to worry about therefore which way you're pressing because it can become yeah. complicated in a in a complicated pattern like the hunter star yeah you're going to have a lot of angles coming together yeah so um make you know, life easy for yourself yeah if you make life if you press it all open then you'll know that you know you're not going to get two two going the same way so i'm just going to finger press um these open um and how many then, quilting books do you have angie Books, um, just out of interest. <laughs> I have. I don't count how many books. No, I was just talking to one of our lovely <laughs> guests the, the other case. day. <laughs> what was Sasha? Do you know how many she's got? Six hundred. <gasps> oh my word! I don't have. That's why no. I asked the question because I found out this fascinating fact about her, and I thought, I wonder if Angie's got that many. No, um, she loves. I'm just going to give these. A, them. Just going to give these a quick press. So, have you written any yourself? Um, no, well, I haven't. I've, my pattern books, um, you know, I've written my pattern books, yeah. but not um, a book book. I've had it mentioned to me a few times, oh, actually. Oh, I think you but, should get um, on it. Especially uh, when you said about creating your own there. I lived abroad for a, a while, and so I, um, I actually downscaled my life enormously oh, yeah. um, to live abroad. And it's one of the things that I always regret. I've sold uh, some books oh. and it's kind of like, you know, you think, oh, I wish I still had that book. And, That's the know. saddest thing ever. So, yes, yeah, since, awful awful so. since I've moved back to the UK, <laughs> it's kind of slowly building up the books oh. that, um, oh, the books again that uh, I'd like to have back on the book to find case. again. And, uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So we've just given those all a, a quick press. I have a few here also. And so now what we're going to do, what this enables us to do is just have that little bit extra, um, because we've cut them a little bit oversized, we want them two and three quarter. So now you can see I'm lining up my 45 degree angle again on this little six and a half yes. inch template. And I've got a little bit extra there so we can tidy up and Take square up. Yeah. yeah, because when you're working with half square triangles, you're working with the bias, um, you know, things can get out of shape very, very, very um, easily. So it's actually really nice to just be able to um, work with half square triangles a tiny wee bit bigger than you need. Um, and uh, Angie's using, you're using the colours out of the Rusties there, the, the lovely um, aubergine boutique and the beautiful sort of raspberry glitter effect ones, if, you, if you're loving that colourway. It's beautiful, isn't it? Really striking. Oh, they're striking. all beautiful. Do you have a favourite? I don't actually. No, they're just all, <laughs> they're just all gorgeous. It's a horrible thing to ask, but they are all beautiful, aren't I they? I know. I know this, um, some of these beautiful, like, tealy blues here, yes. right next to them, yes. they're really the lovely, aren't they? Yeah. Earthy. Yeah, so, they're, really, they're, they're quite exquisite, aren't they? I do really like sort of teal. Teal, and that. I'm me too. I'm really into greens. <laughs> ah, well, you've got your lovely lime green jump on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to tidy these up. I'm going to show you another way of making half square triangles as well. So how many okay. have we got there? We've got, so we've got four of those and let's do just four of these. If you've got any questions for Angie, you know, especially quilting related, let us know on the Facebook or indeed you can email us in to studio at thecraftstore.com. Now's the time to ask. I make, I'm going to make a lovely mess, ah. especially being here five shows. That's okay. <laughs> it's part of the course. We don't mind. I always think I should bring a little um, a pot to put my, a little bit to put my shavings in. in and I, I never there's always so much to remember to pack oh, I know but I know. Um, especially with a westerly show because that's kind of double trouble <laughs> <laughs> well you've been doing double trouble today so you had a lot to think about Angie <laughs> so as you can see it's um, it's quite a fast process when you get going Almost there, I think, aren't we? Yeah, another couple. There's one already trimmed, I think. We'll just do this one. Angie, can I ask you about um, these? Because uh, we've got these on the website as well, the skinny fabric rolls. Um, ah, lovely yes. bright colours, brights and then blues, and there's, there's all sorts there. Yeah, I, 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 I was... Um, Six I, options. We bought these to air last Friday. 
Well, so so well, they're how... really, really new from Sew Crafting. Yeah. So they're um, like the traditional two and a half, you know, the strips that we're using, but yeah. they're one and a half inch. And what would the... Where do we go with these then, Andy? So really, really useful for um, log cabin style um, blocks. So when you're doing log cabins, you often work with kind of little one and a half inch strips, um, small um, bargello type quilts where you're working. Have you, have you ever seen? I don't know what the word bargello means. Okay. Forgive my ignorance. So well, these quilts are kind of you sew a load of strips together cut them in cut the, cut them up and then just slightly offset them Ooh. so you get these lovely waves of Ooh, color I love the sound of that yeah, oh, jello. So, yeah. so um, they're, they're really um, handy and of course the pre-cuts are great for people that have got dexterity problems they might have you know it might be really hard work for some people to cut a load of strips like that Absolutely. so to Absolutely. buy them pre-cut that's really you know I'll just really quickly, really nice yeah that's love thank you angie i'll just no show you the, the, the different um yeah. colorways we've got because they're 16 pounds 98 this is the chocolate cream lovely or oh, maybe catch the show last friday so you can watch oh. the shows back on rewind um, lovely yeah Cre a dreamy pastel pumpkin spice ocean fruit salad Burgundy love. Excellent. £16.98. Nine eight eight nine seven four. Oh, they're lovely. I really like this. Sorry, I interrupted That's you there, okay. Angie. No problem at all. So we've got our lovely, beautifully squared up. Oh, I've got fluff everywhere. <laughs> Please tell me if it ends up on my face. <laughs> so we need, well, we can have as many of each as we like, really, but let's do four of each just to in case we start twitching <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to start off with um, we've got a couple of our squares um, and we're going to put some half square triangles in these areas here and the main thing to with this particular block is um, layout and we, what we need to have is if we put I found this the easiest way to remember it's like putting all your ducks in the same in the same row in, okay. in a row if you like yeah so if we put all our if you're angular ch angularly challenged like i am some days there <laughs> we go um this is what you will need to have a little do yourself a little sketch so if you put them all up the same way basically yeah. they're going to be something like that okay so all these are up the same way we're going to keep three in this corner so coming into the middle keep these three the same way but flip this one so one two so it creates this angle does that oh, make yes, sense yes you just turned one yeah. yeah and then we're going to keep these three the same way and, just and turn flip our this one opposite diagonal in. yeah okay and that makes the diagonal in the darker color so we've got a diagonal in the um, the dark and a diagonal in the pale yes, in the contrast in the two contrasts and um, with the hunter star as well these these will always be the same color colorways you won't be they won't be opposite it wouldn't be like that with right. opposite color so when we attach these these are going to attach to each other gotcha. um, to color make to the color. block yeah Match. so I'm going to start piecing these together now I'm going okay. to place so what I tend to do at home is when I'm working put them like that the way mm -hmm. that you're going to stitch them and on top of each other and then I know I'm going to stitch these <laughs> because then you can chain piece okay. <laughs> till your heart's content I'll mention these fabrics then if that's all right Angie yeah that's fine um, I'm going to just stitch a quarter of an inch seam and sew all these together lovely um, these are far, this is a five meter bundle this looks to me like the pumpkin colors doesn't it isn't this gorgeous oh, so yes. each one of these is I, again this is, is, is a meter of each and a hundred oh sorry a half meter of each so you're getting five different colorways there um there we go ten half meters because what i've got that's why i thought it was a meter uh they're, they're two half meters here you can see so that's my meter if that makes sense but they're two half meters and you get another two so you're getting 10. Does that make sense? Did I explain that? Yeah, two. So 10 half meters, so two of each of those. Um, doesn't that look like a sunset? Isn't that gorgeous? So you can, can you see all those different colors there as well. So 10 half meters, two of each, five colors, uh, lots of options. 
Um, so please have a look on the web. 2499 517401. This is the grey pop. So if you love that grey, for instance, that Angie's using. The Rising Sun, which is the one I've got, which matches pumpkin beautifully. Blossom Weather. Ooh. Golden Banana. Loving these names. Navy Dreams. Rainbow Palette is just gorgeous. Tonal Dreams at the end there. They are gorgeous. Again, feel beautiful. 100% cotton there. What a great price point for 10 half metres. $24.99 for all of that fabric. Absolutely amazing. We're already halfway through the show. Can you believe it? So very, very briefly, just our one-day special. You've got the boutiques and you've got the, uh, the glitter effect materials. Three different options. So this first chunk, these are my earthy tones and a metre of each. So you've got the gold, you've got the teal, you've got the dark grey there, that beautiful blue and purple, and that gorgeous emerald green there, and the green boutique. So that is one set, the earthy tones. Then the tones that uh, Angie is working with, uh, this is our beautiful uh, purpley pink and the aubergine, um, and then our lovely burgundy and our red. Um, I keep forgetting what this one's called, but anyway, and then our amber. So that's that set there, S six one meters there. That's our earth, uh, rusty tones, and then our midnights. Yes, yeah, and you've got your really dark, beautiful blue, your black and purple, your, your light grey, that that beautiful light blue, the deep purple. And then the dark purple boutique as well. Uh, approaching 20% of the, the midnight, which is a front runner at the moment. Uh, two flexi by payments of £23.97. They're all 100% cotton there. 643128. Rusty is also approaching 20 now as well. And if you love these materials, don't forget we've got the half meter choices and five inch squares. And the lovely rolls as well. Back to Angie. So I've just, I've pieced together my pairs and then I'm just piecing together now the pairs to the other pairs to make those squares. Mm -hmm. So I've just popped a little needle, a little pin through those points. So I've got the, um, the other set here, just to make sure they're ooh, the right way up. <laughs> oh, I might have to check that now. Oh. Let's have a look. So we've got those three and that one. That's the right way. Yeah, it's yes, really easy. Yeah, going really the right way. Easy to get it the wrong way around, and then we're just making sure. Seem to see <laughs> that we've got those points there. Because you could, you could, once you'd laid it out, you could take a photo, couldn't you? That's Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Or like you say, just do yourself a little sketch. But photos are so easy these days, aren't they? Or Haley's chock a block. Rock a block, chock a block, I, rock a block. Sorry, not chock a block. I definitely had to have this kind of, you know, when I was making these, keep laying it out and yeah. double checking. So it's not, it's not difficult piecing. It's, um, it's more getting the order. Correctly. Yes, of course. <laughs> Absolutely. So then we should be able to open these out. And again, I'm going to press them open. I'll give that a press in a second. We've got our one. And give this another push open. I find that the seams are just, um, sometimes for speed I'll, I'll sort of have a, have a press to one side sometimes. If yeah. I'm, if I'm in a hurry, and then I always regret it. Ah, <laughs> it's uh, it's weird, isn't it? I just find them so much um, flatter seams as well. You so, just open either way. Yeah. So, uh, but, but you know, with some some projects, it just makes sense to put them, um, like for a log cabin, for instance. If you're if you're working around like a log ca cabin block, um, that makes total sense to press those it to one direction. So I'm just doing this pretty quickly. Just not spending too much time. And then what we should be able to do, so we need to get uh, our darks aligned up alongside this one. That's right. And then 
We should be able to put this one the other way up. So let's see where we are. Get our three the right way up. There we go. Is that right? So you know the, your boutique there in, in, the, in the aubergine, or is it, yeah, the That's aubergine. Right. Is that a five inch square you've got there? Is that just one for the five inch square pack? Sorry. You know your aubergine, sorry, I got <laughs> spoiling your jigsaw there. You know your lovely aubergine boutique? That's the plain one. That's the one you got. The uh, the boutique. That's the one. Yeah. Is that a five inch? Is that one of the? That's one of the five inch oh, squares. Oh right, yes. lovely, yeah. lovely. Yeah. So I've made this project. If you were using um, the, if you bought, if you decided to buy the five inch squares and the well, strips and the strips, yeah. But if you're buying the meterage, obviously you can cut this to any scale. Yeah. yeah. To absolutely any scale. So then you can see how uh, when you lay it out, you know, you're you're creating this um, this little chevron block again. Ah, yes, I see where we're going, yes. Yeah. yeah. So this is just the one block, like you said, that just gets one twisted and turned. One block that gets twisted. In fact, I'm not quite sure that I've got it laid out properly, have I? You check, I'll just yeah. tell everybody. The, the five-inch <laughs> um, squares, just because that's why I asked the question. The, uh, the boutique option at the bottom of the screen, yeah. uh, which is I all of the colourways, and uh, you get 42 of them, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, you get all the colorways there. 20% gone, proven very popular. We've got them in all the glitters, and then we've got them in the three colorways of our lovely Earthy, Rusty, and our Midnights. And because the six choices in there, you'll get seven each of those five inch squares as well. So, uh, proven very popular, 9.99, 442, 786035. Quickest look at some of the other options. The glitter effect there as well. Got those in the half meters um, as well. Um, here are our half meter five inch squares as well. So that's all of the colors. All of the colors, they're five inch squares there. And then we've got it in our midnights, which is just this row above here. Your purples and your dark blues and your soft grays. So you get three of the uh, glitter effect and three of the batiks. And then moving up to our rusties with that lovely claret colour in there. And that's got three of the batiks, your amber, your aubergine and your red. That Angie is using. There's our amber. Isn't that beautiful? Love that. It's like crushed autumn leaves. Just gorgeous. And then my earthy is the option above. So again, you've got those three batiks, the teal, the blue and the pink, the beautiful green. And then the three, dark grey, the green, and the gold in the glitters. 999-786-035. Thank you, Angie. Back to you. Okay. Have we sorted ourselves? I think so. <laughs> so I'm going to keep interrupting and asking I think things. I, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely angrily challenged today. Um, <laughs> but we can see we've got this whole area of the plane and the two arrows yes. um, there. I think, actually, I may have got something slightly squiffy because oh. um, this, this should, I think this should be a plane and this one should be a purple. So this whole area should be... Um, purple and this you know I've just got this one here so I think I've got them the wrong way around somewhere oh. probably when I was sewing these two together to these two yes. so um, just do, just double check your because these these four these three actually like I said should be all the same these three the same way round uh, and maybe you're... maybe if I've just got them flipped round the wrong way and then those yes, three you've still got your diagonals the same way there so yeah that maybe. looks right now are we right now? <coughs> Sorry, everybody. Just thought I'd, <coughs> I'd apologise. No, because it should have it should have them joining in the middle. I've definitely got something um, totally wrong there. <laughs> oh, that's not good, is it? It's. It, I'm trying to look with you now. Oh. This is definitely right. Okay. Okay. Um, so I think I've got um, I've got something wrong going on here. What I'm going to do, <laughs> obviously, I can't. I'm not going to unpick that right now. I'll no. get some of the squares, lay it out before you know, not stitch together. Um, and what I can do is I want to show you another technique. If you just get the five inch squares, mm -hmm. uh, and then we can lay it out before I stitch it together. That's what I didn't double check. Okay. Um, or maybe stitching them together in pairs. I've got it the wrong way around. Mm. So to make half square triangles, if you're only using the five inch square. Okay. 
rather than the strip. You can see here I've got two different fabrics and what I've done is I've sewn them around. Quarter inch all the way around. All the way around, yeah. quarter of an inch all the way around. Yeah. And what I'm going to do now, because I think sometimes there's, you know, there's lots of different ways to make half square triangles, um, but some of them involve, you know, you have to keep drawing lines all the time. Um, and so this technique, there's no drawing of, of lines. And this We're is just going to the charm pack. As yeah, charm, really useful from giving. your charm pack. Yeah. And so therefore then you get really, really quickly. I'm just going to just open these up so that you can see them. I won't press them. So you, you can make four of those little triangular Yeah, from squares. a square. And yeah. these will be, if I just press one, I think these are around three and a quarter inches. So that's quite useful to know as well. So... Yeah, just over, just over three. So you would definitely be able to chop these down to a maximum of, of three inches, which is good to know, isn't it, when you're yes. working with charms? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a very quick way of doing it as well. Very isn't it? quick, yeah, absolutely. So um, you know, sometimes if that's you know you you can ease for the brain. Yeah, and um, depending on what packs you've got. Have we got mixed with, with the charm packs? Do we have, are they all batiks or all glitter or are they? Uh, well, we've got the, you know, like the one day special. Is we've got the, oh, the three choices yeah, in the, the five inch choices. square pack. So oh, I see. Um, you've got it in the earthy, the rusty and the midnight. So you get the mix. Oh, I yeah. see. You end up with seven of each. So you get 42 of the five inch squares in those. Oh, I see. Okay. So let's have another look at the way I should have done this. <laughs> Let's see. So we put those three the same way up and get our ducks. Flip this one. Okay. So I'm trying to see where I've gone wrong. Let's have That's a look. It, so. Have I got four here? Three. That bottom right hand one, I think you twisted it another 90 degrees, which is why, the, when you did it before, oh, okay, Angie, so, yeah. you twisted it another 90 degrees, that, so um, maybe that's did where I it went go wrong. wrong. No, no, I meant, the, the, you know, the, the one you just shown me. Yes. You know, where your hand is on the right, so if you twist that, so that's how you started, and then yeah. you went, that, oh, no, back one. That's how you, you went you originally. That's how it should. That's, that's how, how it should be. But if you twiddle that back be. 90 degrees, that's how I think you did it originally. Does that make any sense, or have I just complicated oh, it? Oh, just mm, no. That that wouldn't be right. No, no it's definitely right, I'm not like helping that. at all. <laughs> I'm not helping at all. Are we figured it? <laughs> that's what I thought I remembered seeing you do, but what oh. do I know? No, this is definitely right. It's these. It's your greys. That one should, I'm sure that one should just be grey. Give me two minutes. I'll give you two minutes. <laughs> I'll give you two minutes. We'll get there. Um, don't you worry. Um, our one day special comprises of the batiks and the glitter effect and the midnight, which is this one right here in front of me, is still in the lead. And that comprises of the deep purple, the purple and grey, the beautiful light blues, the navy, the purple, and yeah, a metre of each. Yes, £47.94. You're saving 20 uh, four pounds. We've got it on two flexi by payments of twenty three pounds ninety seven. A fifth of the stock's already gone. Six four three one two eight. Next to it, we do. That's the midnight option. Yes, indeed. Next to it, we have the beautiful rusties. Yeah, starts with the amber, moves into that sort of sort of russety red, into the red batik, into the beautiful claret, into the aubergine and into that raspberry purple. This is the one that Angie is working with, with the soft grey um, cotton as well, which we've got on the show. 20% of the rusty options gone as well. And then our beautiful earthies, which, you know, you've got the gorgeous greens. I mean, real emerald greens. That is so pretty, isn't it? The pink and the blues. And then we move into the darker grey, almost like a midnight black, but not quite charcoal grey. Um, into the teal which, with, and gold, which is exquisite, which looks beautiful with the gold in the glitter effect. So three different choices. You end up with six metres, beautiful, soft, 100% cotton. Um, the one-day special. And if you order um, 
say if you want to say, right, Fee, I want two midnights because I want two metres of everything, it'll all be cut to one continuous length. So if you said if you said to yourself, I want two one-day specials because I want two metres of each of these, not a metre, then just order two lots. And we can spread that over two flexi-buy payments as well. So create your own flexi order. Um, pick a mix. Pick a mix. So you choose any of the glitter effect or any of the boutiques. You can choose two half metres of the boutiques. You can make two half metres of the glitter effects. It's really up to you. You get to, you get to put your own mix that you want, basically. Yeah. Burnt orange. Burgundy, like a fine wine. Hot pink, which are called raspberry. Light grey. That's such a lovely one. Royal. That's a real amethyst rich. Real amethyst. Lovely navy. That's the, the grey that I said is a bit like a charcoal. Aqua blue next to the gold. Next to the green. They're all your glitters. And then we have our batiks. Deep blue and red, which I think is a bit of an anomaly because it's pink. Pink to my eye. Deep blue and pink, but it's called red. Blue and gold. Isn't that beautiful? Green, but with earthy colours in there, so earthy green. My favourite. Light blue and lilac. Deep purple. That's gorgeous. Black and purple. That's my Molly's favourite. Amber. Oh, that's my favourite as well. I've got a lot of favourites, don't I? Look at the red. Look at the red with the cerise. Aubergine and gold. And then this, that's quite spectacular, isn't it? The colours. Black and gold, but there's mint in there as well. Choose any two for 11 Um, You're also finding on the web very popular the Gutterman threads as well. We've got them in beautiful greys and black. So different bundles, different options. Ten reels. Uh, this is the monochrome, so you get 100 metres. Ten metres on each. That's your blues. Chocolates. The rose. Oh, the earthies, the rusties, and the midnights. Don't they coordinate beautifully, those last three, with the one-day special? 1999-587-535. And I was talking to Angie earlier about the cork poplin, uh, and uh, the, vi the cork vinyl, I should say, and the poplin. So uh, we did this with Lucy the other day. That's the gold flower and the navy, because that's, that's cork with this gold flower overlay on it. That's the silver with the silver poplin. Silver sparkle with light blue. Medium grain with brown and then dark grain with core. Well, taupe, I should say. £29.97, uh, 138829. And then the six and a half inch square ruler, which Angie's using, 465, 553, 1449. Far more um, easy to use. I think on the Creative Grist, there's an extended delay there on dispatch, so it'll be 28. Right. Back to Angie. I've I've sort of it. Yeah, I, I was never going to get that right because I oh. knew I'd sewed my two pairs, which meant making them a four, I'd sewn them wrongly together. Okay. So I've just unpicked one to, to show that to people. So now you can see we've got it, I've got it laid out on the overhead so at least you can see because I haven't, you know, got time now to stitch these back together. Oh, I've got but about you, five minutes just so you know. You can see that we've got all of our dark purples in, you know, they're joining this dark purple square yes. and these dark purple so they're creating this chevron effect and yes. here we have all of the pale greys joined to the pale grey square and they're all pale grey so you're getting that that consistent zigzag shape if you like so if you can see um where i did you have got three the same way three the same way and, and then you one turn. flip this one is flipped yeah so, it's um, so it, it started there, there. So, so it is one, one two, two, but it's, on, it's only making two, one chevron. Yes. If you like where I did this one, can you, you see I've got three, three together? Yeah. So that's where I went wrong. Oh, you created a new one. I've unpicked, new this, I've unpicked this one here to show you because I had them sewn together like that. Aha. And it should have been like that. We got so there. So three together and one slash of um, the, the chevron. So yeah, when you're putting yours together, if you <laughs> bear, that in, that. It, bear that in mind. You yeah. want a double chevron, You only want two, two colours um, touching, not 